It is a lizard beast that has been abandoned by the world. However, when I saw it for the first time, I decided to buy three of them as my spirit pets. Passers by on the street side and called me a fool. Even the shop owner selling the beast mocked me, saying that I had the same intelligence as the ice lizard. Upon hearing this, I just smiled and said nothing. Instead, I used my beast controlling power to envelop the three ice lizards and fuse them into the ancestral divine beast, the ancient ruler, the frost dragon. But just then, a piercing alarm sounded, and a member of the guard team hurriedly pushed open the door to the guardian's office. However, before he could finish speaking, the guardian standing by the window interrupted him, gazing into the sky. I know, it's a red danger level. Watching the snowflakes falling outside, the guardian with a square face had deep concerns in his eyes. The red danger level corresponds to disasters that are capable of destroying cities. Once this disaster strikes, the defense forces of Dongling City, a third-rate city, will likely be wiped off the map in an instant. Notify the city leader that Dongling City is now in a state of full alert and activate the defensive magic array at full power. The guardian with a square face's voice trembled, and a strong sense of powerlessness enveloped his heart. Even though his strength had reached the fourth level, surpassing everyone in Dongling City, he could only do his best in the face of a red danger level disaster. And in the city, fear and despair spread through the crowd like a plague. Everyone prayed silently at that moment. Suddenly, a thunderous roar echoed through the air. As everyone looked up, their faces filled with immense fear. A giant dragon appeared in the sky above Dongling City. The sight of it left everyone in utter shock. This dragon was a powerful creature, at least a divine beast. Why would it appear in Dongling City? Another loud dragon roar resounded, and the dragon in the sky let out a mighty howl. Its massive body circled above Dongling City for a few rounds, then flapped its wings and disappeared into the clouds in the sky. The guardians of Dongling City and the controllers of the guild tycoons were all sitting helplessly on the ground. At the same time, Everyone issued the same command, to find out the cause of everything that happened today. At this moment, I had no idea that my fusion with the beast pet had caused such a terrifying commotion. I curiously looked at the frost dragon in front of me. It was currently in its juvenile stage, with all four attributes reaching 500. Especially when I saw the row of skills in its skill bar. Envy tears streamed down my cheeks, truly worthy of being a divine ancestral beast. It was born with four SSS grade and eight skills, and every time it advanced in rank. It would definitely awaken an SSS grade innate skill, holding the icy frost dragon. I simply couldn't bear to let go. Now, whoever dares to say that the frost lizard is garbage, I'll slap them in the face and summon the frost dragon. All those hidden professions can take a back seat. The Sunrise Guild Hall, three days later, is already packed with people. Professionals come and go, discussing and searching for teammates to complete missions together. Ever since the resurgence of the Will of the Heavens 700 years ago, the area of the Blue Star has expanded thousands of times, giving rise to numerous secret dungeons and open world maps. The Adventurer's Guild Hall has been bustling like today for hundreds of years. Wang Chen, this bastard, actually dared to be late after promising to team up with me. It's absolutely infuriating. A young and beautiful girl looked at the bustling crowd around her, her expression becoming increasingly cold. The girl is sit to you. And at this moment, a slick and pretentious young man with a powdered face squeezed out of the crowd with a fake smile. Classmate Situ you. I didn't expect to run into you at the Adventure Guild. This is truly a coincidence. In the city of Dongling, Situ you is a true pride of heaven. Coming from a prominent family and possessing exquisite beauty, she successfully changed her occupation to become a special class wind archer during the job transition ceremony. With an unlimited future ahead, the science of wealthy families in the entire city of Dongling regard Situ you as a goddess. The young man with oily hair and a powdered face is named Chin Hao, and he is the only son of the Chun family a wealthy clan. Although he may appear a bit flamboyant, he has considerable talent. Three days ago, during the job transfer ceremony, he successfully switched to the combat profession of an ice mage, making him stand out among all the transfer students this year. Moreover, in Dongling High School, he is the crazy pursuer of sit to you. Student sit to you, are you planning to take on a mission to go to the wilderness map? It seems like you don't have any companions yet. Why not join me? Chun Hao approached at this moment his eyes burning as he looked at Situ Yu. However, when Situ Yu turned around upon hearing the voice and saw him, a hint of disgust flashed in his eyes. Chen Hao's expression stiffened, but he wasn't angry either. Situ Yu was universally recognized as the ice queen at Dongling No. 1 High School, showing no false courtesy to anyone. Student Situ Yu, the dangers of venturing into the wilderness alone. I'm sure you understand. There's really no need for you to reject us from a distance. Chen Hao continued, I am an ice mage and I have already formed a team with several classmates before coming here. Our team is well equipped, and if you join us, 
it will definitely be very safe, and leveling up will also be fast. In the midst of speaking, seemingly to enhance his persuasiveness, Chen Hao waved his hand and three arrogant-looking young men emerged from the crowd. The professional combination of these individuals was very reasonable, a warrior, an assassin, a priest, and with him as the mage, they formed a common four-person team among adventurers. Upon closer observation, one could notice that the equipment on these three individuals was quite good, faintly emitting a green light, indicating well-matched bronze-level gear. Such a team placed among beginners could be considered top-tier configuration. After the words fell, Chun Hao looked at Situyu with anticipation. He felt that the other party would most likely agree to his proposal. However, Situyu glanced indifferently, with no expression on his cold and frosty face, not interested. After saying that, she turned her head to look at the surrounding crowd. As one of the top students at Dongling No, one high school for many years, Situyu naturally had her own pride. Chan Hao, a third-rate person who relied on luck to get a good job, was not even worth her attention. She came to the Adventure Guild today and had her own things to do. How could she let this annoying guy delay her important matters? However, as she looked at the bustling crowd around her, Situyu's expression became increasingly unfriendly. Wang Chen, this bastard, is he going to stand me up today? Thinking angrily in her heart, Situyu stomped her foot. Chen Hao, who was standing beside her, could tell even if he was dumb that his goddess was waiting for someone. For a moment, he felt a bit annoyed. After successfully transforming into an ice mage, he can be considered a top-notch genius at Dongling No. One high school. Who else is more qualified than him to team up with Situyu? And who dares to make the goddess wait here? A shadow of gloom flashed in his eyes, and Chen Hao took a few steps forward again. Student Situyu, it seems like you already have a team in mind. I wonder which genius from our Dongling City it is. Chen Hao asked with a smile on his face, but inside, he couldn't help but sneer. He wanted to see who dared to compete with him. Upon hearing this, Situyu Gung completely ignored it. At this moment, she suddenly felt something and her gaze turned towards the entrance of the Union Hall. With a hint of brilliance in her eyes, a handsome young man was walking in from outside the door. Although he was dressed casually, there was an indescribable elegance about him. Upon seeing my arrival, Situyu took a step forward, ready to greet me. But then she remembered that this jerk had dared to be late, and with a cold snort, she put on a stern face. This lady also has her pride. Walking into the Sunrise Union Hall, the first thing I noticed was the elegant and extraordinary girl among the crowd. Although there were many adventurers coming and going in the Union Hall, Situyu's unique temperament overshadowed everyone else's brilliance. Sorry, there's a bit of traffic on the road. Hearing this, Situyu let out a cold snort, but a hint of joy flashed across his feigned cold face. This bastard actually knows to give this young lady an explanation. Thinking back to how I always used to ignore him, the slight displeasure in Situyu's heart dissipated. Since you're so understanding, I'll forgive you today. Situyu's face showed a smile. All right, let's quickly go to the front desk to pick up the mission. Immediately, he turned around and skipped towards the guild front desk. Seeing this scene, I rolled my eyes. Goodness, I was just one minute late, but it seemed like I had committed a crime from your mouth. Helplessly shaking my head, I quickly caught up. However, as soon as I took two steps, suddenly someone walked quickly towards me and blocked my way. Wang Chen, is that really you? You, a giant beast tamer profession, dare to come to the Adventurer's Guild Hall to take on missions without even having a beast companion? Do you not know the meaning of the word death? Chun Hao exaggeratedly looked at me, speaking particularly loudly when mentioning the words giant beast tamer. As soon as the words fell, the adventurers in the hall who were admiring the handsome men and beautiful women couldn't help but be astonished. Beast tamer? No way. Is there really someone unlucky enough to change to this profession? I heard that this is the most money-burning profession in history. Not to mention wealthy families, even a whole country's efforts would struggle to support it. For a moment, many adventurers looked at me with a hint of sympathy in their eyes. It's such a pity that someone so handsome has changed careers to become a garbage profession as a giant beast tamer. I can feel the gazes from around me, and my eyebrows involuntarily raise as I glare displeasingly at the arrogant young man across from me. Just a few glances and I already understand that this trouble must have been brought by Situyu. The young lady. Who are you? Chen Hao seemed surprised that I didn't recognize him at all, and his face instantly turned extremely ugly. Ha! So what? I'll tell you. A trashy profession like yours should know your place and stop trying to climb the social ladder. Chen Hao glared at me angrily, his tone arrogant. I advise you to stay away from Situyu, or else you won't even know how you'll die. Upon hearing Chen Hao's words, I disdainfully shook my head and laughed as I looked at him. At that moment, I became even more certain that Situyu was a troublemaker. It was clear that Situyu inexplicably approached me, but in the eyes of others, it seemed like I was trying to climb the social ladder. 
truly ridiculous. For someone like Chun Hao, who is mentally challenged, I feel that even speaking a few words to him is an insult to myself. With a disdainful shake of my head, I take a step forward towards the stage. Seeing my indifferent appearance, Chen Hao became even more furious. He then reached out his hand to stop Wang Chen, but his hand was immediately pushed back, as a tremendous force caused Chun Hao to stumble. After retracting my hand, I took out a piece of paper and wiped it off. Then, with an indifferent look, I glanced at Chen Hao and said, I can't be bothered with you. Don't push your luck. Chen Hao's face immediately changed color. The action of me wiping my hand with the paper made him feel a great sense of humiliation, causing his face to turn red. He had never experienced such humiliation before, as he had always been praised and admired wherever he went, and no one had ever dared to lay a finger on him. Chen Hao sneered and his eyes became extremely fierce. Wang Chen, dare to hit me. Don't you know how to write the word death? Hearing this, I coldly laughed and my eyes became indifferent. Sorry, I actually do know that. If you don't know, I can teach you. As I finished speaking, I took a step forward and looked down at Chen Hao, feeling the indifference in my eyes. A hint of panic flashed through Chen Hao's heart, but then he became arrogant again. Do you know who I am? Chen Hao shouted madly. My father is one of the top five tycoons in Dongling City, with wealth that you can't even imagine in your lifetime. I am the only son of the Chen family and my status is worlds apart from a lowly person like you. After Chen Hao finished speaking, he looked at me with a fierce gaze. You still want to teach me? Just look at your shabby appearance. Many adventurers in the hall had been paying attention to this side. After all, watching this kind of jealousy between young people was a rare entertainment for them. But after hearing Chen Hao's words, the atmosphere suddenly became lively. Daring to be jealous of young master Chen, this young man named Wang Chen is really courageous. And when I heard Chen Hao's words, I looked at him without any wavering in my gaze. Even a hint of mockery appeared on my face. So what? You talk so highly of yourself, but your goddess still ignores you. I laughed disdainfully, not taking Chen Hao's words seriously at all. In my eyes, this so-called second-generation rich kid was just asking for a beating. After speaking, I turned and walked towards the front desk. Chen Hao, who had been shot in the chest with an arrow, looked at my back with eyes filled with anger. Bastard, how dare you humiliate me like this? Chen Hao quickly walked towards me, about to stop me, when suddenly a graceful figure appeared between the two of us. Chen Hao, let me say it again, stay away from me. Wang Chen is my chosen teammate. Do you dare to question him here? Are you asking for a beating? Siti Yu's eyes looked coldly at Chen Hao, anger constantly surging in her eyes. Chen Hao looked at Siti Yu in disbelief, his expression filled with humiliation. Have you gone crazy? Teaming up with Wang Chen, a trashy professional beast tamer. Look at his poor appearance still wearing beginner's equipment. Chen Hao's expression became somewhat hysterical. He never expected his goddess to actually protect Wang Chen. This nobody. One is a wealthy heiress from a prestigious family, while the other is a lowly professional who can only afford cheap suits. The difference in status between them is like night and day. What's even more humiliating for Chen Hao is that he, as a scion of a financial conglomerate, is deemed inferior to Yu Chen in Situ Yu's eyes. So what? Situ Yu looked at Chen Hao with disdain, appearing indifferent. Wang Chen, even if he didn't change jobs, he is still a thousand times stronger than you. You trash. With these words, Situ Yu turned to look at me. Don't pay attention to this trash. Let's quickly register as adventurers and take on a mission to the Wan Beast Mountain Range. As she spoke, she directly grabbed my arm and pulled me towards the registration counter. Gone was the arrogant demeanor she had when facing Chen Hao earlier. This scene shocked the onlookers, and Chen Hao was also struck as if by lightning. A rich family's young lady falling back on a commoner's boy? In the hall of the Morning Glory Labor Union, the crowd was in an uproar after Situ Yu appeared. Crazy, right? This kind of scene that appeared in the middle of a novel could actually happen in reality? And, the people present all clearly saw that after being grabbed by Situ Yu's arm, that commoner kid, even had a reluctant face? My goodness, could it be that someone had unleashed an illusion skill of more than four turns in the Union Hall? Everyone, at this moment, began to doubt life. The front of the hall. As everyone could see, Wang Chen was indeed very reluctant right now, feeling the warmth coming from his arm, as well as the fragrance if any. Wang Chuan frowned slightly. In the past, in the school, it was even if, now in public, sit to you, you are so engaged in, my Wang Chuan's one life of innocence is going to be ruined by you. Men and women are not related. Muttering under his breath, Wang Chuan slapped Sit to Yu's hand away with a look of disgust. With her hand slapped away, Sit to Yu's eyes widened like jewels and a beaming smile appeared on her face before, directly pounced towards Wang Chen. Unfortunately, did not hit. As early as when he saw the smile on Situ Yu's face, Wang Chuan guessed that this girl was going to be sick, 
Sure enough, shaking his head, Wang Chuan reached out to stop the open mouth Situ Yu. Finished? Hurry up and take the quest. There won't even be a hair left if you're late. He said helplessly. However, upon hearing his words, Situ Yu didn't even move. Instead, Wang Chen, who was constantly scanning up and down, had a pair of eyes that shone brightly. Sure enough, your talent is definitely not B rank. Looking at Wang Dust, Situ Yu had a face of certainty. Hmm. Upon hearing this, a flash of astonishment flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. How did this girl find out? However, he did not intend to admit it and shook his head before preparing to deny it. Hey, Wang Chuan are you planning to find an excuse to put me off? Then you have to think of a good excuse. When Siti Yu saw Wang Chen's appearance, her rosy little mouth curved into a graceful arc. I'm a first turn blasted wind archer. I have an advantage in the speed attribute myself, and I didn't leave the slightest bit of residual power in that pounce just now. It is absolutely impossible for a normal imperial beast master to dodge it. Situ Yu said with a smile. The words fell. A curtain of light suddenly appeared in front of Wang Chen. Name, Situ Yu. Profession, Blistering Wind Archer. Level, 10. Talent, Wind Stigma, S. Skills, Wind Walk, A. Phantom Arrow, A. Lianju Arrow, B. Battle Renewal, B. Strength, 20 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 15 plus 25 points. Physique, 15 plus 35 points. Agility, 20 plus 40 points. Unassigned attribute points, 0. Unassigned skill points, 0 points. This was clearly, Situ Yu had set her attribute panel to display status to Wang Chuan. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust smiled helplessly. Good fellow, this girl was indeed sick. In today's Blue Star, where professionals were on the rise, attribute information was a professional's biggest secret, and many professionals would not tell even their relatives. After all, Knowing a professional's attribute information could completely target a plan, and once it was leaked, the professional's life safety would be seriously threatened. With Situ Yu engaging in this, Wang Chen felt a great deal of pressure. However, as he was helpless, he looked at Situ Yu's attribute information and was secretly surprised in his heart. He had long heard that this particular profession, the Blizzard Archer, not only had high burst damage, but also had extremely high agility. When he saw it today, it was indeed true. Having just switched professions, the strength attribute and agility attribute had each reached 20 points, which was twice as much as when Wang Chuan had not contracted a beast pet. The total attributes is as high as 70 points, which is 30 points more than the giant beast master profession. And even more so, he possessed an s rank talent. So it was no wonder that the leadership of Dongling No, one middle school would be so excited after this guy's transfer. Of course, if it was just that, Wang Dust wouldn't be too surprised at all. Name, Wang Dust. Profession, Giant Royal Beast Master. Level, 10. Talent, Beast Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Strength, 70 plus 5 points. Wisdom, 70 plus 5 points. Physique, 70 plus 5 points. Agility, 70 plus 5 points. Unassigned Attribute Points, 0. Unassigned Skill Points, 0. Having contracted the Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon this one, Wine Dust's four-dimensional attributes now directly threw Situ Yu off a block. What really surprised him was the increased attribute points provided by those equipments on Situ Yu's attribute panel. A total of 140 attribute points of increase. Was this girl wearing a silver set? Damn. This little rich girl is too hateful. Just knows to show off in front of him. The laboring masses. Humph. Let's see me find a pretext to fool you. For a while, Wang Chen silently pondered. Nothing to say, right? Hurry up and be honest with this girl. Seeing Wang Chuan's silence, Situ Yu smiled and said, It's better to forget about it. I'm afraid you'll doubt your life when you know. After thinking about it, Wang Chuan gently shook his head and turned towards the front desk. You are simply too hateful. Situ Yu's expression stiffened at the words, and she chased after Wang Chen with her teeth and claws open. He himself had displayed such a hidden thing as attribute information, and this abominable fellow was still hiding it. It was simply inexcusable. You damnable fellow. Show me your attribute panel. Hurry up. Please. Situ Yu jumped up and down to catch up with Wang Chen with an unforgiving look. Unfortunately, in the face of warm words and soft words, Wang Dust was not moved at all. Joke. How could I, a honorable gentleman, give in to this bit of temptation? In the hall, seeing this picture of Wang Chen and Situ Yu flirting, many adventurers were confused. Situ Yu was the Situ family's eldest young lady. Dongling City's premier proud daughter. None of the people thought that they would see this young lady stalking a commoner boy in the hall of the adventure union. This, it was simply too enviable. How come I don't have this kind of lustful fortune? 
everyone fought sourly in their hearts, and Chen Hao, who witnessed this scene, suffered 10,000 points of injury in his heart. A face changed from red to purple to iron blue, vividly performing a face change in public. Humiliation, unwillingness, indignation. At this moment a burning rage arose in his heart, and his entire face twisted with jealousy. What exactly is it about me that is inferior to this mud-legged kid Wang Chun? Bowing his head and gritting his teeth, Chen Hao's fists were clenched to death. The interaction between Wang Chen and Situ Yu was like a sledgehammer, smashing his little bit of pride hard. The front desk of the labor union hall, getting rid of the pestering Situ Yu, Wang Chen received the registration form handed over by the receptionist. However, he only glanced at it and directly turned his hand and called out in front of Situ Yu. What does it mean? Situ Yu's head emerged from behind the registration form with a puzzled expression. I don't need to register. I was already an officially registered adventurer a few years ago, casually explaining. Wang Dust asked the receptionist for a list of today's tasks. In the Adventure Labor Union, apart from those fixed quests of collecting magic materials and strangling wild monsters, it would also take commissions from individuals or groups, and release them in the form of bounty quests to the majority of adventurers. Compared to fixed tasks, the rewards of these bounty tasks were more substantial, but at the same time, the difficulty of completing them was also correspondingly higher. In the past, because of his lack of strength, Wang Chuan had done some fixed quests, but now that he had officially changed jobs, he could look at the bounty quests that he had been longing for. Good, Wang Chuan, you actually dared to enter the 10,000 Beasts mountain range before you transferred? No wonder I've been unable to catch up with you, so you secretly worked so hard? Situ Yu's expression was a little indignant, and her eyes, which were like jewels, stared at Wang Chuan tightly. Being stared at by this pair of beautiful eyes, Wang Chuan inexplicably felt that something was wrong. Good fellow. I utilize my extracurricular time to earn money to supplement my family. How come it's weird coming from your mouth? Hurry up and fill it out. We don't have much time. Helplessly rolling his eyes, Wang Dust pushed Situyu to the table to fill out the registration form, and then began to check out the list of today's tasks. Task 1, seek to purchase the tiger treasure of the twin-winged demon tiger. Task difficulty, grade A. Task reward, 2 million gold coins plus 1 level 50 arbitrary skill book for the warrior profession. Task 2, Picking the Magic Star Grass. Mission Difficulty, Level B. Task Reward, 1 million gold coins plus 1 set of magic recovery potion. Quest 3, 30 sharp claws of the Blizzard Demon Wolf. Mission Difficulty, C Level. Task Reward, half a million gold coins plus a copy of the Inflammation Explosion Skillbook. The list of quests was full of quests, and the rewards of each quest made Wang Dust look at them a little heartily. All of these quests at the front of the list, as long as one of them was completed would pretty much be able to clothe and feed an ordinary person for the rest of his life. However, these quests could only be looked at for Wang Dust, and there was no way to pick them up if you wanted to. Adventure unions everywhere would divide the quests into different grades based on the difficulty of the quest, from the lowest F rank, all the way to the highest S rank. Of course, this mission level division was not uniform. Dongling City was only a third-rate city, and an S-ranked mission from the Adventure Union here would most likely only be rated as an A-ranked or B-ranked mission when it arrived in a bigger city. This was because when the difficulty of the mission was divided, it would also be measured by the strength of the adventurers in the region where the Adventure Union was located, and for each level of quests, there would be a threshold set for taking them, to prevent some adventurers from being ungrateful and taking on quests that they simply couldn't complete. For example, the first quest in the quest list was a level A quest, seeking to purchase the tiger treasure of the twin-winged demon tiger. The twin-winged demon tiger was a level 70 wild monster, distributed in the central region of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and the only people who wanted to deal with it were those second-turn adventurer squads, or solo warriors with third-turn strength. Therefore, under the requirements for taking this quest, it was clearly written that at least a four-member squad with all members at level 60 would be able to take it. With a greedy glance, Wang Chen silently scratched the quest list to the end, picking out quests that were suitable for newbies like him. Soon, Wang Chuan found the quests he was more satisfied with in the quest list. The difficulty of these quests were all in the D-rank and E-rank categories. As for the lowest level F-rank quests, Wang Chuan did not pay attention to them. Level F quests were generally in the outermost fringe area of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Collecting some magic-rich herbs, he could easily accomplish it before when he hadn't switched jobs, and it was simply not cost-effective to take on this kind of quest now. With his finger sliding through the list of quests, Wang Dust looked at the quest introduction with a somewhat hesitant expression. Task 326, seek to purchase 30 golden snake grasses. Mission difficulty, D rank. Task reward, 100,000 gold coins. Task 327, 10 golden scaled python snake gallbladders. Task difficulty, D level. 
Task reward, 100,000 gold coins or a skill book of equal value. Task 328, 40 eyeballs of the demonized goblin. Task difficulty, E level. Task reward, 60,000 gold coins. These three quests were the most cost effective amongst the D rank quests and E rank quests, especially the first two. Quest number 326 and quest number 327. These two quests could even be completed together. Golden snake grass. A magical plant that only grew in areas where the golden scale python was active. The golden scale python was a rank 35 wild monster that lived in packs and was huge. Its snake bile was a good magical material, able to enhance the range of vision of low level professions, and was quite useful for archer class professions. The snake meat could also fetch a good price in the trade market. However, Wang Dust's hesitation at this time was not because the golden scale python was too high ranked. Perhaps other budding professions that had just switched professions would be terrified of the golden scaled python. But now that Wang Dust had contracted the ancestral divine beast ancient overlord extreme cold dragon, although his own level was a short board, as soon as he released the ice clear, he could also fight when he bumped into a level 40 wild monster. He was mainly worried about whether or not this guy Sit you could do it, and it would be troublesome if he dragged his feet when the time came. Wang Chuan you haven't picked one yet? While Wang Chuan was pondering in his mind, the list of quests in his hand was snatched by someone. What's the hesitation in picking a quest? Let's just look for the ones with high rewards. Sityu said with a bewildering confidence on her face and a smile. However, when she placed her line of sight on the quest list, the expression on her face directly froze. D. D level? With a shocked cry, Sityu hastily covered her small mouth and looked at Wang Chen with a face full of disbelief. How dare you? A budding newbie who had just switched to a new job and challenged a deranked quest. Isn't this looking for death? What, scared? Seeing Situ Yu's expression, Wang Chen said indifferently, If you're scared, you can team up with others. She, hearing this, Situ Yu glanced at his mouth, so angry, being pretended to buy you again. Silently thinking in her heart, Situ Yu put on a confident smile on her face again. What am I afraid of if you're not afraid? I'm just worried that you'll drag your feet when the time comes. Let me see which mission we choose is better. Forcing her heart to be weak, Situ Yu's flourishing jade finger scratched the list of missions. However, looking at it, she couldn't help but blush with a pretty face. Golden Scaled Python? The snake gall of this thing was of great use to budding shooters. Wang Chen chose this quest. Could it be? Hey, are you good or not? At the front desk of the Adventure Union, Wang Dust looked at the pretty red-faced Situyu and asked with some doubt. Ah, upon hearing this, Situyu responded sheepishly, handing over the list of quests with her hands in a frenzy. You choose as you see fit. This girl is all for it, she said with some mid-air. Weird. Receiving the list of tasks, Wang Chen muttered. However, he didn't pay too much attention to it. Situ Yu was going to be a shirker anyway, so he would decide for himself. Hello. Placing the list of tasks in front of the receptionist lady, Wang Chuan gave a polite greeting before saying, I want to take the two quests, number 326 and number 327. Here are the adventure cards for both of us. As he spoke, Wang Chen handed over his and Situ Yu's adventure cards as well. All right, sir. You can wait a moment. Upon hearing this, the receptionist lady returned a smile, then lowered her head and got busy. However, just transferred? When she swiped out the information on Wang Chen and Sit to use adventure cards, she couldn't help but let out an exclamation of surprise under her breath. Sir, do you want to reconsider? The golden scaled python. It's a level 35 wild monster. The front desk young lady looked at Wang Chen and Sit to you with the eyes of a monster. Two freshly transferred newbies taking on a deranked quest. This was no different from looking for death in her opinion. Are all the young people nowadays so reckless? Thank you for reminding us. We've already considered it. Wang Chen was grateful for the receptionist lady's kindness, but at the same time, he shook his head without hesitation. He entered the 10,000 Beasts mountain range in order to just quickly improve his strength and get money in the process, and did not intend to join the other budding newcomers to fight over the pathetic weak wild monsters. This, hearing his words, the receptionist lady was a little hesitant. She really couldn't bear to see this big handsome guy go to the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range to die. However, when she saw Wang Chen insist, she still nodded silently. All right, please wait. In the hall, the adventurers who saw that there was no hustle and bustle were starting to busy themselves. However, after hearing the exclamation of the front desk lady, everyone's eyes had coincidentally landed on Wang Chen and said to you, crap, did I hear it right just now? Golden scaled python. These two little guys. Are they planning to directly challenge a D-rank mission? Crazy, crazy, they've only just switched jobs and are only level 10. Are they planning on feeding the golden scaled python? Are young people nowadays so reckless? I remember when I just switched. The first quest I took on was still dealing with a level 10 red-eyed rat. 
There was a lot of chatter amongst the crowd, and everyone felt as if they were hearing hallucinations, a newcomer challenging the golden-scaled python. There was a level difference of 25 levels. This is not the way to find death. For a while, many adventurers looked at Wang Chen and sit to you with sympathetic eyes. Good guy. Two people who were so good-looking, but turned out to have a big brain disease. And in the crowd, Chen Hao, who had immense indignation in his heart, was similarly attracted by these murmurs. Ha! Wang Dust. A Wang Dust. A mud-legged man is indeed a mud-legged man, with no pussy in his heart at all. Chen Hao had a sneer on his face and looked at Wang Chen with incomparable contempt. He and his classmates had formed a standard four-man squad, and everyone had bronze equipment at the very least. Such a lineup was already a luxurious configuration amongst the budding newcomers. But even so, Chen Hao didn't dare to challenge the golden-scaled python. He really couldn't figure out whether Wang Chen had eaten ambition or lost his mind, daring to take on a mission of this difficulty. However, Chen Hao, who was filled with a cold smile, had his expression become twisted again after seeing Situ sign the mission claim form without hesitation. He felt, at this moment, that his heart had been viciously stabbed. Nima, Wang Dust had gone crazy. The goddess had even accompanied him in going crazy? What the hell is wrong with this world? Damn Wang Chen, what kind of soup did you give Situ? Thinking silently in his heart, Chen Hao's face was as hideous as an evil spirit. The mission duration of a deranked mission is one month. If the mission items are not submitted for more than one month, the mission will automatically be judged as a failure. Entering the information into the system, the front desk lady handed the adventure card to Wang Chen while instructing, Thank you, thank you for your hard work. Resulting in the card, Wang Dust politely nodded his thanks before turning his head to look at Situyu. All right, now it's time for us to set off. The light rail to the 10,000 beasts mountain range travels once every half an hour. So let's rush to the station now, just in time to catch the next one. Saying under his breath, Wang Chin brought Situyu and directly left the Adventure Union Hall. As for the scowling eyes and comments, he didn't even put it on his mind. What others couldn't do didn't mean he couldn't. After the two of them left, the gathered adventurers shook their heads and stopped paying attention to this little episode. And there was only one person who looked at Wang Chen and Situyu's backs with resentment in his eyes and did not retract it until they disappeared into thin air. Brother Hao, what do we do now? A teenager with a pockmarked face patted Chen Hao's shoulder, drawing his attention back. What to do? Chen Hao said in a resentful tone, since they took on the task of hunting the golden-scaled python, we'll take it too, I just don't believe it, the two of them, no matter how strong they are, can they be stronger than the four of us? This, hearing Chen Hao's words, the expressions of the three teenagers who had surrounded them all became somewhat hesitant, in their opinion, Wang Chen and Situyu dared to take on the golden-scaled python's mission, and that was because there was Situyu, the eldest young lady, the Situ family, as the top most powerful family in Dongling City, had no idea how many life-preserving equipment props they would prepare for Situyu, the eldest young lady, perhaps, there were also third-turn experts protecting in secret, they, although they were considered an upper-class family in Dongling City, they were not half a star's difference from Situyu, so what were they going to compare with others, what, seeing the hesitation on the faces of his three companions, Chen Hao frowned, his tone somewhat unpleasant, is it because my words don't work anymore? He looked at his three companions and said, No no, forced by Chen Hao's eyes, the three teenagers hurriedly shook their heads in denial, the gap between them and Situyu was sky high, and between them and Chen Hao, the gap was also quite large, therefore, at this moment, they did not dare to refute Chen Hao at all, and could only curse Wang Dust to death in their hearts, Damn you Wang Dust, what are you a mudblood doing acting in front of Situyu, don't let us run into you alone in the future, or there will be no good fruit for you to eat thinking indignantly in their hearts. The three of them wore an expression of dead parents as they walked to the front desk to start registering. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the area of Blue Star had expanded 10 million times. Between one city after another, the distance had expanded 10 million times as well. These extra areas were covered by mountains, lakes, swamps, and wastelands filled with wild monsters. Nowadays, if one wanted to travel from one city to another, the distance was even farther than when Wang Chuan left the country in his previous life. The 10,000 Beasts mountain range was precisely a large wild monster gathering place located 300 miles away from Dongling City. The wild monsters inside spanned a very wide range of levels, from the lowest level 10 red-eyed rats and crippled skeleton soldiers, all the way up to level 100 mountain forest giant apes and two-headed demon wolves that were equivalent to a human third-turned professional. For the professionals of Dongling City, the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was their paradise for upgrading and acquiring resources. Tut tut tut. The 10,000 Beast mountain range station has arrived. Please disembark in an orderly manner. 
The sound of the light rail arriving at the station rang out, and Wang Chen and Si Tiu, as well as a large number of professionals who had just picked up their quests at the Adventure Union, swarmed down from the light rail. Just as he stood on the ground of the station platform, Wang Chen felt a desolate air coming over him. Coming from Dongling City to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was like traveling through time and space from a technological world to a primitive world. There were no skyscrapers everywhere, as well as all sorts of objects full of technological flavor. What was there was just an endless wilderness and forests, as well as a huge mountain range in the distance that looked like a giant dragon creeping on the ground. Roar! Here, from time to time, the roars of wild monsters could be heard, as well as the panicked shouts of the budding professionals, as they were chased by the wild monsters. Is this the 10,000 Beasts mountain range? How come it feels a little different from what I saw on TV? Situ you looked around with a somewhat puzzled expression. To be precise, this is not quite the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Hearing this, Wang Chen opened his mouth to explain. This is just the outermost edge. Usually only ordinary people who haven't switched, and newcomers like us who have just switched will be active here. The monsters that appear here are usually small animals like demonized rabbits that don't have much attack power. The introductions you saw on TV about the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, those were all situations that could only be seen when you entered the depths. Oh, Situ you nodded, then blinked and turned her head to look over curiously, asking, Wang Chuan, I heard that bounty hunters are rampant amongst the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, and quite a few of the professionals who entered it, instead of being killed by the wild monsters, died in the hands of these bounty hunters. Have you ever seen a bounty hunter before? Hearing her words, Wang Chen touched his nose unnaturally. Where there was light, there was darkness, the will of the heavens revived, and the professionals came into being, and in this era where greatness was attributed to oneself, a strong power allowed mankind to preserve their existing homes, and at the same time, activated the darkness within some people. Bounty hunters, are one of them. They were a group of human scum who would do anything for money, normally hiding amongst the professionals, enjoying the peace that others desperately earned. Once they entered the wilderness, they would transform into vicious wolves, specializing in those professionals who had fallen alone, snatching possessions and murdering lives. It could be called no evil. Thinking in his heart, Wang Chen blankly glanced at the curious Si Tuyu. Big sister, can't you think well of me? He said somewhat breathlessly. In the past, I didn't switch jobs and run into bounty hunters. Do you think I can survive until now? At this moment, Wang Chen was even more sure that this girl was seriously ill, or else how could she ask such a retarded question? However, Si Tuyu didn't hear the dislike in Wang Chuan's tone. Instead, at this time, she had an indignant expression on her face. It's best if I didn't run into them. I've long heard that these guys have no evil in them. If they dare to look for my trouble, I'll shoot them into hedgehogs one arrow at a time. Clenching her pink fist, Situ Yu had a vicious look. Seeing this scene, Wang Duan did not hold back from rolling his eyes, looking at Situ Yu in a way that was more like looking at a retard. Bounty hunters were badasses, but they weren't idiots. In the boundaries of Dongling City, looking for trouble from the Situ family's eldest miss, wasn't that the old man hanging himself and suspecting he had a long life? Unless, these guys did not want to mix in the 10,000 beasts mountain range anymore. Thinking in his heart, Wang Tan glanced at the decoration that looked like a token on Situ Yu's waist. With this thing in place, in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, except for those wild monsters without eyes, it was estimated that no one would dare to take the initiative to mess with them. Hey, what do you mean? Is it because you don't believe what this young lady said? Seeing Wang Chuan's lack of interest, Situ Yu wrinkled her cute agaric nose and said with some dissatisfaction, No no, how could what you, Miss Situ, said be wrong? Hurry up and go. We still have to stay in the middle of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range for some time next. We still need to prepare some things. Wang Chen shrugged his shoulders, did not argue with Situ Yu, and left the station as if fleeing. Entering a wild monster gathering place like the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was not like going out to summer camp. There were many things that needed to be prepared. Food, water, tents and other necessities need not be mentioned. And Wang Chen had already prepared them in the big bag he was carrying, but some mosquito repellent, masking their own breath powder. These weekdays rarely use things, can only come to the periphery of the 10,000 beasts mountain range here to buy. Leaving the platform, Wang Chen directly brought Si Tuyu and headed to the flea market on the outskirts of the 10,000 beasts mountain range. This place was a spontaneous trading market formed by professionals who entered and left the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and it was small but complete. Equipment, props, elixirs, skill books, and other items could be said to be all available. Moreover, because this place was close to the 10,000 beasts mountain range, the prices of many items were cheaper than buying them at the trading market in Dongling City. However, because of the cheapness, 
It was even more important to keep one's eyes open when purchasing things here. If you buy defective and fake goods, then basically you have to recognize your own bad luck. There is no concept of after sales here. And it is expected that once you turn your head, you won't even be able to find the seller who sold you the item. When Wang Dust brought Situyu to the flea market, he found that the atmosphere here was incomparably warm and lively. Tearful sale, degrade spirit medicine silver moon grass 80 plants, sufficient medicinal potency, perfect quality. Don't 998, don't 888. As long as 668 you can take away 80 plants of silver moon grass. Don't miss it when you walk by. Freshly baked bronze grade staff, double attributes plus 10, with special effects to increase magic damage, no matter if it's to kill monsters or use it to give away. It's the first choice, a price of 300, 000 gold coins. Look, look, look. The South Border Adventure Group is disbanded. The leader ate, drank, hoard and gambled, and ran away with his sister-in-law, and the equipment that was originally priced at over 300, 000, 400, 000, and 500, 000 now only costs 100, 000 gold coins. I didn't expect that in the outskirts of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. There's such a bustling market. After arriving at the flea market, Sitiu looked at the noisy scene around him with the face of a curious baby. Especially, hearing, that adventurer who was selling equipment, extremely rhythmically said that the adventure group was disbanded and the boss ran away with his sister-in-law. This silly guy, his face actually showed a sympathetic expression. Wine dust, this uncle is so pitiful, abandoned by his companions. Should I buy all the equipment on his stall? One piece is only 200, 000. It's really cheap. Looking at Wang Chuan, Situ Yu hesitantly asked. Only, in an instant, Wang Dust's eyes became nonchalant as he looked at Situ Yu. Good fellow, how does $200,000 feel similar to $20 when it comes out of your mouth? Big sister, quickly collect your money ability. And, what gives you the feeling that this guy is pitiful? After slowly collecting his emotions, Wang Dust looked at Situ Yu speechlessly. An equipment worth half a million dollars for only 200, 000 dollars? Where under the heavens could there be such a good thing? What this guy was selling was either a defective item that was about to be scrapped, or else, it was a fake item that was made using a camouflage scroll. However, seeing Sityu looking like he really wanted to buy it, Wang Dust rolled his eyes and did not directly tell her this cruel truth. After all, there were some things that would only be remembered longest after experiencing them for oneself. Moreover, that adventurer, whether he dared to sell something to Sityu or not, was still an unknown. Of course we can. We came here to prepare things, as long as you can take it, you can buy as much as you want, however, I think you definitely won't be able to make this deal. Nodding indifferently, Wang Dust hid the laughter under his eyes. Hoomph, impossible. Also, I brought the biggest space equipment in the house with me when I came here, it's a full thousand cubits, so even more things can fit. Hearing this city you beamed in defiance and leapt towards the vendor. Behind, Wang Chen unnaturally touched his nose. Holy cow! Spatial equipment with an area of 1,000 cubic meters? In today's Blue Star, spatial equipment, something that was incomparably magical in Wang Chuan's previous life, had also appeared with the revival of the will of the heavens. However, it was not something that ordinary people could play with. A most ordinary space equipment, the kind with an area of 3 cubic meters, was sold for as much as a million and a half gold coins. A thousand cubic meters? Wang Chuan felt that this was worth at least not less than a small goal? Foolish young girl, I have to admit that I was indeed loaded by you. Hello beautiful lady, feel free to pick whatever you like. Each piece is only 200, 000 gold coins. The adventurer boss who was yelling hard, his eyes lit up when he saw Situyu walking towards him, and hurriedly greeted him with a smile on his face. I'll just take a look. Situyu also grew a mindful eye at this time, not saying his intention straight away, picking up the equipment laid out on the road and checking it out. The attributes of this equipment are very good. Is it really only 200? Zero 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 dollars? After seeing that the equipment that was just picked up casually were all fine pieces of bronze level equipment, Situ Yu's expression was somewhat surprised. Although she usually didn't care much about low grade bronze level equipment, she still had the least common sense. A fine bronze level equipment was, at worst, over three hundred thousand dollars. Of course, beautiful lady, all of these equipments that I have on display only cost two hundred thousand gold coins apiece. There's no other way to sell them like this. The adventure group was disbanded and that damned leader of ours, owed a lot of foreign debts, and now in order to pay off the debts we can only sell the equipment cheaply. Hearing Situ use words, a flash of surprise flashed in the eyes of the stall's owner, but his face still pretended to be sad. For this kind of newcomer who appeared to be fresh out of school, the boss knew very well that his sad persona should never crumble. 
then this is such a great deal, you pack all the equipment here for me, I'll take it all. Hearing that, Situyu Qianyu hand waved, very boldly took out a platinum card piece. At this time, Situyu's heart was overwhelmed with joy, she felt that she had taken advantage of a great bargain. If these equipments were to be sold in the city, the price would at least go up by 30 to 40 percent, and she would be able to earn a lot by then. He he he, I'll definitely be able to impress Pops this time. Silently thinking in her heart, Situyu handed the platinum card to the vendor boss. Swipe the card. Upon hearing this, the vendor boss, who was beautifully prepared to receive the card, fixed his eyes and was directly startled. Crap, a platinum card? He looked up at the beautiful young girl in front of him, his eyes filled with shock. In today's blue star, a platinum card was not something that anyone was qualified to hold. It had to be an asset that reached a certain amount in order to obtain it from the bank. If the vendor boss remembered correctly, in the entire Dongling city, the number of people who possessed this card added up to less than a handful. How could the vendor boss not have thought that the young girl in front of him, who looked silly and sweet, would have such a precious platinum card? This is definitely someone he can't afford to offend. Silently thinking in his heart, the vendor boss carefully sized up the young girl in front of him. This look immediately caused his expression to become even more shocked, while his entire body unconsciously bent over. Situ, that was the Situ family's identity token, which only the most direct line of clan members could hold. The young maiden didn't need to say much. It was bound to be the Situ family's most outstanding genius of this generation. Situ you. So it's Miss Situ. I'm sorry, I have something temporary to do today, so I won't be selling these equipments for now. Effortlessly averting his eyes from the platinum card, the vendor boss carefully said, selling these fake goods to the Situ family's great miss, he wouldn't dare even if he was given a hundred guts. What? Are you regretting it? I can slightly raise the price for you a little more. Seeing that the vendor boss did not intend to sell, Situyu thought that it was because the other party felt that the selling price was too low. However, after she offered to raise the price, the vendor boss still shook his head firmly. What a joke. I wouldn't even dare to sell at the original price. But to increase the price? I haven't lived long enough. For a while, the vendor boss couldn't even bother to explain to Situyu. After all, he didn't have anything to explain. Directly with the fabric spread on the ground, the equipment above rolled up and packed. And then a smoke carry bag ran. Ran. Looking at the fleeing vendor boss, Situyu was directly dumbfounded. What is this situation? I'm just talking about a price. How can I directly scare the boss away? On the side, Wang Duan, who stood back and watched the whole process, tried his best to hold back his urge to laugh. Ha! Now know that I'm not wrong. You definitely can't do this deal. In the flea market, Situyu's entire body was messed up. How could she not have thought that she was just haggling over a price and directly scared the human boss into running away with her bag? Wang Duan, is this something you messed up? Deflating her mouth, Situ Yu's eyes looked at Wang Duan with an aggrieved expression. If it wasn't, she simply couldn't figure out why Wang Chuan would know in advance that she couldn't make this deal. This has nothing to do with me. It's your reason. Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan hurriedly shook his head and denied it. This had nothing to do with him. It was clearly that vendor boss who ran away for fear of selling fake goods to Situ Yu and being retaliated by the Situ family. Then explain to me why you knew in advance? Situyu was very dissatisfied with this answer, and looked at Wang Chuan with an exasperated look, her head directly coming over, exhaling like an orchid. You, the sudden attack caught Wang Chuan off guard, looking at the pretty face in front of him that was close at hand. He took a step back with some disgust. Good fellow, the little master's innocence was almost accounted for here. After thinking about it, Wang Chen looked at the unforgiving Situyu and decided to explain. Otherwise, he felt that he would be annoyed to death by this fellow next. It's not because, He's afraid of retaliation for selling fake goods. Dragging Situyu aside, Wang Chen whispered into her ear. It can't be? Those equipment attributes of his don't seem to be a problem? After listening to Wang Chuan's explanation, Situyu's expression became even more puzzled. Just now she had gotten her hands on the equipment to check its information, and it didn't look like a fake in any way. Haven't you ever heard of a disguise scroll? Wang Dust asked a rhetorical question at this time. He was somewhat skeptical that this young girl in front of him was afraid that her good grades in school were not bought by virtue of her ability to pay money. How could she ask such a common sense question? Disguise scroll? Upon hearing this, a dawning realization appeared on Situ Yu's face. This was a kind of magic scroll sealed with a camouflage technique, which could camouflage the information of an item within a certain time limit. After figuring out the situation, the young girl skimmed her mouth at the moment, the aggression on her face turning into irritation as she huffed. Damnable fellow. To use such underhanded means to deceive people. As she spoke, a flash of cunning flashed through Situyu's jewel-like eyes. Then, 
She took the identity token hanging from her waist and received it among her spatial equipment. After doing this, she winked at Wang Chen and said smugly, These guys are so hateful, this girl will catch them in the act and make them sit through the bottom of the jail. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust helplessly rolled his eyes. Normally, I didn't even see that this girl was full of righteousness. Go go go. There aren't that many crooks here for you to catch. After buying something, we'll enter the 10,000 beasts mountain range. Shaking his head, Wang Chen was the first to walk towards the interior of the flea market. Behind him, Situyu followed with righteousness. At this moment, the way she looked at those vendors around her, she looked at anyone like a crook. At the same time, at the moment Situyu took off her identity token, not far away from the stall, a middle-aged man with a martial appearance flashed a touch of helplessness in his eyes when he saw this. Little Jade, this girl, why did she put away the identity token? This is great. I'm afraid that my hard-earned vacation is going to become unsettled. And that damnable brat, knowing full well the function of this identity token, how could he not stop it? The handsome middle-aged man shook his head and casually threw the item in his hand onto the stall. In response, that stall owner didn't dare to have the slightest objection, but instead accompanied a smile with a respectful face. This was because on the sleeves of this martial middle-aged man, there were three dragon-shaped inscriptions embroidered with golden threads. This was clearly a powerful third-turn powerhouse. After purchasing some wilderness survival items, Wang Chuan and Situyu then officially began to set off. The area where the Golden Scaled Python is active is located at the junction of the outer and central regions of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Between our current location and this region, there are quite a few strong wild monsters inhabiting the area. Walking through the forest, Situyu held the electronic map and pointed excitedly, rather with an air of pointing out the mountains. The electronic map, which was distributed free of charge by the Adventure Labor Union to every registered adventurer, briefly introduced the location of the wild monsters in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. The purpose was to prevent some weak adventurers from accidentally entering the area of some strong wild monsters and losing their lives on the spot. Among these wild monsters, the ones that pose the most threat to the two of us are the Goblin Horde, the Blizzard Wolf Pack, and the Minotaur Camp. When the time comes, we can bypass these three gatherings of wild monsters. What do you think, Wang Duan? Situyu handed the electronic map to Wang Duan and asked for his opinion. Seeing this, Wang Dust looked at the excited young girl and subconsciously touched his nose. Big sister, do you know that going the way you are going, the time we spend will be at least double? No need to be so troublesome. He reached out and took the electronic map, then directly drew a straight line on it. A straight line between two points is the shortest. It's too much of a waste of time to make a detour or something. Speaking indifferently, Wang Chen returned the electronic map to Situyu. Upon hearing this, Situyu's expression was a bit stunned as he hesitantly asked. Rushing like this? Isn't the risk too great? Her concern was not without reason. The goblins and blizzard wolves. Although they were only challenge level 20 wild monsters, they lived in packs and appeared in numbers of at least hundreds every time. And the danger was great for some senior adventurers. However, hearing her words, Wang Chen firmly shook his head. Isn't this better? We can come to the 10,000 beasts mountain range not only to complete the quest, but also to level up for the big exam in a month. The wild monsters are strong and provide more experience value, which is most suitable for us. As he spoke, Wang Dust glanced at the young girl with a slightly deeper meaning. That said, you're not afraid, are you? He asked. I, I'm not, it's just that you, this guy, don't even have a beast pet. Don't drag your feet for me when the time comes. Situyu waved her small fists in defiance. And as she said that, she suddenly covered her mouth in embarrassment and looked at Wang Chen with a hint of apology in her eyes. I'm sorry, I'm not. She explained in a somewhat flustered manner. Upon hearing this, Wang Dust waved his hand indifferently. The situation of the giant imperial beastmaster was known to everyone, and what Situyu had said was merely a representation of the public's perception. And, who told you that I don't have a beast pet? Wang Chen looked at Situyu and asked with a smile, does it even need to be said? Hearing Wang Chuan's words, Situyu's face became even more embarrassed and she lowered her head. Giant beasts are so rare, you can't find one in the entire Dongling city or even the entire southern border province. I went back and asked my father. And he said that the registered giant beasts in the Dragon Kingdom today add up to less than five, and all of them are in the hands of those seventh turn powerhouses. In the forest, Situyu's voice became smaller and smaller as she spoke, and in the end, it was like a mosquito's voice. She felt that what she said at this moment, she was afraid that she had hurt Wang Chen's heart. Worried, she quietly raised her head to look at Wang Chuan and realized that the expression on the teenager's face did not fluctuate in the slightest after her words fell. Wang Chen, you won't be angry with me, right? Lowering her head, Situyu asked with some embarrassment. No, Wang Chen shook his head indifferently. 
you're telling the truth. Why would I be angry with you? Moreover, I also have a beast pet. As he spoke, he directly summoned little Ice Ching, who was impatiently staying in the royal beast space. Out. Swish. Light flashed. The creature, which was blue in color and looked like a fine work of art, appeared on Wang Chen's shoulder. Wha? As soon as it appeared, Bing Ching screamed in dissatisfaction, and its icy little claws messed up Wang Chuan's hair. This little fellow, in the middle of the royal beast space, was about to go crazy from holding it in. All right, all right, don't make a scene. After gently rubbing Bing Ching's head to calm this little guy down, Wang Chuan turned his head to look at Situ Yu. First time meeting, let me introduce you. This is my beast pet, Bing Ching. Wu. After Wang Chuan's words fell, little Bing Ching looked at Situ Yu with a face full of curiosity and extended his tiny dragon claw in a polite manner. Hello. Situ Yu subconsciously extended his hand, and his entire body was confused. Wasn't Wang Chen's occupation a giant beast royalist? Where did he find the giant beasts from? Or was it? The cold sensation in her hand allowed Situ Yu to recover her mind. She looked at Wang Chuan and then at Bing Chung, her face full of doubts. Wang. Wang Chuan, is this your beast pet? Is she a giant beast? After freezing for a moment, Situ Yu asked with some disbelief. Of course. Wang Dust directly nodded. He would definitely summon Bing Ching to fight in the next part of his journey. So there was no need to hide it from Situ Yu. Not only is Bing Ching a giant beast, but it's also a dragon. Of course. Wang Chuan still had some reservations. After all, the name of the ancestral divine beast Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon was still a bit too shocking, and it would not be good to scare little kids. Stop it. Sit to you, who was originally not very convinced, became even more disbelieving after hearing Wang Chuan's words. Dragon? What a joke. How could this kind of creature, whose rank was at the very least a divine beast level, appear in Dongling City? Moreover, which dragon was not mighty and domineering, hideous and strong? The little Bingqing in front of him was as beautiful as if it was the finest work of art, and looked adorable. How could it be a dragon? You must have used a contract scroll to trick me with an ordinary beast pet. But little Bingqing looks so cute. Where did you buy it? I want to buy one too. Situyu gave Wang Duan a skeptical look, then directly snatched Ice Ching and held it in her arms with a face full of love. In today's Blue Star, beast pets were not exclusive to royal beast masters. Other professions could also use contract scrolls to contract beast pets to enhance their combat power. The only difference was that other professions were not able to obtain the attribute feedback of the beast pet like the imperial beast master. Therefore, Situ Yu's words were not without reason, and she was completely treating Bing Chang, at this point, as an ordinary beast pet that Wang Chen had bought. Ha! The poor pride of a teenager. Situ Yu glanced at Wang Chuan proudly. She looked as if I had seen through it all. So don't talk tough anymore. Opposite. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen rolled his eyes speechlessly. I'm so sincere but you don't even believe me? What a stupid woman. You're right about everything. Let's hurry up and get going. Shaking his head, he was too lazy to explain to this girl who didn't know what she had brainstormed. The truth would teach this girl a good lesson. At those words, Siti Yu hugged Bing Cheng with a face full of complacency. However, at this moment, she did not act, but instead, she smiled and took out an equipment from her spatial ring and handed it to Wang Chen. It was a long sword with flickering streams of light. Bing Cheng is so cute. It's simply too cruel to let her fight. This is the equipment that I eliminated and didn't use. So I'll lend it to you first. Seeing this, Wang Dust rubbed his nose and looked at Situ Yu with some strange eyes. Things seemed a bit off ah. This girl, knowing that he was a giant beast master and the chances of contracting a beast pet were very slim, still dared to send out an invitation to form a team. And now she was borrowing equipment. What is she trying to do? Could it be that she wanted to help the poor? Noticing Wang Chen's burning gaze, Situ Yu could not help but have a blush spread across her face. Don't misunderstand, the young girl said with a bit of a squirm. I'm worried that you're dragging your feet and affecting my upgrade speed. The hell I believe you. Spitting in his heart, Wang Chuan carefully sized up the young girl in front of him. Her appearance was delicate and elegant, and her large, jewel-like eyes were slightly flustered. There was no longer the appearance of an iceberg schoolgirl in front of other students on weekdays. Looks extremely attractive. The only drawback is that the family is too rich but where there is a bit of ups and downs. Alas, sighing, Wang Chan retrieved his disorganized thoughts. What do you mean by sighing? On the opposite side, Situ Yu looked over with a suspicious face. Were you just thinking about some very rude things? Nothing, just thought of a sad thing. Shaking his head, Wang Chan received the equipment with a somewhat averted look in his eyes. Good fellow, did I act so obviously? Muttering in his heart, he checked the information of this equipment. Equipment, Blast Wind Long Sword. Type, melee weapon. Grade, silver. Level limit, level 10. 
Attributes, Strength plus 30, Agility plus 20, Enchantment Effect, 1, every time an attack hits a target, its own attack speed increases by 2% for 10 seconds, with a maximum stacking of 5 times, 2, the power of all their own skills increased by 5%, 3, double attack, when attacking, there is a 20% probability that a sword chi equal to the damage of this attack will be summoned to attack the enemy. Silver level equipment? And it possesses 3 enchantment special effects? Seeing the attribute information of this equipment, a flash of astonishment flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. This was definitely an extreme silver equipment. The attributes and value, compared to the novice long sword in his hand, was simply a heaven and a hell. Without even needing to ask, just based on this attribute information, Wang Chuan dared to conclude that the price of this blizzard longsword was at least 4 million gold coins or more. In an instant, he held the blast wind longsword and only felt a heavy weight in his hands. How is it? Isn't the attribute very good? This is something I picked out on purpose. Sit to you, who was on the side, saw Wang Chen's appearance and came over with a smile. Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan, who had returned to his senses, looked at the coquettishly smiling young girl in front of him with a somewhat tangled expression. Oops. Is this the killing power of a rich woman? It feels like my stance is going to be unsteady. Forest. Whoa. A clear chirping sound rang out, and the extreme cold dragon Bing Ching uneasily rubbed against Si Yu's arms, her two big, cute eyes looking curiously at her master. She was a little puzzled. Her master. Why did his expression suddenly become so strange? The slightly dull atmosphere between the scenes was broken after Bing Ching's shout rang out. Wang Chen awkwardly rubbed his nose and solemnly looked at Si Yu. Thank you. I will return the equipment to you after leaving the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Aha! Uh -huh. Upon hearing this, the young girl nodded imperceptibly and averted her eyes somewhat. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan did not say much. Saying too much would instead become even more awkward later. Next, he replaced the novice longsword on his body with the blast wind longsword, and his own four-dimensional attributes. Saw an increase. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Royal Beast Master. Level, 10. Talent, 10,000 Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Strength, 70 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 70 plus 5 points. Physique, 70 plus 5 points. Agility, 70 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unassigned Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 0 points. Counting the equipment's enchantment. Now the highest strength and agility attributes among his four-dimensional attributes had reached 195 points respectively. This attribute value was already comparable to that of a level 20 first turn professional. From this, it could be seen how great the improvement of good equipment was for a professional. Of course, this was also due to the fact that the attribute feedback that Wang Chuan had obtained from the extreme cold dragon, Ding Chang, was strong enough. If it was an ordinary budding professional, even if they wore a full set of gold equipment, their attributes would not be able to reach Wang Dust's level. Let's set off next. Let's first go to the first wild monster gathering point on the map, level up, and familiarize ourselves with the coordination in the meantime. After looking at his attribute panel, Wang Dust twisted his head and proposed, Good. Situ Yu nodded at his words. The two of them then began to rush. Shortly after the two had left, four hurried figures appeared in the forest. These four people were neatly equipped and polished with a slight childishness on their faces, clearly all budding professionals who had just recently switched professions. Young Chen, the two of them are going east. One of them observed the ground for a moment before saying to the companion beside him, the one who was addressed as Chen Xiao was a pale-faced youth. If it was Wang Chen and Si Yu again, they would definitely realize that he was none other than Chen Hao. Ha! Go after them, and when they encounter a wild monster, you guys make your move and waste Wang Chen. Chen Hao sneered at this moment his sight sweeping over his three followers, remember, don't hurt sit to you, or don't blame me for being impolite to you, understood young Chen, the three people beside him all nodded their heads in response, seeing this, Chen Hao nodded in satisfaction, his eyes somewhat excited, as long as he eradicated Wang Dust, the mud blood, and popped out to heroically rescue the beauty himself, he would definitely be able to win the goddess's heart, go, with anticipation in his heart, he waved his arm and took his followers and stride to chase after Wang Chen and Situ Yu in the direction they had left. Here it is. Ahead is the area where the sinking demon is active. An hour later, the duo of Wang Chuan and Situ Yu appeared in the middle of the first wild monster habitat area labeled on the electronic map. This was a valley in the primitive forest, with an overall pocket-like shape and an area roughly equivalent to a soccer field. At this moment, Wang Chen and Situ Yu were standing behind a large tree, 
Observing the situation in the distant valley, it could be seen that in the valley, there were greenskinned dwarfs numbering in the hundreds, who were gathered in twos and threes, either playing around or cooking something in huge clay pots. If their ugly appearance was ignored, this place looked like some kind of primitive tribe. These greenskinned dwarfs were the challenge level 15 wild monsters, the sinking devils. Don't look at their name with the word devil in it, but the status of the sinking devil in the wild monster circle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range was actually not even as good as the goblins that were about the same size as them. These guys were timid by nature, and a budding professional who had just switched professions would be able to single-handedly take one on. However, sinking devils never acted alone, and when they encountered enemies they would often swarm together. Therefore, for a newly transformed professional, the danger of these guys is still quite high. Moreover, there are also some mutated individuals amongst the sinking devils that awaken some special skills. For example, the sinking demon sorcerer, strong sinking demon warrior, these mutated individuals with a challenge level of 20. At this moment, this sinking demon gathering that Wang Chuan and Situyu had discovered possessed this kind of mutated individual, and there was more than one in number. Monster, sinking demon warrior, level, 15. Fighting style, melee, skills, bite, charge, type, normal. Monster, Sinking Demon Wizard, Level, 20, Battle Style, Remote Output, Aid, Skills, Elementary Healing, Poisonous Rays, Type, Mutation, Monster, Strong Sinking Demon Warrior, Level, 20, Level, 20, Fighting Style, Melee, Skills, Skin Hardening, Bite, Charge, Type, Mutation, After the Trees, Wang Chuan released a scrying spell towards the sunken demons in the valley, seeing the information that came back from the scrying spell. A flash of color flashed under his eyes. Two mutated sinking devils. And one of them was a rare sinking devil wizard. This luck of his and Sit to use was no one else's. What now? On the side. Sit to you, who had also viewed the attributes of this group of sinking devils, had a grave expression and turned his head towards Wang Chen and asked. Although the strength of the sinking demon sorcerers and strong sinking demon warriors was only raised by five levels from the ordinary sinking demons, the significance was completely different. These guys, once they appeared afterward, were the backbone to the timid and cowardly sinking devils. With them present, the combat power that hundreds of sinking devils could exert was at least 30 to 40 percent stronger than when they were not present. Even though Situyu was one of the top geniuses in Dongling City's first high school and was wearing a full set of silver armor, he was a little scared when he ran into the hundreds of commanding sinking devils. But, of course it's cool, seeing the gravity on Situyu's face, Wang Chen indifferently spread his hands with a very relaxed expression on his face, since he had already bumped into it. There was naturally no way he would give up this large wave of wild monsters. The blast wind longsword had just arrived, and he still wanted to try out whether the sword was sharp or not. Then we use the lure monster tactic? Lure the sinking devils out one by one to kill them? Between the woods, Situyu asked after pondering for a moment. For a long-range profession like her, the kite flow was a good choice. However, no. Wang Chen directly shook his head at his words. Without the presence of these two mutated individuals, the monster luring tactic would have worked well. But right now, these guys won't fall for it so easily. Then what do you mean? Situyu looked at Wang Chen with some confusion. Of course it's to kill them directly. Wang Chuan silently held the blast wind longsword in his hand, speaking as if he was talking about a trivial matter. Are you crazy? At those words, Situyu couldn't help but let out a low cry. The expression on her face filled with shock. There were hundreds of sinking devils in the middle of the valley, and there were also two mutated individuals commanding them and their combined strength could at least be comparable to an elite adventuring squad with an average level of 15. Although Situyu was confident in her own strength, she didn't think that she and Wang Duan together could go head-to-head -head with these sinking devils. Seeing the young girl's look of disbelief, the expression on Wang Dust's face did not fluctuate in the slightest as he explained. Actually, the danger is not as great as you think. The sinking devils are timid by nature. As long as we surprise them and quickly kill the two mutated individuals, then the remaining sinking devils will rot themselves without a command. At that time, these green-skinned dwarfs will not pose a threat to us at all, except for their high numbers. No way. Situyu shook her head and rejected outright. She still felt it was too risky. Those two mutated individuals are in the very center of the valley. If we want to encounter them, we must at least first resolve the dozens of sinking demons blocking the way. If we execute the decapitation plan in this situation, I'm afraid that we'll be dragged down by those ordinary sinking devils before we can even touch the target. And, as she spoke, Situyu looked at Wang Duan fixedly, her expression hesitant, as if it was somewhat difficult to speak. But after a pause, she continued, and with my profession, I'm not suitable for this kind of decapitation operation. Once I'm deep in the siege, my advantages won't be able to be utilized at all. 
At these words, Wang Dust gave Situ Yu a speechless look. Big sister, it always feels like your idea offends me a bit. You don't think that I proposed this decapitation plan with the intention of letting you carry it out, do you? This is too much of a look down on someone like me. Wang, don't worry. Your strengths lie in high burst damage and high agility. How could I possibly let you go into melee combat with a sinking demon? In a moment, your task is to stand at the back and release cold arrows. Bing Qing will protect you from the side. Shaking his head, Wang Dust said indifferently, Are you crazy? You don't even have a beast pet. So what are you going to use to perform decapitation tactics? Hearing his words, Situ Yu was anxious. A giant beast royalist without a beast pet was not much stronger than those living professions. In Situ Yu's opinion, Wang Chen was only able to bully ordinary sinking devils now that he was equipped with the blizzard longsword. Trying to kill sinking demon wizards and strong sinking demon warriors was simply hopeless. And just this, is still she because of Wang Dust's excellent performance in actual combat. Try to estimate as high as possible. Originally, Situ Yu didn't want to say these words for fear of hurting Wang Chuan's self-esteem, but when she saw this hateful guy in front of her with a determined look, she couldn't care less about that. Wang Chen smiled helplessly at his words. Good fellow, I just said that I contracted a beast pet, but you didn't believe a word of it. Big sister, are you really treating little Bingqing as a beautiful ornamental beast pet? That's why Ice Qing thought that these sinking devils were too weak and didn't bother to take action. Otherwise, these sinking devils packed together wouldn't be enough for her to swallow in one gulp. The matter is settled. I'm not as delicate as you think. Shaking his head, Wang Chen decided not to give Situ Yu another chance to speak. With a movement of his feet, his body seemed like a cannonball as he jumped directly into the middle of the valley. Hey, Wang Chen? Seeing this scene, Situ Yu stomped her foot in exasperation. Little Bing Ching, this master of yours is simply abominable. Where could he be so reckless? It's safe here. You stay here and don't move. In a moment, sister will come back for you. Waving her hand and taking out a longbow with flickering streams of light, Situ Yu placed Bing Cheng on the ground and instructed her, then hurriedly chased after her. Wu, in the back, little Bing Cheng saw the scene and a puzzled expression appeared on her cute face. How did the soft mat run away? Wu, what a strange human. Obviously it's safest by my side. What's the point of running blindly? It's better to go after it. I can't disobey my master's orders. Thinking doubtfully, Bing Cheng swung her small wings and followed behind Situ Yu and on the other side, there was a thud, Wang Chuan's upright body fell into the middle of the valley as if it was a cannonball, instantly attracting the attention of the surrounding sinking devils, these green-skinned dwarfs, after seeing the human who appeared in the valley, all had puzzled expressions on their ugly faces, what the hell, are humans now so thoughtful in their service that they have started delivering goods to the door, roar, but soon, the ten or so sinking demons that were closest to them let out an incomparably excited roar, it was the first time they had ever, Seen a human who took the initiative to deliver to their door. Kiriku. Roar. Kirigiru. A sinking demon looked at Wang Chuan with fierce and cruel eyes, and disgusting mucus dripped from its hideous mouth. The human's aura made them want to go crazy. Finally, a sinking demon that could not resist its ferocious nature excitedly rushed towards Wang Dust. Its speed was extremely fast, like a cheetah on the attack, and its ugly face was filled with the desire for fresh blood and flesh. It couldn't wait to see the image of the human in front of it being torn to pieces by itself and it couldn't wait to savor the fresh human flesh and blood. As soon as it moved, the surrounding sinking devils that reacted instantly followed suit. In just a blink of an eye, Wang Chuan was in a predicament where he was surrounded by dozens of sinking devils. Ha ha ha, the sinking demon is really looking for death. As Wang Chen fell into the surroundings of the sinking devils, a suppressed laughter resounded from behind a large tree outside the valley. Chun Hao's face wore a fastidious expression as he looked ahead with disdainful eyes. How could he not have imagined that Wang Chen? A waste of a man who had transmuted to a giant beast master, would dare to mess with hundreds of level 15 wild monster sinking devils? Moreover, it was still a large group of them once he messed with them. He he, you still think you're the genius you once were? This group of sinking devils should be treated solemnly even by a squad of level 15 professionals. Looks like it saves me from having to make a move. You're waiting to be torn to pieces, thinking disdainfully in his heart. A flash of cruelty flashed across Chen Hao's eyes. He couldn't wait to see the scene where Wang Chen was torn into pieces. In the valley, facing the sinking demons rushing up around him, Wang Chen's face did not show the slightest bit of fear. Instead, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Ha! Seeking your own death, he let out a cold snort under his breath, and his blizzard longsword swept out horizontally. There was a swish sound. Between the flashes of cold light, the sinking demon that lunged towards Wang Chuan first was directly slit in the throat. A single strike was a sure kill. After resolving the first sinking devil, without the slightest hesitation, Wang Chuan moved his feet, 
his body was like a sharp sword, directly chiseling into the surrounding sinking devils. At this moment, he was like a butterfly wearing flowers, fluttering in the surroundings of dozens of sinking devils, and every time he swung his wings, he would inevitably bring up a handful of blood flowers, accompanied by a sinking devil falling to the ground. There were no surprises. All the sunken devils that faced Wang Chuan simply couldn't support more than a single move under his sword. Generally speaking, a newly transferred professional, even a warrior in a melee profession, holding a silver level longsword at level 10, would not be able to kill a level 15 sinking devil with a single blow. However, Wang Chuan was different. The attributes fed back to him by the Dragon of Extreme Cold, Ice Chang, made his four-dimensional attributes nowadays comparable to that of a level 20 professional in a naked state. Coupled with his excellent combat instincts, as well as his bug-level body control, every attack he made was bound to hit the deadly parts of the sinking demon. All of this added up, allowing Wang Dust to explode with terrifying killing power at this moment. The 15-level full-state sinking devil fell as if it had been mowed down. In less than 30 seconds, 20 of the sinking devils that rushed up died under his long sword. This, outside the valley, Chan Hao, who wore an evil and impetuous expression on his face, stagnated in laughter like a duck that had been strangled. He looked at the figure in the valley as if he was strolling idly, the expression on his face extremely shocked. Wang Dust. Surprisingly, he wasn't torn to pieces by the sinking demon in the first place, but instead, he even counter-killed? This T was a budding newcomer who had just switched. The three followers next to Chun Hao also had expressions of incomparable shock on their faces. In their hearts, they were even beating the drum of retreat at the same time. Wang Dust could easily kill the sinking demon and surely he could easily kill them who had just been transferred. No matter how good the things Chen Hao promised were, they had to have the life to take them. Young Chen, why don't we just forget about it? For a moment, the three little followers hesitated for a moment, and one of them asked apprehensively, forget it? Chen Hao heard the trepidation in his followers' words and waved his hand as he flung a pocket over. No way, this guy is going to die here today no matter what. If you guys dare to disobey orders, I'll go back and get you all killed. Speaking viciously under his breath, Chen Hao twisted his head to look at the stern figure in the valley. Wine dust, what makes you so strong for a trash profession? He thought spitefully, a frantic killing intent appeared on his face, and a moment later he said icily, when those two mutant wild monsters make their move, the three of you make your move and use your binding skills to control him for me. Let him die in the hands of the mutated wild monsters. As the words fell, under his ferocious gaze, the three followers reluctantly moved their feet toward the, in the valley. After the deaths of the sinking demons, clusters of dull light floated up on their corpses. These clusters of light quickly split into two halves, half of which disappeared into Wang Chuan's body, and half of which flew towards Bing Cheng. These were the life energy gained after killing a sinking demon, which was also jokingly called experience value by the professionals. For Wang Chuan, the experience value provided by the death of a sinking demon could increase his experience slot to level 11 by one tenth. Twenty sinking devils were just enough to fill up his experience slot to level 11. As the last ball of light was absorbed, Wang Chen felt a warm power surge in his body. Upgraded, with joy in his heart, he sidestepped a sinking demon's attack and took the time to glance at his and Bing Ching's attribute panels. Beast Pet, Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon. Nickname, Bing Chung. Gender, Female. Age, Not Yet Full Moon, Juvenile. Rank, Level 2. Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast. Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS. Four Dimensional Attributes, Strength 550, Wisdom 550. Physique 550, Agility 550, without any buffs, equipment, or props to enhance it. Skills, Frost Body, SSS. Extreme Cold Spit, SSS. Cold Hell, SSS. Dragon Might, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, None. Introduction 1 The Dragon of Extreme Cold, the Ancient Overlord, is the present manifestation of the Law of Ice Origin, the only ancestral divine beast of the ice attribute, with unlimited potential and can switch between combat state and normal state at any time. 2. The Dragon of Extreme Cold will inevitably awaken SSS ranked talent skills every time it advances. Name, Wine Dust. Profession, Giant Royal Beast Master. Level, 11. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Strength, 75 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 75 plus 5 points. Physique, 75 plus 5 points. Agility, 75 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unassigned attribute points, 10 points. Unassigned attribute points, 10 points. Unassigned skill points, 10 points. Unassigned skill points, 10 points. Hiss. Worthy of being an ancestral divine beast, every time one level was raised, 
All attributes were raised by 50 points. It was simply perverse. Seeing Bing Ching's new attribute information, Wang Chen thought with some shock in his heart. It wasn't like him, now that he had turned one. After each level up, he could only gain 10 free attribute points, as well as 10 free skill points. Bing Ching's ascension up a level was equivalent to 20 times his. It was completely out of this world. It seems that in the future, I'll have to hold on tight to Bing Ching's thigh, with an amused thought in his heart. Wang Chuan distributed the 10 free attribute points evenly over the 4 attributes, with the attributes fed back by the Dragon of Extreme Cold. He didn't even need to prioritize the 4 attributes like other professionals, and could completely develop in a comprehensive and balanced manner. As for the free skill points, they were kept by him. All of the skills he currently possessed were Imperial Beast Master related vocational skills. With the SSS level talent beast attachment, all of his vocational skills, the effect is enhanced by 1000%. For the time being, there is no need to spend skill points on these skills to enhance the effect. These skill points, he intended to save them for later when he learned generalized attack skills. Phew, after resolving this nest of sinking devils, I'll almost be able to level up to 15. After upgrading, Wang Dust was full of motivation and waved his longsword to battle with the surrounding sinking devils once again. However, at this moment, he suddenly realized that after he did it, sit to you, the long range output, didn't move at all. Swish, slicing the throat of a sinking demon that was trying to sneak attack from the left, Wang Chuan took the time to look behind him. Missy, are you planning to be a cheerleader for me? Can you stop posing? If you don't do it, the sinking devils will all be killed by me. This, seeing Wang Dust swimming comfortably in the surroundings of the sinking devils, Situ Yu's entire body went numb. She, who had bent her bow and arrow in preparation for launching an attack, completely forgot what she was supposed to do at this moment. Her mind and sight moved closely along with the figure that was rolling around in the surroundings of the sinking devils. This fellow, so strong? Situ Yu muttered wondering if she was seeing an illusion. If it was in the past, someone had told her that a budding professional who had just switched professions was able to rampage through hundreds of level 15 wild monsters, and even slaughter the wild monsters in turn. Situ you would definitely think that this person was sick. But now, as she looked at the figure that was riding easily in the surroundings of the sinking demons, the only thing in her heart was shock and disbelief. When, a giant imperial beast master without a beast pet was so terrifying in strength? She invited Wang Dust to team up and come to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range to practice, with the purpose of bringing this guy. However, now she suddenly realized that she seemed to have turned into the party being brought. Little Bing Ching, your master, he, is a monster, right? Twisting her head to look at little Ice Ching who was flying aside. Situ Yu muttered, previously in school, when everyone hadn't switched jobs, Wang Dust's grades and strength had dangled over everyone, and the number one position had never wavered. After transferring, Situ Yu had thought that he had successfully assumed the special profession wind shooter and would be able to catch up with or even surpass Wang Chen, the giant beast master. As a result, now that I look at it, not only has the gap between the two not narrowed, but it's become even bigger. What the hell? Are you a special profession? Or am I a special profession? Situ Yu was confused. Woohoo! Hearing her words, little Ice Ching, who felt all warm and fuzzy after the upgrade, poked Situ Yu's face with her little dragon claw in dissatisfaction. Stupid human woman, you stood here posing for half a day, but you still have the nerve to say bad things about my master? I'll poke and prod. Situ Yu was a little tickled by Bing Ching's little paw poke, and waved his hand just as he was about to slap it away. Just then, he suddenly heard Wang Chen's voice. Ah, uh, turning his head to meet Wang Chen's somewhat teasing gaze, Situ Yu's pretty face flushed, and a flash of panic flashed through his eyes. But immediately after, when she thought of Wang Chen saying that she was posing, she was a bit unconvinced. Sure enough, it's still so annoying. This young lady is not going to be a cheerleader for you. Humph. With a cold snort, Situyu bent her bow and arrow. Whoosh. With a piercing wind-breaking sound, an arrow heavily hit a sinking demon that was trying to sneak up on Wang Dust. There was a bang. This arrow directly penetrated the heart of the sinking demon and fixed it on the ground. Killed in seconds. After doing this, Situyu gave Wang Chuan a smug look. A look like this young lady won't lose to you. However, Wang Chuan didn't even pay attention to her at this moment, and just nodded as he looked at the dead sinking demon on the ground. It was worthy of being a little rich girl who had the ability to pay money and had switched to the special profession Blizzard Archer. This damage was quite considerable. Bringing this guy to fight monsters, there was no need to worry about dragging his feet. Silently pondering in his heart, Wang Chuan once again fought with the surrounding sinking devils. Behind him, when Situyu saw Wang Dust's bashful appearance, her rosy little mouth couldn't help but pout. Stinky ass fellow, in front of this young lady, how dare you pretend to be calm. Humph, 
I'm going to snatch away all your monsters. With a disgruntled cold snort, Situ bent her bow, and an arrow shot out like a series of cannonballs. With Situ's addition, the number of sinking devils in the valley began to decrease at a rate visible to the naked eye. Soon, half of the hundreds of sinking devils were killed by Wang Chuan and Situ, and at this time, Wang Chuan also held his blood dripping longsword and came close to the two mutated sinking devils. The size of the sinking devil sorcerer was not different from the ordinary sinking devil, and even looked a bit thin, with skin and bones that looked like they were about to die. On the other hand, the strong sinking demon warrior was completely different from its own skinny counterparts. It was nearly 1 meter 6 in height, covered in rippling muscles, almost as big as two ordinary sinking devils, and carried a hideous bone rod in its hand. Roar! Damned human! How dare you slaughter my people! The strong sinking demon warrior's eyes that emitted scarlet light stared at the human in front of him. Among his eyes, he carried undisguised killing intent and tyranny. Wild monsters were not unintelligent, especially the humanoid wild monsters like the sinking devil. The ordinary ones had the intelligence of a 7 or 8 year old human child. And like a strong sinking demon warrior this kind of mutated individual, it could even reach the level of a normal person. Therefore, hearing this angry hoarse voice, Wang Dust did not have any surprises. This kind of situation, he had long seen it on the library's materials, and he knew more than that. The terrifying monsters that invaded Blue Star after the revival of the Will of the Heavens not only possessed intelligence comparable to that of humans, but they also had civilizations that existed. Among these monsters, only the weak ones like the Sinking Devil would be reduced to wild monsters and be captive by humans in disguise, serving as whetstones and sustenance for budding professionals. Those with great strength were gathered in the middle of the horrifying otherworldly battlefield, attacking human defenses, always thinking of subverting humans and exterminating them. Compared to them, the Sinking Devils and even the wild monsters amongst the entire 10,000 Beasts mountain range were just a younger brother. Otherwise, how could the Dragon Kingdom have let? a wild monster gathering area like the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, appear outside of the city. It was also for the purpose of practicing, in order to let the new generation of budding professionals live in peace. Otherwise, this kind of place would have long been wiped out by the national power. Facing the angry strong sinking demon warrior, Wang Dust waved his hand to shake off the blood on his long sword and smiled disdainfully. Don't be so angry. Soon you will go down to accompany them. His tone was calm, as if he was talking about a small and insignificant matter but it was this calmness that made the strong sunken demon warrior extremely angry. All the humans that it had encountered before were afraid of it, but this human in front of it, even looked as if he didn't care about it. This made the anger in the heart of the strong sinking demon warrior start boiling madly. It decided that it would break this human in front of it into pieces, slicing it into pieces little by little. Only then would it be able to quell its anger, and be able to stand up to those of its fallen kin. Roar! Damn human! I will tear you into pieces! With a frantic roar! The strong sinking demon warrior swung its bone club and took a step to charge towards Wang Dust. Seeing this, a hint of disdain flashed in Wang Dust's eyes, and he met it with his sword. However, just at this moment, there was a whooshing sound, a violent wind-breaking sound rang out, and a black shadow flew in at an extremely fast speed. In an instant, a strong sense of crisis surfaced in Wang Dust's heart. Whoosh! A violent wind-breaking sound rang out. Wang Chuan, who was preparing to launch an attack, suddenly had a flash of warning emerge in his heart. Through his afterglow, he saw a black shadow flying extremely fast on his left. Someone is sneak attacking? A flash of clarity surfaced in his heart. Wang Chuan's forward charging figure at this moment instantly stopped, and in the flash of lightning, he fell backward towards the rear. Whoosh! A sharp arrow that flashed with a cold aura flew past his nose and landed heavily on the ground. Steadying himself, Wang Chuan twisted his head to look in the direction from which the arrow flew. He only saw three figures standing quietly on the rocky wall of the valley. One of them had just lowered his bow and arrow. Them? Seeing these people, a flash of doubt flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. The other party gave him a familiar feeling, as if he had seen them somewhere. However, at this moment, he couldn't think about it in time. Because with this delay, the strong sinking demon warrior had already rushed up carrying a bone stick. Roar! Damn human! It roared angrily and wheeled the bone rod in its hand to slam down fiercely towards Wang Chen. At this moment, the strong sinking demon warrior could not wait to see the image of this human in front of it, being smashed into minced meat by itself. Seeing this scene, there was no fear on Wang Dust's face, only indifference. Phew! He took a deep breath, the muscles in his legs suddenly tensed, and his body rushed out as if it was a cannonball. The ground, were stepped out two deep pits by the powerful force he erupted at this moment. Bang! The blizzard longsword and the huge bone rod collided together, emitting a dull sound. The next second, a scene that shocked the wild monster and everyone else present appeared. 
Only Wang Dust intercepted the bone rod in the hands of the strong sinking demon warrior just by virtue of the light blizzard longsword in his hands. Wang Dust Jr. is joking, right? Everything happened in a flash of lightning. Sitiyu was about to remind Wang Dust to be careful of sneak attacks when she saw this unbelievable scene. The level 20 wild monster strong sinking demon warrior, which itself favored the strength attribute mutation. After launching its charge, the power of that huge bone stick swung out could at the very least blast a boulder into pieces. Even if it was a level 20 warrior with the main strength attribute, I'm afraid that he wouldn't be able to receive this blow. How could Sitiyu not expect that this guy Wang Chen would go hard and directly blast against a strong sinking demon warrior? When had the freshly transformed giant imperial beast master been able to tussle with a level 20 power wild monster? Wouldn't this mean that Wang Chen's strength attribute should at least be on par with a strong sinking demon warrior? While Sitiyu was in disbelief, the strong sinking demon warrior facing Wang Dust was even more shocked and furious. It had even exerted its milk strength at this moment, but as a result, not only did it not suppress this abominable human in front of it, instead, the bone stick in its hand was still being lifted up a little bit. Didn't you eat? Holding the sword in one hand to stop the bone rod, Wang Chen looked at the strong sinking demon warrior opposite him with a somewhat mocking expression on his face. Through this collision, he basically had a rough judgment of his own strength. Not counting the attribute boost from the blizzard longsword, his strength attribute could already compete with a level 20 warrior. And counting the attribute boost, a level 20 warrior would have to be willing to take the fall if he came. Roar roar roar. Damn human. How dare you mock me. The opposite strong sinking demon warrior had a mixture of shock and anger in its heart. And its eyes were incomparably furious as it looked at Wang Chuan. It summoned the strength of its entire body. Wanting to crush this abominable human in front of it. However, its efforts were useless. Instead, with Wang Chuan's violent force. The bone rod in the strong sinking demon's hand directly flew out of its hand. Since you only have this level, then go die obediently. With a cold smile at the corner of his mouth, Wang Chuan quickly stabbed forward with his sword. Brush. Between the flashes of cold light, the blizzard longsword shot out, instantly piercing through the strong sinking demon's throat completely. And at that moment, the silver weapon's enchantment effect was also activated. Brush. Two sword shadows that did not reduce their attack power in the slightest also landed on the chest of the strong sinking demon warrior at the same time. In just the blink of an eye, the life of this level 20 wild monster was harvested. Ah, uh, blood spattered out. And the strong sinking demon warrior's face wore an incredulous expression as its short and stout body shook a few times and fell helplessly to the ground. The thick smell of blood spread out in all directions. And the eyes of the sinking demons who saw this scene were incomparably terrified. They didn't even listen to the command of the sinking demon sorcerer anymore and all of them quickly fled backward in fear. Directly beside Wang Chuan, an open space of 10 feet in circumference was formed. At this moment, regarding the fear of these wild monsters around him, Wang Dust didn't give a damn, and after beheading the strong sinking demon warrior, he looked indifferently at the rock wall on his left. I'm curious, who gave you the guts to sneak up on me? Is this tease still human? On the rock wall, three of Chen Hao's followers looked down below dumbfounded, their faces filled with unbelievable expressions. How could they not have imagined that Wang Chen would be able to dodge the cold arrows coming from the shadows while fighting the strong sinking demon warrior? In particular, Heal A, who had made the sneak attack, felt that his three views were going to shatter. His career change was an archer. Although it was only an ordinary career, not as good as Situ use blast archer. The speed of the arrows shot under the effect of the skill was comparable to that of a bullet. If a second turn professional dodged it, he had nothing to say. But Wang Chuan, just a first turn budgie or a chicken-ribbed profession giant beast master. Wang Dust, what makes him able to dodge it? Immediately afterward, upon seeing Wang Dust easily kill the strong sinking demon warrior, what to do? This guy is too terrifying. Why don't we retreat? The follower B mage and the follower C warrior were even shivering and couldn't speak properly. Hearing their words, Hele's face showed intent. If possible, he did not want to make an enemy of the terrifying Wang Dust. However, just as he was about to agree to his companion's proposal, I'm curious, who gave you the guts to sneak attack me? An ice cold voice echoed in the valley, and the three people's bodies stiffened at the same time, turning their heads to see Wang Chuan's cold and merciless gaze. Damn it! He found us! The three followers panicked in their hearts, just now when they made their move. They thought that Wang Chuan would surely die, so they didn't hide themselves at all. Now, damn, retreat is impossible. If Wang Chuan doesn't die, once he stirs up today's incident to the adventure union, we'll be dead he must be killed. The follower A, who was holding the bow and arrow, swallowed his smear with difficulty, and his eyes swept over the two people beside him. Good. Under his gaze, the two looked at each other then nodded heavily. Put up a fight. 
they didn't believe that their three archers, mages, and warriors, plus the wild monsters in the valley, still couldn't get rid of Wang Dust alone. With this in mind, the three of them began to advance towards the valley. This girl said to you, her ability to cause trouble really can't be underestimated. Looking at the three people coming down from the rock wall of the valley, Wang Chuan thought icily in his heart. Under careful observation, he had already remembered who these three guys were. Those three followers of 250 Chen Hao. Since they appeared here, that Chen Hao fellow must be there as well. Where is he hiding? Pondering in his mind, Wang Chuan swept his gaze over the rock wall, but ultimately found nothing. Wang Chuan, who are they? Just then, Situ Yu brought Bing Ching over with a nervous face. Probably, your suitors? Hearing this, Wang Chen said indifferently. He didn't put the fortune how people in his heart at all, so his tone was very bland at this moment. What? Situ Yu screamed, her eyes blank. What do you mean by my suitors? He looked at the three people on the rock wall with a skeptical expression. After looking at them for half a day, he didn't recognize any of them. Hey, they are bounty hunters, right? Don't you shake me. At these words, Wang Dust rolled his eyes speechlessly. Do you have some kind of misunderstanding about bounty hunters? Such a weak guy. Dogs don't even hitchhike. With that in mind, he said with a lack of interest, it's Chen Hao's three followers. That guy doesn't know where he's hiding right now. Eh? Situ Yu's eyes stared, his face instantly becoming very ugly. This fellow Chen Hao even dared to make a move against himself? Their Chen family was living out of patience, right? Seeing Situ Yu's look, Wang Chen casually said, don't think too much. Their target is probably me. Humph, that won't work either. Go back and I'll have my old man exterminate their Chen family. Situ Yu sniffed and became even more angry. While Wang Chen and Situ Yu were talking, the sunken devils in the valley, seeing one of the two leaders die, their morale directly halved. There were already quite a few sinking devils whose fierce light in their eyes had dissipated, and they began to think about where to escape from. On the other hand, the sinking demon sorcerer who was under the protection of his minions, a fierce expression appeared on his withered face. All of you, get on me, whoever dares to escape, I'll kill it first. It waved its short staff to drive away the minions around it, causing them to attack Wang Chen and Situ Yu. Subjected to the intimidation of the sinking demon sorcerer, the immensely fearful sinking demons launched their charge in a chaotic manner. However, at this time, they were like a regular army and a miscellaneous army compared to before, and their fighting strength and morale had fallen to the lowest point. A bunch of trash, startled by the sound. Wang Dust glanced at the charging sinking devils. You keep an eye on those guys. I'll take care of these wild monsters first. After explaining to Situ Yu, he swung his long sword to meet the sinking devils. While killing the ordinary sinking devils, his line of sight kept sweeping over the surroundings, looking for traces of the sinking devil wizard. However, this fellow was very cunning. It kept hiding its body among those minions and kept shifting its position. Worthy of being an intelligent wild monster, it's completely different from that short frustrating and thick one just now, silently thinking in his heart, a cold smile flashed in Wang Chen's eyes, since the sinking demon wizard was planning to play hide and seek with him, he would kill all the surrounding sinking demons so that there was no place for them to hide, with a decision in his heart, Wang Chuan began to accelerate the speed of slaughtering the surrounding sinking devils, brush brush brush, a cold light flashed by, and the sinking devils that rushed up fell down as if they were wheat that had been cut down, in less than a minute, their disorganized ranks became somewhat empty, and at this time, behind the many sinking devils, the sinking devil wizard carefully hid his body and looked at Wang Chuan with eyes that were incomparably resentful. At the same time, the twisted short staff in his hand swung in small increments, and dark green energy coalesced at the tip of the short staff. Soon, after this dark green energy condensed into a substantial sphere at the tip of the short staff, a sinister smile appeared on the face of the sinking demon wizard. In the next moment, he pointed the short staff in his hand toward Wang Chuan and the dark green energy sphere was immediately transformed into a ray that shot out. Whoosh! The flying speed of this dark green ray was in no way inferior to the arrow shot by Situ Yu. In just the blink of an eye, it had arrived around Wang Chen. Seeing this scene, the sinking demon wizard's bark-like face flashed with smugness and anticipation. This dark green ray was none other than its long-range attack skill, Poison Ray. It couldn't wait to see this human, who had caused damage to the camp, turn into a pool of blood. At the same time, the trio of followers who had carefully entered the valley saw the scene, and a flash of joy flashed across their eyes. It's now! Healer A roared out, and the bowstring drawn full in his hand was directly loosened. The mage at the side also used a fireball spell at this time. In an instant, three attacks echoed back and forth, flying towards Wang Chen with a powerful momentum. Rear, Sid to you, who was holding a bow and arrow to suppress the warrior in the following trio, couldn't help but cry out in shock when she saw the three attacks that flew towards Wang Dust. 
Wang Chen, be careful. Those three attacks were extremely fast, and by the time she opened her mouth to warn them, they were already less than two meters away from Wang Chuan. However, finally ran out of patience. Wang Chuan, who was strangling the sinking demon with his long sword in hand, felt the strong wind and a fishy odor coming from his side, but the expression on his face was not the slightest bit surprised. A level 20 wild monster with long range attack skills and three unsuspecting guys lurking around. How could he not be on guard? Don't look at the fact that he seemed to be killing the sinking demon at this moment. But in fact, his mind had been tightly tensed just to guard against a sneak attack. Since you've come out, then prepare to go on your way with your companions. Turning to face the flying poisonous rays directly, Wang Chuan's line of sight directly locked onto the sinking demon sorcerer hiding in the back. Opposite, the locked down sinking demon sorcerer's heart chilled, and its body subconsciously shrank back. However, the fear on its face dissipated, and it instead looked at Wang Chuan with some disdain in its eyes. At this moment, the distance between the poison ray and Wang Chuan was less than one meter. With the flying speed of the poison ray, it only took less than one second to cross this distance, and there were still two other attacks following close behind. Unless this human was a god, it was absolutely impossible to dodge them. The sinking demon sorcerer was looking forward to seeing the human's body being eroded by the poison, wailing miserably and turning into blood. But, at this moment, it didn't see any fear on that human's face, and even the other party, even revealed a seemingly bright but ice-cold killing intense smile to it, playing god. Seeing this, the sinking demon sorcerer snorted coldly, not feeling at all that this human could escape the certain death at such a close distance. However, in the next second, the expression on the sinking demon wizard's face directly stiffened. In the valley, when the three attacks were about to hit his body, Wang Chen's body suddenly twisted against the norm. At this moment, it was as if the bones in his body didn't exist and his entire body hardened and shifted 10 centimeters sideways to the left, and especially his feet, at this moment made a series of dazzling movements, his body so bizarre that it seemed unreal. All of this happened in the middle of an extremely short period of time, just when the sinking demon sorcerer thought it was blinking. It was horrified to see that the poison ray flew past Wang Chen at some point and landed heavily on a sinking demon behind it. There was a bang. The poison ray directly penetrated the body of this sinking demon, pinning it heavily to the ground, and just in the blink of an eye, this sinking demon's corpse was left with no bones left, turning into blood and water that emitted a fishy odor. The other two attacks were the same, not causing any damage to that human at all. How is it possible? At such a close distance, how did this damned human dodge my attacks? Seeing this scene, the sinking demon sorcerer's scalp exploded and his eyes almost glared out. What he saw in front of him was simply incomprehensible to his intelligence. And in the surroundings, Situ Yu and that trio of followers saw the scene, and their eyes almost glared out. This is? Combat super sense and butterfly steps? No, and perfect great body manipulation. The four murmured in unison, looking at Wang Chen as if they had seen a ghost, especially Si to you, as the top student in Dongling No, one middle school second only to Wang Chuan. His knowledge reserve was naturally very complete. The various reactions made by Wang Chuan under the three attacks were all seen by her in some way, and she also found the techniques that corresponded to them. However, it was only just discerned. Situ Yu simply couldn't understand how Wang Chen had practiced these three combat techniques to such a high degree, and was able to use them together at the same time. Nima, everyone is a genius, why is the gap so wide? Luckily, this guy's occupation is a giant beastmaster, if he casually switched to an ordinary occupation, I'm afraid that I'll be pressed underneath him for the rest of my life. At this moment, Situ Yu, who had always displayed an iceberg image to the outside world, couldn't help but burst out in foul language, and at the entrance of the valley, a silently sneaking over figure, after seeing this scene, even directly hid to the side of a sinking demon corpse. Crap, is Wang Chen still human? This can even dodge? Chen Hao looked into the distance with wide eyes at this moment, wailing in his heart. How could he not have imagined that he was prepared to come in to see how Wang Chen died, only to see such an amazing scene? At this moment, Chen Hao was somewhat skeptical. Could he really achieve his goal? At the same time, phew, at the center of everyone's sight, Wang Dust let out a long breath silently experiencing the soreness of his body. He had used three superior combat techniques in a row, especially since among them was the butterfly step, a technique that was extremely burdensome to the body and spirit. With his body that was comparable to that of a level 20 professional at this time, he also felt a bit disengaged. However, although his body was a bit tired, Wang Chen's spirit was very energized. Just now, in that flash of lightning, he felt that his experience of the butterfly steps had become even more profound. Moreover, the power displayed by the butterfly steps made him very satisfied. 
The butterfly step was generally a combat technique that only professionals above the third turn would be involved in. In order to perform it, not only did it require a strong body, but it also required machine-like fine control. Even among third turn professionals, less than 1% could successfully practice it. Previously in school, after learning the combat skills taught by his teacher, Wang Chen secretly found a full set of butterfly steps training tutorials in the library. Today, it was still his first time to test the actual combat power of the butterfly steps. It's not in vain that I've been practicing hard for several months. This kind of higher combat technique is really a huge boost to strength. Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chuan instantly became more interested in several other combat techniques that were on par with the butterfly steps. Now, however, was not the time to think about this. After moving his body for a while, he looked with playful eyes at the dumbfounded sinking demon wizard on the opposite side. This fellow, still hadn't recovered from the shock of his poison ray missing. Impossible. What kind of bizarre situation was that just now? That abominable human's body just seemed to have instantly disappeared from the middle of this space. Why would such a situation occur? Thinking incredulously in his heart, the sinking demon sorcerer felt that the human on the opposite side was a monster. Obviously, his level was not high, about the same as those human professionals it had beaten the crap out of in the past, but his true strength was incredibly strong. For a time, the sinking demon sorcerer's heart had already risen with the intention of retreating. When encountering this kind of perverted monster, running away if you couldn't beat it wouldn't be a disgrace to the sinking demon at all. Roar, all of you, get on me and tear this damned human into pieces. Grumpily driving its remaining minions to surround Wang Dust, the sinking demon wizard didn't move and began to retreat. It could feel a gaze with malice locking onto it all the time, but it didn't dare to turn its head to look at all. The rivers and mountains are easy to change their nature. Even if these sinking devils have mutated, their timid nature cannot be changed. Looking at the sinking demon wizard that was preparing to escape, a cold smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. However, he was not in a hurry, and while resolving those remaining ordinary sinking devils, he approached the sinking devil sorcerer unhurriedly. The valley as a whole was in the shape of a pocket, and although the rock walls on the three sides were not high, it was easy to come down but difficult to go up. If the sinking demon wizard wanted to escape, it looked like there wasn't any other way to live other than the exit of the valley. However, it was now retreating towards the interior of the valley, which aroused Wang Chen's interest. This situation meant that there were definitely passages inside the valley that led to other places. By keeping the sinking demon sorcerer for a while longer now, Wang Chuan felt that he might have a bit of a windfall. After all, for these mutated wild monsters that possessed intelligence, besides being ferocious and tyrannical, each one of them had a bit of a penchant for collecting treasures. Under Wang Chuan's superior efficiency, the remaining dozens of ordinary sinking devils were quickly decimated. By now, the floor of the valley was littered with tattered sinking devil corpses, and the rich smell of blood smoked people to the point of vomiting. Wang Chuan glanced at the figure not far away that was quietly moving towards the interior of the valley. Then he looked with an icy gaze towards the three figures that were dumbfounded under the rock wall. Now, it's time to settle the grudge between us. Now, it's time to settle the grudge between us. Wang Dust held his sword forward, his eyes smiling but not laughing as he looked at the three people under the rock wall. At this moment, the trio of followers, who were dumbfounded, were awakened by the icy voice, and all of them could not help but tremble, especially when they felt the killing intent in Wang Chen's gaze. They were all about to despair. Before they came, they had thought that they would be able to solve a giant imperial beastmaster with ease, and that they could use this to hug Chen Hao's thigh. However, they didn't expect that the three of them, even with the assistance of the wild monsters, hadn't had the slightest impact on Wang Chen. This person of the same age was simply as strong as a monster. Wang, Dust, we have no choice but to do this, can you let us go? Yes, 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 this was all forced on us by Chen Hao. None of us wanted it, please, for the sake of our three years as classmates. Let us go. Knowing that he and the others were by no means Wang Chen's opponents, the trio of followers begged for mercy without hesitation at this moment. Even, Healer has shamelessly raised the laborious three years of classmate affection. Ha! Hearing their words, Wang Chen was amused. Classmate feelings? He didn't even know what these three guys were called. There was a fart of affection. Moreover, talking about feelings now, what did they do before? Cut the crap with me. Where is Chen Hao? Speak up neatly. I can give you guys a hard time. Eyes indifferent as he looked at the trio, Wang Chen was not moved at all. Hearing his words, the trio's faces turned pale, and follower A said somewhat undyingly, Wang Chuan, if you spare us we'll tell you. Swish, with a flash of cold light, Healer A's head was directly cut off. What qualifications do you have to bargain with me? Don't know how to die thing. Waving his hand to shake off the blood on his long sword, Wang Chen's tone was filled with mockery. On the side, 
Followers B and C were drenched in blood all over their heads and directly paralyzed on the ground shivering. Chen Hao was outside the valley. The two of them were as soft as mud, only knowing to shout frantically under their breath. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen switched his two swords to understand them and twisted his head to bring Sit to you to run out of the valley. However, there were indeed traces of activity outside the valley, but it was empty, and there was no sign of Chen Hao. This son of a bitch won't be able to run away. This girl will definitely dismantle him. Returning to her original spot, Situ Yu kicked stones with a furious look. Wang Chen, who was picking off his equipment, looked at the young girl strangely at the words. It wasn't that he doubted the authenticity of what Situ Yu said. After all, in Dongling City, there really wasn't a guy who had offended the Situ family and was still alive and kicking. He was just a little surprised. This girl S heart is really big, before killing wild monsters when not soft. Now killing. What are you looking at? Situ Yu noticed Wang Chen's line of sight and glared over with a puff of air. Nothing. Spreading his hands, Wang Dust got up with the stripped equipment. Let's go. Go after the sinking demon sorcerer. If we're late, the duck in our mouths will fly away. Greeting Situ Yu, Wang Chuan directly stepped towards the interior of the valley. As for the surrounding sinking demon corpses, neither he nor Situ Yu were interested in scavenging them. This type of wild monster, the sinking devil, had no useful materials on its body at all and even the meat was poisonous, so it was only the experience value that was relatively rich. Because of this, the duo didn't even realize that there was a guy who had been stunned hidden in the middle of several sinking devil corpses. Phew! Running next to a weed bush deep in the valley, the sinking demon wizard looked back, not realizing that those two hateful humans hadn't caught up. It let out a long breath. Damn humans! Sooner or later, I will seek revenge on you, cursing under its breath. It used its short staff to pluck away the grass in front of it and walked in. Behind the overgrown bushes was a black and ghostly hole about 2 meters in diameter, with a cold aura spreading outward from it. It made the ground at the edge of the cave entrance, frozen hard. Here, was a secret passageway that the sinking demon sorcerer had discovered by chance, through which he could directly leave the valley. Because this place was hidden, the sinking demon sorcerer also placed his lair in the passageway. I'll be back again. Taking a lingering glance at the surroundings, the sinking demon wizard walked into the cave entrance while using weeds to cover it up once again. Hopefully, those two damned humans won't find this place. Silently thinking in its heart, it walked towards the depths of the cave entrance. However, the sinking demon sorcerer's thoughts were destined to fall flat. Shortly after it entered the cave entrance, footsteps appeared around it. Wine dust. How did you find out that it still has a secret base? Seeing the cave entrance that emitted cold air, City you poked Wang Duan, her face filled with excitement. Of course it was with my brain. Upon hearing this, Wang Dust peeled Situ Yu's hands that were poking at him to the side. This valley is in the shape of a pocket, with only one exit, and the sinking demon wizard chose to run inward when he escaped, so there would definitely be other secret passages. Casually explaining, he walked over to the cave entrance and used his longsword to push aside the covering weeds. Under close observation, it could be realized that the edges and surface of the hole were very smooth, not like it was dug out at all, more like a hole made by some kind of creature. Be careful in a while. There's no chance that there will be a guy with terrifying strength inside. Reminding Sid to you, who was full of curiosity. Wang Chen walked into the hole with his sword. After walking downwards for about 20 meters or so, the slope disappeared and the passage became gentle. Tear. As the illumination spell scroll tore open, a soft glow illuminated the surrounding area of 10 meters. Looking at those smooth rock walls of the passageway, Wang Dust was more certain of his previous guess. This was indeed not an excavated passageway. The rock walls were so smooth that some sort of imprint could occasionally be seen, like scales pressed into them, about 2 meters in diameter, with scales on its body surface, able to quickly travel underground. Looking around, Wang Chuan combined the guesses he thought of one by one. This should be the cave left behind by the dark worms. Soon, he had an answer. Dark worms? On the side, Situ Yu heard Wang Chuan's whisper and his neck shrank, as if he had thought of some horrifying image. Dark worm, a type of wild monster that lived underground. Strictly speaking, it was not that powerful amongst the wild monsters. Although it had a length of more than 5 meters and a body with a diameter of more than 2 meters, its level was only around 35 to 40. It wasn't considered a big trouble for the elite professionals who were active in the 10,000 beasts mountain range. However, its hideous appearance and the huge mouth that opened up to a diameter of more than 3 meters caused many female professionals to stay away from it. What? Scared? Seeing Situ Yu's appearance, Wang Chan asked with a smile. Not at all. Situ Yu was a little short of breath, a 5 meter plus big bug, it was scary to think about, don't worry, in the cave, Wang Dust smiled when he saw Situ Yu's face turn a little white, 
This should be the cave where the dark worms used to be, and now they've left. Otherwise that nest of sinking devils outside wouldn't still be alive until now. Oh, Sitiyu quietly breathed a sigh of relief when she heard that it was fine. Let's go. Let's hurry up and find the collection of the sinking demon wizard you mentioned. If we go late it will have run out of sight. To prove that she wasn't afraid, she carried her bow and arrow and walked ahead with big strides. Back. Wang Dust saw the scene and shook his head with a smile. This girl, who didn't change her face when she saw a dead person, would be afraid of bugs. Well, if we really run into dark worms, will this chick, sit to you, be so scared that she will cry? Thinking with some anticipation in his heart, Wang Chuan quickly chased after them. Five minutes later, as the duo went deeper into the cave, they had gradually sensed the aura of the sinking demon wizard. At the same time, clanked, the sound of items colliding also reached their ears. No need to guess. The sinking demon sorcerer was definitely packing up his soft goods and preparing to run away. Under the dim light of the luminous stone, a thin and dry figure was laboriously placing one item after another on the spread out animal skin. The items clashed together from time to time, making clanking sounds. Sooner or later, I will form a bigger tribe of sinking devils and skin those two damned humans. The sinking demon sorcerer cursed under his breath continuously in a low voice while quickly loading up those items that he thought were useful. As for some of the other bottles and jars, it could only choose to give them up with heartache. In this way, the resentment in its heart towards those two hateful humans became even more intense. When the things were almost packed up, the sinking demon sorcerer was ready to roll up his animal skin. But just at this time, he suddenly realized that the light in the middle of this secret base of his, all of a sudden became bright and incomparable, and the luminous stone in his hand all dimmed. Damnable humans, how did you two know about this place? Twisting his head towards the source of the light, the sinking demon sorcerer froze, and immediately afterward let out a cry of grief and indignation. It wasn't you who brought us here. Wang Dust spread his hands and brought a smile to his face. Under the light of the illumination spell, he saw quite a few good things from the sinking demon wizard's collection. A few magical herbs of great value, ores emitting an ethereal light, and seven or eight irregularly shaped holy crystals. This sinking demon wizard's fortune is going to be even richer than I thought. Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chuan looked at the sinking demon wizard as if he was looking at walking gold coins. You guys, damnable humans, I'll fight you all. The sinking demon sorcerer was chilled by Wang Dust's eyes and waved his small short staff in a shrill voice and shouted. Before the words fell, the tip of the short staff in his hand surged with dark green magic power. A pungent odor began to permeate the cave. However, whoosh, the sinking demon sorcerer's skill was just about to be ready when a sharp arrow, like lightning, hit its body. There was a bang. The tremendous force carried on the arrow directly nailed the sinking demon sorcerer to the rock wall. Ah, the intense pain made the sinking demon sorcerer scream, but immediately after, a cold light slashed across its neck, and the screams came to an abrupt end. Seeing as you've contributed so much, I'll give you a pain in the ass. No thanks. Waving his hand to shake off the beads of blood on the blizzard longsword, Wang Chuan put the sword back into its sheath. At the same time, the sinking demon sorcerer's body fell to the ground powerlessly and three dim light clusters surfaced on its surface before they respectively disappeared into Wang Chuan's, Si Tu Yu's, and Bing Qing's bodies, as Wang Chuan had predicted earlier. After killing the last sinking demon sorcerer, his level increased to level 15, and Bing Qing also increased to level 5. Beast Pet, Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon, Nickname, Ice Clear, Gender, Female, Age, Under a Month, Juvenile, Rank, Level 5, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4-Dimensional Attributes, Strength 700, Wisdom 700, Physique 700, Agility 700, Without any buffs, Equipment, or props to enhance it, Skills, Frost Body, SSS, Extreme Cold Spit, SSS, Cold Hell, SSS, Dragon Might, SSS, Loyalty, 100, Equipment, None, Introduction, Slight, Name, Wine Dust, Profession, Giant Royal Beast Master, Level, 15, Talent, 10,000 Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Strength, 1,025 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 1055 plus 5 points. Physique, 1025 plus 5 points. Agility, 1025 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unassigned Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 50 points. Unassigned skill points, 50 points. Leveling up to level 15. Attribute points were still evenly distributed. And all four dimensional attributes broke through the 100 point mark in the naked state. Looking at his attribute panel, Wang Dust nodded in satisfaction. Worthy of being an ancestral divine beast, 
Ice Clear was just powerful. Nowadays, even if he didn't have any attack skills in his hands, he could still arm wrestle with level 30 melee professions with just his 4 dimensional attribute strength and body. As for less than level 20 professions, he could crush them with one hand. However, this thought was slightly curtailed after Wang Chen saw Sit to you on the side. This kind of professional with banknote ability would probably need two hands. What are you looking at? Is it because you want to practice with this young lady? Noticing Wang Chuan's line of sight, Sit to you glared, her eyes a bit unkind. The blast archer was unlike the giant imperial beast master, who needed to share the experience equally with the beast pet. Therefore, Sit to you's level, which was two levels higher than Wang Duan's, reached level 17. Having surpassed Wang Dust in level for the first time, Sit to you was full of confidence at this moment, probably resembling a peacock with its screen open, or forget it. Seeing the young girl's provocative expression, Wang Chen shook his head breathlessly. I'm afraid of making you cry. Muttering in his heart, he did not say anything. Sit to you. This girl was competitive herself, and if this was known to her, the gap between the two would widen instead of narrowing. Wang Chen felt that he would be annoyed to death by Sit to you in the future. Hey, scared, right? In the future, this 10,000 year old Aron's name will be yours. With a smile on her pretty face, Sit to you proudly waved her pink fist. Ever since she had known Wang Chen, this was the first time she had surpassed her opponent. The current mood was simply soothing. Woo. At this moment, little Ice Ching, who was flying on the side as an atmosphere group, looked at Sit to you with eyes full of sympathy. What a stupid human. With her wings, she flew to Sit to you's shoulder and patted Sit to you's head with her small wings. Too pathetic. Flat and unimpressive. And his brain is still bad. He he. Sit to you, who had no idea what little Bing Ching was thinking at this moment. The smugness on her face became even more intense. Did you see that, Wang Chen? Little Bing Ching even thinks I'm right. Ah, uh, upon hearing this, Wang Chuan's expression immediately became strange. With the royal beast contract in place, how could he not know what little Ice Ching was thinking? Good fellow, you think she's praising you? She is pitying you a young girl, forcing back the urge to laugh. Wang Chuan walked over to the beast skins on the ground and checked the harvest. As for Si Tuyu, let her sink in a false world. With the light of the illumination scroll, Wang Dust checked the collection of the sinking demon wizard. Six plants of moonlight grass, twelve pieces of secret silver ore, twenty-three unknown scales. It had to be said that the sinking demon wizard's collection was still very rich, and these several derank magical materials could be sold for at least thousands of gold coins. However, Wang Dust just took a look at these things and put them aside. Then, his eyes excitedly looked towards the two items that were separated out separately. Eight holy crystal stones worth eighty. 000 gold coins, and an item that was gray and looked as if it was a book. I really didn't expect that this guy, the sinking demon wizard, had a skill book in his collection? Picking up this gray fluffy book, Wang Dust thought with some excitement. Without hesitation, he directly took out the appraisal scroll and appraised the skill book. Swish, with a flash of light, the information of the skill book appeared before his eyes. Instant sword, D general skill, active attack skill. Instantly surges forward a distance after use and sends out a powerful chopping blow to the enemy. Remarks, I, instant sword surges forward a distance of 10 meters and can be upgraded. Note, A, instant sword has a distance of 10 meters, and can be upgraded. B, cooldown time is 10 seconds per use. Well, bursting forward 10 meters, as long as it's applied properly, this can be completely used as an instantaneous movement skill. Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chen felt very satisfied with this skill book. At this moment, Quickly show me, what level skill book is it? Situyu explored her head and looked curiously into Wang Chen's hand. However, it's just a D-grade general skill book? When she saw that the instant sword was just a D-level skill book, she showed some lack of interest. The grade of a skill book was the highest S grade and the lowest F grade. A D-grade skill book was already quite good for an ordinary professional. When placed in the trade market, it could be sold for at least 100, 000 gold coins. However, for Situyu, this kind of low-level skill book was not something she could even look at. After the transfer was over, the B-level skill books that his family had prepared for him had made her blind. On the side, Wang Dust heard Sita use words and rolled his eyes speechlessly. There had always been a widely circulated saying amongst professionals that there were no trash skills, only trash professionals. He did not look down on the instantaneous sword just because it was only a D-rank skill. Wang Chuan, this skill book, you'd better keep it and sell it in the trade market. Seeing that Wang Duan was a bit unimpressed, Situyu came over and said with a smile, In the skill books my dad prepared for me, there are two B-level skills that don't match me. If you call out to me as a sister, I can sell them to you for two gold coins oh. Saying that, Situyu blinked, with a look like you've earned a lot. In response to this, 
Wang Dust directly shook his head. Two gold coins to buy two B-level skill books. To be honest, he did have some heartburn. After all, a B-level skill book was worth at least a million on the market. However, looking at the cunningness hidden in the young girl's eyes, he knew that this girl definitely had bad intentions and had big plans to sell himself for two skill books. This kind of losing business he would not do. Moreover, the power he exerted with his D-level skills nowadays would not necessarily be weaker than those first-turned professionals who possessed B-level skills. Since you don't want it, then it belongs to me. As he spoke, Wang Chen distributed all the holy crystal stones on the ground to sit to you, then directly chose to use the skill book. With a flash of light, he then directly learned the instant sword skill. Next, the 50 skill points that he had been saving were all put on the instant sword to strengthen its power. As a D-rank skill, the instantaneous sword's level cap was 5, and every 10 skill points raised it by 1 level. With 50 skill points, the instant sword skill was raised from level 1 to level 5. The power was increased by 50%, and the surging distance was increased by 5 meters to 15 meters. At the same time, after raising the skill level to full, a new change appeared on the instant sword's information. Instant sword, D general skill, active attack skill, instantly surges forward a distance after use and delivers a powerful chop to the enemy, remarks, I, rank X, surging distance of 15 meters, 2, skill full level unlocks 2 strike, within 2 seconds after using instant sword, it can be used again but will accumulate cooldown time. Looking at the instant sword's new information, Wang Xuan nodded with satisfaction. This new special effect 2 strike was another reason why he chose instant as a D-rank skill. As everyone knew, any skill that was raised to full level through skill points would have a full level effect. However, for high level skills, the level cap and the skill points consumed when enhancing them were much higher than for low level skills. 50 skill points would allow a D-rank skill to be raised to full level, but if it was invested in a B-rank skill, it would be good enough to raise it by one level. Every time a first turn professional upgraded, they gained only 10 skill points, which was a complete drop in the bucket for high level skills. In this case, for Wang Dust, upgrading low level skills to full level was the most cost effective. As for obtaining high level skills in the future and not having enough skill points in hand, he was not worried. The way to obtain skill points, besides every upgrade of a professional, could also be obtained by challenging the secret realm copies. Of course, this way of obtaining skill points was a bit far away for the current Wang Dust. The secret realm copies were basically held in the hands of Longboy University and the major powers. What he could do at the moment was to improve his strength as much as possible, and then get the knockout bricks to snap open these secret realm copies after the college entrance exam competition. On the side, Situyu stomped her foot in exasperation when she saw that Wang Chen had directly learned the instant sword skill. Stinky guy, is it so hard to get you to bow your head and admit your weakness? Thinking angrily in her heart. She collected the items on the ground and turned around to run out. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust scratched his head in bewilderment. However, he still hurriedly chased after her, and then directly dragged Situyu and walked towards the depths of the cave. This cave went straight, and going directly out through the exit was saving them from having to make a detour. And at the same time, phew, in the pile of corpses in the valley, the awakened Chen Hao crawled up on his hands and knees, saved, without seeing Wang Duan's figure around. Chen Hao was almost in tears at this moment. The strength that Wang Dust had shown earlier, as well as the aura of killing without mercy was simply too frightening. The palpitating Chen Hao completely forgot about his goal at this time. He climbed up and was about to move away from the place that gave him a psychological shadow. However, just at this moment, thud thud thud, footsteps sounded outside the valley. Chen Hao subconsciously ducked back into the corpse and looked outside with a frightened heart. Soon, four uninvited guests came to the messy valley. These four people had different looks and ages, and their attire varied, but they all carried a ferocious aura. After entering the valley, they pulled away from each other by a small distance and warily surveyed the surroundings, the valley where the sinking devils were located. More than a hundred corpses of sinking devils fell across the ground, and a rich bloody odor filled the entire valley. For cautious figures, two meters apart from each other, carefully walked in the middle of the valley. Boss, what's the situation? The one walking in front was a sharp-tongued Han Yu his pair of triangular eyes looking at the fallen sinking demon corpses around him with a hint of fear hidden in the bottom of his eyes. As a 35 level 1 turn professional, the man was not afraid of the sinking devil. He alone, as usual, could also decimate these numbers of sinking devils. However, on the floor of the valley, more than half of those fallen sinking devil corpses were killed by a single blow, without any extra injuries. This kind of tactic was something he couldn't catch up with even if he beat his horse. Boss, could this be the work of a third turn powerhouse? When the Hanyu walked to the center of the valley and saw the strong sinking demon warrior who was also killed by a single blow, he finally couldn't help but stop his steps and turn around to look back. 
how is it possible? A third turn powerhouse isn't this idle. Behind him, the middle-aged man as strong as a polar bear frowned unhappily. It should be a second turn swordsman. Check your surroundings and don't scare yourselves. The strong middle-aged man waved his hand, signaling the squad's crowd to spread out and search. Boss, look, not long after, the triangular-eyed man exclaimed in shock and walked over holding a large bundle of things. They're all special arrows laced with magical metals. Each one recycled at least a hundred gold coins. Which archer is such a loser? Use it once and then don't want it anymore? He said with a shocked face as he placed the items on the ground. Upon hearing this, the strong middle-aged man looked at it with a somewhat surprised expression on his face as well. Ordinary archers, the arrows they used, were all made from synthetic metals, and each one basically cost more than 10 gold coins. As for the ones in front of him, each one was made of a special alloy, which was also mixed with certain magical metals. The price, it was estimated, was above several hundred gold coins for each one. Even with the strong middle-aged man's insight, he couldn't help but be shocked in his heart at this moment. How rich did this have to be to treat special arrows as disposable items? Boss, I'm afraid we've stumbled upon a big fat sheep this time. The triangular eyed man counted the arrows one by one, the greed on his face growing more and more intense. Don't jump to conclusions so early. Whether it's a sheep or a wolf is yet to be seen. Continue searching and see if you can find any other clues. At those words, the strong middle-aged man snorted coldly and put away all the arrows on the ground. Oh, hearing his words, the triangular eyed man reluctantly nodded and turned around to continue to go searching. Soon, the four of them made another discovery. Boss, found a live one over here. A munchkin. A man with a broomstick head carried Chen Hao, who was covered in blood. Over. At this moment, Chen Hao's body was as soft as mud, and his eyes were filled with despair. How could he not have thought that Wang Chen, the killing star, had just left on the front foot, and he would run into the infamous hyena squad on the back foot? Hyena squad. In the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the infamous bounty hunter squad was cruel and never left anyone alive. There were a total of four people in the squad, and the middle-aged man who was as strong as a polar bear was the squad's leader, a level 50 warrior of the second turn. The remaining three people, the second and third are first turn level 40 assassins and druids, and the fourth is a first turn level 40 shield warrior, with the strength of one second turn and three senior first turns. The hyena squad ranked 36th on the wanted list of the Dongling City Adventure Union with a bounty as high as 4 million gold coins. Bang! Chen Hao was thrown in front of the hyena boss, and in fear, he couldn't care less about the pain on his body as he hissed and begged for mercy. Don't kill me. I'm the Chen family's youngest master. I have plenty of money. I'll do whatever you guys want me to do. Three days later, on the outskirts of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, in the dark jungle, the tall tree canopies covered the sky, blocking the light from the sky. The jungle was so quiet that the sound of the wind blowing the leaves could be heard clearly. Rustling. Wang Chuan walked deep and shallow in the jungle. Beside him was Situyu who was holding little Bingqing. Wang Chuan. I regret it. Situyu continuously used the longbow in her hand to pluck away the thorns that blocked her path. And the expression on her face was a bit grim. What? Hearing her words, Wang Duan, who was repeating the same action beside her, turned his head and asked. Wang Dust. This path you chose simply sucks. Pushing aside the thorns and weeds that blocked the path. Situyu complained. Originally. After seeing Bing Ching's strong strength, she thought that her next journey to the Golden Scaled Python's activity area would be a straight path, killing gods and demons and crushing all wild monsters. As a result, just three days after setting off, Sityu sadly realized that things were not at all like what she thought. The beautiful journey in her imagination had turned into the current wilderness survival. The number of wild monsters encountered was indeed quite a lot, but more time was spent all on driving the road. These damned thorns and weeds had made the beautiful clothes she had spent a lot of effort preparing useless, and now she had turned into a savage alive and well. On the side, Wang Chen heard Situ use words and touched his nose somewhat awkwardly. This was indeed his pot. When he drew the route, he thought of saving time, and as a result, he forgot that the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was a completely primitive zone, and the consequence of deviating from the route on the adventure map was that there was not even a road. Surviving alone in a primitive zone is also a necessary skill for professionals. I'm just letting you get a feel for it in advance now. Don't complain, the road will be better after passing through this area ahead. Swinging his longsword to cut the thorns that blocked the path, Wang Chen defended his mistake. Hearing his words, Si Tuyu beamed. Ha! I yuck! A man's mouth. A deceitful ghost. That's what you said yesterday. And as a result, you still haven't walked out from the middle of this area today. Thinking in her heart, Situyu's eyes became even more nuclear in nature as she looked at Wang Chen. However, at the time when she was about to tell this hateful guy that she wasn't that good at cheating, 
A black shadow abruptly sprang out from amongst the weeds and thorns and ferociously pounced on Wang Chuan. This black shadow's speed was extremely fast, and it slammed headfirst directly into Wang Chuan's arms. There was a bang. In the next second, Wang Chuan's body directly flew backwards towards the back, and in the original spot where he stood, a two-meter-long, half-a-man-tall leopard with hair as black as ink appeared. A level 30 wild monster. The Shadow Leopard. Wang Duan. Seeing this scene, Siti let out a cry of alarm and hurriedly bent her bow to attack the Shadow Leopard, wanting to attract its attention. However, the dark Shadow Leopard that suddenly appeared, easily dodged the arrows and didn't care about Siti at all. Instead, its four feet powered up to chase towards Wang Dust who was knocked away. Between the jungle, the Shadow Leopard was extremely fast, like lightning, and caught up with Wang Dust almost in an instant. Swish. In the ear-piercing sound of breaking wind, its two sharp claws flashed with an awe-inspiring cold light, pointing straight at Wang Chuan's throat. The person was in mid-air. Wang Dust looked at the shadow leopard that pounced on him head-on. His eyes were ancient and flat, without the slightest bit of fear. He only saw that he took a long breath at this moment and violently turned his body. The blast wind long sword in his hand crossed in front of his body, stopping the two sharp claws of the shadow leopard. There was a bang. In the sound of the collision, with the force of the recoil, his body flew out diagonally towards the other side, incidentally dodging the subsequent strike of the shadow leopard. Thud. After landing, Wang Chen moved his feet and quickly retreated to City Yu's side. On the opposite side, the shadow leopard made a beautiful pirouette in the air, and its body steadily landed on the ground. Are you alright? City Yu's pretty face turned white as she looked at Wang Chen's chest with some concern. It's fine. This guy's head isn't hard enough. Shaking his head. Wang Chuan stared vigilantly at the Shadow Leopard and replied back to Situ Yu. He reacted the moment the Shadow Leopard appeared just now, and although the opponent was caught off guard, he consciously unloaded backward when he was hit. Half of his body being knocked away was due to the impact of the Shadow Leopard, and half was also due to Wang Chen's active choice. This cunning fellow, to be so insidious? Seeing that Wang Chuan was unharmed, Situ Yu let out a sigh of relief and turned his head to look viciously at the Shadow Leopard. Bending her bow, an arrow shot out like a cannonball. Aiming straight at the shadow leopard's head, the unexpected situation just now had startled her. The young girl with a small heart decided that she would ruthlessly retaliate back. However, in the face of this arrow, a flash of humanized disdain flashed across the shadow leopard's scarlet eyes. When the arrow that shot out was about to come to its body, it moved its four feet, and its body flashed rapidly between lightning and fire, as if it was a twisted shadow, directly dodging Situ Yu's attack. Seeing this scene, Situ Yu was somewhat dumbfounded. How could he not expect that at such a close distance, the Shadow Leopard could still dodge attacks? Moreover, was this fellow's intelligence so high? Noticing the disdain that the Shadow Leopard exuded, Situ Yu thought indignantly in his heart. However, on the side, after Wang Chen saw the Shadow Leopard dodge the arrows like a ghost, a flash of realization flashed in his eyes. Under such a violent movement, the Shadow Leopard did not make a single sound between its actions, so it was no wonder that he did not realize it before it made its move. I'm afraid. This is another mutated wild monster. Silently thinking in his heart, a flash of light flashed in Wang Chuan's eyes, and the detection technique was launched. Monster, Mutant Shadow Leopard. Level, Level 30. Fighting Style, Melee. Skills, Claw Strike, Bite, Shadow Walk. Type, Mutant. Sure enough, seeing the Shadow Leopard's attributes, Wang Chen silently nodded. Just as he had guessed, this Shadow Leopard was indeed a mutated wild monster. It had made no sound between its actions before and even its breath had been hidden, which should be due to that shadow walk skill. Thinking in his heart, Wang Chuan was a little afraid that if the target of the shadow leopard's attack just now was not himself, but sit to you, the consequences would be unimaginable. However, this shadow leopard would have had some trouble if it had been lurking in the shadows waiting for an opportunity to strike, but now that it had appeared in front of the eyes, this shadow walking skill of its was considered null and void. Use long-range skills to restrict its movement, don't let it retreat into the jungle. Commanding towards Si to you, Wang Chen quickly rushed towards the shadow leopard with his sword. Instant sword. His body pulled out a trail of residual shadows in the air. And in the next second, Wang Chuan had already arrived in front of the shadow leopard. And the blast wind long sword in his hand chopped down heavily. His sudden burst of speed at this moment caused the shadow leopard to be stunned. But immediately afterward, a tyrannical look surged in his scarlet eyes. Damn prey even dared to take the initiative to attack? It really didn't know how to die. Roar. Roaring cruelly, it swung its sharp claws to meet it without fear. Bang! The blizzard longsword and the sharp claw collided together with a loud boom. Right at this moment, the shadow leopard's scarlet eyes suddenly widened, only to feel a surge of overwhelming force coming from the sharp claws. 
This damned prey, not only was it fast, but its strength was actually extremely great as well, without the slightest surprise, the instant sword's powerful chop directly sent the shadow leopard flying, roar, however, the shadow leopard was worthy of being a mutated wild monster, and its ferocity was simply not comparable to that of an ordinary wild monster, as its body flew backwards, it roared angrily, and the tail behind its buttocks was like a long whip as it ferociously lashed at Wang Chen, Wang Chuan be careful, not far away, Sit to you, who was bending her bow and holding an arrow to aim, called out nervously and loosened the bowstring in her hand. There was a whooshing sound. The arrow shot out and hit the shadow leopard's tail heavily. Bang! A cloud of blood exploded, and the shadow leopard that landed on the ground had a section of its tail directly missing behind its buttocks. Roar! The pain caused the dark shadow leopard to let out a mournful roar at this moment. Its scarlet eyes glancing at Sit to you with a deathly glance, in which there was a biting killing intent surging. That expression was as if it was saying I'll remember you. After doing this, the shadow leopard's body quickly retreated towards the back. It was going to rehide in the darkness and wait for the right time to properly hold this arrow of revenge. However, its intentions were good, but Wang Chen did not want to give it a chance. Right at this moment, Wang Chuan, whose body was falling downward due to inertia, violently stamped one foot in midair. With this foot, it was as if he was stepping on solid ground, and his body rushed out as if he were a phantom instantaneous sword, a two strike, this was precisely the special effect that appeared when the instantaneous sword was leveled to full through skill points, the next second, Wang Chuan's body appeared in front of the shadow leopard as if it was an instantaneous movement, the shadow leopard, who was preparing to evacuate backwards, saw a flash of shock in his eyes when he saw the scene, it seemed to have never thought that this prey could still burst out with such terrifying speed, however, at this moment, it simply couldn't think too much, the ear-piercing sound of breaking wind was whistling in its ears. The blast wind longsword chopped down heavily. Roar! With a roar, the shadow leopard swung its sharp claws to meet it. There was a bang. A violent collision sounded. The passive shadow leopard was directly crushed to the ground by the powerful force carried on this sword. Roar! With its body covered in dirt, the shadow leopard felt incomparably humiliated and opened its hideous mouth to bite at the human in front of it. It wanted to tear this abominable prey into pieces. However, at this moment, lying on the ground, its threatening nature had dropped to an extremely low level in Wang Chen's eyes. The open, hideous mouth was more like a joke. With a movement of his feet, Wang Chuan's body flashed past the shadow leopard's attack as if it was a ghost. Then, when the shadow leopard's head was about to brush against his own, the blast wind longsword in his hand suddenly stabbed out. There was a plopping sound. The sharp longsword pierced into the middle of the shadow leopard's bloody mouth, stabbing out directly from the back of his head. Swish! As Wang Chuan retracted the long sword, the shadow leopard's body shook helplessly for a few moments and collapsed heavily on the ground. This level 30 mutant wild monster turned into a corpse so miserably. Wang Chen, did I shoot that arrow just now at just the right time? As the battle ended, Si Tuyu came up with a smile on her face. At those words, Wang Chuan shook off the blood on his long sword and glared at her without any humor. The task he had given Si Tuyu just now was for her to restrict the shadow leopard's movements with her long range attacks to prevent this fellow from escaping. As a result, Situyu was good and didn't listen to the command, directly breaking the dark shadow leopard's tail with an arrow. A shadow leopard fur in good condition on the market could be sold for 20, 000 gold coins, and without its tail, the price would at least shrink by half. However, Wang Dust also knew that this little girl was worried about herself to be like this. Right, 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 you're the best. Wang Dust said somewhat tongue in cheek, hearing his words. Situyu's eyes curved into a crescent moon and a silly smile appeared on her face. This scene made Wang Chuan roll his eyes. At the same time, while the two of them were talking, three dim masses of light surfaced from the corpse of the shadow leopard before they respectively disappeared into the bodies of the two of them and little ice Ching. The accumulation of these three days plus the experience value gain now caused the light of upgrading to appear on the bodies of the two people and one beast pet at the same time. When Wang Chuan's mind moved, the brand new attribute information of little ice Ching and him surfaced. Beast Pet, Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon, Nickname, Ice Ching, Gender, Female, Age, Under a Month, Juvenile, Rank, Level 11, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4-Dimensional Attributes, Strength 1000, Wisdom 1000, Physique 1000, Agility 1000, Without any buffs, Equipment, or Props to Enhance it, Skills, Frost Body, SSS, Extreme Cold Spit, SSS, Cold Hell, SSS, Dragon Might, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, none. Introduction, omitted. Name, Wine Dust. Profession, Giant Beast Master. Level, 21. Talents, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. 
Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Strength, 1475 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 1475 plus 5 points. Physique, 1475 plus 5 points. Agility, 1475 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unassigned Attribute Points, 0. Unassigned Skill Points, 60 points. As usual, the attribute points were evenly distributed, and the skill points were kept first. Now, not counting any increase in equipment, Wang Chuan's four dimensional attributes had already approached the 150 point mark. This attribute was basically twice the main attribute of a professional of the same rank. As for Little Ice Ching, a thousand points of single attribute was too super specified, and a level 60 warrior would probably be slapped over by Little Ice Ching. Satisfied with his attributes, Wang Chen twisted his head to look at Situ. This girl's two eyes were vacant, with a silly smile on her face, obviously distributing her free attribute points. That being said, because Wang Dust had to evenly distribute the experience value with Bing Cheng, Situyu's current level was a full four levels higher than him, reaching level 25. According to this upgrading speed, Wang Chuan felt that before the journey to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was over, Situyu, the girl, would be able to reach the full level of the first turn, and would have to undergo the second turn. Hey! Wang Chuan are you envious of me now? As long as you give little ice ching to me, all the wild monsters you encounter afterward, the experience value will go to you. By that time, you'll be able to catch up with me in terms of leveling. After assigning the attributes, Sityu noticed Wang Chen's line of sight and a bad smile appeared on her face. For three years in high school, in the school's various subject exams, her grades had been left behind by Wang Duan. Now that her level had risen to level 25, she was far behind Wang Chen allowing Sit to use vanity to be greatly satisfied. Ha! Hearing her words, Wang Dust sneered. A mere experience value, and you want to trade little ice clear away in my hands? Foolish woman, do you have some misunderstanding about ancestral god beasts? Besides, what's the use of just having a high rank? Wang Chuan silently gazed at Sit to you for a few seconds, brewing in his heart for a moment before slowly saying, You can't beat me. The sincerity in his words was overflowing simply making Situyu unable to find any possibility of retort. Humph, exasperatedly kicking his feet. Situyu hugged little Ice Ching, turned around and moved on. So angry, Situyu closed herself off. Behind her, Wang Chen looked at the young girl's huffing and puffing figure walking away, rubbed his nose and laughed. What are you walking so fast for? Could it be that what I just said was wrong? If you think what I said is wrong, you can refute me and I will apologize with you. Scram! Before Wang Chuan finished speaking, Situyu picked up a branch and threw it over, her chest rising and falling rapidly in anger. Scram! This girl doesn't want to care about you anymore. After giving Wang Chuan a vicious look, the young girl turned around and advanced with big strides. Bastard! This girl is really angry, the kind that can't be coaxed no matter how. Woo! At this moment, little Bingqing poked her head out and rested on Situyu's shoulder. She looked at Situyu and then at her master. Woo! Humans are so troublesome. Russell Russell! The jungle after the battle calmed down soon had another group of uninvited guests. Bang! Kid, are you swindling us? It's been three days, why haven't you caught up with your two classmates yet? The hyena boss casually threw Chen Hao to the ground, his tone extremely impatient. Big brother, I, really don't know. The thorns dug into his flesh, and the pain made Chen Hao shiver, but he didn't dare to cry out in pain at all, and his eyes were filled with fear as he looked at the hyena boss. At this moment, he was, miserably, his entire body equipment was stripped bare, only wearing a bloodstained thin coat, completely losing the godly spirit of a rich young man. Humph. Upon hearing this, Hyena Boss snorted coldly. It's going to be dark. We'll rest next. We'll rush again early tomorrow morning. If we don't find it tomorrow, you'll be useless. As he spoke, he stepped forward to lift Chen Hao up, ready to bring the other party to talk about a several hundred million dollar deal. But just at this moment, boss, there's a discovery. The triangular-eyed hyena's oldest exclaimed, running over with an arrow. It's the arrow from before, and the blood left from the battle on the ground hasn't dried yet, in the dark jungle. What? Hearing Lao San's words, the hyena boss threw down Chen Hao in his hands and snatched the arrow over. That's right, it's the same arrow as before. Those two brats, they just left not long ago? After observing for a moment, an excited look appeared on the hyena boss's face. At those words, the three people around them also had hideous smiles on their faces treating arrows worth hundreds of gold coins as disposable items. This kind of fat sheep, their hyena squad was excited just thinking about it. Seeing this scene, Chen Hao, 
who was lying on the ground humiliatedly covering his buttocks, silently let out a sigh of relief. Great, the asshole doesn't have to be destroyed anymore. Thinking silently in his heart, he looked at the cruel expressions on the faces of the hyena squad's few people, and his heart was also slightly excited. Wang Dust, you wait for me, you are so handsome, hyena boss will definitely like you a lot. Just at this moment, thinking of the treatment that Wang Chen would suffer afterward, Chen Hao, who was excited in his heart, suddenly realized that a shadow had enveloped him. Boss, hurry up and catch them, they have a lot of valuable things on them. Looking up and seeing that it was Boss Hyena, Chen Hao said excitedly, Don't worry, hearing his words, Hyena Boss gave a wry smile, I'll have the two of them with you soon. As the words fell, his fist, which seemed to be the size of a sandbag, suddenly swung out. There was a thud, before Chen Hao could even ponder the meaning of the words, he was directly blasted through the heart. You, promised me that you would spare me. You, don't keep your word. Life drained away little by little. Chen Hao's eyes looked at the hyena boss in disbelief. Ha! Hearing his words, the hyena boss casually tossed him aside like trash. Spare you, credit? The rule of our hyena squad is to never leave anyone alive every time we strike. Leaving behind a cold sentence, hyena boss licked the blood on his fist and looked deeper into the jungle with excited eyes. Go, go after those two fat sheep. With a wave of his arm, he led his three companions to chase after Wang Chen and sit to you in the direction they had left with great strides. Dusk, the sun set. The entire 10,000 beasts mountain range fell into silence. The dim light of the sky could no longer break through the blockade of the layers of tree canopies and shed its light on the ground. At this moment, the interior of the 10,000 beasts mountain range was so dimly lit that it could almost be said that one couldn't see a finger. Not to mention the professionals who entered the 10,000 beasts mountain range in search of wealth. Even those wild monsters that were born and raised in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range would honestly stay in their own nests at dusk, and would not move around easily. Rustling, in a slight ringing sound, the light of a flashlight projected a pillar of light in the dim jungle, breaking the silence. Wang Chuan and Situ Yu, walking deep and shallow in the jungle. Wang Chuan, I can't walk anymore. Under the flashlight's illumination, Situ Yu's face was a little white, and her breathing was a little ragged, as a blizzard archer. Her attribute additions favored strength and agility, and her physical strength was completely incapable of being compared to this pervert Wang Chuan. Got it. Through this forest, we'll look for a place to camp. Wang Chen, who was leading the way in front, said at this time without looking back, without the need for Si Tiyu to say it, he also planned to find a place to camp as soon as possible. After all, the night in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was too dangerous and the professionals who had been mingling in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range for a long time would silently follow an iron law. That is, after entering the darkness of the night, one should never act in the middle of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Because at night, although the wild monsters in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range basically wouldn't move out, there were always some exceptions. These wild monsters that dared to move at night, without exception, each one of them was a terrifying hunter with strong strength. In their respective regions, they were all well-deserved overlords. Therefore, the veteran birds that entered the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, even if they didn't find a suitable campsite, they would only stay nearby for the night, and would definitely not get up until dawn. Russell Russell, exploring forward with the light of the flashlight, Wang Chen silently searched for a suitable campsite. Soon, his eyes lit up. Not far ahead, he saw an extremely thick tree. This large tree was at least as thick as a three-person embrace, so as long as it was properly maneuvered, Digging out a treehouse that could accommodate two people would not be a problem. Is it done? Seeing Wang Chuan stop, Situ Yu directly leaned over, her chin resting on Wang Chuan's shoulder with a breathless look. Hold on a little longer. We'll camp right in front. Wang Chuan didn't have the good sense to push the young girl who was taking advantage of him away, and reached out to point at the large tree ahead. Great. Hearing his words, Situ Yu let out a cry of joy, instantly losing the shriveled look she had just had. Then what are you waiting for? Why don't we hurry over there? As she spoke, she directly hugged little Bingqing and ran towards the big tree. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan rolled his eyes speechlessly. Good fellow, feelings that you were pretending before? He shook his head helplessly and took a step to follow. Bang bang bang. With a muffled sound, Wang Chuan used his blizzard longsword to dig out a large hole in the tree trunk next to the thick tree branch. After getting it done, Situ Yu couldn't wait to squeeze in. Hey, Wang Chuan, do you want to come in and rest for a while? Inside the hollowed out hole of the large tree, Situ Yu moved her but and made a place in the small space. Forget it, the place is too small, it's cramped, outside the tree hole. Wang Chen glanced at the narrow space in the tree hole and shook his head. A place that big was enough for one person to stay in, and for two people, the place shared by one person was not as big as their buttocks. I'd better lie down here, 
just so I can still pay some attention to the situation outside. You hurry up and rest. You still have to catch up tomorrow. Tying up the hammock, Wine Dust said. Oh, then, good night. Hearing his words, Situyu answered, her emotions seeming to have some small loss. After saying good night to Wine Dust, she tightened the blanket on her body and prepared to rest. However, just at this moment, she suddenly saw a flash of light in her afterglow. Wang Chen, there seems to be someone over there? Situyu was instantly alert in her heart as she pointed in the direction where she saw the bright light and whispered, Someone? Hearing Situyu's words, Wang Chuan couldn't help but be stunned. It couldn't be? This road is so difficult to travel. And there are other professionals coming over? Thinking in his heart, Wang Chuan looked in the direction of Situyu's finger. This look immediately caused his eyes to become heavy. Good fellow, there's really someone who walks this kind of crappy road just like us? Underestimating under his breath, Wang Chan and Situyu looked at each other. What now? If they get any closer, they will definitely find us? Situyu asked in a low voice. Hearing her words, Wang Chan rubbed his nose and felt some toothache. This, indeed, was a problem. What should we do? Looking at the gradually approaching bright light in the distance, Wang Chen rubbed his nose and silently pondered in his heart. At this time now, it was definitely impractical to change a camping spot. It would soon be completely dark, and wandering around in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range at this time was tantamount to dancing on the tip of a knife. But if he didn't change the place, those few guys in the distance would come over, and it would most likely be trouble again. After all, in the middle of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the most trustworthy thing for all the professionals was only their own weapons. The rest of anyone, including their companions, had to be wary. Silently pondering in his mind, Wang Chuan gradually came to a decision. Let's wait and see the situation first. If it's just ordinary professionals venturing into the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, we'll leave them alone. If not, then let's prepare for battle. He turned his head and looked at Situyu and said. At those words, the young girl was a little nervous. This isn't good, is it? Situyu said hesitantly, although there are no laws in the 10,000 beasts mountain range, we can't just kill people at will, right? Wang Dust looked at Situyu with strange eyes, his expression very nonchalant. I'm just talking about fighting, and you're talking to me about killing people? TSK, maiden ah, this pattern of yours is really open. I, Wang Dust, would like to call you wolf extinction. What's wrong? Being watched by Wang Chen's gaze, Situyu was a little puzzled. Nothing. Seeing that the young girl did not feel the slightest bit that there was anything wrong with the words, Wang Dust shook his head and turned to look into the distance not wanting to say anything. This bitch was too ruthless, and must be offended less in the future. Sha 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 sha, the hyena squad, a group of four people, walked among the jungle in a dull manner. Boss, there's someone in the tree in front. Right at this moment, the oldest three in the squad suddenly stopped in his tracks. He only saw him close his eyes and perceive for a moment, then said with some excitement, there are two of them, it should be those two fat sheep. Upon hearing his words, the other two both simultaneously placed their gazes on the hyena boss. They had no doubts at all about Lao San's words. After all, as a level 40 druid, Lao San could already communicate a little bit simply with the plants in the forest. Boss what do we do now? Kill up directly? Assassin profession oldest two licked his lips and asked with some excitement. No. At those words, hyena boss shook his head, a touch of cunning flashing across his face. These two brats were able to take care of so many sinking demons before. They definitely have powerful equipment in their hands. And there are definitely no shortage of magic skill scrolls. Let's lean over to meet them first and try to take them by surprise. Oldest three, you directly enter the sneaking state and wait for my order to do it. Looking around at the three teammates beside him, Hyena boss commanded. Good, boss is wise. The three people around him nodded. And the second one of them even disappeared without saying a word. His body directly shook and disappeared. If one looked closely, one could notice that there was a faint outline among the shadows on the ground. Move. Seeing this scene, the hyena boss didn't hesitate and directly stepped forward in the direction of the target. Soon, the three of them arrived under the large tree where Wang Chan and Situ were. When they reached here, the hyena boss waved his hand and several people stopped in their tracks. Friend in the tree. It's almost dark. Do you mind if we hitch a ride around? He looked at the shadows on the big tree and raised his voice to shout. Tree. Wang Dust's eyes flashed with a flash of strangeness as he sniffed. When did these guys discover themselves and sit to you? With this thought in his mind, he alertly emerged from the tree and looked at the three below. Sorry about that, it's not very convenient. So you guys should change places. Hearing his words, a flash of anger surged on the faces of the hyena's oldest three and oldest four, and they were about to open their mouths to retort. However, at that moment, a large hand clapped on their shoulders, and it was none other than hyena boss. Understandable. 
In a place like the 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range, a little more vigilance will probably lead to more lives. As he spoke, his line of sight constantly swirled around Wang Chen's handsome face, and a rich greed surged under his eyes. Masculine, handsome, it's Laozi's favorite type. The hyena boss stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. At the same time, he quietly wiggled his fingers and gave the second one an order. Opposite, being stared at by this line of sight, Wang Chen felt a chill go straight from his tailbone to his head. Good fellow, you're not right. Since you understand that's great, take your time. But after all, Wang Chuan was not a person with a taste for killing. He silently gripped his longsword at this moment and gave his expulsion order. However, right at this moment, just after the words were said, a strong sense of threat suddenly rose in his heart. There was a whooshing sound. In the next second, the violent sound of breaking wind resounded in his ears. As the hyena boss gave the order to make a move, a black shadow suddenly emerged from the root of the tree, and he seemed to be like a snake traveling forward on the tree, silently and lightning fast rushing to Wang Chen's side. This little brat is so good looking. It seems like I have to leave his body intact, or else the boss will teach me a lesson again. This black shadow was none other than the second in the hyena squad. He held a dagger in his hand, a touch of pity among his icy eyes. The skill he used at this moment was the exclusive skill of a first-turn assassin, Shadow Assault. It allowed him to silently approach his target through the shadows, and then launch a fatal strike on him. In just a few breaths of time, Hyena Elder was close to Wang Chen. When he saw that Wang Dust had opened his mouth to speak and his attention was all on his boss's side, a flash of cold light flashed in his icy eyes. Good chance. Without hesitation, he suddenly leapt out from the shadows, and the dagger in his hand stabbed at Wang Chen's chest like a viper. After launching his attack, the hyena penis had a somewhat excited expression on his face. He couldn't wait to feel the wonderful touch when the dagger pierced into the human body. However, just as the dagger in his hand was about to hit its target, his pupils suddenly shrunk. Whoosh! The sound of violent wind rang in his ears. Wang Chuan was shocked in his heart, and at this moment, he could not even think about it, and subconsciously chopped out with his sword. In order to increase the power, he even directly utilized the skill. Instant sword. Za! Violent wind sounds echoed, and the long sword in Wang Chuan's hand chopped out as if it was instantaneous. The hyena elder, who immediately thought that he was going to get it, his pupils shrunk. A long sword that was falling at extreme speed appeared in the middle of his vision. The next second, clang, a violent sound of gold and iron clashing rang out, and dazzling sparks arose from the collision of the two weapons. With the help of this suddenly bright light, Wang Chuan saw the appearance of the sneak attacker clearly. In an instant, a flash of color flashed in his eyes and on the opposite side. Damn it, how could this fellow be so fast? Just as surprise had time to surface in his heart, Hyena Lao San felt a strong force coming from the falling longsword. Being in mid-air, he had nowhere to unload his force, and his entire body was directly split out. There was a thud. It wasn't until he fell to the ground that Hyena Elder stopped his backwards flying body. Phew! After splitting the sneak attacker with one strike, Wang Chen moved his somewhat numb arm and let out a long breath. With that sword just now, he had used all of his strength, and from the recoil force, that sneak attacker was at least 20 levels higher than him. It seems that I've run into an elite amongst the first turn professionals, with a grave thought in his heart. Wang Chen patted Si Tiu, who was somewhat lost in thought, beside him. Well, are you alright? Ah, Si Tiu was a bit dazed at this moment as if she had woken up from a dream. She still hadn't figured out how a fight suddenly broke out when she was talking properly just now. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust rolled his eyes speechlessly. Without any good humor, he dragged Sitiu behind him as he looked downwards with vigilant eyes. Hyena squad? Snap. Kid, your resilience and observation skills are outstanding. What? Any interest in joining our hyena squad? Under the tree, the hyena boss, who was as strong as a polar bear, clapped his hands and looked at Wang Chuan with a face of admiration. Masculine, handsome, and not bad in terms of strength and talent. Absorbing into the team as new blood would also be excellent. The hyena boss stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. Opposite. Wang Chuan was finally clear about where the chill he inexplicably felt came from. However, at this moment, the eyes he looked at the hyena boss's several people were not much different from the other side. The eyes burned, and it was as if there was the light of gold coins flickering in them. Seeing the hyena boss's appearance under the sparks of the collision just now allowed him to learn the identity of the other party. Hyena squad. Ha ha. This was a wanted criminal that ranked 36 on the Dongling City Adventure Guild's most wanted list, and the four heads combined were worth 4 million gold coins. Thinking that in front of him was a walking 4 million gold coins, Wang Dust felt that the disgusting gaze wasn't intolerable. I am indeed interested in your hyena squad, but, it's for your heads. Looking at the hyena squad's boss, Wang Chuan had a sunny smile on his face.
don't know how to die. Hearing his words, before the hyena squad boss could speak, the second one, who had just been chopped away, popped out. At this moment, he moved his numb arm and looked at Wang Chen with an incomparably icy gaze. At this time, he had long since seen that the other party was just a level 15 munchkin. As soon as he thought of it, he was actually sent flying with a sword by a newbie who had just been transferred. Hyena Elder's heart was enraged. However, despite this, he did not act rashly, but slowly surrounded the large tree with his companions. The hyena elder knew very well that the boss hated it when people messed up when he was having a talk. The previous hyena elder was disposed of because of his rash actions. At this moment, the three members of the hyena squad surrounded the large tree where Wang Chen and Sityu were from the left and right rear. The hyena boss, on the other hand, was holding a long knife and blocking the forefront with a sardonic smile on his face. Kid, you refused my good intentions, so I'll have to play by the rules. Don't worry, I will cherish your corpse, tree, Wang Chen. I'll run quickly. Seeing the ferocious hyena squad of four approaching, Situyu's voice took on a hint of trembling amongst her voice, and one of her hands tightly grabbed the corner of Wang Chuan's coat. Apparently she also recognized the infamous bounty hunter squad. Run? Hearing Situyu's words, Wang Chuan patted her somewhat trembling little hand. Don't worry, nothing will happen, it's them who should be running away now. Speaking in a light tone, Wang Chuan glanced at little Bingqing who was leaping forward. This little guy, after seeing the four members of the hyena squad appear, began to get excited. The militant talent hidden in the middle of her bloodline caused a burning battle intent to rise in her gem-like eyes. But, hearing Wang Chen's words, Situyu became even more nervous. There are second-turn powerhouses inside them. We can't beat them at all. Seeing this nervous expression on her face, Wang Chen couldn't help but look at her a few more times. Normally in school, this girl was staggering and had a look of fearlessness. Unexpectedly, there was such a little girl posture. If this was filmed, I'm afraid it would become Sit to use black history for the rest of her life. However, this idea Wang Chuan just thought about it in his heart. This girl was scared. Adding oil to the fire was a bit unseemly. Don't worry. Have you not forgotten that I am a giant royal beast master? Just because the two of us can't beat them, it doesn't mean little Ice Ching can't. In a moment, you'll watch little Ice Ching show off her power. Patting Sit to use hand, Wang Chen smiled. Little Ice Ching? Hearing his words, Situyu looked puzzled and looked down at the little guy in her arms. Woo! Little Bingqing chirped at this moment, his cute little face filled with complacency. A look of I'm awesome. No way. Wang Chen you're letting little Ice Ching go to his death. However, Situyu's brainwaves didn't even match up with little Ice Ching. To die we'll die together. You can't be so cruel. She'll be eaten. Looking at the cute little one, Situyu's eyes revealed an intolerance. And she held little Bingqing in her arms to the death. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen stroked his nose speechlessly. Good fellow, you really didn't take what I said before to heart. For a moment, Wang Dust was somewhat expecting that. What would Sit to Yu's expression be when Little Ice Ching displayed her battle stance in a moment? The four people from the hyena squad completely blocked off the space in front of and behind the big tree. As they looked at Wang Chen and Sit to Yu who were talking quietly, a hideous smile appeared on each of their faces. Ha ha ha, you two have a deep bond. What, have you discussed who to leave behind to break the back? I can give you a chance to let one of you run for a minute first. The hyena boss said teasingly. As he spoke, he quietly gestured towards the second in the group. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly after seeing the oldest two's bodies twisting unnoticeably. The reason why the hyena boss had brought his men to slowly encircle up and did not directly launch an attack was mainly because he was worried that Wang Chen and Situyu would indiscriminately throw high power skill scrolls. Now, however, hyena boss was not worried. First turn assassins had an exclusive skill named Shadow Split. Shadow Split, see Assassin Exclusive Skill, Active Skill, after using this skill, you can split into a Shadow Split, and within a range of 10 meters, you can swap positions between the main body and the Shadow Split at any time. Remarks, the Shadow Doppelganger does not have any attack or defense power, and has a continuous existence time of 60 seconds. Just now, he had already told the oldest two to use their skills, so in a moment, it would be hard for these two fat goats to escape even if they had their wings. Making preparations? The hyena boss silently looked at the two fat sheep in front of him. At the sight of Situyu, a flash of disgust flashed through his eyes, but when his eyes fell on Wang Chen, a flash of fire surged under his eyes. Since he was unwilling to join, he would have to take advantage of the heat in a while, thinking excitedly in his heart. The hyena boss licked his lips unnaturally. On the big tree, hearing the hyena boss's words, Situyu's expression shifted uncertainly, and after giving Wang Chen an unwilling glance, she gritted her teeth and was about to move forward. However, just as she raised her foot, Wang Chuan reached out and yanked the silly girl. Do you seem to be seriously ill? If a bounty hunter's words can be trusted, 
an iron tree can blossom, without any good humor. Wang Dust Yang sit to you behind him and mockingly looked at the hyena boss, trying to sway us with words? What a clumsy trick. And, as he spoke, he skimmed his mouth disdainfully, using the shadow divergence skill under the eyes of an honor student who managed to get a perfect score in the magic fluctuation perception course? Are you taking me for blind? As soon as the words fell, the long sword in Wang Chuan's hand turned around and directly stabbed down heavily towards his left hand side. Puffing, the long sword instantly didn't penetrate a foot into the tree trunk, and the shadow that was stabbed violently twisted, then dissipated into a wisp of green smoke in the next second. The shadow doppelganger that didn't have the slightest bit of attack power or defense was directly crushed. This, seeing this scene, Hyena Elder, who had used his shadow split skill and was preparing to sneak attack from behind, had a shocked expression on his face. How could he not have thought that a level 15 budding professional would be able to spot the shadow splitter's trail? This T, sure it wasn't a joke? After his skill was used, even Hyena Boss, who had reached level 50, couldn't accurately find where the shadow divergent was. What a keen insight. The Hyena Boss was equally filled with shock at this time, and his eyes were even more colorful when he looked at Wang Chen. You have this talent. It's a pity to die here. Think it over. As long as you kill that woman, I'll let you join our Hyena squad. At that time, I can fulfill whatever you want, including, me. As he spoke, the hyena boss's body that was as strong as a polar bear trembled strangely for a few moments. This scene made Wang Chuan and Sityu shudder as they watched. Even the other three members of the hyena squad around them were also chilling as they quietly moved away from their boss. This hobby, 2T scary. Wang, Wang dust, does he, like, you, do you want to, think about it? Hiding her body behind Wang Chuan, Sityu stammered. Hearing her words, Wang Dust almost stumbled and fell on the ground. Was it wrong to be handsome? The gas shivered cold. Dead girl, do you want to die that badly? Originally, at the time when Sityu was ready to give up her life to break the back because of the hyena boss's proposal, Wang Dust's favorability towards this girl almost directly exploded. But now, was gone. What do you mean like? What does it mean to be on you? If you don't know how to speak, don't say it. Stuttering attracts misunderstanding, glaring fiercely at Sityu. Wang Chuan reached out and grabbed her in her arms, then directly threw the impatient Little Ice Ching towards the four members of the hyena squad. Little Ice Ching, get them for me. No. Seeing this scene, Sityu instantly cried out in shock. Wang Chen, you're too cruel to let Little Ice Ching go to her death? As she spoke, Sityu gave Little Bing Ching's back a reluctant glance. Then gritting her teeth, she grabbed Wang Chen's arm and was about to jump like under a tree. You ruthless guy, hurry up and go. Don't waste the time that Little Bing Ching has bought us. However, Wang Chuan was like an old tree taking root, looking ahead without a glance. Sityu's little bit of strength made his figure not even shake a little. Anger. Didn't want to bother with this guy with a major illness. Bastard. Seeing this scene, Sityu was so angry that he stomped his feet. Opposite. The four members of the hyena squad, when they saw Wang Chuan wave his hand and a blue-colored shadow flew out, their eyes couldn't help but become grave. Be careful. Pay attention to dodging skill scrolls. The hyena boss, in particular, gave a loud reminder to his teammates at this moment. However, after the words fell and the azure-colored shadow appeared in front of them, they saw that it wasn't a skill scroll at all. Instead, it was a strange creature covered in azure scales, with small pointed horns on its head, four claws, too large and too small, flying in the air with the help of small wings. It looked cute and cuddly, belonging to the type that would be madly chased by little girls. This, this is actually a fucking pet? Seeing this scene, the hyena boss was furious. He had just been frightened by a small pet? This was simply a strange shame. Catch it for me. I'm going to stew it for me today. With a furious roar, the hyena boss didn't even put little ice ching in his eyes, and waved his long sword before preparing to move forward, and the other three followed suit with their attacks. Woo! Little ice ching waved its wings, excitedly looking at the four who rushed up, a clear chirping sound coming out of its mouth. After coming out for so long, he finally came across a few guys that could barely be used as toys. Without hesitation, Little Ice Ching swung its wings and directly greeted the four people of the hyena squad. Seeing this scene, the hyena boss, who was holding a long sword, had a hideous smile on his face. This little thing of yours is loyal. I'm sure that digging out the heart and roasting it for dinner will have a different flavor. Saying cruelly under his breath, the hyena boss swung his long knife, and was about to chop the little creature in front of him under his knife. However, just at this moment, the hyena boss's pupils instantly shrunk to the size of the tip of a needle, as if he had seen the most incredible thing in the world. Aang, the clear chirping from little Bingqing's mouth suddenly transformed into a hefty dragon roar. Immediately after that, her delicate and small body size rapidly expanded, 
and in the blink of an eye, it transformed into a five-meter-long behemoth. Hoo hoo hoo! The bitterly cold wind blew, the moisture in the air condensed, and the entire dense forest instantly seemed to have entered winter. At the same time, the other three people of the hyena squad, before they could figure out what was happening, a sudden gust of wind gusted in front of them, then their bodies were slapped by an irresistible force that sent them flying backwards. Bang bang bang! After the three of them tumbled and landed on the ground, they spat out a mouthful of blood almost at the same time. That slap just now had directly caused the three of them to break several of their ribs. However, they were worthy of being infamous bounty hunters. One by one, they forcefully endured their injuries and got up, vigilantly searching for the source of the attack. But immediately after, they were dumbstruck, their eyes almost falling out, only to see that in front of them, a creature that seemed to have stepped out of a myth was hovering in midair. The creature was covered in azure-colored scale armor, and its two wings gently waved, bringing up a piercingly cold wind. There were hideous claws, and a pair of sharp horns hovering on the huge head. All of the features were indicative of the fact that what appeared before their eyes was a mythical creature from the legends. The giant dragon. A dragon. Giant dragon? The hyena boss looked at the behemoth in front of him and felt his soul freeze. That unassuming little pet was actually a noble and incomparable gargoyle? Crazy. This could be at least a divine beast level behemoth. But to be held in someone's arms as a pet before? Boss Hyena never thought that he would one day be able to see a giant dragon among the divine beasts with his own eyes. And also, unfortunately, become the enemy of this giant dragon. How many sins did this T create? Only then did he receive such retribution? And on the side, the other three people from the hyena squad were so frightened that they trembled and directly fell to the ground. Nima, why would a terrifying creature like a giant dragon appear here? Just now, with just the gusts of wind brought up by those two dragon wings, the three of them had suffered considerable injuries. This moment, the four of the hyena squad's hearts were filled with despair. Tree, this, Situyu looked in front of him, and his entire body directly froze. A huge creature over five meters appeared in front of her in the blink of an eye. The powerful dragon claws, the hideous dragon horns, the huge wings with a wingspan of over seven meters. None of them reminded her that this was a divine beast that had stepped out from the legends. Giant dragon, how could Situyu not have imagined that Bing Chung? who had previously been treated as a pet by herself, had turned into a giant dragon amongst the divine beasts. This, it was as if it was a fantasy from the heavens. At the same time, Aang, a high dragon roar rang out as the energetic Ice Ching prepared to use the extreme cold spit to give his initial battle a perfect start. In an instant, vast frost power converged in Ice Ching's mouth, forming an azure-colored mass of extreme cold energy that emitted terrifying power fluctuations. Rumble, with the energy built up to the extreme. Ice Ching deflected the dragon's mouth, and the azure-colored ball of energy transformed into a pillar of light, sweeping towards the four people of the hyena squad. Boom! Violent roars rang out, and the violent energy turbulence instantly spread in all directions. In just the blink of an eye, a deep gully appeared where the extreme cold spit hit. Other than the hyena boss, the other three members of the hyena squad who were in the gully didn't even have time to let out a single scream before they were ripped to shreds by the raging power. So strong! Seeing the destruction caused by the extreme cold spitting breath, Wang Chuan clenched his fists with excitement in his eyes, killing three level 40 first turn professionals in one blow. Little Ice Ching's strength had not let him down. On the side, the hyena boss who had escaped with his life saw the tragic deaths of his three teammates, and his entire body shivered in fear. The power of this strike was too terrifying. He knew very well in his heart that if he hadn't dodged it just now, he would have definitely ended up being killed in seconds directly. Was this the strength of a divine beast dragon? It was too super specialized. Only after a long time did the hyena boss come back to his senses. His eyes still filled with a strong sense of disbelief. This was definitely not something he could deal with as a second turn professional. Thinking with fear in his heart, the hyena boss quietly stepped backward, wanting to escape. However, as soon as he moved, he saw a pair of azure colored vertical pupils filled with majesty appear in front of him. There was a fluttering sound, without the slightest hesitation. The hyena boss directly fell to his knees and cowed out frantically towards Bing Ching. I was wrong. It's me who has no eyes. I'm willing to pay any price and beg you to keep my dog's life. The hyena boss was kowtowing like garlic at this point. Dignity? Face? Money? At this moment in the hyena boss's heart, nothing was as important as his own life. At this moment, he only regretted why he was so blind, treating that youth who owned a huge dragon as a fat sheep. Shit. After escaping today? I absolutely have to stay away from Dongling City and far away from the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. With depressed thoughts in his heart, the hyena boss cowed out unceasingly, and his mouth even begged for forgiveness loudly. It's me who has no eyes and has offended you too. This is all the belongings I have on me. 
I'm willing to use them to exchange for one of my dog's life. As he spoke, the hyena boss took out all the valuable things on his body. His life was at the mercy of that handsome young man across the street. Now, he somewhat realized the feelings of those adventurers who were brutally murdered by the hyena squad before they died. Whoops. At this moment, Ding Cheng also looked at Wang Chuan, with a pair of large, jewel-like eyes that carried a hidden aggression. That expression was as if she was feeling like her toy, was going to be snatched away. On the big tree, when Wang Chuan saw the scene, a smile appeared on his face. This little fellow Bing Qing was quite playful. How could one who was the master snatch a toy from her? Just play slowly by yourself and don't give it a break like the other three. This guy is worth a lot of money. You'll have to take his head for all your future snacks. Smiling and instructing Bing Qing, Wang Chen turned his head to look at Situ Yu. As for the hyena boss, he didn't care at all about the other party's offer. Taking money to buy his life? Ha! Only a dead bounty hunter was a good bounty hunter. Damn kid! I curse you not to die. Seeing that Wang Chuan didn't pay any attention to himself, the hyena boss's heart sank into the abyss and he cursed furiously. Cursing angrily, he gripped his long sword and stood up with difficulty. Bastard! Really think you've got me? If you want to kill me, you'll have to pay the price too. Knowing that he couldn't possibly be spared today, the hyena boss was also aroused to ferocity, and he intended to fight for his life. Although this huge dragon in front of him was a mythical creature, it wasn't as huge as the legends, and was obviously still in its juvenile stage. With luck, the hyena boss felt that he might still be able to escape with his life. However, just as this thought had risen in his mind, a black shadow suddenly enveloped above him. Bing Qing swung his wings and instantly arrived next to him. Then the dragon claw, which was like the size of a millstone, swung out. It directly gave the hyena boss a big BB pocket. Bang! The hyena boss didn't even react and his entire body was hit by a strong and overwhelming force. The body spun in circles and flew out. Boom! Under this powerful force, he directly crashed into the rock wall, and then his entire body was embedded. Put! A mouthful of blood sprayed out. After taking this hit, the hyena boss had broken at least 17 or 18 ribs, and at the place where he stood before, the extreme cold dragon Ice Ching excitedly moved his dragon claws in a playful manner. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan silently gave Boss Hyena a second of silence in his heart. A level 50 second turn professional should be able to let Bing Qing move his muscles, right? Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chuan patted Situ Yu who was still a bit stunned. Hey, come back to your senses. Now you believe what I said before, right? At this moment, awakened by the voice, Situ Yu came back to her senses. She turned her head to look at Wang Chen, her eyes filled with incredulity and shock. Wang Chuan, this stinky fellow, had actually contracted to a giant beast, and it was still amongst the giant beasts, a giant dragon? Situyu thought of how she had held Bing Ching in her arms and rubbed her earlier, and felt as if she was experiencing a hallucination. That was a giant dragon, and I actually treated it as an ordinary pet before? Even with her big heart, she now felt a sense of fear. With the size that Bing Ching had displayed, it was probably able to sit on her butt. Hey, what are you thinking about? Seeing Situyu start to stare again, Wang Chan waved his hand in front of her. Upon hearing this, Situ Yu looked straight over. Wang Chen, tell me the truth. How did you contract Bing Ching? There are only a handful of divine beast giant dragons in our Dondling city, or even the entire dragon kingdom. It's probably luck. Wang Dust rubbed his nose and somewhat ambiguously replied. I just bought a cold ice lizard in the free market. And then when I went home and used the imperial beast technique contract, the cold ice lizard mutated into an ice ching. I can only say that handsome looking boys don't have too much luck. As he spoke, Wang Chen's face deliberately revealed a touch of smugness. It was naturally impossible for him to tell Situyu that he had obtained Bing Qing through the fusion of beast pets, and that Bing Qing was not a divine beast, but a topmost ancestral divine beast. This kind of secret was better to rot in one's heart for the rest of one's life, or else it would lead to countless troubles. Luck? Because you are handsome? Cut. Seeing Wang Chen's smelly look, Situyu subconsciously glanced at her mouth. Immediately afterward, she violently took a step forward and her pretty face was almost plastered together with Wang Duan. Luckily, this scene was not seen by Sito Hoyan, or else this fellow would have been so angry that he would have directly exploded in place. Tell me, which beast pet store did you buy the ice clear from? Speaking word by word, Sito Yu's eyes shone brightly. It was at the beast pet store at the innermost part of the free market. His beast pets are of good quality. Feeling the young girl's orchid-like spit on his face, Wang Chen unnaturally turned his head away. But in the next second, his head was squared by two jade hands. Look straight at me. Situyu's eyes were as bright as stars, and a vicious threat came out of her mouth. Don't think about lying to me, or I'll go to your house every day to make trouble. It was hard to imagine that. 
Si Tu Yu, who usually had a big grin in front of Wang Chen, was suddenly serious at this moment, and her pretty face, which was serious, actually emanated as if she was a queen like Aura, noble and cold, unquestionable. But the next second, she broke. Can you speak some hygiene? You spit in my face. Wang Chen reached out and pushed Si Tu Yu's face backward, then wiped his face with his sleeve in disgust. In front of the cave entrance, the atmosphere became unforgiving for a moment. Sityu's pretty face was covered in a red haze, and her ears were red. So embarrassing, she covered her face with both hands, feeling like she had no face to see others. And on the opposite side, that, are you alright? Wang Chuan felt that the young girl in front of him was in dire need of Ice Ching's help. Look, it seemed like smoke was coming out of her head. I'm fine. Sityu stomped her foot and said loudly, quietly looking at Wang Chuan through her fingers, her eyes hiding. Bastard. Whoops. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust touched his nose. How strange. I'd better watch Bing Qing's battle heroics. With this thought in his mind, he turned his head to look under the tree. Bang bang bang. At this moment, little Bing Qing's playfulness was high, treating the hyena boss as a leather ball and constantly slapping around with a pair of dragon claws. As a second turn level 50 professional, reduced to the point of being a toy, there was no one else for what happened to hyena boss. Moreover, this toy of his was not cherished at all. Xiaobingqing's strength that reached 1000 points was not the slightest bit restrained each time he swung. After just a dozen or so strikes, almost all of the bones in the hyena boss's body were broken, and his entire body went limp, more like a ball. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan was a little worried that if he didn't stop it, the hyena boss would be beaten up alive next. Alright, Bing Chung, call it quits when you're almost done playing. Greeting little Ice Ching, Wang Chuan walked forward with his longsword and cleanly understood the hyena boss. Four million gold coins arrived. Satisfied, he took the hyena boss's head and wrapped it in a sealed bag and packed it into his parcel. Oh, on the side, seeing his toy gone, Bing Ching whimpered. With a pair of gem-like eyes, she looked at Wang Chuan with resignation. Bing Ching be good. When we go back I'll take you to the playground to play. However, at this moment, Wang Chuan was picking up his equipment, and when he heard the voice, he just took the time to comfort him. Wu. Upon hearing this, Bing Ching screamed in dissatisfaction, feeling that she was being left out in the cold. Phew. With a wave of her wings, she instantly rose into the air and flew towards Situyu at the cave entrance. During the flight, Bing Ching's body rapidly shrunk, and in an instant, she returned to her previous small and delicate appearance. The next second, Situyu, who was still immersed in the world of embarrassment and was about to snap out two rooms with his toes, suddenly felt a weight in his arms. This, Looking at the cute little guy that suddenly appeared in front of him, Situyu subconsciously physically trembled. She hadn't forgotten about Bing Ching's majestic appearance just now when he displayed his fighting state. This was not the ordinary pet that she had thought of before, but a divine beast gargoyle. If she upset little Bing Ching, would this little fellow also beat herself around like a ball? For a while, Situyu felt a great deal of pressure. However, Wu Wu, pouncing into Situyu's arms, Bing Ching's gem like eyes blinked and blinked with a look that begged for comfort. Seeing this scene, Situyu felt his heart hit. It was too adorable. Wang Chen, this son of a bitch, what kind of luck did he have to contract such a cute creature as Bing Ching? No, I have to abduct this little guy. Thinking silently in her heart, Situyu took out the treasured snacks from her spatial equipment and handed them over to Bing Ching. Bing Cheng you were fantastic today. These are to reward you. From now on, you'll follow me. There's enough snacks to go around. Situyu said with two blowing eyes. Woo. Seeing that the stupid human woman was so understanding, Bing Cheng patted Situyu's shoulder with her wings. Decision made. This dragon's future snacks will be contracted to you. As for hanging out with you, Wu, this beef jerky tastes good. Save one for master. Little Bing Cheng secretly poked a packet of beef jerky and grabbed it in his little paw. The other three people in the hyena squad had their equipment scrapped along with them because they were directly blown to pieces by Ice Cheng's extreme cold spit. What Wang Chuan had left from this counter-killing of the hyena squad. Aside from the 4 million gold coins bounty on the most wanted list, were the 4 items that he had stripped off the hyena boss's body. A long knife, a half armor that had been somewhat deformed by Bing Ching's slap, a ring, a necklace. These 4 items were all flickering with a faint magical aura. Clearly all of them were at least bronze ranked equipment or above. Next, it's time to open the blind box. Placing the 4 items on the ground in turn, Wang Chen took out the appraisal scroll. Prick la, as the appraisal scroll was torn open. A soft light enveloped the items on the ground. In the next second, the attribute information of the four items appeared before his eyes. Under the big tree, Wang Dust looked at the four items on the ground expectantly. Equipment, Green Blade Blade. Type, Melee Weapon. Grade, Silver. 
Level Limit, 45. Attributes, Strength plus 100. Physique plus 50. Attributes, Strength plus 100. Physique plus 50. Enchanted Effects, I, each attack hits the target with a heavy impact effect, with a 5% chance of causing a 1 second stun on targets with a strength attribute lower than that of the equipment wearer. 2. The power of all its own skills is increased by 5%. Equipment, Steel Lock Armor. Type, Defense. Grade, Bronze. Level Limit, 45. Attribute, Strength plus 40. Physique plus 70. Attachment Effect, Unyielding. Enchantment Effect, Indomitable. When attacked, Reduce damage by 20%. Equipment, Silver Moon Pendant. Type, The Jewelry. Grade, Silver. Level Limit, 15. Attributes, Physique plus 30. Spirit plus 20. Enchantment Effect, I. Silver Moon Shelter. Attachment Effects, I. Silver Moon Shelter. When fighting under a knight with the moon, one's attack speed increases by 10%, and physical strength recovery speed increases by 10%. 2. Long range attack skill power increased by 5%. 3. Blessing of the Moon, passive wearing this equipment. The user will gain the shimmering vision effect. Equipment, space ring. Type, special item. Grade, bronze. Level limit, none. Attributes, none. Enchantment effect, internal self-storage space of 5 by 5 cubic meters. After reading the information of the four items, Wang Xuan nodded with satisfaction. Two silver and one bronze, and one space ring that he was currently in dire need of. This wave was truly a full harvest. From today onwards, I no longer need to rush with a large traveling bag on my back, thinking excitedly in his heart. Wang Chen put the spatial ring on his hand. As a faint magic fluctuation flashed by, his consciousness established a connection with the space ring. With a slight perception of his spirit, he saw a space about the size of a living room, which was empty, not even a hair. However, Wang Chen was not surprised by this. A low-grade spatial ring like this did not have any anti-theft means at all, and whoever got it could use it. However, Every time a low-grade spatial ring changed owners, the space inside would be regenerated, and everything stored by the previous owner would fall directly into the middle of the foreign space, trying to take out the parcel income a few times. Wang Chuan contentedly put in all his belongings. Within these four items, it was this space ring that was the most useful to him. Although the green blade blade and the steel lock armor were one silver equipment and one bronze equipment, their wear levels were both too high. At level 45, they were already at the level of the second turn and there was still a distance away from Wang Chuan. Moreover, Wang Dust was confident that when he turned two, he would definitely obtain better equipment than these two pieces. Therefore, the green blade knife and steel lock armor, he planned to get to the free market to sell. These two pieces of equipment, selling at 2 million gold coins is not a problem. As for the silver moon pendant, although the silver grade equipment was of the right level, it boosted the attack speed and long range attacks, which was obviously a better match for Situyu. It just so happens that the Blast Wind Longsword is very easy to use, so the Silver Moon Pendant will be used to replace it with Situ. He he he. The bounty for the Hyena Squad is 4 million gold coins. The Green Blade Sword and the Steel Lock Armor can also be sold for 2 million gold coins, not counting these two pieces that are kept for personal use. This wave has directly harvested 6 million gold coins. Sure enough, a wild monster map like the 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range is a gold rush, and you can get rich in one night if you're lucky. Thinking silently in his heart, Wang Chuan collected his things and destroyed the four people of the hyena squad before taking the silver moon pendant and going to look for Situyu. At this time in the big tree, Situyu was holding Bing Chang with one hand and kept taking out snacks to feed her with the other. Little Bing Ching was eating with her mouth full of oil. Where was the majestic look she had just now? She was a real foodie. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen frowned slightly and climbed up the tree. Eat less. Be careful of indigestion. Saying this, he poked Bing Ching's rounded stomach. Oh, the little guy chirped in dissatisfaction, gave his master a grudging look, and turned his head away to continue eating frantically. He he, are we still following the established route next? Seeing this, a smile appeared on Situyu's face as she casually asked while throwing food. At this moment, her tone was relaxed, unlike the nervousness she felt when Wang Chen had drawn that straight line earlier. Having seen Bing Ching's combat prowess, the young girl was now bursting with confidence and was no longer worried at all about those dangers she would encounter on this route. That's right. Wang Dust nodded. This straight line journey is the closest. The time to catch the road plus playing monsters and upgrading to do the task. Round trip down. Will will be a month's time? Will not delay the college entrance examination competition a month later. Right. This is for you. As he spoke, Wang Dust took out that silver moon pendant. Me? When Situyu saw this, her eyes went wide and a blush appeared on her face. The silver moon pendant had an excellent selling appearance especially because it belonged to the silver equipment. The surface was glowing with a faint hazy light, 
which was extremely beautiful. This equipment, even if its own attributes were inferior, would probably be sought after by a large number of girls. You, isn't this too expensive? I'm still. Satiyu pinched the corner of her coat tightly, her expression somewhat twisted. It was too sudden. She wasn't ready yet. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust smiled helplessly. Good fellow, what exactly have you brainstormed? This is considered a trophy. And when we return to Dondling City, there will be a share for you after the other things are disposed of. Shaking the silver moon pendant in front of Situ, Wang Chan said with a bit of a headache. He felt that if he didn't explain himself, this girl was going to misunderstand. Ah, uh, hearing that she had gotten the wrong idea, Situ's pretty face instantly turned red, and a faint loss surfaced in her heart. I still don't want it. I didn't help much in the battle. She lowered her head and said somewhat mumbly. At those words, Wang Dust rolled his eyes. Little girl, quite self-aware, but haven't you forgotten that we are teammates? You don't want it, how embarrassing it is to be in my pocket. Muttering in his heart, Wang Chen raised the silver moon pendant to Siti Yu's eyes, grating like a pussy, do you still want me to put it on you? Whom, may I? Siti Yu's head snapped up at the words, her voice rose an octave higher, and anticipation appeared on her pretty face. You are thinking about fart eating. Seeing this, putting down the silver moon pendant, Wang Dust went to drum up his own hammock without a good mood. Behind him, putting away the pendant, Sit to you, with a smile on her face, hopped over like a rabbit to help. Bang bang bang. Violent collision sounds rang out in the forest of the 10,000 beasts mountain range. A behemoth over 5 meters rapidly flashed amongst the mountains and forests. And every time it stopped, it caused the air to be struck with airwaves visible to the naked eye. These airwaves spread out, causing the large trees that were as high as 20 meters to tremble uncontrollably. Aang, a high dragon roar sounded as the azure-colored dragon swung its claws and directly struck a golden python into two pieces. Situyu looked at the constantly flickering figure in the broken trees, and a flash of shock flashed through his eyes. The image in front of her, no matter how many times she had seen it, still gave her a thrilling feeling, especially when she saw Bing Ching's dragon claw, which easily snapped a 20-plus meter tall tree. Situyu couldn't help but shiver. This little guy who was often held in her arms, it was estimated that she didn't even need to exert any force. Her little claws and paws would be able to slap her into a small pancake. While beside Situyu, Wang Chen looked at the azure-colored figure in the forest, while his heart was somewhat helpless. This little fellow, Bing Ching, got high, completely forgetting about him, the master, giving the order to fight quickly. All right Bing Ching stop playing, hurry up and finish them off. We don't have much time. He shouted towards Bing Ching without any good reason. Oh. The little guy who was playing high, gave his master a somewhat aggrieved look. However, Wang Chen was not moved at all. Today was already the 15th day that he had entered the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and he was now in the area of the golden scaled python. He had already finished collecting the golden snake grass, and was just about to settle these golden scaled pythons. Now that there was less than half a month before the great examination competition, he and Situyu must return as soon as possible. Otherwise, if he missed the college entrance examination grand competition, he would have nowhere to cry. Wu, seeing that his master was unmoved, Bing Ching snorted in exasperation and turned his head to look viciously at the surrounding golden scaled pythons. Big toys, looks like it's time to say goodbye to you guys forever. Thinking aggressively in her heart, Bing Ching's thick hind feet stomped heavily on the ground, an invisible fluctuation spreading, followed by her hideous dragon's mouth suddenly opening. Buzz buzz buzz, terrifying energy fluctuations began to converge in the dragon's mouth swarming with magical energies that even rendered the surroundings a layer of blue at this moment. And on the opposite side, roar, the thick bodies of the few remaining golden-scaled pythons suddenly tensed up, and a low growl escaped from their mouths. They felt an indescribable sense of crisis from Bing Ching at this moment. Roar, with a dull roar, the scarlet eyes of the golden-scaled python locked onto Bing Ching in death, while they began to retreat towards the back. However, Ice Chang, who was preparing the extreme cold spitting breath skill, Saw the scene and a flash of disdain flashed through his gem-like dragon eyes. Then, the cohesively formed azure-colored energy mass was suddenly spat out by her. Boom! The energy mass exploded and turned into a half-meter thick pillar of energy light that swept towards the golden-scaled python with an unstoppable momentum. Seeing this scene, a flash of fear flashed across the scarlet eyes of the golden-scaled pythons. Being hit by this thing would definitely kill them. Without hesitation, their thick bodies flung around and they were about to dodge to the side. However, right at this moment, they suddenly realized that their bodies could not move. A layer of azure-colored ice crystals covered their abdomen, freezing them firmly to the ground. Moreover, around them, a layer of azure-colored ice crystals floated on the ground. This, a flash of doubt flashed through the scarlet eyes of the golden-scaled python, 
They simply didn't notice when this azure-colored ice crystals appeared, and when it froze their bodies. Unfortunately, at this moment, the golden-scaled pythons no longer had time to ponder over their doubts. In the instant they paused, the column of light transformed by the extreme cold spit hit their bodies. Boom! Amidst the violent collision sound, an indescribable coldness filled the air. In an instant, the bodies of the golden-scaled pythons were frozen into ice crystals, and then turned into pieces under the impact of the extreme cold breath. These few strong mutated wild monsters were nothing but dregs when they died. Woo! On the opposite side, when Bing Ching saw the scene, a flash of smugness flashed amongst her gem-like eyes. Just now, before utilizing extreme cold spit, she had quietly used the control skill cold ice hell. It was simply impossible for the golden-scaled pythons to run away. Well done. Not far away. Wang Dust loudly praised the little guy before adding, Don't bulge there. We need to quickly leave this area. Woo. Hearing his master's words, the smugness on little Bingqing's face instantly turned into aggression. Humph. This dragon is the one who didn't bulge his shape here. Spitting out a breath of discontent, the little one waved her wings and was ready to fly back to her master's side. However, right at this moment, her afterglow suddenly saw a bright sheen in the pile of crumbs from the golden-scaled pythons. What is it? A flash of doubt surfaced in Bing Qing's heart, and after some thought, she didn't leave immediately, but instead incited her wings to come next to the ice slag. Leaning down, she used her two dragon claws to pick at it, and from it, she fished out a small box with a silvery white luster. This small box was enveloped by a silver white bubble throughout, emitting a soft glow. What is this? Can it be eaten? Seeing this thing, the little guy was even more puzzled in his heart. Not far away, Wang Chen, who was preparing to withdraw, frowned when he saw that little Ice Ching didn't move, so he was ready to greet him again. However, just as he turned his head, he was caught by the thing held up in Ice Ching's dragon claws, a silver treasure chest? Seeing the item in Bing Ching's hand, he let out a gasp of surprise and instantly became excited. Surprisingly, it had shipped? Just the first moment he saw this treasure chest, he confirmed its identity. A silver treasure chest that was able to open silver-ranked equipment, items, or materials and skill books of equal value with a guarantee. Today was truly a lucky day. How could he have never imagined that a silver treasure chest would explode from the bodies of this group of mutant golden-scaled pythons? Little fellow, you've gotten a big credit this time. Wang Dust looked at little Bing Chang, who had returned to his normal state and flew back with the silver treasure chest in his mouth, and smiled from ear to ear. This little fellow, is truly a blessing. Silently thinking in his heart, he took the silver treasure chest into his hands. Is this the silver treasure chest? There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. At this time, Situ also came closer and looked at the silver treasure chest curiously. How could this thing be said? It was a bit different from what she had imagined in her heart. Today's harvest is really great. Let's find a safe location in a while and open the chest again. Waving his hand to knock away the hand that reached out to the treasure chest, Wang Dust looked at the stupid Situ and said without any good humor. Cut. Seeing that the sneak attack was unsuccessful, Situyu glanced at his mouth. Not long after, in a cave, Wang Chuan pushed a boulder to block the cave entrance, isolating the light from the outside world. Buzz. The illumination technique turned into a ball of light that dispelled the darkness in the cave. Wang Chuan, Little Ice Ching, and Situyu, the three of them, a dragon, surrounded under the ball of light from the illumination technique, and looked at the silver treasure chest in the center with an expectant face. I wonder. What good things will be opened in this silver treasure box? Situyu and Wang Duan both thought so in their hearts, while little Ice Ching, who was on the side, was secretly sucking in her saliva, hoping that delicious food would be opened in the middle of the silver treasure chest. I'm going to open it. After glancing at Bing Ching and Situyu, Wang Dust placed his hand on the silver treasure chest and said with a sense of ceremony. However, right at this moment, Situyu suddenly thought of something and reached out and pressed her hand on Wang Chen's with a very solemn expression. Say, Wang Chuan are you good with your hands? Although the silver treasure chest is guaranteed to open silver level items or equivalent materials, the value and quantity fluctuate very greatly. If you have a black hand, be careful of opening a lowest rated trash silver equipment. Looking at Wang Dust, Situyu said solemnly. At those words, Wang Dust's expression stagnated. He recalled certain unpleasant memories from the past. The pain of going down 10,000 oceans and not drawing a single SSR. Who could understand? This is the first silver treasure chest in his life. If he really opens a piece of trash, then barbecue. He was so happy. Wang Dust silently thought in his heart, took back his hand and looked at Situyu. Is your hand luck okay? Of course. Situyu had a smug smile on her face. The lucky draw is bound to come out with SR. Do you know about the summoning master card game that's been particularly hot lately? I'm already full of beast pets now. Moreover, 
Not a single gold coin has been charged oh. This moment, the young girl held her chin high, her body radiating a light that was impossible to look at directly. Hiss. Wang Chuan subconsciously moved his eyes away, feeling like he was going to be shaken blind. Although he hadn't played that card game called Summon Master, many of his classmates around him were playing it. Through them, Wang Chuan learned that this game was extremely pitiful, and the only way to contract a powerful beast pet was to open a box. Players can receive 10 ordinary boxes every day. What more can only charge gold to buy? As far as Wang Dust knows, the game shipping probability is extremely touching. Many tycoons smashed in tens of millions of gold coins, but also did not set all the beast pet. Situyu was able to reach the achievement of full beast pets without spending a single gold coin. This handiness was indeed convincing. You do it then. Silently retreating to the side, Wang Chan gave up the treasure chest. He he. Seeing Wang Chuan knowingly retreat, the smile on Situyu's face became even more there. Dang 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 dang. Next is the moment to witness the miracle. The young girl placed her hand on the treasure chest, mumbled under her breath, and forcefully crushed the silver-colored light film outside the treasure chest. The next second, this silver treasure chest was directly opened, and several dazzling silver rays of light erupted from it. One, two, three. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen's lips trembled a little as he looked at Situyu with incomparably shocked eyes. The chances of a silver treasure chest opening three items was even lower than winning the first prize in a lottery. This little ninny, just did it so easily? What kind of luck is this? Kneeling to the Euromaster. Seeing the shocked look on Wang Chen's face, the smile on Situ Yu's face became even more pleased. It's really not easy. This young lady finally has the day to make this bastard's jaw drop in shock. Silently thinking in her heart, she reached into the silver treasure chest and took out all three sets of items inside. In an instant, the entire cave was illuminated with some pearlescent light by the light emanating from these three items. These three items were two pieces of equipment and a skill book. The equipment was a pair of silver white boots and a small magic staff. As Situyu tore open the appraisal scroll, the attributes of the two pieces of equipment appeared in front of her and Wang Duan. Equipment, boots of speed. Type, defense. Grade, silver. Level limit, level 20. Attributes, strength plus 20. Agility plus 30. Attributes, strength plus 20. Agility plus 30. Enchanted effects, I, increase one's movement speed by 10%. 2. Reduce the impact of falling from a height by 50%. 3. Treading air, requires active activation by the user of the equipment. For the next 3 seconds after activation, the user can tread on the air to move forward, once per day. Equipment, Shadow Staff. Type, Magic Staff. Grade, Silver. Level Limit, Level 20. Attribute, Wisdom plus 50. Enchantment Effect, I, increase the power of own magic skill by 10%. 2. Increase the release speed of your own magic skills by 5%. 3. Shadow Orb. The staff comes with a skill to attack the enemy by consuming magic power to shoot out a magic ball formed by shadow energy. All three special effects? Seeing the attributes of these two pieces of equipment, Wang Chen fell silent. This was also, too exaggerated. Even if three items were opened, the quality was so good. The boots of speed and the shadow staff, amongst the silver level equipment were also definitely the best of the best, and would not be worse than the blast wind longsword in his hand, if he took them out and sold them. It would be easy to sell a million gold coins. No, the boots of speed belong to you. I'll keep the shadow staff. Throwing the boots of speed to sit to you. Wang Chen played with the compact shadow staff. The point of agility increased by the boots of speed was not how he looked at it with his current attributes. 30 points. Another level up would be about right. There was also the equipment stepping effect, which had a considerable effect on sit to you. A blizzard archer. And it was most appropriate to give it to her. Instead. The shadow staff in his hand was a much bigger boost for Wang Chen. The shadow mei skill that came with it could give him an additional attack skill. Then I'll be polite. Catching the boots of speed, Situyu did not push back and directly equip them. Next, after both of them tested their new equipment, they both set their eyes on the last skill book. Under the light released by the appraisal scroll, the blurred words on the surface of the skill book gradually became clear. Wind blade technique, see active skill, magic attack skill. Consuming energy can summon a huge wind blade to attack the enemy. Seeing the skill book, Wang Chuan's eyes lit up again. Good fellow, a C-rank attack skill book. Sityuo Huang's name was solid. You can't learn this skill book, so I'll be polite. Without hesitation, Wang Dus looked at Sityu with a smile and directly took the skill book into his hands. Two magic attack skills. From now on, I'll be the noble pharaoh. Thinking in his heart, he directly slapped the skill book on his body. Swish, with a flash of light. Wang Chen was immersed in his comprehension of the skills. Seeing this scene, Situyu on the side skimmed his lips, a touch of envy appearing in his eyes. In the cave, 
With the help of the light emitted by the lighting technique, Sitiya leaned against the rock wall and quietly looked at Wang Chen's side face. Immersed in comprehending his skills, Wang Chen's current expression was quite serene, as if he was a flamboyant young man who had stepped out of a painting. This fellow, looking like this is quite nice, Sitiyu thought somewhat out of his mind at this moment, and a smirk appeared on his face. But soon, this smile was replaced by a wisp of sadness. This wooden lump has really contracted a giant beast, and it's also the absolutely powerful giant dragon clan among the giant beasts. It will definitely soar in the middle of the college entrance exam competition. Won't this girl be left behind hard by him in the future? Situyu's thoughts gradually drifted away. The special profession she had switched to, Blast Wind Archer, although it was the first class amongst all the students in Dongling City, when looking at the entire Dragon Kingdom, it appeared to be somewhat inadequate. Before, Situyu had already made a guess about her results in this college entrance examination grand competition. A first class was no problem, but there was still a big gap from the top. Originally, she was already very satisfied with her future results in the college entrance exam. A book, placed in the entire Dongling City was already quite a high grade, and only a handful of them could pass the exam every year. Even in the Far River Province, where Dongling City is located, a grade of one book is enough to be ranked in the top 100 among all the fresh candidates. But now, Situyu was extremely dissatisfied with this future result. The giant beast master that Wang Chuan had transferred to, before he contracted the giant beast, could be said to be the most trashy of all the combat professions, only a little bit stronger than the life profession. It was estimated that in the college entrance examination competition, it would be good to be able to touch the scoreline of three books. According to Situyu's previous plan, after the college entrance examination competition started, she brought Wang Duan to participate in the team. This could pull Wang Chen's grades up, and the two could basically get into a similar book. However, Wang Dust had now contracted a giant beast and it was also the toughest of the giant beasts, the giant dragon clan, he, the giant beast master, then completely displayed the luster that he deserved, Sito you didn't even need to think about it to know that Wang Chuan's target for the college entrance exam competition was definitely one of the four top universities in the dragon kingdom, so annoying, this son of a bitch ran to the top universities, if I go to a book, won't I be pulled farther and farther away in the future, I can't catch up anymore? Why don't I team up with this asshole when I compete in the college entrance exam competition? A solution came to mind. Sitiyu's eyes lit up, but immediately afterward, they became dim again. No, this will pull down his grades in the college entrance examination grand competition. The four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom had quite a strict limit on the number of newly enrolled students each year. Among the previous college entrance examination grand competitions, only the top five of all the candidates from each province could get the admission credentials to enter the top universities. Moreover, the top five were not the ones with the best chance of success, there were times when the four top universities would compress their enrollment quotas, and only the top three would have a solid grasp. If you want to stand out amongst the millions of peers in the province, and enter the top five or even the top three, every bit of scoring in the college entrance exam competition is crucial. Sitiyu felt that she would feel guilty for the rest of her life if she dragged her feet in the college entrance exam competition, causing Wang Chen to lose out on the top universities. Aha, uh -huh, so annoying. Silently pondering in her heart, Situyu was a bit frantic at this moment, and at this moment, a hand suddenly reached out in front of her and shook it. What are you doing? Been sick again? When she raised her head, she saw Wang Chen's odd look. Ha, huh? I'm not. Situyu blushed a little and hurriedly turned her head to the rock wall. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan felt a bit puzzled as he rubbed his nose. If you're sick, just endure it. There can be no medicine in the 10,000 beasts mountain range either. Muttering, Wang Chuan sat back down on the rock and silently checked the situation of the wind blade technique. At this time, this Sirank skill had already been completely mastered by him and appeared amongst the skill panel. Although he said that this skill appeared a bit eye-catching when placed amongst the several S-rank skills, he did not have any dissatisfaction in his eyes. Most of the exclusive skills of the giant imperial beast master were of the assisting type, and they only worked on beast pets. Every additionally acquired attack skill was worthy of his treasured treatment. With this wind blade technique, plus the instant sword and the shadow spell that comes with the staff. I now have the equivalent of three attack skills, which is enough for now. When I return to Dongling City and dispose of the harvest on my body, I can go to the trading house to see if there are any other suitable skills. Silently pondering in his heart, Wang Chuan looked at the wind blade technique that had already appeared on the skill bar and silently added the free skill points that he had accumulated. Now that he had entered the 10,000 beasts mountain range for 15 days, his level had been raised to level 30 and the accumulated free skill points totaled 150. The number of free skill points required for each leveling up of a C-rank skill was twice that of a D-rank skill, consuming 100 free skill points. 
the level of the wind blade technique was raised to the fifth rank level. In an instant, the introduction of the wind blade technique was changed from the previous. Wind blade art, see active skill. Magic attack skill. Consume energy to summon a huge wind blade to attack the enemy. It turned into wind blade technique, see active skill. Magic attack skill. Consuming energy can summon two giant wind blades to attack the enemy. 55. Upgrading to the fifth level of wind blade art. The number of wind blades emitted from each attack had changed from 1 to 2, and the power could be said to have doubled. Seeing this, Wang Chuan felt some emotion and anticipation in his heart. Now that there was still a long time until he left the 10,000 beasts mountain range, he was confident that he would soon save up enough of his remaining skill points. At that time, the wind blade technique, which had been boosted to full level to gain a special effect, would definitely become even stronger. Woo, let's stop here for today. Sit to you. It's better for me to keep watch first, so you rest first. Resisting the idea of wanting to test the power of the wind blade technique in his heart, Wang Chen turned his head to look at Si Tuyu. However, the young girl at this moment did not pay any attention to him. Bastard, you're the one who's sick. You're the one who should take medicine. Facing the rock wall, Si Tuyu used a branch she picked up casually to ruthlessly poke at Wang Chen's shadow cast on the ground. Curse you. You son of a bitch definitely won't get into a top university. Even if you get in, the admissions teacher will kick you out because of your foul mouth. Situyu spoke viciously under her breath, repeating the movements one by one. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen could not help but roll his eyes. Good fellow, still saying you're not sick? Normal people, who would have nothing to do but play with shadows? Muttering, he leaned against the rock behind him and quietly looked at the somewhat childish Situyu. Ah Chu, in the cave, Situyu sneezed, then sleepily opened her eyes. She always felt that someone was talking about herself behind her back. Wang Chen, this asshole, wouldn't be talking bad about me behind my back, right? Silently thinking in her heart, Situyu turned her head to look for Wang Chen. However, in the cave, she found nothing, even little Ice Ching was nowhere to be found. This bastard, where did he run off to? With a shock in her heart, the young girl hurriedly sat up. At this time, she suddenly realized that she was still covered with a blanket. This guy, so he still cares about people? Looking at this blanket that didn't belong to her and still had a soap scent, Situ Yu's eyes flickered a little. Sha sha. Just at this moment, a subtle movement resounded outside the cave. You're awake? Wang Dust walked in carrying a rabbit and began to clean up after himself. Why did you get up so early? Looking at the busy Wang Chen, Situ Yu casually asked. Early? Big sister. I haven't slept all night. You slept like a dead pig last night. You couldn't even wake up. Wang Dust, who was preparing to roast a rabbit gave the young girl a speechless look at his words. It was agreed that the two of them would keep watch separately. But as a result, this girl, Sid to you, fell asleep by leaning against the rock wall. She also slept like a thief. That is, she didn't snore, or else Wang Chuan would have to throw her out. Ah, uh, Sid to you lowered her head in some shame. Sorry, it's my turn tonight. Ha, huh, you can pull it off. Wang Dust scoffed unmercifully. As far as you sleep so much, I'm afraid that I'll be carried away by a certain wild monster at night. Saying that, he nimbly lit a fire and started his own barbecue business. He he he, this isn't good, is it? Scratching his head, Situ Yu was a little embarrassed, not taking Wang Chen's mockery to heart at all. He he, Wang Chuan rolled his eyes and lazily ignored this mouthy fellow. Anyway, his body was now strengthened by attribute points, so as long as he found the time to squint for a while, he would be refreshed. The next step was to leave the 10,000 beasts mountain range soon. He didn't want his eyes to close and open and his whole life would be over. Hurry up and pack for dinner. We have quite a bit of walking to do today. After roasting the rabbit, Wang Chuan saw Situ still there, hugging the blanket in a daze, and shouted without any good humor. He felt that for the rest of the day, he was afraid that he would be reduced to a nanny. Time passed. This day, at the entrance of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, two young men and women stepped out, attracting many people to look at them frequently. These two people were both excellent looking, and their slightly youthful faces carried a hint of sternness that did not match their age. It was precisely Wang Chen, and Si Tu Yu, who, Wang Chuan stood at the entrance of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, looking at the professionals coming and going not far away, and exhaled a long breath, finally out. The nearly one month journey to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range made him feel a bit like a lifetime ago. Great, Wang Chen you can finally take a bath. Si Tu Yu also let out a sigh of relief at this moment, and even deliberately moved aside as she spoke. With a disgusted look on her face. Seeing this, Wang Chen revealed a cold smile. Speaking as if you're not? After a month of eating and sleeping in the wind, the two were now no better than anyone else. 
This journey had almost almost caused them to become savages, and if it wasn't for the momentum given to them by their rapidly increasing levels, the modern society that was used to staying in the modern world wouldn't necessarily have been able to last for such a long period of time. Nowadays, compared to before entering the 10,000 beasts mountain range, Wang Chuan and Little Ice Ching could be said to have had a skyrocketing change. Beast Pet, Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon, Nickname, Ice Ching, Gender, Female, Age, Not Yet Full Moon, Juvenile, Rank, 25, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4-Dimensional Attributes, Strength 1700, Wisdom 1700, Physique 1700, Agility 1700, Without Any Buffs, Equipment, or Props to Enhance It, Skills, Frost Body, SSS, Extreme Cold Spit, SSS, Cold Hell, SSS, Dragon Might, SSS, Loyalty, 100, Equipment, None, Introduction, Omitted, Name, Wine Dust, Profession, Giant Beast Master, Level, 35, Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS, Beast Pet Fusion, God, Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS, Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B, Bloodline Appraisal, God, Contract Summoning, B, Instant Sword, D, Wind Blade Art, C, Strength, 2525 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 2525 plus 10 points. Physique, 2525 plus 20 points. Agility, 2525 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unassigned attribute points, 0. Unassigned skill points, 100 points. Unassigned skill points, 100 points. Little Ice Ching's level was raised to level 25, and her 4-dimensional attributes alone even reached 1700 points. Even if a professional who had just turned 3 happened to run into it, they would have to drink hate under the dragon claws of this little guy. As for Wang Dust, who had been elevated to level 35, he likewise had a transformative change, and his strength increased substantially. The four-dimensional attributes were evenly weighted, making him very balanced in all categories, and although it wasn't as exaggerated as Little Ice Ching, if he ran into the previous hyena boss at this time, he would be able to defeat him without Little Ice Ching's help. As for Situ on the side, because she didn't have to share her experience equally with her beast pet, this girl's level was still the highest between them, reaching the first turn limit of level 40. It was estimated that they would have to go back and prepare for the transfer ceremony, and it was unlikely that by the time the college entrance exam competition started, this girl would have already become a second turn professional. In addition to the harvest of the level, equipment materials these Wang Duan and Situyu is also a lot of harvest. However, the specific value of these will have to wait until they are sold in the trading house to have the exact number. Wang Chuan there are still three days before the college entrance exam competition starts. What are your plans for these days? Walking on the way to the light rail platform. Situyu poked Wang Chen's arm. Plans? Turn in my quests. Get rid of all my gains. And then I'll stay home with my parents and wait for the college entrance exam competition to start. After thinking about it, Wang Chuan said in a flat tone. Oh, Situyu seemed to be a little lost when she heard this. However, soon, she returned to her usual big-hearted appearance. Then when you go to sell something, Wang Chuan, don't covet my share. I'm waiting to sit at home and count my gold coins after the great examination competition. Situyu said with a smile. Don't worry. I'll send you the stuff once it's sold. Hearing her words, Wang Chen rolled his eyes. I'm a giant imperial beast master. And I'll still covet these three melons and two dates of yours? Che, it's better to wait for the end of the college entrance examination competition. You definitely won't be able to find me if you go these days. Situyu suddenly stopped in her steps as she spoke. At this moment, Wang Chen, if he was aware of it, turned his head to see a magic hover car flying over. Bye. Looking at the faraway magic hover car, Wang Chuan rubbed his nose. Sit to you. This evil little rich girl actually did not give him a chance to hitchhike at all. It seems that Bing Qing and the two of us still have to take the light rail back. Noticing that little Bing Qing was looking at the feeding officer with a fond look on her face as she went far away, Wang Chen poked her little head. Oh, the little one shielded her head with her wings and chirped in dissatisfaction. At the end, she poked her head out darkly, somewhat puzzled as to how her master didn't continue to poison her. Oh who? Alright, let's hurry back after turning in our quests as well. When the distant magical hover car completely disappeared from view, Wang Chen hugged Bing Cheng and rode on the light rail to the adventure union. At the same time, the figures on the backseat of the magical hover car also withdrew their gazes at the same time. Little uncle, do you think the gap between people is really that big? Situyu leaned back in her seat, somewhat lost in thought. Hearing her words, a somewhat cynical-looking youth sitting next to her had a somewhat stunned expression. What, girl you've experienced quite a lot in the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and you've all had life epiphanies? Is it related to that kid just now? Situ Yu's younger uncle, Situ Haoran, 
had a gossipy expression on his face. At the same time, he also sized up his niece who he hadn't seen in almost a month. Well, although it was said that she looked a bit wretched, her body's aura had changed drastically, fading away from her youthfulness. She already had the appearance of a powerful professional. It was at this moment that the expression on his face was still a little bitter, with a slight little girl posture. Hearing her little uncle's words, Situyu sullenly skimmed her mouth. Seeing this scene, Situ Haoran's heart was enlightened. I told you long ago that the gap between you and that brat is too big, but you refused to listen. This time I helped you hide it from your family to let you and him go out to practice. Does it feel like all the goodness from before is gone? It's fine. This is just a small setback in your life. You still have a long road ahead of you. You too, are not destined to be in the same world. Seeing his niece in a low mood, Situ Haoran said persuasively, Hmm, we are indeed no longer at the same level now. Situ you nodded, a very complicated expression on his face. Him, will leave me far behind in the future, right? Silently thinking in her heart, Situyu twisted her head to look out the window at the scenery flying past. At this moment, she thought of the thrilling image of Bing Ching unfolding his dragon body to crush the wild monsters in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and thought of that teenager's endless layers of superior combat skills. On the side, Sito Haoran looked at his niece with an old and pleased expression on his face. Finally enlightened, the two of you won't come to fruition. It's not in vain that I, little uncle, ah, risked being smacked by my oldest brother by arranging the two of you into the 10,000 beasts mountain range. Just after walking into the hall of the morning sun adventure union, Wang Dust felt a lively atmosphere come over him. Professionals coming and going gathered together, either discussing the harvest of the last mission, or calling out their friends to get drunk. Seeing this scene, a touch of sentimentality flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. People, indeed, were still group beings, even if they were strong, they could not change. Silently thinking in his heart, he took a step towards the front desk. Ha, huh, isn't this the little handsome guy who took on two Deerank quests that day? He actually came back alive? Right at this moment, a female professional saw Wang Chen who walked in and couldn't help but let out a cry of surprise. Although it was common to see freshly transferred munchkins amongst adventure unions, Wang Dust's outstanding appearance was still fresh in many people's minds even after a month had passed. It's really him? This kid has a big life. He just switched jobs and took a deranked quest and still managed to come back unharmed. Not necessarily, look at his current appearance. It's not likely that he failed the mission and came to the adventure union to lift the mission. That said, why is he alone? I remember there was a pretty little girl with him that day. It couldn't be that the little girl died in the 10,000 beasts mountain range and he ran back alone, right? Very likely. The golden scaled python is an almost unbeatable enemy for these newcomers. For this kid to come back in one piece, it's very likely that he abandoned his teammates. Discussions continued in the middle of the hall, with many professionals pointing at Wang Dust. For a newbie like Wang Chuan who didn't know the sky and the earth, all the professionals disdained him in their hearts and simply didn't think that he would complete the difficult Durant quests, especially when a certain professional made a guess. Many people's eyes took on contempt. Although deaths and injuries were inevitable in the Beast Mountain range, abandoning one's teammates was definitely one of the most unfavorable. Originally, Wang Chen was simply too lazy to pay attention to the surrounding comments. However, after hearing this speculation from them, he couldn't help but take a step and looked over with cold eyes. Everyone, don't talk nonsense without evidence. Otherwise, I don't mind suing you for slander. Wang Chen looked around, his eyes like knives sweeping over those few guys who were making wild guesses. Being swept by his line of sight, those few professionals subconsciously took a step back. From this look, they felt an extremely cold killing intent. However, in the next second, the faces of these few professionals turned red as they stared angrily at Wang Chen. Grass. They had been in the adventure union for many years, but now they were scared by a little one who hadn't even grown any hair. How could they still mix in the future? However, before they could open their mouths to retrieve their offense, they saw that kid, placing a bloody head on the front desktop. Then, a flat voice resounded in the middle of the hall. Please help me settle the mission. By the way, I want to collect the bounty from the hyena squad. Hyena squad? These four words seemed to have some sort of magic spell, instantly attracting the attention of all the professionals in the hall. This, is the head of the hyena boss? This youngster, actually killed the hyena boss? Crazy, that's a second turn level 50 murderer. How is it possible for him? A budding newbie? In an instant, the atmosphere in the middle of the entire hall directly exploded, and everyone's faces carried expressions of extreme incredulity. The hyena squad had been hanging on the most wanted list for a full five years and even the official hunting teams from Dongling City had not taken them down. But today, their leader's head was actually used by a newbie who had just turned a new job to collect the reward? At this moment, 
The faces of those few professionals who wanted to find trouble changed drastically, and with their tails tucked between their legs, they hurriedly left the hall, not daring to stay for a moment longer, and on the side, those surrounding professionals whose faces were undying, did not dare to look at Wang Chuan with such recklessness, and brought a hint of awe with them. This young man, was not to be messed with. The interlude in the adventure union ended, and Wang Chuan directly took a taxi home with a huge sum of 5 million gold coins in his arms. Dad. Mom. I'm back. Opening the door, he habitually shouted as usual. It was still early in the day from work, and he didn't expect to get a response from his parents. But, dust your back? Just after entering the door, Wang Dust saw his parents sitting in the living room, looking at him with a surprised face. Ah, the mission is done. Mom and Dad why aren't you guys at work today? Changing his shoes and walking to the living room, Wang Chuan asked with some confusion. We took a leave of absence. It's not that there are still three days before the college entrance exam competition will start. We want to accompany you in these days. Wang Mother's quick eyes and hands snatched little Bingqing into her hands, while teasing the little guy, while pretending to be unconcerned. She said, no need. The college entrance exams are bigger than a sprinkle. It's not necessary for you two to treat it so solemnly. Wang Dust gave his mother a puzzled look, feeling as if the situation was a bit off. How can that be? This is a major event that concerns the future of your life. Wang Father slapped the table at this moment, with an expression of hatred. I have a plan. My results won't be bad in the college entrance exam competition. What are we going to eat tonight? I'll go cook. You have to relax your body in these two days. Fully prepare for the college entrance examination grand competition. Sit on the sofa and rest. Let me do it. Wang Dust was pressed on the sofa with a dumbfounded face, watching his father run to the kitchen and get busy. Something wasn't right. Mom, my dad, what the hell are you two up to? Taking the initiative to go into the kitchen. Did the sun come out of the west this time? Wang Dust knew his old man very well. He had always been respectful of cooking, and since he had made a salt fried eggplant, the kitchen had become a forbidden place. How now? Mother Wang touched little Bingqing's head and smiled. Don't talk nonsense, your dad. He recently learned a new dish and wants you to try it. Right. As she spoke, the queen mother pretended to be rambling and asked. Dusty, I heard that you switched to a giant imperial beast master? Wang Dust sniffed with a helpless face. Good fellow. So you two were waiting for me here? That's right. But mom and dad, you don't have to worry. I've already contracted to a beast pet. Seeing that his old dad was in the kitchen with his ears perked up and eavesdropping, Wang Dust helplessly explained. At the same time, he muttered in his heart. Which bitch is chewing her ear off? No need to weasel out. We all know. Listening to your Aunt Lu's child, you can only contract giant beasts. There aren't many of these in the entire Blue Star. Where are you going to get one? Don't you tell me that Xiao Bingqing she is a giant beast. Look at her cute and cuddly. She doesn't have any fighting power at all. The Queen Mother rolled her eyes with an expression that said you shouldn't be fooling me. As she spoke, she hugged little Bingqing and ravaged her a few more times. This little guy was icy cold. And now this big summer saved the need to turn on the air conditioner. That's right. Which one of the royal beast master's beast pets doesn't look majestic? Wang's father, who was busy in the kitchen, couldn't help but echo the words. Your kid is not allowed to bring her to the college entrance exam competition. What if she gets hurt? She is a dragon. Seeing his parents' appearance, Wang Chen felt a bit tired and directly showed his cards. Stop it. Mother Wang sniffed and gave her son a blank look. This little guy is fleshy. How could he be a dragon? Saying this, she poked Bingqing's little belly with her finger, causing the little guy to struggle, not hiding his teeth to bite the finger, but as a result, instead of being afraid, Mother Wang poked Bingqing's little teeth. Mom your heart is really big, hand to the dragon's mouth, the son would like to call you the strongest. Leaning on the sofa, Wang Chuan looked at the mother superior's look that I have seen it all, and only felt very tired. I'm too hard, nothing to say, right? The opposite side of Wang Mother saw her son's appearance and patted Bing Qing's head putting her on her lap. I know that you brat grew up high-minded and didn't want to worry us when this happened, but there's no need for you to lie to us, even if it's a giant imperial beast master. Isn't it still better than your dad and us two ordinary people who haven't been transferred? Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just play normally in the college entrance exam competition. New awe. As she spoke, Queen Mother took out a box from behind her and pushed it in front of Wang Duan. A small gift prepared for you. What's this? With a puzzled face, Wang Dust took out the box and opened it. And when he saw what was inside, his eyes moistened a little. A ring with a shimmering bronze luster was lying quietly in the middle of the box. The luster of the surface and the fluctuation of magic power indicated that it was a bronze level equipment. Mom, this. Wang Dust moved to look at his old mom. His tone somewhat choked. 
The novice four-piece set not long ago had nearly emptied their family savings, and he really couldn't think of how much his parents had paid to buy this bronze equipment worth hundreds of thousands of gold coins, all grown up and still acting like a little kid. Mother Wang glanced at him with a disgusted expression, then she laughed to herself. You said that your father and I were stupid, and that we didn't even know that our family's house could still press so much money before? Wang Chen sniffed, feeling the light box in his hand, for a moment as if it was heavier than MT. Tai, pressing him to breathe a little. Mom, I said I don't need it. Why did you guys mortgage the house? This card has the money I earned from going into the 10,000 Beasts Mountain range to do a mission this time. You guys quickly redeem the house. Brat, you still want to teach me how to do things? Upon hearing this, the Queen Mother blankly glanced at her son and took the card with a smile. How much money is in it? Keep it for you to get a daughter-in-law in the future. Five million gold coins. Wang Dust snapped the box shut and said, pretending not to care. What? Mother Wang was stunned at the words, and Father Wang in the kitchen even exclaimed, Brat, where did you get so much money? We can't do anything illegal or criminal. No, this is what I earned from doing missions. Wang Dust scratched his head. He had guessed that this would be the case. What mission can earn so much money? Wang father didn't cook at this time, and sat on the sofa with Wang mother, staring at Wang Chuan with an interrogating expression. It's just, an ordinary mission to go into the 10,000 beasts mountain range to fight monsters and pick some magic materials. Touching his nose, Wang Chuan extremely simplified the process of his journey to the 10,000 beasts mountain range. He didn't want his exciting experience to scare his parents. Stop it, your father. Although I'm not a professional, it's not like I'm not aware of the ways of this. Wang's father slapped his hand on the table, his eyes staring fiercely at his son. Less than a month, earning 5 million gold coins, you think you're one of those third-turn powerhouses? Give me an honest explanation. Wu, little Bing Ching, who was sitting on the sofa, was startled by the commotion. But when he saw his master's helpless expression, a gloating smile appeared on his cute little face, noticing the little one's mood. Wang Chen blankly glanced at her without any good humor, while pondering how he should cope with the situation. However, at this moment, his old mom helped him out. Old Wang, it seems like our son went out with that classmate of his this time, right? Dragging Wang father aside, Wang mother spoke quietly while eyeballing Wang Duan strangely. Whom, the one from Situ's family? No, how can Dust do such a thing? Wang father's voice raised an octave, and he looked at Wang Dust with a face of hatred. Sitting on the sofa, Wang Dust felt very innocent. What business is it of mine if you guys are imagining things? Mom, you guys return this ring tomorrow. As he spoke, he covered the box, got up and walked towards the room. Hey, Dusty, the bronze equipment can boost your score in the college entrance exam competition. Seeing this scene, the queen mother hurriedly said. Upon hearing this, Wang Dust who walked back to his room probed at his parents. Dad, Mom, Sun Mia, even if I wear all black iron, I'll still be able to beat the college entrance exam competition. Three days later, the sun dispersed the last wisp of darkness and shed light on earth. Dongling City, a third-rate small city in the Dragon Kingdom, became noisy after the rising sun. It wasn't even 8 o'clock yet, and the main road outside of Dongling No, one middle school was jammed with pedestrians and vehicles coming and going. Everyone gathered around the school, each looking at the sky with anticipation on their faces. There, a huge projection screen hung high in the sky, and in the middle of the screen, there were thousands of young boys and girls standing solemnly. The crowd of onlookers had different identities. They were either journalists from the major news media, or recruiters sent by the major guilds and mansions, or parents who were looking forward to their children's success. And in the screen, thousands of young boys and girls all had the same identity. This year's Dragon Country College Entrance Examination Competition, the students of Dongling City who were applying for the examination. At this moment, the playground of the first middle school in Dongling, a bronze gate emitting a mysterious luster stands quietly. Thousands of students applying for the examination. Expectant and apprehensive eyes all gathered on it. This bronze gate is the entrance to the Dragon Kingdom's Mega College Entrance Exam Secret Realm copy, and all the students who are taking the exam will enter it next, killing wild monsters and breaking through the barrier, fighting for their future. Three years of hard work, is it a dragon or a worm? Whether it's a flight to heaven, or a fall to earth, all in this day. At the same time, the great competition of the college entrance examination is not only an event for these students who are applying for the examination, but also an opportunity for countless families to see if they can cross the ranks. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the greatness of the professionals was attributed to themselves, creating a situation where the strong became stronger and the weak became weaker. In some small countries of the Blue Star, powerful professionals even dominated everything, gathering all the resources in their hands. Although as the world's top power of the dragon country, 
The national strength is strong, with great perseverance and boldness in the country to implement the compulsory education of professionals. But under the pressure from all sides and the threat of monster armies, it is only as fair as possible, giving everyone a way to rise. The great examination competition. Only by passing the great college entrance examination competition and entering a good university would one be able to continue to obtain the resources to move up. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The bronze light gate trembled, and the cool light reflected on the faces of the thousands of students who were applying for the exam. In everyone's expectant eyes, the principal of Dongling No, one middle school and a middle-aged man with an aura that surged like the sea, appeared one after the other in front of the eyes of all the exam applicants. The great competition of the college entrance examination is about to begin. So please get ready for all the exam applicants. The majestic voice resounded throughout the playground, instantly igniting the fighting spirit of the exam applicants present. Everyone looked at the tall figure beside the principal with awe and anticipation in their eyes. What they were in awe of was Lord Guardian's strength of four turns and 120 levels. What they were looking forward to was that they too could become such a strong person in the future. And in the crowd, Wang Chen was rendered by the emotions around him, and a raging battle intent rose in his eyes as well. The rock rises with the wind in one day. Rocking up to 90, 000 miles, thinking of a line of poetry that he had once been extremely fond of, a smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. Under the bronze gate, Situ Hanan looked at the battle-minded examinees and nodded with satisfaction, then proceeded to say in a loud voice, the great competition of the college entrance examination will officially begin in 10 minutes. Now, please check your equipment and look for your teammates. After the words fell, the light emanating from the bronze door became more and more raging and a message surfaced in the minds of all the students who had applied for the exam. College Entrance Exam Secret Realm Copy, Lava Cave, Secret Realm Copy Grade, Bronze, Secret Realm Minimum Entry Level, None, Difficulty, Easy, Normal, Difficult, Hell, Number of Participants, Minimum of 1, Maximum of 3. Introduction, Lava Cave. Introduction, the lava caves are inhabited by dark and evil orcs. Valiant challengers, facing them requires not only strength but also wisdom, so please measure your strength and don't let your blood turn into a tasty drink in the orc's mouths. Bronze level secret copy? After checking the information in his mind, a glint flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. Although this was the first time he had seen a secret realm copy, he had long since learned a lot of information about it from his textbooks. The division of secret realm copies was similar to the equipment level, starting from the lowest black iron level, and the higher the level, the more harvests that could be obtained among the secret realm copies were represented. The harvest of a bronze level secret realm copy was at least double that of a black iron level. Moreover, starting from the bronze level, one could choose the difficulty level when entering the secret realm copy, with simple representing the minimum rewards and hell representing the maximum rewards. The differences in the rewards represented therein were to be calculated in multiples. It could be said that which difficulty one chose when entering the secret realm replica had basically determined the candidate's final score. Passing the normal difficulty would allow one to get an access role for a third university. Passing the difficult difficulty, you can get the access role of a second university. Passing the hell difficulty, one could get an access paper for a first university. As for the top universities, the only ones that had the chance to choose were those that had passed perfectly among the hell difficulty and ranked at the top of all the candidates in the province that had chosen the hell difficulty. Wang Dust wanted to enter the four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom, and had no other choice but hell difficulty. Therefore, after learning about the information of the secret realm copy of the college entrance examination, his eyes looked around. At this moment, when the information about the secret realm copy of the college entrance examination came out, the atmosphere in the playground instantly became clamorous. Numerous examinees gathered together in twos and threes, discussing their responses after entering the copy. These people, all of them, were planning to enter the replica in teams. Through teamwork, they would challenge a higher difficulty and obtain a higher rating thus entering their favorite university. However, amongst the crowd, there were also some examinees who stood quietly in place. These were people who were confident in their own strength and intended to single-handedly brush the secret realm copy so as to get even better grades. Wang Dust's gaze scanned through these people and soon found his target, a girl with a height of 1 meter 7, an aura of 2 meters 8, and a pretty posture like a crane. As if forced by the girl's powerful aura, a large area was left empty around her. The girl was none other than Situ Yu. Hey, you've been missing for the past two days. You're not going to transfer, are you? Walking over to Situ Yu's side, Wang Chen looked at the young girl with a curious face and asked. At this time, the breath on this girl's body was very different from when she first came out from the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. If not for Wang Chuan's perception that far exceeded the ordinary, he would not have been able to discover the extremely introverted power in the young girl's body. Humph. Hearing Wang Chuan's words, Situ Yu gave a cold snort. 
with a cool and haughty look of love and disregard. However, the slightly curved corner of her mouth revealed her complacency at this moment. Of course, this girl is now at the second turn, very different from before. Sid to you, who had endured very hard, finally broke under little Dingqing's adorable flutter. Don't mess with me. Be careful I'll beat you up violently before the start of the college entrance exam competition. Holding little Bingqing in her arms, the young girl proudly waved her fist. Seeing this scene, Wang Chan rolled his eyes. Good fellow, but it's only just the second turn, and you're about to go to heaven? Believe it or not, I will knock you down with one hand? Muttering in his heart, he didn't poke it to use cowhide and instead asked with a smile. Since you are so strong, team up, two out of one kind? Dongling first middle school playground. Situ looked at Wang Chen with a face full of disbelief. How could she not expect that this guy would take the initiative to send out a team invitation to himself? Isn't your goal a top university? Grouping up will pull down your final rating. With some joy in her heart, Situ squirmed and asked. It doesn't matter. That critique score doesn't affect it at all. Think about it. This is a good opportunity for you to hug your thigh. Hearing this Wang Chen spread his hands indifferently. With his strength nowadays, Leveling the Hell Difficulty College and Trance Exam Secret Realm copy was effortless, and bringing someone along was not a problem at all. Anyway, after entering the secret copy of the college entrance exam, in order to pursue the ultimate clearance efficiency, whoever he brought was just watching the show from the side. Che, this young lady doesn't care. I'm a second turn. I don't need to hold a big leg at all. Situ bared her small tiger teeth and said with a defiant face. At this moment, although her heart was filled with joy, she still rejected Wang Chen without hesitation. On one hand, she didn't want to pull down Wang Chuan's rating in the great examination competition because of herself, and on the other hand, she was confident in her current strength, and at the same time, she wanted to prove herself. The strength of the second turn was also outstanding among all the examinees in the entire Far River province. She wanted to use her strength to get into the same university as this guy Wang Chuan and then annoy this guy to death. Seeing the determination in the young girl's eyes, Wang Chuan touched his nose. This girl, her competitive spirit was really strong. All right, then I'll look forward to your performance. Top universities are waiting for you. Shaking his head, Wang Chen did not say more. And on the side, when the surrounding applicants saw that Wang Dust had been rejected, a disdainful expression appeared on each of their faces. Good fellow, you are really shameless. A garbage giant imperial beast master. How dare you approach our goddess? You still think you were a towering genius before? Now you're still not kicked away by the goddess. Garbage should stay in the garbage. Many of the examinee students thought viciously in their hearts, and were ready to open their mouths to mock a few words. However, soon they didn't have the heart to pay attention to this. Silence in the entire arena. This year's great examination competition officially begins. Please enter the secret realm copy for all students who should take the examination. Situ Hanan's rough voice resounded throughout the arena, instantly suppressing all the clamor. Buzz buzz buzz. As soon as the words fell, the bronze giant door shone brightly. In an instant, all the figures of the students who were taking the exam on the playground all disappeared. As all the students disappeared from the playground, the giant live broadcast screen in the sky flickered with light, and the images of the students entering the secret realm copy appeared on the large screen in turn. It's finally started. It's so exciting. The important time of the year has come. I don't know how many candidates can come out of our dongling city who will enter the top 100 at the provincial level this time. Son, son I see you. You have to work hard in the secret copy. Outside, the crowd watching the live broadcast of the college entrance exam competition through the big screen was abuzz with discussion, and many of them couldn't help but excitedly wave their fists and shout when they saw the familiar figure appearing on the screen. And at this moment, inside Dongling No. 1 Middle School, a light screen similarly surfaced on the bronze giant door, displaying the situation of the examinees in the secret realm copy. However, while the live broadcast big screen outside could only see random battle scenes of the exam applicants, the light screen on the bronze giant door at this moment was divided into thousands of small compartments, displaying the situation of each exam applicant. On the opposite side of the light screen, Situ Haonan and the principal of Dongling No. 1 Middle School, who had finished announcing the start of the college entrance examination competition, walked over to the seats in the crowd and sat down. Sitting here at this time, there were also leaders from the Dongling City Head and the Education Department, as well as teachers from Dongling No. 1 Middle School. Leaders? For this year's higher education competition, we at Dongling 1 have 11 people choosing the Hell Difficulty copy, 160 people choosing the Difficult Difficulty copy, and most of the remaining group choosing the General Difficulty. A staff member, after Sito Hanan and the two of them took their seats, began to report on the situation of this college entrance examination grand competition. 11 people? 
It seems that our Dongling City scholars are very confident this year. The head of Dongling City smiled on his face as he couldn't help but open his mouth to praise them. The more scholars who excelled in the college entrance examination grand competition, the better his performance as the city head would look. That's right, 11 people. This has already broken our Dongling City's record. I'm afraid that when this college entrance examination grand competition is over, our Dongling City will be able to take off its hat as a third-rate small city. And I've heard that Situ has now turned too. I'm afraid that this college entrance examination grand competition will be able to make an impact on the top 10 at the provincial level. The surrounding leaders of Dongling City all followed and chimed in a few times when they saw their boss opening his mouth. However, at this moment, the crowd suddenly realized that the face of the principal of Dongling no. One middle school was somewhat difficult. What's wrong? There are so many outstanding people choosing hell difficulty. Why are you a little less than happy? Principal Lee? Seeing this, the city head asked curiously. Lord City Head. Upon hearing this, Principal Lee hesitated for a moment and spoke. The total number of students in the first middle school who can challenge the hell level difficulty this year is 10. This one extra. Principal Lee didn't finish his words, but the people present understood what he meant. Reckless. Not following the school's arrangements. He's playing with fire. The city head snorted coldly, his expression somewhat serious. Before the start of the great higher education competition, the school would caution the scholars to choose a difficulty that matched their strength. This was partly because the school was experienced and could roughly estimate the results based on the strength of the scholars, and partly to protect these scholars. After all, although the college entrance exam competition was conducted in the middle of a secret realm replica, and every student would be given a scroll to return to the city, it wasn't as if there hadn't been any deaths. By choosing a difficulty that far exceeded one's strength, there was a high chance that one might not even be able to use the city return scroll in time before being killed by the monsters in the secret realm copy. Look for it. I'd like to see which student didn't listen to his teacher's teachings and saw death in such an important occasion as the great examination competition. At this moment, the guardian on the side, Situ Haonan, also had a chilly expression, wanting to see who this bold fellow was. Soon, the crowd was able to find the audacious fellow in one small screen after another. Wang. Wang Dust? How dare he? A giant royal beast master without a beast pet? Looking at the slender figure in the live broadcast screen, Principal Lee couldn't help but exclaim in shock. How could he not have thought that the one who dared to be a deadbeat and choose the hell difficulty was actually Wang Chuan? On the side, Guardian Sitohanan raised an eyebrow at the words, and his face immediately darkened. Not only did he dare, but he also wore a black iron outfit to go down the hell difficulty secret realm copy. After entering the copy, the equipment on the examinee's body would release different colors depending on the level. Hearing his words, the corners of his mouth twitched when the people present took a closer look. The dim black light on Wang Chen's body was conspicuous among all the exam applicants. Good fellow, wearing a novice four-piece suit to go down to Hellborn? Isn't this purely looking for death? Warm reminder, candidate Wang Chuan, you have successfully entered the bronze level secret world copy of Lava Cave. The current difficulty level is Hell. The current number of challengers for the secret world copy is one. The city return scroll has been issued automatically. Please use caution if you encounter a life-threatening situation. I wish you excellent results. Time and space shifted. And when Wang Chuan once again set his feet on the ground, a blazing heat wave came over him, as if he was in the middle of a furnace. Looking around, he realized that the location he was in at the moment was an underground cave that was 5 meters high and had a wide space. Surrounded by brown rocks formed after the cooling of lava, emitting a faint red light, illuminating the entire cave. On the ground, there was even some lava that hadn't cooled down yet slowly flowing, emitting a steaming heat. Woo! Just after observing the surroundings, Wang Chuan's ears resounded with Bing Ching's disgruntled cries. This little fellow waved its wings and incited a cold wind to disperse the heat around it. As an isotribute creature, the little guy instinctively felt aversion to this blazing environment. Bear with me, I'll take you to eat ice cream after finishing this copy. Seeing this scene, a smile flashed in Wang Chen's eyes and patted the little guy's head. Woohoo! Upon hearing this, Little Bingqing excitedly let out a low chirp, ready to discuss with her master about where the ice cream was delicious. However, right at this moment, she suddenly turned her head, her azure-colored vertical pupils locking onto the depths of the cave. Thud thud thud. Heavy footsteps rang out as twenty hideous black shadows walked out from the depths. It was a group of green-faced and fanged orcs, stout in size and over three meters tall, each carrying a strong fluctuation on their bodies. Monster, Orc Warrior. Level, 40. Fighting style, melee. Skills, bestial roar. Power burst, charge. Type, normal. Monster, orc shaman. Level, level 40. Battle style, long range output. Aid. Skills, elementary healing. Lava ray, boiling blood. 
Type, Mutation. In total, there were 19 orc warriors and one orc shaman. The little monster that came out is level 40? It's really worthy of a hell level difficulty. Seeing the information that came back from the scrying technique, a glint flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. If he remembered correctly, the secret copy of the college entrance exam was divided into four levels, and by choosing the easy difficulty, the monsters that appeared had challenge levels ranging from level 20 to level 30. Hell difficulty started at level 40, and he was afraid that by the fourth level of the secret realm copy, the level of monsters encountered would reach level 50. No wonder before entering the secret realm copy, the school strictly instructed to choose a difficulty that matches one's strength. The strength level of the monsters between different difficulties. The span is indeed large. Wang Chuan shook his head and waved his hand to take out his novice longsword to stand by. Using the novice equipment at this time was not that he was being generous, but he wanted to get a higher clearance rating. Because the secret copy of the college entrance examination grand competition was different from other secret copies, the ultimate mission of the copy was to select talents. So the final ranking of the exam applicant's performance was based on a combination of various factors. After all, if it was only determined by the speed of clearance, a crash could easily occur amongst the millions of exam applicants in Far River Province. In order to prevent such a situation from occurring, the secret copy of the college entrance examination grant competition would take the equipment worn by the examinee into account during the final settlement. The higher the rating of the equipment, the lower the corresponding rating will be at the time of settlement. Many examinee students who were interested in striking a higher ranking would control their scores by the equipment they wore when entering the secret copy of the college entrance examination grand competition. However, those like Wang Dust who wore a novice suit were unique in the history of several hundred years. Roar. On the opposite side, seeing the humans appear, the orcs who had long been unable to hold back the ferocity in their hearts let out a brutal roar that shook the entire lava cavern with a buzzing sound. Thud thud thud. Then, 19 orc warriors did not hesitate to move their feet waving the weapons in their hands to launch a charge. At the same time, the orc shaman who stood at the end also waved the magic staff in his hand, spilling a bloody light onto the bodies of these orc warriors. Boiling blood magic, enhanced by this blood light, the 19 orc warriors who were charging increased their strength by nearly 10%, exuding an even more furious aura. Bing Ching, it's going up. However, upon seeing this scene, Wang Chen did not have the slightest fear in his eyes. Instead, a raging battle intent rose up in his body. He greeted the little guy and then gripped his novice longsword as his body rushed out, directly crashing head-on into the charging orc warrior. It's hopeless. What audacity. A giant beast master without a beast pet dares to challenge a hell difficulty copy? This is not the way to find death. Behind the giant curtain of bronze light doors unfolding. Dongling no. One middle school's principal, Lee, couldn't wait to immediately catch Wang Dust out and whip him. With so many leaders watching, this year's merit rating was definitely hopeless. And... This kid who doesn't know the sky and the earth. I hope he quickly uses the city return scroll to get out of the secret copy. Don't really die inside. Praying silently under his breath. Principal Lee viciously gouged out class 7 class teacher Lai Xia. The death of a student in the middle of the college entrance examination competition could be considered a major dereliction of duty for him as the principal. I'm afraid that your prayers will be in vain. Principal Lee. The guardian on the side. Situ Haonan. Shook his head and sneered when he heard Principal Lee's prayer. As he spoke. He pointed at the upright figure in the giant light screen that was charging towards the orcs with a sword. This kid, having chosen the hell difficulty, I'm afraid he has no intention of coming out alive. At those words, Principal Lee and the others deflected their sights to look, and the expressions on each of their faces became even more speechless. Good fellow, facing the charge of 19 level 40 orc warriors, a giant beast master who didn't even have a beast pet still dared to collide head on? This was truly a case of the old man hanging himself, living beyond his means. This student, if he could still entangle himself with the beastmen warriors for a few minutes with the help of the terrain. Now, I'm afraid that he doesn't even have a chance to use the city return scroll, and he's going to be directly torn to pieces by the beastmen warriors. Seeing this scene, the head of Dongling City opened his mouth indifferently, and in his words, he directly sentenced Wang Chen to death. Hearing his words, the surrounding crowd shook their heads in silence, and no one refuted. The activation of the city return scroll also required time. And although it was only a few seconds, Wine Dust, who was actively seeking death, clearly did not have this opportunity to use it. For a while, the crowd deflected their eyes, not bothering to look at the bloody images that followed. However, at that moment, a determined gaze remained locked onto the upright figure on the small screen. Wang Chuan, you can definitely create a miracle. Lai Xia, the class 7 teacher, fought silently in her heart. On the viewing platform behind the bronze light gate, Ri Xia looked expectantly at Wang Chen, 
who had taken the initiative to charge the orcs in the secret copy. That was the student she was once most proud of and most satisfied with. She believed that Wang Chen's choice of the Hell Difficulty Secret Realm copy was by no means arrogant, but rather a choice based on his own strength. Moreover, Wang Chuan, who possessed SSS rank talent, also had the capital to be arrogant. Brat, teacher is waiting for you to create a miracle for me, don't you fall off the chain. However, although Li Xiao was convinced in her heart that Wang Chuan wouldn't fall here, her heart still lifted as she looked at the figure that was launching a charge at the orcs. In the secret copy, Wang Dust's body rushed out like a cheetah instantly closing the distance between him and the orc warrior. Roar, the orc warrior who rushed at the front, looking at the human who ran to the front of his eyes, let out a cruel roar from his mouth. The weapon in his hand swung out with a biting wind, about to smash the human in front of him into pieces. However, at this moment, in the face of the orc warrior's attack, Wang Chuan's face was fearless. As he ran, his feet snapped, and he directly jumped into the arms of the orc warrior. Knee bump. Only a clear bone cracking sound could be heard. The orc warrior's chest was directly dented by his impact. And then his body, which was as high as three meters, flew backwards as if it was a sack. Then, still in midair, Wang Chuan's body turned, and the novice longsword in his hand swept out horizontally. Brush brush, cold light flashed, and the blade of the sword slid through the necks of the two orc warriors without any delay. In a spray of blood, the bodies of these two orc warriors who wanted to combine their attacks fell softly to the ground. Killed in seconds. In an instant, 19 orc warriors were cleanly disposed of by Wang Dust in three. Roar roar roar. However, at that moment, the orc warriors behind them arrived right behind them. The death of their own kind did not make them fearful. Instead, fueled by the smell of blood, these guys let out a crazy roar and scrambled to attack Wang Dust first. In the blink of an eye, four orc warriors rushed up, swinging their weapons and launching an attack. Oh. The four weapons carried violent wind sounds and attacked at extreme speed towards Wang Dust, who was still in mid-air. However, upon seeing this scene, Wang Dust, who had not yet landed on the ground, directly stretched out a hand to meet them. Wind Blade Art With a violent surge of magical power, two light green colored wind blades shot out and ruthlessly slammed into the four weapons of the orc warriors. The wind blades directly cut off the four weapons, and then crashed into the orc warrior's body with more than just residual momentum. Tear a tearing sound rang out, and the tall body of the orc warrior was directly cut off from the wind blade. Blood and internal organs spilled onto the ground, instantly filling the cave with a sickening bloody odor. At this moment, as these four orc warriors fell, a gap appeared in the densely charging group, exposing the orc shaman to Wang Dust's line of sight. Good opportunity. Seeing this scene, a cold light flashed in Wang Dust's eyes, and after landing, his foot pointed on the ground and his body rushed out as if it was a cannonball. Instantaneous sword. In the next second, he directly rushed to the front of the orc shaman, and the novice longsword in his hand chopped out without hesitation. On the opposite side, the orc shaman only felt a black shadow flash before his eyes, and then he saw a cold light chopping towards himself. Roar! Seeing this, the orc shaman let out an angry roar from his mouth and swung the magic staff in his hand to meet the longsword. There was a bang. In an instant, the two weapons collided together, emitting a violent ringing sound. However, before the orc shaman could rejoice that it had blocked the attack, it saw the human on the opposite side turn and charge towards the orc warrior. Roar! Seeing this scene, anger rose in the orc shaman's eyes, and with words in its mouth, it was about to use its lava rays to teach this human, who didn't know the heights of heaven, a lesson. But just as it waved its hand, it realized that the magic staff in its hand snapped into two, and then the world it saw with its eyes was cut apart. Snap! In the next second, the orc shaman's body split into two halves one on the left and one on the right, and fell to the ground. On the viewing platform behind the bronze light gate, Ri Xia, who had been paying attention to Wang Duan, had frozen. It was swift, powerful, and each strike was a one-hit kill. Wang Dust's sufficient and unrelenting movements caused a wariness to rise in Ri Xia's heart. Well done. She couldn't help but wave her pink fist and exclaimed in a loud voice, her eyes filled with pride rising from her student's excellent performance. M.S. Li Xia, pay attention to your emotions. On the side, Principal Li, who heard the exclamation of surprise, had a flash of displeasure on his face. This teacher Li Xia, yelling in front of the city head and guardian and so many leaders, simply knew too little about proportion. As he spoke, he followed Li Xia's line of sight, wanting to see which student's outstanding performance made Li Xia lose her temper at this moment. However, crap, this is Wang Duan? Principal Li couldn't help but exclaim in shock, his face filled with incredulity, only to see on the screen, an upright figure wandered amongst the orc warriors like a god of death. In less than 20 seconds, 
The remaining 14 orc warriors in the first level of the secret replica all fell under this figure's sword. How? How is this possible? Wang Chen is so strong? Seeing this scene, Principal Li murmured with a face full of disbelief. How could he not have thought that Wang Chuan, who had already been sentenced to death in his heart, had shown such a terrifying strength? Is this, really the chicken rib profession giant imperial beast master? Efficient killing, comparable to perfect battle sense and body control. There's something about this kid. On the side, the guardian Sito Haonan, who was attracted by the exclamations of surprise, couldn't help but exclaim in admiration under his breath after watching Wang Chen's battle footage. Hearing his words, the eyes of the surrounding crowd shook a little. Guardian Situ, it's hard to believe that this kid really has the strength to pass a hell difficulty copy? The head of Dongling City looked at the upright figure in the screen and asked Sito Haonan, it's possible, if he continues to maintain his current state, he might actually be able to pass. Hearing this, Situ Haonan nodded. Although Wang Chen's profession was a giant beast royalist, and there was an innate gap between him and other professions without a giant beast. However, looking at the qualities that Wang Chuan had just shown during his clean fight, Sito Haonan felt that this kid might really be able to make it to the end. The difference between him and the others was just a little more time to pass the level. Really? Hearing Sito Haonan's words, a flash of joy flashed across the eyes of the head of Dongling City. Having one more candidate who could enter a book was something that could make his political performance look even better. However, Dongling City Head's joy did not last long before it was directly interrupted. Seek death. Situ Hanan suddenly snorted coldly, his face becoming very unpleasant. In the secret realm copy. Phew. 20 seconds. Just the right amount of time. Wang Dust stood in the middle of a field of corpses, his eyes unperturbed as he looked at the bloody ground around him, with his strength raised to level 35, coupled with the attributes from the ice clear feedback. Nowadays, he simply had no trouble at all against level 40 monsters. 20 seconds of time, killing 20 level 40 beastmen, such an efficient kill, perfectly displaying his strength after returning from the 10,000 beast mountain range. At this moment, after the 20 orcs died, a blood-colored magic formation surfaced on the floor of the cave, which was the entrance to the next level. Shaking off the blood from his novice longsword, Wang Chuan took a step towards the magic formation. The speed of passing the first level in 20 seconds could be regarded as one of the best among all the candidates but Wang Chen did not feel complacent about it. If it wasn't for the environment in the first level, which wasn't suitable for Bing Ching, who was in a fighting state, to fight, he would have been able to solve the problem at a much faster speed. I hope that the next level's environment won't be as cramped as it is now. Pondering in his mind, Wang Chen and Little Ice Ching's figures disappeared in a burst of bloody light. How stupid. Not recovering your strength first after an intense battle, instead rushing into the next level. This is looking for death. Looking at the figure in the screen that disappeared into the magic formation, Situ Haonan frowned. In his opinion, although the battle just now was short, Wang Chen must have consumed a large amount of physical strength. Facing the stronger monsters of the second level in this state was simply unwise. This is the end of the line for him. With a cold snort under his breath, Situ Haonan turned his head to look at the other candidates on the light screen. At this moment, the candidates who had chosen Hell Difficulty had basically solved the monsters of the first level and each stood in front of the blood-colored magic array, taking out recovery potions to replenish their physical strength. Even Situ Yu, who was most favored by Situ Hanan, silently toned down for a moment before stepping into the middle of the magic array. There was no one who directly entered the next level without stopping like Wang Chen did. When the surrounding crowd heard Situ Hanan's words, one by one, they also shook their heads and stopped paying attention. As the strongest person in the entire Dongling city, what Situ Hanan said could almost be seen as a conclusion for Wang Chen. Only Ri Xia, whose gaze remained unwavering. Buzz buzz buzz. Between the rotation of the sky and the earth, Wang Dust entered the second level of the secret realm copy. This was an unusually wide lava cave, comparable in size to a large soccer field, and not as short in height as it was in the first level, with the top being 20 to 30 meters from the ground. On the surrounding lava rock walls, there were torches inserted, and the flames rose high, illuminating the entire cavern as bright as day. The moment he entered this place, Wang Chuan saw the opponents of the second level, 20 orcs. However, compared to the first level, these 20 orcs were even more lanky, with green faces and fangs as high as 5 meters, standing there as if they were a small mountain. Monster, Orc Berserker. Level, 43. Fighting style, melee. Skills, Berserk. Power burst, charge. Battle cry. Type, normal. Monster, High Orc Shaman. Level, 43. Level, 43. Battle style, long range output. Aid. Skills, advanced healing. Lava ray, boiling blood. Type, mutation. Not only were the strength levels of these orcs stronger, 
But the number of orc shamans with long-range attack abilities among them had also increased to five. While Wang Chuan was using his scrying technique to check the strength of these orcs, the orcs in the cavern also discovered him, the intruding uninvited guest. At the same time, roar roar roar, amidst the ear-splitting roars, a pair of scarlet sights instantly locked onto Wang Chuan. The five orc shamans even waved their magic staffs at the same time. Lava rays, between the surge of magic power, Five rays emitting a scorching aura instantly shot out towards Wang Dust. Roar roar roar. At the same time, the 15 orc berserkers also roared, carrying their battle axes and launching a charge with heavy steps. On the way to charging, the muscles of each of these orc berserkers skyrocketed, and their body size became even taller, apparently opening the berserking skill. So impatient to charge up and die? Seeing this scene, the corner of Wang Chuan's mouth flashed a cold smile, then took a step back. Little Ice Ching, it's your turn to perform. The words just fell. The little ice ching on his shoulder waved its wings and flew out, its body expanding rapidly in midair. The next second, ang, a high dragon's roar resounded in the middle of the cave, like a shocking wave of sound waves shaking the entire cave. A five meter long terrifying creature covered in azure scales stretched across the front of the orc berserker's charge. The five lava rays that shot out landed on the azure colored scale armor, not even leaving a white mark, and directly turned into magic fragments and disappeared. When the charging orc berserkers saw this scene, each one of them couldn't help but stop in their tracks. The aura from the top of the food chain made panic appear in their eyes at this moment. What? Is that? On the viewing platform behind the bronze light gate, Ri Xia, whose eyes were glued to the screen, suddenly exclaimed with wide eyes, an unbelievable expression on his face. Teacher Ri Xia, pay attention to your emotions. On the side, a flash of impatience flashed across the face of Principal Li who heard the exclamation. Is this teacher Ri Xia finished? repeatedly losing her temper in front of the guardian lord and the city head. It was simply too humiliating for the school. No, no, principal, look at Wang Duan. Ri Xia stammered a little and reached out to point at the giant light screen. What's there to see? Did that brat know better and use the city return scroll? Upon hearing this, principal Li frowned unhappily, his sight skimming towards the light screen. Crap, what the, is that? In the next second, he directly jumped up from his chair his face filled with a strong look of incredulity. When the surrounding crowd saw this scene, they couldn't help but curiously deflect their eyes. Then, all were dumbstruck, only to see that in everyone's gaze, the small creature that had been lying on Wang Chen's shoulder after entering the secret realm replica had instantly changed its image drastically. From being less than the size of a palm, it turned into a behemoth with a body size of more than 5 meters. Her body was streamlined, covered with azure-colored fine scales, and her two divergent pointed horns pointed diagonally towards the sky. Even just by seeing the image, everyone present could feel the noble and vast aura emanating from this creature. The streamlined body, the huge wings that are open, the hideous giant claws, are all indicating her identity to the crowd. This is a divine beast that came out of the legend. The giant dragon. This is, a giant dragon? On the viewing platform, Principal Lee's eyes almost stared out, his expression extremely unbelievable. How could he not have thought that he had seen a living gargoyle appear? On the side. Guardian Sito Haunan's expression was no better. Even if he was a fourth turn powerhouse, after seeing that terrifying creature in the picture, he felt incredibly small. A giant dragon. It wasn't even an ordinary attribute giant dragon like the five elements giant dragon, but a rare ice attribute. Just based on what he saw now, Sito Haunan could be certain that this was definitely a divine beast of the overlord level or above. As long as it grew up, it could at least reach the strength of a seventh turn. Nima. The vision that appeared in Dongling City a month ago was definitely caused by this kid. Contracting a giant dragon and still keeping such a low profile? What exactly is this kid thinking? With a thousand thoughts in his mind, with Situ Haunan's composure, he couldn't help but burst out a foul mouth at this moment. Among the crowd, the head of Dongling City even stood up with a flushed face, his breathing becoming rapid. A giant dragon? A giant imperial beast master who had contracted a giant dragon? The head of Dongling City suspected that he had blurred his eyes for which he rubbed his eyes and confirmed no less than three times with his eyes glued to the screen. That's right, it really was a giant dragon. The shape was exactly the same as the pattern in the literature. After seeing it clearly, the head of Dongling City stumbled, and almost fell to the ground if not for the quickness of one of the people beside him to hold him up. Only after a long time did the Dongling City head come back to his senses and couldn't help but laugh openly. Ha 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 ha, it's a giant dragon. My Dongling City has produced a giant imperial beast master who has contracted a giant dragon. The head of Dongling City was so excited that he was dancing around, itching to immediately light a bunch of fireworks to celebrate. No one knew better than him what a giant imperial beastmaster with a contracted dragon represented. 
I'm afraid that after the college entrance exam competition, Dongling City could immediately take off the hat of a third-rate city and directly enter the ranks of first-rate cities, and even be on par with the capital of Far River Province. Ha ha ha! Thinking of the bright prospects that would arise in the future, the head of Dongling City couldn't help but heave and giggle. However, at this moment, no one noticed his scandalous behavior, as everyone's gazes were dead set on the light screen, staring at the being whose breath was dignified and vast, only to see, the azure-colored dragon moved, her speed wasn't really fast, but because of her huge power-filled body, just a seemingly slow step, but in an instant, she crossed a distance of tens of meters, instantly arriving in front of the orc berserkers, these monsters whose strength was as high as 43 levels, and other candidates who chose the hell difficulty would need to struggle to deal with one, appeared small and gurgling weak in front of the dragon, the giant dragon merely swung out with its two dragon wings, instantly sending seven or eight orc berserkers flying, killed in seconds. The crowd on the viewing platform could clearly see that the chests of these orc berserkers that were sent flying instantly collapsed, and blood continued to pour out of their mouths, directly killing them. Next, the blue-colored dragon madly surged forward, like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, waving its claws and wings to easily kill all the remaining orc berserkers. Even the five high-level orc shamans standing at the end were easily slapped to death by one of her claws, and at that moment, when the magic array leading to the next level lit up, the time had just passed 10 seconds before Wang Chuan entered the second level. 2. Strong. Seeing this scene, everyone's hearts couldn't help but be shocked, their eyes filled with horror. 10 seconds to pass the more difficult second level? Was this the terrifying strength of a giant dragon? It was simply too strong. Where did Wang Chen contract a divine beast like a giant dragon from? With this terrifying gargoyle around, there's no surprise at all that he passed the hell difficulty copy. Too strong. Not to mention passing the copy. I'm afraid that this year's Far River Province scholar will not be Wang Chuan's. A murmur mixed with shock rang out, and everyone on the viewing platform couldn't help but physically tremble. At this moment, no one doubted Wang Dust's strength anymore, wearing a novice suit to go down to Hellborn, for other people that was looking for death, but for Wang Dust, who possessed a giant dragon, it was a vacation. Quick, I want all of Wang Dust's information, bring it to me immediately. Upon seeing Wang Dust and the giant dragon silhouettes disappear into the magic formation, the head of Dongling City excitedly slapped the table. A scholar, a giant imperial beast master with a promising future. He had to keep the other party's account in the middle of Dongling City at any cost, while everyone in the outside world was shaken by the appearance of the giant dragon. Wang Chuan brought little Bingqing and appeared in the third level. The environment here was not different from before, except that the cave space had become larger and there was more magma flowing on the ground. Aang. As soon as he entered, little Ice Ching, who hadn't yet enjoyed himself, couldn't wait to let out a high dragon roar. At the center of the cave, the twenty orc warriors gathered around were instantly attracted to the idea. The size of each of these guys was similar to that of an orc berserker, but they were wearing fiery red iron armor and exuded a much stronger aura. 46th level, orc guard. As for the specific attributes, wine dust skimmed it, owing even to releasing a scrying spell. The attribute information didn't matter anymore. In front of Bing Cheng who had turned on the combat state, these orc guards would only end up being crushed. Roar roar roar. The twenty orc guards looked at the uninvited guests that appeared in the middle of the cave, and each one of them let out a roar of extreme anger. Thud thud thud. They picked up their battle axes and rushed up in a swarm, wanting to shatter these two uninvited guests into pieces. However, their thoughts were good, but the reality was cruel. Aang. A high dragon's roar rang out like thunder, shaking the entire cavern with a buzzing sound. Immediately afterward, Bing Ching opened his hideous giant mouth, and the extremely cold spit shot out as a pillar of light, and the shockwave that swept away caused a white airway visible to the naked eye to appear in the cavern. Rumble. The orc guard's intensive charging formation was directly torn apart from it by the dragon's breath. Fully ten orc guards, without even having the time to send out a scream, turned into tiny ice crystal dust under the azure-colored light pillars. The orc guards on both sides of the azure light pillar were also not in a good position the violent shockwave directly sent them flying. Bang bang bang. It wasn't until they crashed into the rock wall of the cave that these orc guards stopped. However, before they could regain their senses from their fear, hideous dragon claws and sharp swords glittering with cold light appeared in front of their eyes. Roar roar roar. With a mournful roar, the remaining ten orc guards were mercilessly harvested. Phew. Shaking off the blood on his long sword, Wang Chen looked at the wrecked cave and let out a long breath. It was too strong. Even though he had long seen Little Ice Ching strike many times in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, at this moment, he could not help but feel emotion in his heart. 10 seconds. Another 10 seconds. The orc guards that were stronger than the second level orc berserkers were once again decimated by Ice Ching. 
None of these fellows were a single match for Ice Ching, and they were directly crushed to death by destruction. Until now, he had taken a total of 40 seconds to complete the third level. At this time, the other candidates who had chosen the Hell difficulty were still playing hide and seek with the Orc Berserkers of the second level. Wu, just as Wang Chuan was sighing with emotion in his heart, Ding Qing's head, which was bigger than his entire body, heavily rubbed against him a few times. Wu, with azure colored eyes staring at him expectantly, little Bing Qing, with one huge dragon claw, pointed at the magic formation that had appeared in the cave. All right, all right, we'll move on to the next level. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust cried and laughed a little. This fellow, completely played high, the orc guards just now were not enjoying themselves at all. Really, you're a little beauty, how can you be so belligerent? As he spoke, Wang Chen put one hand against Bing Qing's dragon head to prevent himself from being sent flying out with a headbutt. However, he was able to defend his head at this time, but he forgot that the little guy's entire body was a weapon. Wha! Hearing his words, Ding Cheng hissed in dissatisfaction, and with a flick of his thick dragon tail, he directly threw Wang Chen onto his back before scattering and running towards the magic formation leading to the next level. Slow down, slow down, holding Bing Qing's neck to death. Wang Chuan felt as if he was sitting on a speeding train at the moment. 10 seconds. 2046 leveled orc guards supported themselves for a mere 10 seconds in front of a giant dragon? This is simply too unimaginable. Wang Chan and this giant dragon. They won't maintain such a speed to directly fight through the secret realm copy, right? Looking at the giant dragon running wildly in the middle of the light screen, as well as the figure that was slightly in a sorry state, everyone on the viewing platform had their mouths wide open. It was too strong. The 46th level orc guards were as easy to tear apart in front of the dragon as if they were made of paper. Everyone felt that they were afraid that they were going to witness the birth of a new record today. Wang Chuan this time, I'm afraid that he's going to create the fastest and highest clearance score since our Dragon Country's great examination competition. Situ Haonan muttered, his eyes incomparably shocked. At this moment, where on his face was the condescension of a fourth turn powerhouse still present, the terrifying battle power displayed by the giant dragon made his entire body crack. The others were watching the hilarity, but as the strongest amongst the crowd, Situ Haonan saw something more essential behind it through the giant dragon crushing the orc guards. This azure-colored dragon, which was now just in its juvenile stage, had a strength comparable to that of a third-turn professional. This discovery simply caused Situ Haonan's three views to explode. It was too outrageous. Even if it was an overlord-level divine beast, it was impossible for its juvenile strength to be this strong. Could it be that this giant dragon's rank is that of a monarch class? Or even a universe-class divine beast? Situ Haonan thought silently in his heart the expression on his face growing more and more shocked. As for Saint Beasts, the will of the heavens had only appeared once in the 700 years since the revival of the will of the heavens, and he didn't even dare to think about it at this moment. While Sito Haonan was shocked because of his own guesses, the others on the viewing platform did not have any other thoughts at all at this moment. They looked at the giant dragon that was charging through the light screen, killing the 46 level orc guards like chickens, and had only one thought in their minds. Strong, too strong, strong and invincible. At the same time, the crowd gathered outside of Dongling One was buzzing with excitement. This candidate has good strength, cleanly solving a second level monster, definitely has the strength of a book. This one can also work. These three candidates work well together, they definitely put in hard work. The second book is stable, this one can't. The first level of average difficulty hasn't even been passed yet? Getting into a good school is laborious. Everyone, Looking at the giant screen in the middle of the sky that randomly played the candidate's situation in the secret realm copies, did not blink. Every time a new candidate appeared, a fervor of discussion surged among the crowd. Look, it's it to you. She's so strong that none of the monsters could even get close to her. Worthy of being the top genius of our dongling city. I'm afraid that this year's city scholar is none other than her. At this moment, a beautiful figure with a delicate appearance, wearing silver armor and holding a longbow, appeared in the giant screen. She was like a butterfly, wandering amongst the orc berserkers in the second level. Arrows in her hands shooting out like phantoms, and every three arrows would inevitably take away the life of an orc berserker. Such a beautiful and murderous picture attracted a lot of discussion among the crowd. However, the crowd hadn't seen enough. When the picture on the giant screen turned, a huge figure covered in azure-colored scale armor, running wildly through the third level of the secret realm copy, appeared in front of everyone's eyes. What is that? What a terrifying creature. Just looking at it makes me feel a little distracted. Heavens, a dragon's head? Dragon claws? Dragon wings? This, can't be a giant dragon? Seeing this scene, the crowd of onlookers were all stunned. Not only were they shocked that a candidate had rushed to the third level at this moment, they were even more shocked by the creature seen in front of them that exuded a dignified and vast aura. 
The giant dragon. Oh my god, who is this? Someone among the candidates actually has a giant dragon? Crazy. Solving the third level so quickly. This candidate is a monster, right? Who's going to wake me up? I've seen a living dragon in my lifetime. This must be an illusion. Don't switch the screen. Old lady I want to see a giant dragon. What's so great about watching these trash break through the levels? After a short period of shock, it was as if a deep water bomb had been dropped in the crowd, and a clamor of thunderous comments rang out. Everyone's face revealed an extremely unbelievable expression. A giant dragon, just like this, appeared alive in front of their eyes and was taking part in the higher education competition. This, simply made their worldviews shatter. However, on the giant screen, the image briefly lingered for a moment before it was replaced by images of other candidates, causing the crowd of onlookers to clamor in discontent. And in the clamoring crowd, a couple looked at each other with extremely unbelievable expressions on their faces. The azure-colored dragon in the image just now, as well as the wretched figure on the back of the dragon, caused an incomparably familiar feeling to rise in their hearts. Old Wang, did you see just now? That seems to be Bing Ching and our son. Wang Chuan, in the middle of the secret copy, Wang Chuan was not aware that his parents were filled with confusion by the stunning appearance of himself and little Bing Ching on the giant screen in the outside world. At this moment, he combed his blown out hair and somewhat unhappily patted little Ice Ching's dragon horn. Just now, this fellow Bing Ching ran wildly, bringing up a fierce wind that almost blew him away. Bing Ching, you're a lady, behave elegantly. Woo! In the face of his master's teachings, little Bing Ching shook his head, not listening at all. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen slapped his head speechlessly. Good fellow. It always felt like Bing Ching was going to grow crooked in the future. However, although being blown by the cold wind just now was a mess, it was really exciting. Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chuan looked around. At this moment, he and Bing Ching had already arrived at the fourth and final level of the secret copy of the college entrance examination competition. The total time spent so far totaled 40 seconds. Definitely an unprecedented achievement since the start of the Dragon Country College Entrance Examination Competition. The space of the fourth level was larger than the previous three levels combined, more than a hundred feet in circumference, comparable to ten soccer fields. The rock walls were lit with huge candle fires, and it was unknown what kind of fuel it was. The firelight was extremely dazzling, illuminating the huge space as bright as day. In this huge space, twenty giant orcs roamed the ground. Each of these orcs was over eight meters in size, taller than Bing Chang. Their bodies were surrounded by unknown animal skins, and their exposed muscles seemed as if they were sharpened by knives and axes, and at a glance, they were known to contain extreme strength. Monster, Giant Orc. Level, 50. Battle Style, Melee. Skills, Bestial Roar. Trample, Giant Throw. Type, Normal. Finally some slightly challenging opponents. Looking at the information returned by the scrying technique in front of him, Wang Dust became slightly excited. For the other candidates, these 20 giant orcs were definitely in existence that they could only deal with if they put their best foot forward. However, for Wang Chuan, it only made him slightly square up. At this moment, the 20 giant beastmen discovered the uninvited guests that had appeared in the cave, and they all locked onto Wang Chuan and Bing Ching with their huge scarlet eyes the size of a faceplate. Looking at these two uninvited guests, the giant beastmen twitched their noses and rose up in excitement, taking steps to surround Wang Chan and Bing Ching. Thud thud thud. Their huge bodies walked on the ground, making a sound like a beating drum. Roar roar roar. The scent of fresh blood and meat caused each of these giant orcs to let out an extremely brutal roar. Finally, a giant orc couldn't help but throw out the bone stick in its hand and attack. Hoo 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 hoo. In a violent whistling sound, the bone rod shot out like a cannonball. Giant throw. Its movement instantly caused a chain reaction, and the other giant orc standing on the side followed suit. The next second. Oh. Terrifying whistling sounds filled the entire space as 20 bone rods flew at great speed towards where Bing Ching and Wang Chen were. Still knows to strike first? However, seeing this scene, Wang Chuan did not have the slightest bit of fear on his face. Bing Chang, let's compete to see who has killed the most giant orcs. Smiling, he patted the little guy's dragon horn, and before the words fell, Wang Chuan's body had already flown out like lightning. Instant sword, in the blink of an eye, he rushed to the front of a giant orc. The novice longsword in his hand was swung out in a hurry, ruthlessly chopping at the giant orc's knee. The giant orc's body was too huge, and his smoothest attack position was right here. Stabbing, a toothache-inducing tearing sound rang out, and a handful of blood exploded from the giant orc's knee. However, after Wang Dust, who had built up his success with one strike, shook off the blood on his sword, the expression on his face was somewhat speechless. The giant orc was too big and had thick skin. His sword only tore through the flesh on the knee not even cutting through the bones. Roar. 
Feeling the pain on his body, the giant orc roared and bent down to slap towards Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan moved his feet and dodged the attack by a hair's breadth. After standing firmly, he looked at the giant orc whose size was nearly five times larger than his own, and was somewhat helpless in his heart. This kind of big guy, trying to deal a fatal wound with an ordinary attack is simply too difficult. The long sword in his hand was no different from a toothpick for the giant orc, and it was estimated that even if it was inserted into the giant orc's chest, it wouldn't necessarily be able to pierce the other party's heart. But fortunately, he wasn't fighting alone. There was a bang. The giant orc that was about to launch another attack, its body was suddenly knocked out by an azure-colored figure. Whoa! In situ, Little Ice Ching looked at his master and let out a disgruntled chirp from his mouth. It was too detestable. After agreeing to a race, the master even jumped the gun. Noticing the little guy's emotions, Wang Chen awkwardly touched his nose. All right, all right, I admit defeat. These giant orcs, all of them are your prey. Raising his hands in a surrendering gesture, Wang Chuan went along with it and handed over all the giant orcs to Bing Chung. Anyway, he didn't have a quick solution to the giant orcs right now, so it was better for him to stand aside and give Bing Ching an assist. Whoa! Hearing his words, the little guy nodded in satisfaction. With a look of master you know what you're doing. Aang. Then, Bing Ching twisted his head to look at the giant orcs that surrounded him and opened his mouth to let out a high dragon's roar. Before the dragon's roar fell, terrifying frost magic power rose up on Bing Ching's body. Cold ice hell. In an instant, a piercingly cold wind blew in the middle of the cavern, and the azure-colored ice attribute magic power transformed into a piece of palm-sized snowflakes, drifting and enveloping all the giant orcs. Click 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 click. These snowflakes fell to the ground and landed on the bodies of the giant orcs, instantly freezing the range they came into contact with. In just the blink of an eye, the area of tens of meters around Bing Ching turned into a land of ice and snow. The ground and the bodies of those giant orcs were wrapped in azure-colored cold ice little by little. At first, the giant orcs were still able to move, but after this cold ice completely covered their bodies, they completely turned into ice sculptures and froze in place. Oh, after doing this, little ice Ching chirped in triumph, and his body quickly rushed out, and with one claw, he broke these ice sculptures into pieces. However, at this moment, Wang Chuan did not move, and after all those giant beastmen were turned into ice sculptures, the beeps of the secret realm replica's machinery rang in his ears. Ding! Congratulations to candidate Wang Dust for clearing the Lava Cave Pants secret realm copy. Settlement in progress? Please wait. Hearing this sound, he directly froze. The giant orcs hadn't even finished killing them yet. So how did they suddenly clear the level? Looking around at the ten or so giant orcs that were still frozen into ice sculptures, as well as the little ice ching that was causing havoc, Wang Dust's eyes were a little confused. Ice ching had opened a skill and directly secured all the giant orcs? Passed? My god, it's only just a minute now. This is too outrageous. One minute to pass the hell difficulty Gao Gao secret copy. Dragon Kingdom hasn't had such a horrifying result ever. On the viewing platform, everyone looked at the image on the light screen that had been fixed with extremely unbelievable expressions on their faces. They were still waiting to see more battle footage of the giant dragons, but as a result, a snowflake drifted by, and all of the giant orcs were seconded. Could this be an instant death type skill? 20 level 50 monsters in a single hit. This giant dragon's strength is simply beyond imagination. While the crowd around him was shocked, Situ Haonan's mood was also extremely unsettled. As the saying goes, outsiders look at what's going on, but insiders look at what's going on. As a fourth turn level 120 professional, he could tell with a single glance that the moment those chills covered the giant orcs, these monsters' lives were ended. Ha 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 ha. One minute to clear the hell difficulty secret realm copy. The top scholar of Far River Province has been pocketed by Wang Duan. Right at this moment, a slightly maniacal laughter suddenly rang out from the viewing platform. Class 7 headmaster Lai Xia laughed unimaginatively, his gaze sweeping over the crowd on the viewing platform, his eyes filled with disdain and contempt. On the day these guys switched jobs, they had treated Wang Chuan with love and even contempt because he had switched jobs to a giant imperial beast master. At that time, who would have thought that Wang Chuan, who was despised by them, had created a miracle by clearing the hell difficulty copy in one minute? The best clearance score amongst the previous high school competitions was 10 minutes. Wang Dust had now directly pulled this achievement up by 10 times. Absolutely unprecedented. At this moment, Ri Xia's heart was incomparably superior. See? Old Mother's vision is that good. Noticing Ri Xia's gaze, quite a few people on the viewing platform lowered their heads, ashamed of the short-sightedness they once had. However, among them, it did not include Principal Li of Dongling First High School, and the head of Dongling City. These two guys who were over half a hundred years old were smiling like a chrysanthemum. The Dongling City head looked at the upright teenager in the picture, 
his body trembling with excitement. Provincial scholar? How could the dongling city head not expect that this kind of heavenly fortune could fall on his head? A third-rate small city out of a provincial scholar. Their own not far from the high rise. This kind of luck, already not the ancestral tomb smoke, simply can be said to be the ancestral tomb fried corpse. As for Principal Lee who was on the side, his mouth was almost cracked to the back of his head. He didn't care about the disdain in Mr. Li Xia's eyes, compared to a provincial scholar. These are nothing. At this time, if Wang Chuan agreed, Principal Li was even willing to immediately kneel down and kowtow to recognize a father. The Dragon Kingdom's successive high school provincial scholar, as long as not a lot of years died prematurely, the final strength is not lower than six turns. He did not say that he was a son, even as a grandson has earned a lot. In the copy, Wang Dust, who heard the pass prompt, still had a confused face. He hadn't yet figured out how the secret copy had suddenly been pierced. However, when he saw the little ice ching who had knocked an ice sculpture into pieces, a glint flashed in his eyes. It suddenly occurred to him that Ice Ching's Cold Ice Hell skill had another special effect. Cold Ice Hell, SSS active attack skill, summons endless frost, freezing all enemies within a certain range, remarks, being within the range of the Cold Ice territory shroud. Any enemy with an intelligence attribute lower than that of the Dragon of Extreme Cold will trigger an instant death effect. These giant orcs, at first glance, were wild monsters with strength specialties, and their intelligence attributes were simply no match for Ice Ching's and they were directly sidelined by the Cold Ice Inferno's special effect. He he he, this control skill of Ice Ching seems like it can also be used as a wide range monster clearing skill. Silently thinking, Wang Chen suddenly became excited. Ice Ching's various attributes developed evenly, and on the intelligence attribute alone. I'm afraid that monsters that were 30 to 40 levels higher in rank would not be able to match it. In the future, if this skill was used well, then the experience value would still not rise by leaps and bounds. For a moment, Thinking of the future where he would bring Bingqing to a large area in a second, Wang Chuan couldn't help but look forward to it in his heart. Right at this moment, the beep from the secret realm copy sounded once again. Ding! Settlement complete! Congratulations to candidate Wang Dust for perfectly clearing the secret realm copy lava cave. Current secret realm difficulty, hell level. Passing time, 1 minute. Comprehensive score, SSS, highest. Results have been uploaded to the college entrance exam data center. And clearance rewards will be issued next. The beeping in his ears ended, and Wang Chen silently nodded his head without the slightest surprise on his face. This achievement had long been in his expectations. After all, if he brought the ancestral god beast and still couldn't get the highest rating, he could just dig a pit and bury himself. Bing Ching stopped playing around and hurry over to open the reward. At this moment, he greeted the little guy before looking expectantly at the colorful treasure chest that appeared in front of him. The treasure chests of the secret realm copy clearance rewards were all one color, unlike the field drops that were divided. However, the items that could be opened inside would float according to the passer's performance and the level of the secret realm copy. There was absolutely no need to worry about opening trash because of a bad hand like the wild drop treasure chests. Woohoo! The great meritocracy Bing Ching curiously came over and extended its dragon claw to directly poke open the multicolored treasure chest. The multicolored light flickered and an item floated in the air. As the scrying technique swept through, the information of these items appeared in front of Wang Chuan's eyes. 5 million experience points. 100 points of free attributes, 100 free skill points, gold set, lava roar, elite title, orc hunter, grade B general skill, bloodthirsty frenzy, grade B magic material, orc's bloodline essence. Looking at this large pile of things in front of him, a gleam of color emerged in Wang Dust's eyes. It had to be said that it was worthy of being a secret realm copy output. It was simply too rich. The harvest from this passage was at least several times what he had gained from fighting for a month in the 10,000 beasts mountain range. The first thing was 5 million experience points, free attribute points and skill points. With a movement of Wang Chen's mind, the experience value disappeared into his and Bing Qing's bodies respectively. In an instant, his and Bing Qing's levels directly increased by 5 levels. Beast Pet, Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon. Nickname, Bing Chung. Gender, Female. Age, 1 Month, Juvenile. Rank, Level 30. Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast. Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS. 4 dimensional attributes, strength 1950, wisdom 1950, physique 1950, agility 1950, without any buffs, equipment, or props to enhance it, skills, frost body, SSS, extreme cold spit, SSS, cold hell, SSS, dragon might, SSS, loyalty, 100, equipment, none, introduction, slight, the higher the risk, the greater the reward, seeing that little ice ching's level had risen to level 30, Wang Dust nodded with satisfaction. Nowadays, 
The experience needed for Ice Ching to level up 5 would require him to struggle in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range for at least half a month. After checking Ice Ching's attributes, Wang Dust placed his gaze on the other items that were opened. First was the gold level set, Lava Roar. Equipment, Lava Armor. Type, Defense. Grade, Gold. Level Limit, Level 40. Attributes, Strength plus 100. Physique plus 100. Enchantment Effect, I, every time you take an attack, rebound 10% of the damage. 2. Increase the power of all your skills by 5%. Equipment, Lava Belt. Type, Defense. Grade, Gold. Level Limit, Level 40. Attributes, Strength plus 50. Physique plus 50. Attributes, Strength plus 50. Physique plus 50. Agility plus 50. Enchanting Effects, I, comes with a weapon storage compartment for quick switching of main battle weapon, 02. Enchanting Effects, I, comes with a weapon storage compartment for quick switching of main battle weapon, 02. Equipment, Lava Leg Guard. Type, Defense. Grade, Gold. Level Limit, Level 40. Attributes, Strength plus 80. Agility plus 100. Enchantment Effect, 1, Increase Movement Speed by 10%. At the same time, a set attribute surfaced when these three pieces of equipment were gathered together. When the Lava Roar three-piece set is gathered together, increase defense by an additional 10% and reduce fire attribute attack damage by 10%. Not bad. Not bad. A gold set. This is definitely a good thing that has a price when placed in Dongling City. If we take it out and sell it, I'm afraid it will sell for at least 10 million gold coins. After reading the introduction of the Lava Roar, Wang Dust directly put it on his body beautifully, while incidentally learning the B-rank skill Bloodthirsty Berserking as well. Bloodthirsty Berserking, the active skill. After turning on the skill, one will enter the state of Bloodthirsty Berserking, reducing pain by 20% and increasing attack by 20%. In an instant, Wang Dust felt the power in his body become even stronger. Name, Wang Dust. Profession, Giant Beast Master. Level, Level 40, First Turn Limit. Talent, 10,000 Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Art, C. Bloodthirsty Berserking, B. Strength, 315 plus 260 points. Wisdom, 315 plus 10 points. Physique, 315 plus 150 points. Agility, 315 plus 5 plus 170 points. Unassigned Attribute Points, 0. Unassigned Skill Points, 150 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 150 points. After the average distribution of attribute points, coupled with Bing Ching's feedback, Wang Chuan's four-dimensional attributes had already exceeded 300 points in the naked state. If he counted the attribute boost from his equipment, his highest strength attribute was even approaching the 600-point mark. With such an exaggerated four-dimensional attribute, it was comparable to a level 60 or 70 ordinary second-turn professional. As for the free skill points, Wang Chuan did not intend to utilize them for the time being, as the B-rank skills consumed 50 skill points for each upgrade, and the cost-effectiveness was too low for him at the moment. Moreover, his current level had already been raised to level 40, the limit of the first turn. If he wanted to upgrade again, he would have to go and complete the transfer quests in order to continue to advance. Keeping the skill points was just in time for a rainy day. After successfully transferring, I can obtain a new contract bit. Hey, soon I'll be able to contract a second beast pet. Thinking happily in his heart, Wang Dust set his eyes on the remaining two rewards, Elite Title, Orc Hunter, after using it, when battling monsters of the orc race, it increases the attack power by an additional 10%. The rank of the title was divided into four classes, General, Elite, Epic, and Legendary. An Elite Grade title was already quite good for a fledgling professional like Wang Dust. Without hesitation, he directly chose to use it. Next was the last item, a B-grade magic material, the Orc's Bloodline Essence. This item was equally valuable, being the main material for refining Berserking Potion and Bloodline Potion. Putting it in a trading house, it would be easy to sell it for more than 2 million gold coins. However, this thing was of little use to Wang Chuan, who himself had the Bloodthirsty Berserking skill and didn't want to change his human bloodline into something ugly like an Orc. So this material, he planned to throw it along with those other ones he didn't need, and sell it in the trading house in one piece. Alright Bing Chang, we should go back. Receiving all the things into his spatial ring, Wang Chen clapped his hands and held little Bing Ching in his arms. Then, with a thought, he directly activated the city return scroll on his body. Buzzing, after three seconds passed, his figure completely disappeared in the middle of the secret copy. Hurry, hurry, Wang Dust is coming out. On the viewing platform, when the crowd saw the framed image turn into nothingness, they burst into a frenzy. 
This represented that Wang Chen had completed the settlement in the secret copy and was about to disengage. The head of Dongling City howled at this moment, and without any image at all, he directly scurried out from the viewing platform, and behind him, the others also woke up as if in a dream and hurriedly followed and rushed to the playground. At this time, the other candidates were performing in the secret replica. They were simply too lazy to pay attention to them, only wanting to be the first to dip into the immortal energy of Wang Chen, the provincial top scholar. Buzz buzz buzz. The space in front of the bronze light gate fluctuated a few times, followed by an upright figure appearing on the playground. It was none other than Wang Chuan. After his feet hit the ground, Wang Chuan had just dispelled the vertigo from the teleportation. And before he had time to observe his surroundings, he felt a blur before his eyes. In the next second, he was directly surrounded by a group of hungry wolves, the usually high and mighty leaders of Dongling City, as well as those mature and stable teachers of the first middle school, surrounded him. The two smiling chrysanthemum faces of the head of Dongling City and Principal Li were even close to sticking to his body. Seeing this scene, a flash of consternation flashed across Wang Chen's eyes, but his expression returned to calm immediately afterward. Such a big battle must have been caused by his performance in the secret realm of the college entrance examination. Student Wang Chuan, you are the pride of our Dongling City. The city and the school will give you the highest level of rewards afterward. Any other requests you have, you can mention them all now. Feel free to do so. The head of Dongling City and Principal Li stared at Wang Chuan dead in the face, and his tone of voice trembled as he spoke. A nailed-on provincial top scholar, or a giant imperial beast master who had contracted a giant dragon. This was worth any price they could spend to pull in. However, hearing their words, Wang Chen's face did not fluctuate in the slightest. He knew that the change in attitude of Su Nua, the head of Dongling City, as well as Principal Li and quite a few people around him, was merely because they saw the potential in him. If he was still that giant imperial beast master without a beast pet, these people would not hesitate to kick him away. Dongling First Middle School Playground Facing the praise from the head of Dongling City and Principal Li, Wang Chen only nodded politely. This kind of false sentiment was not worth his happiness at all. I'll just listen to the leader and principal in everything. Saying a sentence of nutrient-less nonsense, Wang Chuan's eyes began to move through the crowd. Soon, he sought his mature and stable homeroom teacher at the back of the crowd. M.S. Li Xia. He greeted, a genuine smile on his face. All along, this teacher had taken care of him, and on the day of the transfer ceremony, among the surrounding crowd, Ri Xia was even the only one who truly cared for him and did not belittle and disdain him for transferring to a giant beast master. Instead, she encouraged him and got him the startup funds to buy a beast pet. Treating this benefactor, Wang Chen was grateful from the bottom of his heart. You, you really did it. Passing through the crowd, Ri Xia looked at the boy in front of her who seemed to be shining brightly, and her eyes were in a bit of a trance. Over the past three years in high school, she had witnessed Wang Chuan start from a grassroots, not spelling father, not spelling family, and step by step relying on his own diligence and hard work to get to where he was today. But even though she had always firmly believed that Wang Chuan was her proudest and most satisfied student, she had never expected that this boy would be able to reach such heights. Provincial top scholar. Although the results had not been released yet, Wang Chen's achievements were already well deserved. For a moment, when she thought that all the hard work Wang Chen had put in over the years had finally paid off, Lai Xia's heart couldn't help but sour. It was too difficult. Teacher, with this grade of mine, it's not a problem for you to get an excellent this year, right? Looking at teacher Ri Xia, who was stunned, Wang Duan asked with a smile. Upon hearing this, Ri Xia collected her sentimental emotions and softly congratulated. Congratulations, Wang Dust, for reaching the goal you've been pursuing. Also thanks to you, teacher's performance this year was directly pulled full. As she spoke, Ri Xia patted Wang Duan's shoulder, a heartfelt smile on her face. The college entrance exam is over. I'm sure you can't wait to share the results with your parents, so teacher will treat you to dinner some other day, then it's a deal. Wang Dust nodded, the beautiful class teacher invited him to dinner, and there was still a little excitement in his heart. Next, the surrounding people sensed that Wang Dust was not in high spirits and went up to congratulate him before returning to the viewing platform. However, after the emergence of such a demon as Wang Chen, it was already a bit boring for them to watch the performance of the other candidates, waving his hand and saying goodbye to Mr. Li Xia, Wang Chen was ready to leave the school to find his parents, but just as he took a step, a tall figure stopped in front of him. Wang Chuan, congratulations, Situ Haonan spoke with a somewhat serious expression. Thank you, Lord Guardian. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen politely thanked him, then looked at Situ Haonan with some curiosity. For Situ Haonan, he still had a lot of respect, 
partly because of the other party's strength of four revolutions and 120 levels, and partly because this was Situ Yu's own great uncle. On the opposite side, Situ Haonan nodded. He felt very satisfied with Wang Chen's attitude that was very different from when he faced the head of Dongling City and Principal Li. This youngster, he was very understanding. Humph. After pondering for a moment, Situ Haonan solemnly said, Wang Chuan, you have won the honor for our Dongling City in the higher education examination competition. So on behalf of myself and the Situ family, I have prepared some gifts for you. It's a total of 200 million gold coins, and an A-rank skill book. The gold coins will be credited to your card later. And for the skill book, I'll arrange for someone to send it to you tomorrow. Hearing Situ Haonan's words, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. Good fellow, 200 million gold coins and an A-rank skill book in one shot? The Situ family was worthy of being the number one powerful family in Dongling. So rich. I never thought that I would be able to pull the wool over the Situ family one day. I wonder if Situ Yu will go crazy when he finds out. With a playful thought in his heart, Wang Chen did not reject Situ Haonan. The current him was worthy of such a pull, and it would also put Situ Haonan's mind at ease if he took it. Thank you, Lord Guardian. The boy will accept it. But for the skill book, you don't need to arrange another person. Just let Situ Yu bring it over. She knows where my home is. Arching his hand, Wang Dust respectfully thanks Situ Haonan. Aha. Seeing Wang Duan accept, Situ Haonan nodded with satisfaction. However, immediately afterward, he felt that something was wrong somewhere. Let Situ Yu give you a message? She still knows where your house is? When did you two get so close? Hard. Fist hardened. Situ Haonan looked at Wang Chen with strange eyes, and the corner of his mouth twitched. Although this kid is super talented and has an unlimited future, he seems to have a tendency to arch his own family's cabbage. Or, it's better to exterminate it. Lord Guardian. I have to leave beforehand. See you later. Noticing that the atmosphere was a bit unfavorable, Wang Dust ran away directly in a puff of smoke. If he stayed any longer, he felt that his life was in danger. When Wang Chen walked out of the school, the crowd outside immediately noticed him. There are candidates coming out so soon? My god, how long has it been? Must have failed to challenge the secret realm copy. This kid's heart is so big. He even smiled so happily after failing. This young man is so handsome. It's okay if he fails to get into college. I'm afraid that eating by face is better than what we're mixing with. A voice of uncertainty rang out, and many people looked at Wang Chen with sympathy in their eyes. When Bing Chang, who was in a fighting state, appeared on the giant screen just now, the crowd didn't even notice him on his back. So at this moment, in their opinion, Wang Chen had obviously failed the challenge by coming out of the secret realm copy so quickly. However, for the comments around him, Wang Dust didn't care. Now that the college entrance exam competition hadn't ended yet, and it was not until the time to release the list, even if he explained, no one would believe him. Instead, it would be better to listen to it. The official list released tomorrow would be more powerful than any words. Dust, this way. As he walked outside, Wang Dust heard a familiar voice and turned his head to see his mother waving at him. Mom, so many people what are you guys coming to get together? Walking forward, before Wang Chuan could finish his sentence. He was racked up by his parents left and right. You give me a truthful explanation. Bing Ching is really a dragon? Dragging him to a remote corner. Father and mother Wang secretly asked. Of course. Hearing this Wang Dust rolled his eyes. Really? The two old men looked at the little cutie on their son's shoulder and directly froze. That was a giant dragon. How could they not connect the honorable creature they had seen before with the cute and cuddly little Bing Ching? The difference. It was simply too great. I told you guys a long time ago. You don't believe me. Hurry up and go home. I'm starving. Seeing the dumbfounded expression of his parents, Wang Dust's heart was a bit tasty. Really dear parents, I've just come out from the secret realm copy. You guys don't even ask about the results. You only care about Bing Ching. Not long after Wang Chuan left, the space on the playground of Dongling No, one middle school kept flickering, and a lousy figure appeared one after another. These, all of them, were the examinees who had teleported out of the secret realm copy. At this moment, among these people, there were those who shouted loudly in excitement, sharing their joy to the people around them, and there were also those who walked out of the playground with their heads hanging down and their eyes lifeless. Those who had successfully passed and those who had failed to pass formed a stark contrast. Buzz buzz buzz. Right at this moment, spatial fluctuations reappeared, and in the next second, a pretty figure stood on the playground. That bastard Wang Chen. How dare he run away without waiting for me. After the vertigo of the teleportation ended, Situyu scanned her surroundings and stomped her foot in anger when she didn't find that abominable figure. Then, she pulled out her cell phone and was ready to find that abominable fellow to raise hell. However, before she could start acting, 
A group of people on the viewing platform surrounded her. Little Jade, how were the results? Situ Haonan, as Situ Yu's own great uncle, walked straight up and asked, It's okay, rating SSS, clearance time 12 minutes. Seeing her elder uncle, Situ Yu held her neck high and said in a pretense of reserve, Not bad, not bad. This score of yours can already enter the top 10 of the provincial level last year. This year is estimated to be not too bad. Looking at the pride in his niece's eyes, Situ Haonan patted her shoulder and said heartily, Ha ha ha, it's really a double happiness. It seems that our Dongling City is going to produce two provincial top 10 this time. On the side, the head of Dongling City as well as Principal Lee, had a pleased smile on their faces. Provincial top 10, this was something they didn't dare to think about in the past. If it wasn't for the fact that Wang Chuan was in front of them, now they were afraid that they could not wait to treat Situ Yu as an ancestor. 2. Hearing this, Situ Yu's expression moved and looked at his eldest uncle. Uncle, Wang does that mixed. Guy, what's the score? One minute pass. This kid's provincial top grade is definitely secure. Situ Haonan glanced at his niece suspiciously as he spoke. Xiaoyu seemed to be very familiar with this Wang Dust. No one told her. She even guessed that the other person was Wang Dust. For a moment, thinking of the previous conversation between himself and Wang Dust, Situ Haonan's heart was on guard. However, Situ Yu didn't even notice her eldest uncle's abnormality, and was completely immersed in her own world at this time. Provincial top scholar? Although he had already known that Wang Chen's results would be better than his own, but when he really heard this news, Situ Yu's heart was still a little lost. The provincial top scholar would definitely be able to enter a top university, while the top 10 at the provincial level would be full of uncertainty. If this girl ranks low in the top 10, won't she have to go to two universities with that asshole? Situ Yu stomped her foot, a little depressed in her heart. What's wrong? Worried about choosing a school this year? Seeing his niece's less than happy appearance. Situ Haonan thought that she had been dealt a blow and opened his mouth to console her. Don't worry, for some reason, the four top universities have decided to expand their enrollment, and the top 15 ranked in each province will be able to enroll. Really? Situ Yu raised her head in surprise, and when she saw her eldest uncle nodding, a smile appeared on her face. It was really good news. When the list is released tomorrow, go find that stinky fart Wang Duan to show off. Eldest uncle I have to go beforehand. Situ Yu waved her hand and directly bounced away from the school. Behind him, Situ Hanan had wanted to ask his niece about Wang Duan, but had to stop when he saw the scene. The next day, the list release day, as the official website of the Dragon Country Education posted the rankings of the results of the candidates from each province's college entrance examination. Wang Dust, this ordinary name was like a heavy bomb, directly causing the entire Dongling City, and even the entire Far River Province to boil. Provincial Top Scholar, Civilian Heaven's Pride, numerous halos were stacked onto Wang Chen's body at once causing countless people to notice him. Giant Imperial Beast Master contracted a powerful ice attribute giant dragon. One by one, information about him spread online, causing countless shocks. Many of the media websites that reported information about Wang Dust were even paralyzed due to the excessive influx of traffic on. This day, the entire Dongling city was decorated with lights because of him, and many people spontaneously lit fireworks, celebrating like it was New Year's Eve that Dongling city had a provincial scholar. Numerous local reporters and guild magnates were even sniffing around, wanting to get first-hand information or recruit Wang Duan into their ranks. In a short period of time, I don't know how many phones were busted, and I don't know how many people slapped their thighs green, especially those union magnates who had once visited the transfer ceremony and abandoned Wang Dust as if he was in the shadows. They even blocked the neighborhood of Wang Dust's house with large amounts of gold coins and resources. At this point, their ruined intestines were all green and they only hated themselves for having eyes without pearls, why didn't they discover such a heavenly pride at that time? Now they had no intention of soliciting, and only hoped that the things they took out could slightly make up for the impression they had in Wang Chuan's mind. In addition to Dongling City and Yuanjiang province shaking, the four top universities located in the Dragon Country, also due to Wang Duan's achievements, have sent out their manpower to Dongling City, wanting to snatch other people before they recruit Wang Duan into the school. However, while the outside world was clamoring abnormally, Wang Chen's mood was unusually calm, not affected by any of this at all. After the release of the results, after sharing the results with his parents, he made a good disguise and arrived in front of a magnificent building in downtown Dongling City. This building was extremely opulent and magnificent, and the four big characters at the entrance of the Transmutation Temple exuded a divine aura. Phew, I hope that the transfer quest I received will be a little bit simpler so that I can have my second beast pet a little bit faster. Wang Chuan looked around and realized that no one was paying attention to him and the surroundings, and took a step into the middle of the transformation temple. 
since the revival of the will of the heavens, if a professional wanted to always increase their strength, they needed to constantly change jobs and expand their upper limits. The transfer quests were randomly released through the divine stones enshrined in the temple. How difficult they were depended on the professional's luck. Generally speaking, the difficulty of the transfer quests fluctuated within a range. However, the world was full of strange things, and there were always some guys with particularly strange luck. Some people might be able to successfully transfer to a new job just by slaughtering a kobold, while others, who wanted to transfer to a new job, needed to kill a hundred level wild monster with their own hands. Walking into the transformation shrine, Wang Chuan found that the place was a bit cold and quiet, and apart from the divine stone enshrined in the very center, there were only a few staff members sitting behind their desks and dozing off. However, seeing this scene, Wang Dust did not have any surprises on his face. Today was the day of the release of the list, and the people of Dongling City were all immersed in revelry, so it was normal for the transmutation shrine to be a bit cold. Moreover, this was just what he wanted. If he didn't find it too troublesome to stay at home, he wouldn't have sneaked out here. Sweeping around, Wang Dust directly walked to the front desk. Hello, I'm here to pick up the second turn transformation quest. In the empty transformation shrine, Wang Xuan's voice rang out and instantly attracted the attention of the staff. A sweet-looking staff member at the front desk flashed a flash of surprise on her face when she saw Wang Dust, who had wrapped himself up tightly. This was the first time she had seen that a professional who had come to transfer his job was so mysterious. All right sir, please take off your mask and hat. I need to verify your identity. Taking out a registration form, the staff member had a polite smile on her face. Hearing her words, Wang Dust nodded, removing his disguise and handing over his identity credentials. Every transfer in the transfer shrine required real name authentication. On the one hand, because the information of the professional needed to be reported to the central database of the Dragon Kingdom, and on the other hand, it was mainly to prevent those ferocious criminals on the most wanted list from fishing in troubled waters. Every one of these wanted ferocious people had committed a major crime, and any transfer shrine in the Dragon Kingdom would not be open to them, and would take them down at the first sign of their appearance. That's fine sir, I'll take you to pick up the transfer quest now. After checking his identity, the staff member handed back his identity credentials, turned around, and walked towards the back. Following the staff, Wang Chen arrived at the area behind the hall. It was a wide space with no decorations in sight, and the hole was made up of silver white metal. In the center, a three meter high irregular stone was suspended on the ground against common sense, emitting a gentle blow throughout. This was the transformation god stone. Just as he approached the transmutation divine stone, Wang Chuan felt the power in his body boiling up a little bit, as if he was cheering. Sir, by placing your hand on the transfer god stone, you will receive a random transfer mission after which the stone will teleport you to the corresponding mission location. Coming to the transfer god stone, the staff member said with a smiling face. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen did not hesitate and directly placed his hand on top of the transfer god stone. Buzz, a bright glow lit up on the divine stone, and a mysterious power enveloped Wang Chen's entire body. In the next second, a message surfaced in his mind. Dear profession, you are welcome to come and receive your transfer quest. Detection in progress. The professional's current level. First turn level 40, meets the criteria for transferring. Second turn task generation in progress, generation completed. Mission requirement, solve the flooded goblin horde, general. Is it confirmed? A general difficulty transfer quest? After absorbing the information in his mind, a flash of surprise appeared in Wang Chen's eyes. This time, he himself was quite lucky. The difficulty of the transfer quest was similar to that of the bronze level or higher secret copies, and was likewise divided into four levels. According to the experience summarized by many professionals, in normal difficulty, the level of the monsters encountered by the professional was at the highest equivalent to the professional's current level. In difficult difficulty, the strength of the monsters was greatly increased, and the highest level would be 30 levels higher than that of the professional. Hell difficulty is even more perverse. The monsters appearing in the task, the lowest will be 30 levels higher than the professional. As for the highest, is still unknown, because since the revival of the will of the heavens, there has not been a professional who could pass the hell difficulty transfer quest. And what's even more pitiful is that as of right now, the simple, normal, and difficult difficulty transfer quests, after completing them, all have the same enhancement for the professional. He he he, today's hand is good. It looks like little Bingqing will soon have a partner to play with. Patting Bingqing's little head, Wang Chen directly chose to confirm in his mind. Buzz buzz buzz, with a flash of light, his figure disappeared in front of the transformation god stone between the rotation of the sky and the earth. When Wang Chuan once again set his feet on the ground, he had already arrived outside a lush forest. 
The transfer task is officially open. Mission objective. Solve the Goblin Horde, 0100. I wish the professional all the best. At the same time, a mechanical beep similar to the one when entering a secret copy surfaced in his mind. A hundred kobolds? What a simple quest. It seems like I can easily handle it without even needing little Ice Ching's help. Wang Chuan thought playfully in his heart. And without hesitation, he took a step into the forest. Nowadays, with his strength, he could completely easily take down wild monsters whose level was 30 levels higher than his own. And normal difficulty transfer quests wouldn't create any trouble for him at all. Roar roar roar. Just as he stepped into the forest, a crazy hissing sound rang in his ears. And at the same time, a hideous and evil line of sight was projected on Wang Chen's body from among the shadows of the forest. Brush brush brush. In the next second, a hideous kobold walked out from the forest. These kobolds were short, about one meter and a half tall, covered in dark green skin, and holding the bones of unknown creatures as weapons. Upon seeing Wang Chuan and Bing Chang, a greedy look surged in their scarlet eyes, and disgusting sticky saliva flowed from the corners of their mouths. Monster, Goblin Warrior. Level, 35. Fighting Style, Melee. Skills, Bite, Charge. Type, Normal. Monster, Goblin Wizard. Level, 40. Battle Style, Remote Output. Aid. Skills, Corrosion Ray. Frenzy. Type, Mutation. Monster, Strong Goblin Warrior. Level, 40. Level, 40. Fighting Style, Melee. Skills, Skin Hardening. Charge. Intimidate. Type, Mutation. 100 Kobolds had 6 mutated ones. 3 Kobold Wizards and 3 Strong Kobold Warriors. Seeing these monsters appear, Wang Chuan patted Bing Ching's head, then silently drew his blizzard longsword to move his arms and legs. Woo! Little Ice Ching waved its wings and flew to the side, chirping to cheer its master. Roar! Ice Ching's tender voice seemed to afflict some kind of switch, causing the goblins to let out a frantic roar. There was no hesitation whatsoever. One by one, this group of guys waved the weapons in their hands and rushed towards Wang Dust in a crow's nest. Hoomph! Seeing this scene, Wang Dust disdainfully skimmed his mouth, and with a movement of his feet his body similarly rushed out at high speed. There was a swish sound. At the same time, the blizzard longsword in his hand cut out a cold light like a curved moon. In an instant, the blade of the blizzard longsword slashed through the throats of the five goblins without any obstruction. Ah! Only having time to let out a miserable scream. The five kobolds that rushed at the front were directly killed in seconds. The smell of blood filled the forest in an instant. Roar roar roar. Stimulated by the smell of blood, the scarlet light in the eyes of the remaining kobolds became even more intense, especially when the three goblin wizards at the back released their frenzy spells. These guys, even more so, stepped on the corpses of their companions and madly rushed towards Wang Chen. Dongling first middle school, the wide conference room was overcrowded, and Principal Li and all the teachers of Dongling know, one middle school were all present, standing respectfully at one side, and across from them, were four men and women with strong auras. The aura fluctuations on each one of them were more than a step stronger than the Eastling Guardian Sitohanan. These four people were none other than the enrollment teachers of the four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom. From left to right, they were from Huaqing University, Yanlong University, Yanhua University, and South Sage University. Behind these four people, there were also eight young men and women standing, all outstanding students from the four top universities, each with an aura of around three revolutions. Thud! Where the hell is Wang Chen right now? The enrollment teacher from Huaqing University, a middle-aged man with a majestic figure, knocked on the table, his eyes looking at President Lee without any ripples, being gazed at by this calm gaze, Principal Lee felt as if he was being stared at by a fierce beast, and sweat instantly soaked out of his brain. How could he not have expected that the list of the great examination competition had just been released today, and the enrollment teachers of the four top universities had arrived one after the other, which had left him unprepared in the slightest. Your Excellency please also be at ease. Soon soon soon, I'm already in contact, without moving to wipe off his cold sweat, Principal Lee carefully said, while speaking, he frantically glared at class 7 teacher Lai Xia, telling him to quickly contact Wang Chen, noticing the principal's gaze, Lai Xia's expression stiffened a bit, she wanted to contact him now, but she couldn't, Wang Chuan, this asshole kid, didn't know what was going on today, his phone was turned off, and when he called home, his parents didn't know where he had gone, heart bitter smile, Ri Xia at this time sight quietly skimmed the opposite side. The college entrance examination list just released. For top university admissions teacher came to snatch people. Wang Dust this treatment is also the only part of the top students of the college entrance examination in the provinces of the Dragon State. After making a phone call and failing to get through, the helpless Li Xia gave Principal Li a look of love. I tried my best. 
Principal Lee couldn't help but feel some bitterness in his mouth when he saw this. The four enrollment teachers on the opposite side were not nice to deal with. If they felt dissatisfied today, I'm afraid that if they complain just one sentence, he, the principal, should be voluntarily left. Principal Lee, the teachers have been waiting for almost 20 minutes. You as a principal, you wouldn't even be unable to contact your own students, right? Right at this moment, a young man standing behind the enrollment teacher of Hua Qing University frowned and said with some displeasure, can't can't, please wait a little longer. Hearing this, Principal Lee shook his head repeatedly, his head almost shaking into a rattle. He couldn't afford to offend the enrollment teachers of the four universities, and he also couldn't afford to offend the students who followed him. For example, the young man who was talking at this moment is a student who entered Hua Qing University from Yuanzhang province last year, named Zhou Zibo. Occupation is a special occupation for night. Entering Hua Qing University is only one year. Strength has been raised to the third turn 75 level. Placed in the Hua Qing University sophomore is also the leader. Ha, Principal Li, there's no need to say more if you're using pretexts. What the hell is Wang Chuan thinking? All of the teachers personally came and have already given him a great deal of face. At a time like this he even dares to be late. Isn't it true that he doesn't have us in his sights? Zhou Zibo sniffed disdainfully and skimmed his mouth. A flash of anger in his eyes. He had followed the enrollment teacher to come to Dongling City this time. On the one hand to earn credits, and on the other hand to see what kind of character this year's top scholar of Yuanjiang province was, worthy of being personally recruited by the enrollment teachers of the four top universities. But the result, just after arriving here, he was let off the hook. The normally high-minded and proud man would have long ago been unable to hold back the anger in his heart. Noticing Zhou Zibo's dissatisfaction, Principal Lee let out a bitter smile and was about to open his mouth to appease. But just at this moment, whomph, who knew that you guys suddenly ran over here today? In the conference room, a cool muttering voice suddenly rang out. As soon as the words fell, instantly everyone sights, looked towards a pretty figure standing behind Principal Lee. This was an extremely beautiful looking young girl, with delicate features that resembled heavenly formations, paired with a slightly heroic single ponytail, giving people a feeling of youthful vigor. It was precisely said to you. She ranked ninth in this year's Far River Province College Entrance Examination List, and had obtained the same enrollment qualification to enter a top university as Wang Chuan. Oh little ancestor, can you stop for a bit? Principal Li helplessly glanced at Sit to you, only feeling incomparably tired. Playing with a big lady's temper doesn't look at the occasion. The opposite side is the enrollment teacher of four top universities. Any one of them, is an existence that he, is an existence that the Situ family can't afford to offend. Being watched by everyone's eyes, Sityu spat out her tongue and quietly hid behind her homeroom teacher. These guys' eyes were so scary. Ha! Who did I think it was? It turns out to be this year's ninth in Far River Province. On the opposite side, after Joe Zebo saw Sityu, a flash of amazement flashed in his eyes, but immediately afterward, he said with disdain, if it wasn't for the school's expansion this year, with this score you wouldn't even have the qualifications to stand here, and you still dare to make a big deal out of it? It's really the same as that wine dust, neither of them knows what it means to have a high heaven. Situyu's face instantly revealed anger when he heard this, and he stood out from behind his homeroom teacher with an exasperated huff. What do you know about the meaning of heaven and earth? What's there to be proud of after furthering your education for a year at a top university with a strength of just three turns? Waste of resources. She looked angrily at Joe Zebo, her tone unceremonious. It's fine to talk about me, but dare to talk about Wang Chen? Little white boy. This young lady will remember you. You, as the words fell, anger appeared on Joe Zebo's face, and it wasn't just him, the expressions of the other seven people standing beside him were likewise a bit ugly. Situ Yu's words struck too broadly, and even a few of them were encompassed. For a time, the atmosphere in the conference room became somewhat stagnant. A pin drop could be heard. Nonsense. Principal Lee's face changed drastically at this moment, turning to angrily look at Situ Yu. These are your future seniors, how can you be so rude? Sit to you, hurry up and apologize to them. As he spoke, Principal Lee continuously winked, hoping that this little ancestor would calm down a bit. However, it's not like I said anything wrong. Sit to you deflated defiantly, looking down at the ground not moving at all. You, seeing this scene, Principal Lee's entire body went numb, and once he was ruthless, he intended to forcefully pull Sit to you to apologize. But just at this moment, wasting resources? The little girl is sharp tongued. Since you look down on them, then why don't you guys have a match? Let's see who's the waste. The enrollment teacher from Hua Qing University knocked on the table and said with some sneer, in the conference room of Dongling No, one middle school. As the words of the Hua Qing University's admission teacher fell, the atmosphere fell into a stagnant state. 
a graduate who hadn't even entered the university yet, competing with an outstanding student from a top university? This was a sure loss no matter how you looked at it. The two sides were simply not on the same level. At this moment, not only was the crowd of dongling first middle school stunned, even the other three top university enrollment teachers frowned. Teacher Zhang, this seems to be out of order for you, doesn't it? Mu Weining, the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University, glanced at teacher Zhang of Huaqing University with some displeasure. There's nothing out of order. Upon hearing this, teacher Zhang of Huaqing sneered and said in a playful tone, young people don't know the heights of heaven, and they are unselfconscious when they achieve something, so it's just right to give them some frustration, so that they know that there are people outside of heaven. This is not fair at all. A flash of annoyance flashed through Mu Weining's eyes. In her opinion, although Situ Yu's words just now were a bit excessive, they were also out of context, and for Hua Chang's teacher Zhang to act in such a manner was a bit above board. In this world, there is no such thing as fairness, especially for professionals, no matter how it was before. In front of a professional whose strength is stronger than theirs, anyone must learn to be in awe. Your Yanlong University is just too weak to teach students that lost to our Hua Qing in last year's competition. Teacher Zhang of Hua Qing University sneered and shook his head, not feeling the slightest bit that there was anything wrong with his decision. You, hearing his words, Mu Weining's chest rose and fell rapidly, itching to chop this arrogant guy in front of her with a sword. Shit, after taking the number one spot in the national colleges and universities, his tail is going up to the sky. In an instant, the duo's argument caused the atmosphere in the entire conference room to drop to freezing point. But at this moment, just compare. A crisp voice rang out, breaking the silence in the conference room. I'd like to see how much better you can be than me after a year of further study at Hua Qing University. Situ Yu took a step and stood out, looking at Zhou Zibo without fear. At those words, Zhou Zibo glanced at teacher Zhang, then sneered as he took a step out. Good. Then I'm going to tell tell you how to remain in awe in the face of your senior. Swish. With the flash of a cold light, a line of blood appeared on the neck of the last goblin wizard, and his body fell softly to the ground. Wang Chuan sheathed his sword and looked around with calm eyes. At this moment, the corpses of a hundred kobolds were scattered neatly around him. Total time spent. 36 seconds. Ending the timer. Wang Chuan silently nodded his head. Not bad. This speed barely satisfied him. If not for the fact that he had tried the defense ability of his new equipment in the middle, this time could have been compressed even shorter. Oh. Seeing his master end the battle, little Ice Ching waved its wings and flew over. Intimately rubbing against his master's face, the little guy's eyes shone brightly. All right, you little horse's ass. I'll buy you delicious food when we get back. Noticing the thoughts coming from amongst the contract, Wang Chen rubbed Bing Ching's little head without any good humor. During the month in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the little guy had been completely raised by Sityu to become a foodie. Woo! Hearing his master's promise, the little guy narrowed his eyes happily. At the same time, a mechanical beep sounded in Wang Chen's ears. Congratulations to the profession, who has successfully completed the second turn profession quest. Profession advancement in progress. Giant Imperial Beast Master, first turn, Giant Imperial Beast Master, second turn. Congratulations on learning the Imperial Beast Master's exclusive skill, Beast Pet Increase Technique. Congratulations on obtaining a new Beast Pet Contract Bit. Currently 12. The transfer was successful. About to teleport the professional away. Please wait. After the tone faded, a bright light flashed across Wang Chen's body, and immediately afterward, he noticed that some sort of barrier that had been binding him had disappeared. Finally, I can continue upgrading again. Feeling the changes on his body, a smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. From now on, he could continue to level up. As long as he leveled up another 10 levels, Bing Qing would be able to reach the limit of its current growth stage, and once it entered the next stage, the little guy would be able to speak. At that time, the little guy would be able to communicate normally with other people without having to be a riddle dragon. Moreover, what he was excited about recently was the newly added beast pet bit, which meant that he would soon receive the attribute boost of a second beast pet. His own strength would grow stronger and stronger like a snowball. From today onwards, the terror of the profession of giant beast master would begin to completely unfold in his body. This time around, I'll have to pick and choose, and find an equally strong companion for Bing Ching. Well, the beast pet market in Dongling City is pretty much turned around by me, so I'll go to the big city to pick out my second beast pet, thinking excitedly in his heart. Wang Chuan checked up on the newly acquired exclusive skills of the Imperial Beast Master. Beast pet increase technique, be after casting. Increase the strength of one's beast pet by 10%. This skill, the basic skill of a royal beast master, would be obtained by both giant royal beast masters and ordinary royal beast masters after their second turn. However, this skill would become even stronger if it was used in Wang Chen's hands, 
Under the blessing of the SSS rank talent 10,000 beast favors, the effects of all of his exclusive skills were increased by 10 times. If he used the beast pet increase technique on Bing Ching, it would directly allow him to receive a doubling of his strength. Right now, the little guy's strength would be able to contend with a level 70 or so professional who had just entered the third turn. A further doubling of. I'm afraid that even an 80th level professional would have to be knocked over with a claw. The strength has increased again. I hope that when those geniuses from the top universities see little Ice Ching's terrifying strength, their jaws won't be dropped. Wang Chuan thought excitedly in his heart as he quietly waited for himself to be teleported out. Soon, with a flash of light, he reappeared next to the transfer god stone, the staff waiting on the sidelines. Seeing Wang Chuan come out so quickly a flash of consternation flashed in his eyes, less than a minute before and after. This handsome guy was really lucky. He must have randomized to an easy difficulty transfer task. Thinking in his heart, a polite smile appeared on the staff's face. Congratulations on successfully completing the transfer quest. Her tone was a lot more polite compared to before. In today's Blue Star, a first turn professional was just a budding professional, whereas after successfully completing the second turn, one would be considered to have officially stepped onto the path of transcendence. Regarding the staff's transformation, Wang Dust's heart was slightly sunburnt, and he was about to make a few polite remarks. Ding ding ding. However, just at this moment, the cell phone in his pocket suddenly vibrated sharply. Hey mom, just connected. Not waiting for Wang Dust to finish. The opposite side came the mom that beat shell general words. Brat where did you die? For top university admission teacher are in the first middle school. You quickly give me over. The enrollment teachers of the four top universities are gathered in Dongling No. One middle school? Hanging up the phone, Wang Chen's expression was a little surprised. He was a little surprised that the enrollment teachers of the top universities were so hungry, as it was clear that the college entrance exam competition had just released the list today. However, when he thought of the horrific results he had created in the college entrance examination competition, Wang Chen was a little more enlightened. Throughout the previous college entrance exams, the best pass result did not cross the 10-minute mark, and he had directly increased this achievement by 10 times. It would be strange if the four top universities didn't go crazy. Hey, I wonder what kind of recruiting conditions they'll propose. I'm afraid my wallet is going to bulge again this time. Thinking of the favorable treatment he would receive from entering the top universities, Wang Dus left the transmigration shrine with some anticipation. The four top universities, all of which followed an elitist route, gave generous rewards to the students they recruited every year. Among these rewards were gold coins, holy crystal stones, equipment, skill books, and various other items. And these weren't even the most valuable of them, as far as Wang Chuan knew. The top universities would also take out precious secret realm copy entry qualifications as rewards. To know, not long ago through the college entrance exam secret realm copy lava cave, Wang Dust directly gained 5 million experience value, and other rewards of great value. And this, was only a bronze level copy. Among the top universities, there were quite a number of silver, gold, and diamond level secret realm copies. As long as he cleared these, Wang Chuan felt that his strength, I'm afraid, could grow by leaps and bounds like a rocket. Arriving at the school with an excited mood, Wang Chuan had just walked through the school gates when he met teacher Li Xia, who had received the message. Where have you been? Li Xia pulled Wang Dust with a somewhat complaining tone. The time that this brat played missing was extremely stressful for her psychologically. Those four enrollment teachers with terrifying strength just leaked out their breath, all of which made her a little breathless. He he he, I'm going to the transfer shrine to transfer. Touching his nose, Wang Chen said with some embarrassment. As early as when he saw so many missed calls on his cell phone, he knew that he would inevitably receive a complaint. Second turn? You made it. Upon hearing this, Li Xia glanced at Wang Chen with some surprise. It was not until this moment that she noticed that the aura on this proud student of hers was a little different from before. For a while, Ri Xia's eyes were somewhat complicated. How long had it only been? This brat that she had watched grow up was on the verge of catching up with herself in terms of strength. All right, less stinking here. Hurry up and follow me. Those few adults are waiting anxiously. But Li Xia quickly collected her emotions and dragged Wang Chen towards the playground. Hmm, teacher, isn't it in the conference room? Realizing that the direction of advancement was not right, Wang Dust asked suspiciously. Ah, uh, hearing his words, Ri Xia's footsteps lurched, and while walking, he said somewhat helplessly, something happened, in a moment, you calm down a bit, and choose your school first. Hearing this, Wang Dust was confused, but soon, after walking into the playground, the doubts in his heart were resolved. Sweeping his line of sight across the playground, he saw Situ Yu's small face was ashen, her eyes were red, and there was a trace of blood at the corner of her mouth, and not far away, there was also a high and mighty youth with a slutty look. 
Seeing this scene, Wang Chen frowned. What's going on? Walking over to Sita Yu's side and helping her wipe away the dirt on her face, Wang Dust asked in a somewhat unkind tone. They said, as if Situ Yu had found her backbone, she tugged on Wang Chuan's coat corner and spoke about the situation. After hearing this, a chill flashed in Wang Dust's eyes. A third turn competing with a second turn? This was not a clear case of bullying. On the other side, you are Wang Chen? It doesn't look any different. Sister Situ Yu wants to feel the strength of the senior. Do you want to try? Zhou Zibo glanced at Wang Chuan and realized that he was handsome and had an extraordinary temperament, like an exiled immortal coming out of a painting, so his tone unnaturally took on hostility. Handsome looking, not a single good thing, I want to beat your face into a pig's head. However, to his disappointment, when he heard his words and turned his head to look over at Wang Chen, there was no emotional fluctuation in his eyes, just like the bottomless sea. In a trance, it was as if Zhou Zibo had seen a towering god gazing indifferently at a fanged ant. And unfortunately, he, was that mole cricket. It looks like you're very unconvinced. Senior Wang Chen? What? Come over and practice with senior me? Zhou Zibo stared at Wang Chen with a very gloomy expression. This kind of lofty look made him incomparably furious. Who do you think you are? Fine. Hearing this, Wang Chen nodded indifferently. If this fellow didn't say anything, he would teach him a good lesson. Wang Chuan. Situyu tugged on the corner of Wang Chuan's coat with a somewhat worried expression. Although she hated the opposite Zhou Zibo with a passion at this moment, she also had to admit that this fellow's strength was indeed strong. In the competition just now, she was defeated. On the side, Principal Lee and the others also had to open their mouths to persuade. A high school student versus a sophomore from a top university was simply like eggs against stones. Just now, Situ Yu's defeat had already proved this very intuitively. However, before they had a chance to say anything, Wang Chen patted Situ Yu's hand before taking a step and walking in front of Zhou Zibo. However, at this time, his line of sight wasn't even on Zhou Zibo's body, but directly crossed over him and looked behind. Hua Qing University's teacher Zhang. This teacher, can I, can I maim him? When Hua Qing teacher Zhang heard this, a flash of annoyance flashed across his face. You can, but you have to have the strength. Also, our Hua Qing University won't take in guys without self-knowledge. The corners of teacher Zhang's mouth curved up, his tone somewhat sarcastic. A student who had just finished the great competition of the college entrance examination had no respect for him. An enrollment teacher of a top university? It was truly rampant. Could it be that he thought that just because he had contracted a giant dragon, he could underestimate the pride of a top university? On the side, the other three top university enrollment teachers all had expressions of interest on their faces when they saw the scene. Wang Dust had come and gone up against the people from Hua Qing University, and this couldn't have been better in their eyes. The recruiting conditions hadn't even been taken out yet, and there was directly one less competitor. On the opposite side, hearing teacher Zhang's darkly angry words, Wang Chuan shook his head indifferently and directly passed the option of Hua Qing University in his mind. With his grades, he was the one who chose the school rather than the school choosing him, and he didn't know where these guys from Hua Chang, where did they get their superiority complex? Just as well, I don't have any interest in that kind of school that likes to bully the weak, with his sight back on Zhou Zibo's body. Wang Chen disdainfully stretched out his hand and beckoned like he was teasing a dog. Let's begin. If you don't make the first move, I'm afraid you won't have a chance in a while. Wang Chen's words landed on the playground like a thunderbolt. In an instant, everyone's expression became extremely shocked. Mr. Zhang, the enrollment teacher of Hua Qing University, his face reddened with flesh, and he was so angry that the breath on his body was a little unsteady. Bullying? How could he not have expected that Wang Chen would give Hua Qing University such a comment? It was truly uninformed, a lucky boy who had contracted a giant dragon by fluke. His tail was going up to the sky, with a heart like that, even if he didn't die young his future achievements would be limited. Hua Cheng teacher Zhang was furious, while the three enrollment teachers on the other side were all about to burst into laughter. At this moment, when Wang Chuan said this, regardless of the outcome of his match with Zhou Zibo, Hua Cheng University had already declared that it was out. Young man has character. Our Yanlong University needs such talent. Mu Weining, the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University, even opened her mouth to praise Mr. Zhang without any regard for his ugly face. Hearing her words, teacher Zhang's face turned even greener. Zhou Zibo, if you don't step on Wang Duan today, I'll deduct your credits for this year. Anger rising, he couldn't help but send a message towards Zhou Zibo. In the playground, Zhou Zibo, who was already enraged by Wang Chen's disdain, had a cruel look on his face. Good good good. Previously, he was afraid that he would strike too hard and attract teacher Zhang's displeasure. But now that he had this sentence underpinning him, he was able to have no qualms about it. Bang! 
Stomping on the ground with one foot, Zhou Zibo pounced on Wang Chen with a violent whistling sound. Let you pretend to be a pussy. I'll have to cripple you today. Hoo hoo hoo. In an instant, Zhou Zibo's fist arrived in front of Wang Chen with a violent whistling sound. In the face of this strike, Wang Chen did not dodge. When the fist was about to touch him, he moved his feet and his body left a phantom in place. When he reappeared, he had already staggered past Zhou Zibo and arrived behind the other party. Then, he fiercely kicked the other party's ass. Bang! This kick was not very powerful, but the insult was extremely strong. Zhou Zibo, who had missed his shot, was directly knocked off balance by this kick. There was a pouncing sound. He sprawled on the playground ground in a wild dog pounce maneuver with the corner of his mouth on the ground. This senior, it seems that you haven't eaten too much xiang in the past, and this wild dog pounce move is as good as it gets. Looking at the wretched Zhou Zibo, Wang Chen smiled faintly and silently withdrew his foot. Ah, damn kid, I'm going to kill you. Climbing up from the ground, Zhou Zibo's face was livid, his eyes incomparably resentful as he looked at Wang Chuan. He had just wanted to use his strong attributes of the third turn to crush Wang Chuan with ordinary attacks, but he had not expected to make such a big fool of himself. Buzz buzz buzz. A violent surge of magic power and an aura of thorns instantly enveloped his body. In the midst of his rage, Zhou Zibo couldn't care about anything else and directly used his profession skill. Thorn Aura. This was the signature skill of the Thorn Knight, and at this time, the third turn used it, able to increase his strength bonus by 30%, while rebounding 10% of his attacks. Kid, I'll tear that mouth of yours apart a little bit. Then he reached out and a 2 meter long riding lance appeared in his hand, and then immediately after that, he launched a charge at Wang Chen. Dang 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 dang. For a while, violent footsteps resounded in the playground, and Zhou Zibo's one-man charge brought up an aura as if it were a thousand armies. Seeing this scene, the crowd of onlookers all subconsciously tensed their bodies, and it was Mu Weining and the other enrollment teachers, who also stared at this moment and stood on guard, ready to step in at any time to save the others. After all, a third-turn Thorn Knight with full firepower was definitely not something a second turn could handle. However, Looking at Zhou Zibo who rushed over, Wang Chen did not have the slightest fear on his face. Boom! A flash of blood light surfaced on his body. His heartbeat accelerated. His blood flowed crazily, and the aura on his body instantly became violent. Bloodthirsty berserking. Reduce pain sensation by 20%. Increase attack power by 20%. Instant sword. In the next second, Wang Chuan rushed out at an even faster speed, and the blast wind longsword viciously chopped at the incoming riding spear. There was a bang. The two weapons violently collided together, sparks flying everywhere. Zhou Zibo's forward momentum was blocked, while Wang Chen flew directly backwards. Even with Bing Qing's attribute feedback nowadays, Wang Chuan himself still had a certain gap in terms of hard power as per the third turn professionals. Ha ha, unconscionable. Seeing this, Zhou Zibo let out a maniacal laugh as Wang Chen's defeat gave birth to intense excitement in his heart. However, at this moment, he did not notice that the color in the eyes of Wang Chen, who flew out backwards, did not change in the slightest, instead, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Ha! With a cold laugh, Wang Chuan landed on one foot and turned his body to remove the force of the recoil, followed by the whole person rushing out again like lightning. Instant sword, second strike. Phew! In the violent sound of the wind, Wang Chuan instantly arrived in front of Zhou Zibo, who was still wearing an excited expression on his face, and his wind blast longsword diagonally picked his neck. Zhou Zibo who did not expect Wang Chen to make a comeback at all, could not dodge in time at this moment and could only place his riding lance across the top of the long sword. Bang! Zhou Zibo only felt a powerful force slamming into his riding lance, and his entire body desperately exerted itself to not dislodge it. His body, however, was directly brought into midair by this force. Brush brush! Wang Chuan gained momentum, and with a quick wave of his other hand, two huge green-colored wind blades shot out. Bang bang! Snap! Zhou Zibo! who was still in mid-air, did not have time to dodge, and the two wind blades hit his body, and after spinning around several times, his entire body sprawled on the playground in a five-body position. You, put, Zhou Zibo raised his head in pain, his eyes insanely resentful as he looked at Wang Chuan, and just as he was about to say something, a mouthful of blood spewed out. Although the wind blade was blocked by the equipment on his body, the tremendous power it carried made him feel as if he had been run over by a road roller at that moment and his internal organs were about to shift. Seeing this scene, the surrounding crowd all stood up straight, their eyes incomparably shocked as they looked at Wang Chen, especially the three enrollment teachers other than Teacher Zhang. Each of them had a special color in their eyes. Beautiful, perfect battle sense and control of timing. Although Zhou Zibo had not shown his full strength because he was a bit gullible, but the same was true for Wang Dust. 
he was a giant beast royalist, and the even stronger dragon had yet to fight. Ah, I'm going to kill you. Zhou Ziting's body trembled, and the eyes of the people around him looking over made his heart feel like a knife. With a furious roar, three auras rose from his body, and the riding spear in his hand even blossomed with a dazzling light, and then he madly rushed towards Wang Chen. However, in the face of such an attack, Wang Chen did not even move, and did not even assume a defensive stance, because he saw that a figure stopped in front of Zhou Zibo. Teacher Zhang from Huaqing University grabbed the riding gun and casually swung Zhou Zibo out. Then, you, win. He shook his head and looked at Wang Chen with very complicated eyes. The playground of Dongling No. One middle school was silent. Everyone, somewhat incredulously, looked at the center of the playground. That young and handsome figure. No one had thought that Wang Chuan had actually beaten Zhou Zibo in a head-to-head -head battle, although there was a reason why Zhou Zibo was gullible. This result was enough to be called legendary. One must know that there was a whole 35 levels difference between the two. Moreover, the strongest card in Wang Chen's hand, the giant dragon, had yet to appear. Is this the strength of this year's top student in Far River Province? It's simply too demonic. At all costs, this pervert must be recruited into the school. Watching this scene, the eyes of the three enrollment teachers clashed viciously together, as if sparks were growing in the air, and in the center of the playground. Teacher Zhang from Hua Qing University looked at Wang Chen with an incredibly complicated expression. Before, he felt that Wang Chuan was arrogant, but now, he only had shock and regret. One billion gold coins prize money, one diamond grade equipment, two optional A grade skill books, and one free entry opportunity for each of the gold and silver grade secret copies per month. These are the conditions of my Hua Qing University. Wang Duan, I hope you'll consider it. Teacher Zhang's tone was incomparably complicated. However, Upon hearing his conditions, which were enough to make countless people's eyes red, Wang Chuan directly shook his head. Sorry, I'm not interested in Hua Qing University. After saying that, he directly stepped towards Situ Yu, looking at Wang Duan, and then at Zhou Zibo, who was already unconscious on the ground. A flash of strong remorse flashed across teacher Zhang's eyes. A future destined to shine infinitely heavenly pride. Just like this, he had lost touch with Hua Qing University. Teacher Zhang pursed his lips and grabbed Zhou Zibo on the ground and flew away directly. Wang Chuan, I apologize to you for my previous slight. On the playground, only his voice echoed with a hint of remorse. Wang Chuan took a distant glance at Teacher Zhang's distant figure, looked down at the dumbfounded Situ Yu, and asked, Am I not very powerful? Situ Yu's eyes glowed brightly. You're not very powerful. You're too powerful. The young girl directly pounced on her, smiling like a two-timing fool. Cough. Wang Chen was a little embarrassed his eyes looking around for help. However, beside him, the crowd looked on without a glance, as if they hadn't seen anything. After giggling for a long time, Situ let go of Wang Chen handily, his face as red as a monkey's butt. However, at this time, there was no one to make fun of her. Mu Wenying and the other three enrollment teachers directly squeezed through the crowd and surrounded Wang Chuan. Fellow student Wang Dust, I'm the enrollment teacher of Southern Sage University. I hope you can join us at Southern Sage University and for that we are willing to provide. Student Wang Chuan, I'm the enrollment teacher of Yenhua University. Be sure to come to our school. The school will give you a bonus doubled on top of South Sage Universities. The enrollment teachers of Southern Sage University and Yenhua University grabbed Wang Chuan's hand left and right, and couldn't wait to offer incomparably eye-popping conditions, especially Yenhua University's enrollment teacher, who directly doubled his bonus as soon as he opened his mouth. One must know that Southern Sage University had offered a billion gold coins as a bonus, and with this doubling of his, that would be two billion gold coins. This was money that ordinary people and even some powerful families couldn't earn in a lifetime. The surrounding teachers and principal Lee were so shocked that their jaws were about to drop when they heard the conditions offered by these two. However, in response, Wang Chen's expression was calm, not at all overwhelmed by this. Instead, at this moment, he looked at the Yanlong University's enrollment teacher with some curiosity. Student Wang Chuan, I'm Mu Wenying, the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University, and I'm giving you the same conditions as Yanhua University. But, I see that you've already turned two now. You must have a blank contract bit. Yanlong University is willing to provide you with a giant beast beast pet. Mu Wenying smiled at Wang Chen, her words very gentle. As soon as the words fell, the enrollment teachers of Southern Sage University and Yanhua University directly fell silent. Yanlong University was prepared for this. If it was other conditions, especially in terms of bonuses they could still fight a little more. But a giant beast? Yanlong University was putting down blood money, and the two of them couldn't make a decision at all. Even if they were to ask for permission, 
their sincerity would still be slightly inferior compared to Yanlong University. With this in mind, the enrollment teachers of Southern Sage University and Yanhua University silently let go of Wang Chen's arm. Very well, it seems that neither of you can offer better conditions. Seeing this scene, Mu Weining smiled blandly, her eyes fixedly looking at Wang Chen. I choose Yanlong University. Wang Chuan didn't hesitate, although he didn't need the school to reward the giant beast, but from this, he could also see that Yanlong University's sincerity was more sufficient than the other two. Good. Student Wang Chuan your choice is wise. A satisfied smile appeared on Mu Weining's face, and then her eyes looked at Situ. I'm sure that Situ student must want to go to the same university as Wang Chuan student. So apart from the giant beasts, Situ student, how about you look at 500 million gold coins, and the other conditions are the same as Wang Chuan's, how about it? Mu Weining said with some urgency, upon hearing this, Situ's pretty face flushed red as she gently nodded her head, seeing that both of them had made their choices. The enrollment teachers from Southern Sage University and Yanhua University exchanged pleasantries with Wang Chuan and then directly bid farewell. After the two left, Mu Weining asked for Wang Duan and Situ's bank account numbers. The prize money will be credited to your cards later, and the other rewards need to be picked up by you at the school. The new students will be enrolled in school three days later. You two prepare yourselves in these few days. Don't be late then. Mu Weining gently explained some matters before thunderously waving goodbye. When she left, Wang Chen and Situ exchanged pleasantries with the teachers and also moved to leave the school. The two decided to spend the next few days properly reuniting with their families. Three days later, Wang Chuan left a note for his parents, pressed it with a bank card that had 100 million gold coins stored in it, and then quietly left the house. Doing so, on the one hand, he didn't want to see his parents' reluctance when they parted, and on the other hand, it was also to prevent the two old men from pulling the strings with themselves. Parents always pay but don't want returns. Wang Chen was also forced to do this. After leaving his home, he made his way to the interprovincial transmission station located in the city center. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the Blue Star's territory had expanded countless times, and the distance between cities had long since been unable to be measured by previous perceptions. For example, Yanlong University was located in the Dragon Kingdom's Kyoto, one heavenly south and one earthly north from Dongling City. In the past, you could arrive by airplane or high-speed train, but now, if you use such a backward way, I'm afraid that you won't be able to arrive without three or five days. Not only was the distance farther, but the wild monster areas located in the city also made the journey very dangerous. As a result, the ultra-long distance teleportation array came into being. As long as you are willing to spend money, any city in the Dragon Kingdom, whoosh a moment to instantly reach. Just after walking into the teleportation station, Sid to you, who had been waiting here, came bouncing over. Wang Chuan, the tickets have been bought. Our university life, it's about to begin. Yanlong University. Situated in the mountains in the northern part of Kyoto in the Dragon Kingdom, the rolling complex was filled with pavilions and high-rise buildings, and the perfect combination of classical beauty and modernization gave people a dazzling and mysterious aesthetic. Although this complex located in the mountains was called a university, its area was not inferior to that of a small city at all. The resident population was 2 million, of which the number of teachers and students added up to nearly 1,000 and the rest of the people were all centered around these proud and powerful people. In the center of the complex, there is a tower more than 300 meters high, like a sword piercing the sky. This was the main teaching building of Yanlong University, the Eternal Tower. It was not only a magnificent building, but also a war fortress with a grade beyond imagination. During the 700 years of the revival of the will of the heavens, the Eternal High Tower had appeared countless times in the battlefields of the heavens, crushing countless enemies for the Dragon Kingdom and for Blue Star. The countless patches on its surface and the crisscrossing traces were all dazzling metals after a battle. Even if one was just standing close by and watching, one could feel the aura of blood and fire from it. At this moment, knock knock knock, on the topmost floor of the Eternal Tower, a knock sounded at the door. Enter, a gentle voice rang out, and first class lecturer Mu Weining pushed open the door to a wide desk. Lord Provost, she looked at the figure on the desk who was writing furiously, and gave a formal greeting. Coming. The provost put down the pen in his hand at the words and looked up with a warm smile on his face. This was a man aged around 30 years old, with ordinary looks and a gentle gaze, looking plain and ordinary. But at this moment, under this gentle gaze, Mu Weining, no matter how many times she had been here, still felt incomparably nervous, or rather respectful. This lord provost, but the dragon kingdom's pivotal A turned powerhouse, the name of the bloody knight resounded through the battlefield of the heavens a terrifying existence that killed a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Lord Provost, today is the day for new students to report to school. 
I've come to collect the rewards of the freshman Wang Dust. Calming her thoughts, Mu Weining said respectfully, Wang Dust? There's no rush for the giant beast cub. Tell me about this little guy. I want your most intuitive view. Upon hearing this, the provost seemed to be interested, leaning back in his chair and looking mildly at Mu Weining. Demon! Mu Weining pondered for a moment and said in a somewhat admiring tone, I have never seen any student who has mastered combat skills to the extreme at this age, as if they were integrated into the body's instincts. Then, what about his dragon? This time, although I haven't seen that ice dragon strike, but judging from the power that Wang Chuan has displayed, Mu Weining's expression was shocked as she paused and then said, I'm afraid that it's a divine beast of the monarch level or above. Monarch level? At those words, a flash of electricity flashed across the provost's eyes, as if there was thunder brewing in between. What an outstanding little fellow. He's here. The smile on the provost's face intensified, and suddenly his eyes looked out of the room, as if his gaze had pierced through the layers of obstruction and saw something that delighted him. Go on, hand the giant beast over to him, and by the way, tell him that if there's anything he doesn't understand, he can come here and ask me. This, hearing the provost's words, Mu Weining looked shocked with an expression of extreme incredulity, but before she could ask in detail, she was teleported out of the room between flashes of magical light. In front of Yan Long University. Is this Yan Long University? It feels even bigger than our dongling city. Situyu muttered, her face wearing an expression as if a bumpkin had entered the city. On the side, Wang Chen's expression was also a little out of focus. This magnificent complex was so large that the naked eye could not even see the edges. The so-called university city in his previous life was nothing but a slag compared to this. Thinking that this would be the place where he would be living for the next three years, he couldn't help but feel excitement in his heart. Isn't it shocking? Right at this moment, a clear female voice suddenly came from the side. The enrollment teacher Mu Weining had arrived here at some point. Welcome to Yanlong University. Good day, teacher Mu. Seeing the visitor, Wang Chen and Situyu hurriedly greeted each other politely, then somewhat curiously sized up the other party. The two of them had also crammed some information about Yanlong University in the past few days, so they knew very well that the teacher in front of them with a gentle smile was a first-class lecturer with a strength of five revolutions. She personally came out to greet them, which was simply flattering. It just so happens that we bumped into each other, so I'll stop by and take you guys to register your information, lest the two of you be pitted by unscrupulous senior siblings, Mu Weining explained, turning around and leading the duo towards the school grounds. Being pitted? Walking behind, Wang Chuan's heart was slightly sunburnt. Sure enough, no matter where they were, there was always a lack of care from the older siblings to the younger siblings. Hello, Mr. Mu. At this time, Mu Weining brought the duo to the registration office inside the school gates, and the three students sitting behind the desk hurriedly stood up to respectfully greet them. These three people, two men and one woman, were no older than 20 years old, and the auras on their bodies had all reached the third revolutions. Teacher Mu, you're being unorthodox, not even sparing this bit of mosquito leg credits. A sultry expression surfaced on the face of the girl in the trio as Mu Weining walked closer. All right, I'm also just coinciding. It's not like I'm going to steal your credits. Mu Weining gave the girl a look without any good humor. Upon hearing this, the girl obediently nodded her head and took out the registration form her gaze directly pinned on Wang Chen's body. Handsome looking, it seems that the top of the school grass list will change again this year. Hello schoolmate, please fill out the basic information. Good day schoolmate. Wang Chuan nodded politely and filled out the registration form and handed it back. Wang Dust, the sophomore sister, who was planning to sneakily write down her contact information couldn't help but exclaim in shock when she saw the name on the registration form. No wonder teacher Mu would personally bring him for enrollment. It turned out to be a giant imperial beast master who had contracted a divine beast. School brother, do you have a girlfriend? Looking at Wang Dust, a halo flowed in the eyes of the sophomore schoolmate. This, however, was a future boarding seventh turn powerhouse. Senior sister, I've filled mine out as well. Before Wang Chuan could speak, Situyu unhappily squeezed over looking aggressively at the nymphomaniac across from her, like a tiger cub that had been encroached upon in its territory. So angry, when I don't exist? But in response, the sophomore sister didn't care, perfunctorily accepting the registration form, her eyes kept staring at Wang Chuan, as if she was glued to him. I don't know, do you mind if you have more girlfriends? Seeing this scene, the two sophomore seniors on the side had bitter smiles on their faces and secretly envied them in their hearts. What a shallow woman. As for that? This junior is just a little bit more handsome than the two of us. After the interlude at the registration office, Mu Weining led Wang Chen and Situyu to the temporary dormitory for freshmen, compared to what they saw outside. After walking into the campus, the scene around them was even more shocking. 
the jagged forest of skyscrapers, and the pedestrians riding flying beast pets or magical props, made them feel as if they were walking into a marvelous world. What a marvelous place, following behind Mu Wanying. Wang Chen couldn't help but feel some emotion in his heart. The interweaving of magic and technology presented a thrilling beauty. Our Yanlong University was constructed since the 35th year of the recovery calendar, which is more than 600 years ago. Our principal is a nine revolutions powerhouse who holds the honorable title of war god. Mu Wenying walked at the front, explaining a few sentences to Wang Chen and sit to you from time to time. What you came in just now is the main entrance of the school. Besides there, there are many other exits of the school which you will come into contact with after you officially start your academy life. The entire school area, split into living areas, teaching areas, experimental areas, trading areas, mission areas, and so on, the specific locations you guys can view through the wristwatch that was just handed out. It is very powerful and is more than just your identity credentials. When Wang Chen and Situ you heard this, they both curiously fiddled with the newly acquired silver-colored wristwatch on their wrists. It was silver-white in color and filled with an aura of technology and with a finger on it, a holographic screen appeared in front of their eyes, a wide array of information was displayed on it, integrating modules for trading, navigation, querying, gaming, and so on, with incredibly strong performance, you have two days to familiarize yourselves with the school after reporting, after two days, the school will open the annual ranking tournament for you, at that time, the awards will be given out through your respective rankings, with corresponding rewards and corresponding ranking treatment, one more thing, you guys have to remember that the strongest currency amongst the school is credits, aside from the trading area that is connected to the outside world, whether it is exchanging resources or clothing, food, housing and transportation, you all need to consume credits, Mu Wenying opened her mouth and solemnly reminded, teacher Mu, if we just enrolled without credits, won't it be difficult for us to move around, hearing the importance of credits, Situ you revealed a bitter face, don't worry, when you enrolled and registered, the school has already issued you a corresponding number of credits based on your scores in the great examination competition, so you can check it by opening your wristwatch. Mu Wenying waved her hand and explained with a smile. Really hey, I have a thousand credits now. Situya scratched a few times on her wristwatch. A surprise appeared on her face. Then she looked at Wang Chen with curious eyes. Quickly show me, how many do you have? Almost. Wang Chuan didn't move and put his hands behind his back. His expression was very plain. He glanced at it just now and the number of credits he had was as high as 10, 000, 000 points, which was 10 times that of sit to you, wealth does not reveal itself, it's better not to say it to strike this girl, teacher Mu, are you looking for me for something today, after sending sit to you to the dormitory, Wang Chen couldn't help but ask the doubt in his heart, as a first class lecturer of Yanlong University, Mu Wenying, a hallowed fifth turn powerhouse, would not be so idle, happening to run into it was nothing more than a pretext, I thought that you would have held back from asking, Mu Wenying smiled and led Wang Chen to the pavilion outside the dormitory area. I came, specifically to give you a special reward from the school. As she spoke, she took out a creature that emitted a mysterious aura and handed it over. The creature was furry and looked like a small puppy that hadn't grown up yet. Ow. Woo. Just after receiving it in her hands, it bared its teeth at Wang Chuan, a low threat emanating from its throat. However, as little Bingqing looked curious, this little guy directly whimpered with its tail between its legs. The body trembled continuously, seemingly fearful to the extreme. This, Mu Wenying, who was clear about the identity of this creature, couldn't help but be surprised for a moment, and the eyes that looked at Bingqing brought with them shock. This was the cub of a legendary great divine beast, and it was so fearful that it trembled? Opposite. Wang Chen didn't pay attention to Mu Wenying's surprised eyes, and after seeing this little creature, he didn't hesitate to use the bloodline appraisal technique. A shimmering light flashed in his eyes, and information about the creature appeared in his mind. Whistling Moon Silver Wolf, Legendary Great Divine Beast, Final Evolved State, Heaven Swallowing Devil Wolf, Cosmic Great Divine Beast. After checking the information, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. The initial level of the Whistling Moon Silver Wolf was a Legendary Divine Beast, which was definitely the highest level of beast pet he had ever seen besides Bing Ching. However, after the shock, he sighed in his heart. Although the initial level of the Silver Wolf was high, its ultimate growth limit was only at the cosmic level. The potential was sloppy. For others, it was a precious beyond measure treasure, but it was somewhat of a chicken rib for him. With beast pet fusion, a divine talent, in place, he could completely synthesize beast pets with higher potential. For a while, Wang Chen picked at the whistling moon silver wolf in his arms, pondering what to do with it. Giving it up was impossible. A legendary grade divine beast had an incalculable value. 
so he would not be foolish enough to reject it. Ha, huh? female. Right at this moment, Wang Chan's eyes suddenly twitched. Teacher Mu, does this giant beast belong to me now, and I can dispose of it as I please? After thinking about it, he looked up and asked Mu Weining. Humph. Mu Weining frowned and nodded, a somewhat strange expression on her face. Inexplicably, she seemed to feel that Wang Chen seemed to dislike the whistling moon silver wolf a little. However, immediately afterward, she erased her weird thoughts. What a joke. This was a legendary great divine beast, a powerful beast pet that countless people had begged for. How could anyone possibly dislike it? This whistling moon silver wolf is the cub of the provost lord's beast pet, and the provost lord said that after that, if you have any doubts in your cultivation, you can go to him for advice. Thinking of Lord Provost's explanation, Mu Weining said in a solemn tone at this moment, the favorable opinion of an eighth turn powerhouse. Even she couldn't help but be shocked in her heart. However, then please, Teacher Mu, thank Lord Provost for me. Hearing her words Wang Chen only nodded faintly and did not say much. On one hand, he wasn't clear about the provost's strength, and on the other hand, it was because he had already thought of a place for the Saw Moon Silver Wolf to go. It wasn't like he was indentured anyway so this opportunity to ask for guidance would be useless to him. Seeing this scene, Mu Weining revealed a black question mark face. Did you not hear the subliminal meaning in my words? Letting you ask for advice. This means that Lord Provost intends to take you in as a student. A student of an eighth turn powerhouse is enough to drive countless people crazy. Why are you acting so calm? Mu Weining was greatly shaken at the moment. After Mu Weining left, Wang Chen brought the two little ones to his dormitory. It had to be said that Yanlong University's treatment was quite good. Just the temporary dormitory. The degree of luxury was not inferior to a five-star presidential suite. Putting his luggage away and letting the two little guys go play. Wang Chen walked to the living room to call his parents to report his safety. After he left, little Bingqing's azure-colored eyes stared at the shivering Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf. Pounce. The strong dragon claws easily toppled the Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf. And the curious big sister began to check up on her little sister. Oh, the Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf. Which looked as if it was a little puppy spread out its four paws in a hopeless manner and curtly revealed its belly. The bloodline pressure from the ancestral divine beast made it simply unable to give birth to the slightest thought of resistance. When Wang Chuan returned from the phone call, he saw a scene that made him unable to hold back his laughter. Bing Qing was sitting on the bed as if she was a big sister, and the tsunami moon silver wolf on the side was carefully serving with fruits held up in its paws. Where was the fierceness from before when they first met? It was simply like an aggrieved little maid. Don't bully it. Wang Chuan stroked Bing Qing's head in a good-natured manner and squeezed the two little ones aside before tapping on the holographic screen of the wristwatch. As teacher Mu Weining had said, the wristwatch was quite powerful, and the various introductions about the school inside were much more detailed, especially on the forum. Wang Chen had filled in a lot of basic general knowledge about Yanlong University. For example, credits. For example, about the ranking war. The saying that credits were the strongest currency amongst schools was not just words, but was deeply implemented into all aspects. More than 99% of the school's services required credits. Without credits, although it is not impossible to live in Yanlong University, but if you want to improve yourself, it is absolutely impossible. After all, without credits, you can't go down to the secret realm copies, and you can't even afford the tickets to the lectures. And compared to the importance of credits, the ways to earn them were quite few. In addition to taking the tasks fixedly released by the school in the mission area, one of the most important avenues is to improve one's ranking. Freshmen, sophomores and juniors, each grade had its own ranking list, and how much one ranked on the list would be rewarded with credits and resources corresponding to the ranking each month. As for the fourth year, these seniors had long since traveled to the battlefield of the heavens for training, and did not have a corresponding list. In addition to the lists of their respective grades, the school also set up a list of excellence for all students in the three grades. The list of excellence included a total of 20 people, and students who made the list would not only receive more exaggerated rewards, but also have the opportunity to be personally taught by top-tier powerhouses. And there was only one condition for being on these lists, and that was strength. Strength reigns supreme. This is nakedly putting the law of the jungle in front of everyone. After reading the introduction, Wang Dust let out a sigh of emotion and flipped to the official website for freshmen. This year's freshman list was not yet ranked, but the rewards from the 1st to the 50th place were all labeled on the official website. The others Wang Dust skimmed over, and his eyes couldn't move when he saw the very top. First place, a monthly reward of 10, 000 points, for gold level secret realm copies to enter, and a copy of the S rank material cold ice marrow, S rank material cold ice marrow, the main material for Bing Ching to promote to the next growth stage. I'll take the first place in this freshman ranking, clenching his fists, 
a burning battle intent rose in his eyes. Afternoon, Wang Chuan, this way. Just as he stepped out of the dormitory, Situyu's energetic voice rang out. This girl had changed into a casual dress and stood playfully in the pavilion, attracting the astonished gazes of many people coming and going. At this moment, Situyu had the appearance of a neighborly sister, causing Wang Chen to freeze for a split second. It's just a stroll through the trading market. Is there a need to make it so solemn? Soon he withdrew his gaze somewhat evasively and muttered breathlessly. His purpose of going to the trading market this time was twofold. One was to see the world, and the second was to fill up his vacant beast pet position. However, at this moment, looking at Situ Yu's appearance, Wang Chen felt that the purpose of seeing the world was better scratched, regardless of age. The terror of a woman shopping was devastating. Cut. Noticing Wang Chuan's somewhat evasive line of sight, Situ Yu's face flashed with smugness as she bounced over. What do you know? Shopping is a big question. Ugh, is this the giant beast that the school rewarded you with? So cute. Standing aside smugly, her attention was drawn to the whistling moon silver wolf that was shrinking in Wang Chen's arms. The little guy was half expressed by Bing Ching Hua Hua, and his face was full of aggression. It instantly made a small heart show in Situ Yu's eyes. Legendary grade divine beast tsunami moon silver wolf. But I'm not going to contract it, so I'll give it to you to play with. Wang Chen nodded and directly handed the little guy over. Aw. Situyu received the little guy with a confused expression. This was a legendary grade divine beast? You actually gave it to me casually? That. This is too valuable. I. Her face turned red and she stuttered in her speech. It was too sudden. This guy isn't going to use the opportunity of giving me a gift to confess to me. Right? Do I agree? Or do I agree? Situyu was giddy. Her mind messed up like a ball of hemp. Ten minutes later. Following the guidance of the navigation. The duo arrived at the trading market located in the northern part of Yanlong University. After arriving here, Wang Chen tugged Situyu with a clear goal in mind and went straight to the beast pet shop. Welcome, please, guest, do you need a life-type beast pet or a combat-type beast pet? Upon entering the store, a sales clerk greeted them. Her sight unmovingly swept over the wrists of the duo, and a sincere smile appeared on her face instantly. I want to take a look at all the combat-type beast pets in your store. Wang Chuan didn't drag his feet and put forward his request in a straightforward manner. All right sir, please come with me. The salesman turned around and led the way ahead, bringing the two to the second floor. Ho ho ho. As soon as they walked into the second floor, the sound of beast roars rang out one after another, and the various kinds of beast pets locked up in the beast cages all looked over with unkind gazes. However, when a flash of azure colored figure appeared in their gazes, these unruly little fellows immediately behaved as if they were kittens each shrinking in fear deep inside the cage. The salesman watched this scene with surprise, his eyes lingering deeply on Bing Ching for a split second. To be able to make so many beast pets fearful, this customer's beast pet might be of an extremely high grade. Could it be a high-level source beast? Thinking in her heart, she said smilingly, Guest, all the beast pets in the store are here. Take a look to see if there is one that suits your fancy. Aha! Wang Chen nodded and went straight to a beast cage. Then, without hesitation, he used the bloodline appraisal technique. In the second floor of the beast pet shop, Wang Dust arrived in front of the first beast cage and quietly looked at the small creature inside. Inside the cage was a small wolf with fur laced with red, which was currently observing Wang Dust with fearful eyes. Red Flame Wolf, Spirit Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Flame Divine Wolf, Transcendent Level Divine Beast. Seeing the information that came back from the bloodline appraisal technique, Wang Dust shook his head, then walked towards the next one without hesitation. Moonlight Serpent, Spirit Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Heaven Swallowing Python, Legendary Great Divine Beast, Poisonous Toad, Spirit Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Three-Footed Golden Toad, Epic Level Divine Beast, Golden Armored Turtle, Source Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Aqua Divine Turtle, Cosmic Great Divine Beast, Wing Tiger, Source Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Starry White Tiger, Sacred Beast. After turning around, Wang Chen's brows could not help but wrinkle. The quality of the beast pets here was indeed a great deal stronger than Dongling City, but he did not find what he wanted among them. Among the hundreds of beast pets, the strongest one, whose evolutionary limit was only a saint beast, did not meet his requirements at all. His goal was to once again contract an ancestral divine beast that was the same as Bing Ching. Esteemed guest, could it be that there is no beast pet of your choice here? The salesman's tone was a little apprehensive when he saw Wang Chen's unpleasant face. Hmm, do you have any other beast pets here? Wang Dust nodded and asked bluntly. On the contrary, there are a few more special source beasts, and their strength is quite strong. That is, the salesman sniffed and behaved somewhat tangled. Take me to take a look. Money is not a problem. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen directly waved his hand and let the salesman lead the way ahead. 
Now that he had a huge amount of 2 billion gold coins in his pocket, he was just rich and powerful. All right, the salesman led him into a room on the second floor. As soon as he entered, Wang Dus knew what the salesman's odd expression just now was due to. There was only one beast cage in the empty room, which held three tiny, humanoid creatures about the size of a hand. These three creatures had the similar appearance and shape of a human female. Their appearance was quite delicate, and their figures could be described as curvaceous. The key parts of their bodies were covered with animal skins, with fluffy tails behind their asses, pointed ears, and a faintly seductive aura emanating from their bodies. Upon seeing someone come in, panic flashed in the pink eyes of the three creatures, and they directly turned into a furry mass of three. Little fox demon? Seeing these three creatures, a flash of surprise flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the worlds were connected together, and some creatures that only existed in fantasy novels and movies and TV dramas also appeared in the vision of the humans of Blue Star. For example, what dwarves, elves, angels, devils, these beings were active in the battlefields of the heavens, and occasionally there would be weak ones that were captured in Blue Star. But despite this, this was the first time Wang Chuan had seen such creatures from other worlds with his own eyes at this time, and it was still a rather special one. The little fox demon. How can I put it? This little thing grew up just like most old drivers thought, extremely fitting to the image of a vixen into monster novels. It was one of the rare beast pets that could partially transform at the hatchling stage. Of course, before adulthood, just like what Wang Chuan had just seen, the small fox demon size was basically maintained at the size of a poem. These three little fox demons are the trophies of an adult in the battlefield of the heavens and were put on sale in our store. If the guests want to buy them, 500 million gold coins apiece, the salesman explained at this moment his sight quietly glancing at Situyu beside Wang Chen. Generally speaking, when this kind of young couple came to the store, she would not bring them to see the little fox demon, for no other reason. It was mainly because she was afraid of affecting their relationship. Hearing the salesman's words, the corner of Wang Chuan's mouth twitched a little. Really TND expensive. Although the rating of the little fox demon is considered to be at the level of the source beast, but her combat power, how to say it, basically no point in the normal aspect. Wang Dust. Situyu poked her head darkly, her eyes extremely dangerous. Don't worry, I'm a decent person and would never have strange hobbies. Wang Chuan helplessly rolled his eyes and threw out a bloodline appraisal and prepared to retreat. The little fox demon's frontal combat power was limited, so he didn't hold much hope for it at all. However, little fox demon, source beast, final evolutionary form, nine-tailed sky fox, ancestral divine beast? This, Wang Chuan's expression stiffened. Ancestral divine beast? Nine-tailed sky fox? It sounded so tough. Guest, although the little fox demon's frontal combat power is not as strong as other origin beasts, its charm ability is quite powerful. So if you need an auxiliary type of beast pet, you can consider it. On the side, the salesman saw Wang Dust getting tangled up and had a look on his face that said I understand. God T needs assistance ah? The corners of Wang Dust's mouth twitched madly, feeling like his reputation was being tarnished. But, ancestral god beast hey, against Situ's gaze that wanted to kill. He silently took out his bank card. Three, I'll take them all. The customer was truly brave. The sales clerk gave Wang Duan a thumbs up in her heart and neatly took the bank card and left. After she left, Wang, Dust, Situyu gritted her teeth. Her eyes seemed to sweep back and forth over Wang Dust like knives. That, it's really not that I have a special hobby. It's really that their growth is extremely high. Wang Chuan touched his nose and explained with a sincere face. Change, pervert, old colorful batch. However, Situyu didn't believe it at all, and her mouth even spat out icy words. You giant imperial beast master. You can't even contract a little fox demon. What's this talk about growth? Just buy it, but also buy three? Ha, I poo. Seeing this, Wang Dus let out a bitter laugh. This misunderstanding is big. After returning to the dormitory, because of you three little guys, my reputation is ruined. Placing the cage containing the three little fox demons in the living room. Wang Chuan looked at the little creatures inside with a bitter smile on his face. These three little fellows maintained their original appearance. Their fur is white as snow, looking like ordinary three white foxes. At this moment, they were staring at Wang Chuan with those pink eyes. I hope you guys are powerful enough. Gathering his emotions, Wang Chuan held Bing Chang, who was making a mess on the side, in his arms before extending his hand to the three little fox demons. Divine Grade Talent Beast Pet Fusion. Unleashed. Buzz buzz buzz. Invisible fluctuations spread out from Wang Chen's hand, instantly wrapping the three little fox demons in the cage. At the same time, in front of Wang Chuan's eyes, a virtual panel that only he himself could see appeared. There were three grids on the virtual panel, and in the middle of the grids were the projections of the little fox demons, 
and there was also a synthesis press below the grid column. Without hesitation, Wang Dust intentionally pressed hard on the synthesis button. On a windy and sunny afternoon, the sky above the living area of Yanlong University was suddenly stormy. A hundred meter long terrifying creature with nine tails appeared in the sky, her peach pink eyes emitting a magnificent light, her gaze sweeping proudly across the earth, as if she was patrolling her territory. At this moment, the entire living area, the entire Yanlong University, everyone's movement stopped, looking into the air in disbelief. This, this, a heaven and earth vision? The universe level divine beast nine tailed fox? Oh my god, I'm not dreaming. Incredulous voices came out of the mouths of all those who saw the scene. However, in the next second, all of these voices disappeared, an invisible fluctuation swept through, and everyone who gazed into the peach-colored eyes of the nine-tailed fox couldn't help but blush and breathe sharply. Their eyes, in particular, revealed a look of infatuation. The scent of spring quietly permeated the crowd. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. At this moment, air-breaking sounds rang out, and a dozen figures flew in one after another above the living area of Yanlong University. These figures had different appearances but the aura on each of them had already reached more than six revolutions. A universe-level divine beast, the nine-tailed fox? This is a bloodline projection. Among the new students enrolled this year, there is someone who had the good fortune of contracting such a terrifying existence? A middle-aged man with a bald head and a brawny aura stared at the nine-tailed fox silhouette in the sky, his body trembling. A universe-level divine beast, as long as it grew naturally, its strength could reach the eighth turn. It was simply a beast pet that everyone could only dream of. We'll take this student from the combat academy. I'll personally accept him as a student. The bald middle-aged man's sight swept viciously across the surroundings. His face wore an expression of recklessness. Bald Zhao you're thinking about fart eating. A woman wearing magical robes took a step forward and fought with the bald middle-aged man. She was extremely beautiful, but the words she uttered were unceremonious. Are all of you combat academy's brains muscles? This is the nine-tailed fox, a cosmic-grade divine beast of the charming system. With this kind of beast pet. This student was born to be a seedling of our magic academy. Going to your combat academy, are you going to let him go head to head with the enemy? Both of you go away. The geniuses have all been booked by you. This student should be given to our auxiliary academy no matter what. The nine-tailed fox is born to charm. It's simply the best partner to take the auxiliary route. Seeing the magic academy and combat academy start to fight for it, the auxiliary academy and the crowd couldn't help but open their mouths to join in. For a while, a group of teachers kept shouting in the sky arguing with red faces and necks, looking like it was about to turn into an all-out brawl. Enough! Right at this moment, a voice that implied anger suddenly rang out, instantly causing the teachers in the sky who were in chaos to stop. In the next second, a slender figure appeared before their eyes, a man with a gentle aura, Lord Provost. Seeing this man, the teachers who were fighting with red faces and ears hurriedly saluted and greeted him. Humph! Hearing this, the Provost snorted coldly. Even the identity of this student hasn't been determined yet. And you're all here to disgrace yourselves? Don't go and deal with the surrounding mess yet. The seductive aura emanating from the nine-tailed fox is not something those little guys below the third turn can resist. Shortling under his breath, he waved his palm, and an invisible force directly slapped more than a dozen sixth revolution powerhouses to the ground. After doing so, the provost's sight turned to the nine-tailed fox silhouette in the sky. A universe-level divine beast? Where did he get a divine beast of this level? With his strength of eight turns, he easily locked onto the source of the vision, Wang Chen, and the furry little fox in his arms. The furry appearance of that little fox, as well as the nine tails swaying behind its buttocks, was exactly like the nine tailed fox in the records. Looking at this little fellow through his divine thoughts, even as an eighth turn powerhouse, the provost's expression shook. A monarch level divine beast giant dragon, a universe level divine beast nine tailed fox, the potential that Wang Chuan, a giant imperial beast master, was now displaying had shocked the well-informed him. However, when he sensed the tsunami moon silver wolf Sora in another place, the expression on his face instantly became odd. Straight mother thief, this kid didn't look at lousy tsunami moon silver wolf and gave her to his little girlfriend? Two days later, Wang Dust had breakfast and left the temporary dormitory with Bing Chang and Crispy. The school had long since sent out a notice through their wristwatches that the freshman ranking battle would be held at the square in the teaching area. Walking to the square, it was already overcrowded with young men and women overflowing with youthful vigor. Among them, there were both the 120 freshmen recruited by Yanlong University this year, as well as the older students who came to join in the fun in their sophomore and junior years. The freshmen stood in the center of the square, each with a burning desire to fight. The smell of gunpowder was very strong. Obviously, they were all fully energized, wanting to show their strength in the upcoming ranking battle. 
defeating the other competitors to win the best ranking. This girl said to you, she actually hasn't lost her temper yet? Wang Chen had just arrived here when he noticed a vicious line of sight, and this girl said to you was looking at him with gritted teeth. With that expression, it made it seem as if he had started a fight. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen felt that he needed to explain himself. Otherwise this little girl one day and mom playing video blindly say, his life clean name will be all ruined. But, before he could take a step, he suddenly realized that the atmosphere around him had become a little weird. Turning his head to look, the enrollment teacher Mu Weining and a group of teachers with even stronger breath, do not know when to surround. These people had green light in their eyes, looking at him as if they had seen some rare treasure. At this moment, being gazed at by this group of extremely tough teachers, even with Wang Chen's tough nerves, he couldn't help but feel some vicious chills. It was too terrifying. It felt like they were going to eat people. Teacher, Mr. Wang Chuan, on behalf of the Auxiliary Academy, I would like to extend an invitation to you. As long as you join the Auxiliary Academy, the conditions are open to you. Mu Weining didn't wait for Wang Chuan to ask a question. She directly stepped forward and grabbed his hand and said, as she spoke, her eyes shook as she glanced at the fluffy nine-tailed sky fox on Wang Chen's shoulder. She was now somewhat clear about why she felt, at that time, that Wang Chuan disliked the Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf. The feeling was that there was a stronger nine-tailed fox waiting. Compared to a universe-level divine beast, a legend-level divine beast was indeed a bit of a pull across. Today, the dean of the Auxiliary Academy gave him a deadly order to pull Wang Dust into the Auxiliary Academy at all costs. But before Wang Chuan could respond, Mu Weining, who had the strength of a fifth turn, was squeezed out by the surrounding teachers whose breath was even more formidable. Student Wang Chuan, the nine-tailed fox and the giant dragon with one attack and one auxiliary is simply the most perfect match. Your strength can only be fully displayed when you come to our combat academy. We can fulfill all your requirements. In addition, our combat academy assures you that when you enter the third turn, we can provide you with another divine beast level gargoyle. With his strong body squeezing to the front, the teacher of the combat academy's eyes were incomparably fiery. Hearing this teacher's conditions, Wang Chen secretly nodded in his heart. Yanlong University was divided into three colleges based on the different future career directions of the students, which were the Combat College, the Magic College, and the Auxiliary College. As a giant beast master, Wang Chuan's career system did not have a specific direction, and was considered a jack of all trades. Joining any of the three colleges was fine. However, he himself was more inclined towards the Combat Academy. After all, Compared to hiding at the back and releasing skills, he preferred to rush up and fight with the enemy in close combat. At this moment, seeing Wang Chuan's face showing his intention, the teachers around him immediately became anxious. Student Wang Dust, don't listen to Bald Zhao painting you a big picture. You, as a royal beast master, especially a giant royal beast master, in the future, as your beast pets increase, the experience needed to level up will be terrifying. Entering the combat academy and growing up according to their cultivation style will greatly slow down the speed of your strength increase. It's better to come to our magic academy. A magic skill goes down in a second. You'll upgrade with an absolute whoosh. Teacher here promises you that the magic academy can not only provide you with all the resources for growth. It can even take out two S rank skill books. The female teacher of the magic academy squeezed out Zhao Baldi, then directly took out two skill books and waved them in her hands, appearing to be full of sincerity. After her. The surrounding teachers also spoke out for their respective academies, moving to show their feelings and benefits, and the glow of the higher skill books and equipment shook Wang Dust's head, that, all the teachers, why don't I decide after the ranking battle is over? Looking at the teachers around him who couldn't wait to drag themselves away immediately, a bitter smile appeared on Wang Dust's face, it was too enthusiastic, fine, no rush, you still have time to think about it, just remember not to choose that group of reckless people, no problem. This involves future planning after all, but I'm sure you'll choose our combat academy. You kid is a born warrior. How can you be with that group of sissies? The surrounding teachers nodded their heads and glared angrily at each other in a fiery manner. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan couldn't help but shake his head and smile bitterly as he said his goodbyes and headed towards the area where the freshmen were. Meanwhile, the freshmen standing in the center of the square looked at the figure that walked out from the surroundings of the teachers, and each of their faces had a very ugly expression. On what grounds? They were standing here alone, and there wasn't even a teacher who took the initiative to ask. So Wang Chen was that popular? Especially among the new students. The seven men and women who were outstanding and appeared to be somewhat standing out from the rest, looked at Wang Dust, and there was even more obvious hostility on each of their faces. These seven people, the ones who had the highest reputation for winning the first ranking in this year's freshman ranking battle, were all top students from various provinces. What do you guys think? An ordinary looking, 
lanky youth among the seven opened his mouth and asked. His name was Zhao Li, a level 60 special profession paladin from Sulphur Moon Province. Clap trap. Even if you have two giant beasts, so what? A guy from a commoner's background, the higher he's held up now, the worse he'll fall. A youth with a grim temperament on the side shook his head and said disdainfully, this person's name was Zhou Wu, a Mingguang province scholar who came from a top-tier powerful family in Mingguang province, and his strength was comparable to that of Zhao Li. Hearing Zhou Wu mention Wang Chen's origins, a girl among the seven laughed out coldly, indeed, with a level of only 40, he's not even in the first echelon amongst the freshmen, and his equipment skills are even farther away from us, when he's at the bottom of the ranking battle. I'll see how he still has the face to hang around in Yanlong University. That's it. Upon hearing this, another girl among the seven also nodded and said in a conspiratorial manner, everyone is SSS rated, and with the teachers treating them so differently, I'm afraid that when the ranking battle is over, they're going to make jokes as well. There will be a ring match in the ranking battle. When the time comes, we must ruthlessly fix this Wang dust, letting these teachers know that we are the true celestial pride. Hearing her words, the few people on the side who hadn't intended to join the discussion couldn't help but show their faces. This girl had a good point. Everyone was SSS rated, and as a result, the difference was now so obvious that it was simply unacceptable to them. You are quite popular. Wang Chuan walked to the freshman area and stood still, and Situ Yu said with a sense of humor. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen glanced at the hostile gazes that fell on him from the surrounding area and helplessly rubbed his nose. It had only been two days since he enrolled in school and he had almost filled the freshman with hatred. This was estimated to be unique even in Yanlong University. However, in this regard, other than being somewhat helpless, he did not have any fearful thoughts, hate or favorite. What did it matter to him? He came to Yanlong University to improve his strength, not to climb relationships. Only bulls and sheep will flock together. Beasts will never walk alone. Wang Chuan said in a civilized manner. Then his gaze rested on Situ Yu's shoulder. You contracted the Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf? What is this little guy's name now? Little White. Sityu crossed Wang Duan's eyes and directly looked away. Unfortunately, the beast is a pervert. She muttered in a low voice. Hearing her words, the corner of Wang Dust's mouth twitched a little. Good fellow, this hurdle could not be passed. However, at this time, he couldn't care about explaining. And while the two of them were talking, a woman in a white magical robe walked up to the high platform directly in front of the square. Silence. The magic staff in her hand gently clicked, and invisible fluctuations instantly suppressed the clamor in the square. For a moment, everyone looked at her with anticipation on their faces. Attention everyone, the ranking battle is divided into two parts, the copy busting and the ring duel, and your final rankings will be adjudicated based on the average of the highest scores of the two parts, and the top 50 will enter the freshman ranking. The top 50 will enter the freshman rankings, and receive the corresponding rewards and privileges. The rest of you will only receive basic treatment for the next month. I'm Mr. Sun Miao from the Academy of Magic, the judge for the copying section. If you have no doubts, then the ranking battle will officially begin. Teacher Sun Miao swept her sight over the freshman present, and seeing that no one made a sound, she directly raised the staff in her hand. Buzz buzz buzz. Berserk magical power rushed up from the staff, and the plaza was suddenly filled with wind and clouds. A giant light gate instantly fell in front of all the freshmen. Yanlong University Square. As the giant light gate appeared, a message suddenly surfaced in the minds of all the freshmen. Secret Realm Copy, Beast Tide Impact. Secret Realm Replica Grade, Silver Grade. Minimum Entry Level for Secret Realm Replica, Level 30. Difficulty, Simple. Normal. Difficult. Inferno, Difficulty, Simple. Normal. Difficult. Inferno. The number of people who can enter the Secret Realm, one person. Secret Realm Copy Introduction. The Endless Beast Tide is coming. Brave professional, will you stick to the end in the beast tide, or will you be swarmed by monsters torn to pieces? A silver level secret copy? After checking the information that suddenly surfaced, a flash of fire flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. He hadn't forgotten the rewards from the Gao Gao secret realm copy, and this time around, he had come to a higher level secret realm copy, and he couldn't wait to find out how much he could gain. Without hesitation, he moved his mind at this moment and directly chose the hell grade difficulty. In the next second, his body disappeared into the square, and at that moment, the freshmen around him all made the same choice as him. In an instant, the square directly became empty. Immediately after that, the lone giant light door, as the referee, Mr. Sun Miao, waved his magic staff, a burst of distortion and change, directly turned into a huge screen that floated above the square. This screen was divided into 120 grids, each of which corresponded to a new student respectively. It's finally started. 
Everyone guess who the number one freshman this year will fall to? Blind guess is Zhao Li. This kid's strength is definitely at the top amongst the new students. After the giant screen appeared in the sky, the older students gathered around the square were all excited at once. The annual freshman ranking battle could be a reserved program of the school, and many people opened the plate at this moment, intending to take advantage of the opportunity to make a fortune in credits. I choose Wang Chen. He has two divine beast level beast pets. Just now, the teachers of the three major academies almost fought in order to snatch him. He definitely has the strength to ascend to the top. Some people placed heavy bets on Wang Chen at this moment. That's not necessarily true. His level is too low. A gap of 20 levels. Even a divine beast can't possibly close it. However, as soon as his words fell, someone on the side objected. It's still Zhao Li who has the most hope of reaching the top. A level 60 paladin who can fight and carry, and also possesses the ability to heal. A single person is comparable to a small team. It's simply too suitable for the beast tight impact. This secret realm copy. Hearing his words, many of the older students around him nodded in agreement. That's right. The paladin profession is simply a bug. With high offense and defense and the ability to milk yourself. I'll put in a bet for Jolly as well. The secret realm copy beast tide impacts hell difficulty. A total of 9 waves of beast tides will be faced. And the challenger entering cannot use any recovery items. Jolly is simply too advantageous. Ah, paladins are so strong. Then won't I lose out? For a while, the old students who had just placed a bet on Wang Chen had some regrets at this moment. And at this time, while they were discussing on their side, the views of the teachers on the high platform of the plaza were strangely consistent. The teachers of the three major colleges who had madly grabbed Wang Dust earlier were all sitting on their chairs, their sights firmly fixed on the area on the screen that belonged to Wang Dust, not looking at anyone else at all. Ta da day. When the referee, Mr. Sun Miao, who had presided over the first part of the competition, walked back, what he saw was this bizarrely harmonious picture. Looks like you guys have a lot of confidence in this little guy. Seeing this scene, she couldn't help but ask. Of course, teacher son, you just came back from the battlefield of the heavens. You don't know the terror of this brat Wang Chen. He's the one who set a record of one minute to pass in the middle of the Gao Gao secret realm copy. An unprecedented achievement. This is the future star of our combat academy. Combat academy's teacher Zhao smiled and said with a shocked face at this moment, saying that he hemmed and hawed, as if he had thought of some beautiful picture. One minute? Hearing his words, Sun Niao couldn't help but widen his eyes. The secret copy of the Dragon Country High School examination hadn't been changed for so many years, so she was well aware of how terrifying this achievement was. To know, back then, she was also a provincial top student, but it took her 10 minutes and 20 seconds to pass through the secret realm. Wang Chuan's result was more than 10 times that of hers. Could it be that I am a fake genius? Sun Miao was a bit skeptical. At this moment, as the words of the combat academy teacher fell, scram. Zhao Baldi do you want to be shameless? Wang Dust is clearly our Magic Academy star of tomorrow. The teacher of the Magic Academy on the side was instantly displeased and his sight looked over viciously. In an instant, the smell of gunpowder filled the air, and it looked like it was going to evolve into a violent conflict again. All right, all right. Awakened by the commotion made by both sides, Sun Miao stood in the middle of the two sides with some tears and laughter. She said, you guys don't have to act so obviously when you're looking at this little guy. You also have to consider the mood of the other freshmen. Cut. What's their mood got to do with me? The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy rolled her eyes at that. That's it. Is it that hard to admit that others are better than you? This kid Wang Chen is 10 times better than them. The teacher from the Combat Academy, at this time, rarely echoed the Magic Academy's sentence. Seeing this scene, Sun Niao felt a little heartbroken. These new students grew up smoothly, and in the future, they would be at least fifth turn professionals. Why does it feel like garbage coming out of your mouths? Muttering in his heart, Sun Miao's sight looked towards an upright figure on the screen. What do you guys say? How long will it take Wang Chuan to clear the nine waves of beast tide? She asked with some anticipation. Nine minutes. His level is a shortcoming right now after all. And the nine-tailed fox was just contracted. So nine minutes should be the limit. Teacher Zhao of the Combat Academy said after a moment of contemplation. And the teacher of the Magic Academy on the side. Nodded along with him upon hearing this. That's not bad. Nine minutes. This is already an achievement that many freshman year students can only achieve. Sun Miao said with some emotion. Warm reminder, Challenger Wang Chuan. You have successfully entered the silver ranked secret realm replica beast tide impact. Currently selected difficulty, hell level. Current number of challengers, one person. Current number of waves of monsters in the realm, nine waves. City return scrolls have been automatically issued. Please be careful when using them if your life is in danger. I wish you success in clearing the secret world copy. Time and space shifted. 
and when Wang Chuan once again set his feet on the ground, the prompting tone of the spirit of the secret realm rang in his ears. Nine waves? Excitement appeared on Wang Chuan's face. The more waves the better, and the more monsters that appeared meant the higher the reward at the clearance settlement. Maybe, after finishing this secret realm copy, I can raise Bing Ching's level to the edge of advancement. In the secret realm copy, Wang Chuan scanned his surroundings with anticipation in his eyes, quietly waiting for the monsters to appear. At this moment, his location was a wide space, very empty without any obstacles. The ground was dark red in color, with traces of the aftermath of a violent battle remaining. Wine dust could also smell a faint odor of blood after careful observation. He guessed that these dark reds should be caused by a large amount of blood soaking through. Roar roar roar. As he observed his surroundings, a brutal roar rang in his ears. Thud thud thud. In the next second, ear-shattering footsteps sounded at the same time, and a sky of dust was raised in the distance as an unknown number of monsters approached at breakneck speed. At the same time, the first wave of beast tide is about to begin. The number of monsters is 50. Please prepare for the challenger. The secret realm copies beeps also appeared at the same time. It's finally here. Looking at the rapidly approaching army of monsters in the distance, Wang Chen's eyes instantly became excited. Whoa! The two little guys sensed his mood and couldn't help but chirp as well. Bing Ching even directly swung its wings and flew into midair. Aang! A high dragon's roar rang out as she directly unfolded her battle stance. As for the little fellow, Crispy, she jumped to the top of Wang Chen's head, her nine tails constantly waving in a manner that showed no weakness. The nine-tailed sky fox was different from the extreme cold dragon. Before reaching adulthood, unless the nine-tailed extermination skill was turned on, its body size would remain in this petite state. After the two little ones were ready, the fifty monsters that came rushing and also clearly appeared in front of Wang Chuan's eyes. This was a group of creatures that were two meters tall and had the appearance of big cats that had been enlarged several times and walked upright. They had sharp teeth and incomparably sharp claws, and between breaths, a fishy wind surged towards Wang Chuan and the two little ones. Cat demon? Seeing these monsters appear, Wang Chuan casually released a scrying spell. Monster, cruel cat demon. Level, 50. Combat style, melee. Skills, tear, charge, sharp claw impact. Type, normal. It started as a level 50 monster? Seeing the information that came back from the scrying technique, a smile appeared on Wang Dust's face. This was all a walking experience bonanza. Brush brush brush. While Wang Dust was excited, the cat demons that ran over instantly surrounded them and then attacked without hesitation. Ow! Oh, right at this moment, the nine-tailed heavenly fox Crispy, which was lying on its master's head, suddenly opened its mouth and roared, charming the crowd. Buzz buzz buzz. The sound wave was tainted with pink at this moment, instantly enveloping a radius of tens of meters, encompassing all the cat demons. Roar! The cat demons that were about to launch an attack suddenly stirred and stopped their advance. Roar roar roar! A bizarre peach pink color surfaced in their eyes, and they turned their heads to look at their companions, letting out a crazy and incomparable roar. Then, brush brush brush, without hesitation, they launched an attack towards their companions. The first wave of monsters are all dead. The second wave of monsters will arrive in 10 seconds. Please prepare your challengers. Hearing the system tone ringing in his ears, Wang Chen was directly confused. Crispy ah, can you save one for me? Carrying the nine-tailed sky fox crispy on his head into his arms, Wang Dust had a helpless look on his face. I was all set to go on a killing spree. As a result, you went down with one skill and all of these cat demons committed suicide? This is also too fast, right? Muttering in his heart, Wang Dust's eyes were also somewhat shocked. The little guy's debut had given him a big surprise. This charm skill was simply a divine skill to deal with stragglers. Oh, hearing her master's words, Crispy waved her tail with a smug expression, as if to say I'm great, praise me. However, her smugness didn't last a second before she was ruthlessly suppressed by Big Sister. Bing Ching's dragon claws reached over and with just two fingers, she pinched her up and lifted her high. Crap! What happened? How could it be so fast? Among the veteran students gathered outside the square, one person suddenly let out an incredulous exclamation, his eyes nearly popping out, only to see that at the landing point of his line of sight, the number floating on a grid directly changed from one to two. Hearing his exclamation of surprise, the people around him immediately followed his line of sight. They happened to see the grid where Wang Chen was. Hiss. Then in the next second, the air around the square was almost sucked out by this group of people. Everyone's face brought on an expression of disbelief, as if they had seen the most incredible thing in the world. It's a lie. Between the first wave of monsters appearing and now, not even 10 seconds. All of them are seconds. How could it be so fast? 50 cat demons, even if they stood there and didn't move for you to hack. It would take more than 10 seconds to hack them all to death, right? One by one, 
The old students murmured in disbelief, with extremely complicated expressions on their faces. They were not surprised that Wang Chuan was able to pass the first wave. After all, to be able to enter Yanlong University and still be the provincial top student, he must have a few brushes. Against a mere 50 level 50 monsters, it was naturally no big deal, but to solve it so quickly was beyond their imagination. To know, all of them, one by one, when they entered this secret realm copy in their freshman year, the speed at which they took care of this group of level 50 cat demons could not possibly reach Wang Chen's level. This T is going against the heavens. On the high platform, the teachers of the three major academies were also dumbfounded, and Sun Miao, who had a gentle temperament, couldn't help but burst out a foul mouth. She had just stared at the grid and blinked twice, and as a result, Wang Chen had solved all the monsters in the first wave? Which one of you has tallied it? How long did he take? At this moment, she turned around with some disregard for her image and looked viciously at the combat academy's teacher Zhao who had prepared for this. 8 seconds, teacher Zhao, who was clutching a counter in his hand, had a somewhat trembling tone. To be honest, he was also stunned. Although he had predicted that Wang Chen would perform well in the secret copy, he hadn't expected it to be this outstanding. When he pressed the counter stop button just now, he felt like his heart was going to stop. 8 seconds, that was 50 cat demons, not 50 ants. Ha 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 ha. This must be the nine-tailed fox's natural skill. Look guys, with such a powerful beast pet. Wang Chuan it's a waste if he doesn't enter our magic academy. The beautiful teacher of the magic academy was slapping her thighs in excitement at this moment. And a flush welled up on her face. It was too beautiful. Having just signed a contract, a single skill went down and was able to charm 50 cat demons into killing each other. This nine-tailed fox, this one dust, was simply too much of a match for their magic academy. However, what these teachers didn't know was that the shock that Wang Dust had brought to them had only just begun. Second wave, the hideous dragon sprayed out a mouthful of dragon breath, and the group was destroyed. Third wave, endless ice froze the ground. Regimentation. Fourth wave, pink light enveloped the entire field. Regiment destroyed. When the number above the grid where Wang Xuan was, representing the number of waves of the beast tide he was holding onto, turned into eight, the entire square of Yanlong University had become silent. Hiss. The only sound that could be heard was the sound of sucking in cool air, as if they had negotiated a deal, resounding one after another in waves. At this moment, everyone was dumbfounded, and the expressions on their faces were incomparably shocked. It was now less than three minutes since Wang Chen had entered the secret realm copy, and he had broken through to the eighth wave. Was this surely not a joke? What kind of demon is this? Less than three minutes to break into the eighth wave. When I was at the end of my freshman year, I only broke into the fifth wave in three minutes. This is too terrifying, isn't it? I was at level 70 at the second turn. Nima, even if I were to go in now, there's no way I'd be able to hit the 8th wave so quickly. The veteran students on the sidelines began to doubt their lives, especially those sophomores, who couldn't help but roar up to the sky. 3 minutes, breaking into the 8th wave. This was an achievement they couldn't even imagine. I'm afraid that amongst our sophomores, only those guys ranked in the top 30 can achieve this terrifying result, right? Luckily, we can't enter the silver level secret realm copies after the third turn, or else our ranking would be trampled under the feet of a freshman who just enrolled in the school, and we would lose our face. This Wang Chuan, I'm afraid he's going to break the record set by the white god back then. Amidst the murmurs, the expressions of all the older students were extremely shocked, especially when they heard the words white god, they were shocked and at the same time, their eyes were incomparably complicated. White god, by Zidding, the dragon country's renowned eighth turn powerhouse. One of the commanders of the Dragon Country's war zone in the battlefield of the heavens, and the most outstanding graduate of Yanlong University. Although he had long since graduated and left the school, he still possessed quite a number of admirers at Yanlong University, especially because he had created quite a few records that were peaks that were difficult for many students to surpass. Nowadays, the record for clearing the Silver Level Secret Realm Copy Beast Tide Impact was held by Bai Zitting. Back then, when he was still a second turn, he had cleared the Silver Level Secret Realm copy Beast Tide Impact in 5 minutes. This record had been held at Yanlong University for 20 years, and no one had been able to shake it. Today, this person had appeared, and he was also a freshman. How could this not cause the many veteran students to have mixed feelings? 2 minutes and 36 seconds. On the high stage, the Combat Academy's teacher Zhao pinched the counter deftly, his lips trembling as he spoke. It was just a simple 6 words, but it's represented a meaning that shocked everyone the current record holder for the highest clearance in the secret realm. Boss Bai took 3 minutes and 6 seconds when he entered the 8th wave. Wang Chen advanced this achievement by 30 seconds. The 5-minute record is definitely untenable. He might be able to compress the time to less than 4 minutes. 
On the side, the beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy's expression was similarly no better. Compared to those veteran students, she was more able to feel the terror of this achievement. After all, these old students knew by zitting through his deeds and the records left behind in the school. She, on the other hand, had been in the same class as by zitting back then, and had lived under the shadow of the other party's invincibility for the three years she had been in the school, plus the one year she had practiced in the battlefield of the heavens. Now that a new student was able to challenge Bai Zitting's record, even if this person was Wang Duan, whom she was incredibly optimistic about, it still made her feel extremely unbelievable. Bai Zitting, that was a strong eighth turner in his prime, with the prospect of being a ninth turner or even a god sealer in the future. Teacher Sun Miao thought of a certain eye candy guy at this moment, and the expression on her face became extremely strange. When I came back from the battlefield of the heavens, Bai Shui also swore to me that the record he left at Yanlong University would not be broken by anyone for another 10 years in the future. I also wonder how he'll feel when this news reaches his ears? I guess his face will be swollen. While the outside world was shaking abnormally, Wang Chen was quietly waiting for the 8th wave of the monster army to arrive. To be honest, the first 7 waves of monsters didn't make him feel any pressure at all. Without even making a move, the two guys, Xiao Bingcheng and Crispy, easily took care of them all. You too. Can't you leave me one to move my muscles? Thinking that he had been watching the show from the side, Wang Chuan could not help but give his beast pets a grudging look. It's really so angry. You guys have solved the monsters and I'm playing soy sauce on the side. Don't I, as the master, want to lose face? Woo. Next time for sure. The little ones glanced at him and coped with a cry without any sincerity. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust rolled his eyes helplessly and rolled up his sleeves, ready to let these two little guys know what it meant to be the master's majesty. However, Roar roar roar, ear-piercing roars rang out as the 8th wave of the monster army arrived at the battlefield. I'll let you two off the hook this time, kicking Bing Qing's thigh, which was thicker than his entire body. Wang Chuan set his eyes on the army of monsters rushing up. The monsters in the 8th wave were 50 trolls. These guys that had an indeterminate blood relationship with the sinking devil were over 5 meters in size and were so green that they glowed. The hideous fangs, and the bone spikes that surfaced on the surface of their bodies had sharp, cold tips that flashed. Monster, Troll Warrior, Level, 60, Fighting Style, Melee, Skills, Crash, Mad Trample, Wild Howl, Type, Normal, Monster, Troll Warrior, Level, 60, Fighting Style, Melee, Skills, Wild Charge, Crash, Mad Trample, Wild Howl, Type, Elite. Unlike the previous waves, 10 of the 50 trolls flickered with a faint blue light under the sweep of the detection technique. These 10 guys were exactly the elite monsters that the professionals often hung on to. They were different from mutations, where mutations were similar to genetic mutations and wild monsters would awaken special abilities, and elites were strengthened on top of the ordinary. Normally, at the same level, elite wild monsters were about twice as strong as normal wild monsters. In addition to these three types, there were two other special types amongst the wild monsters, which were the chiefs and lords, which were the big and small bosses that professionals often referred to. However, this type of wild monster Wang Dust had not encountered yet, so he left it aside for now. Roar roar roar, after the 50 trolls surrounded them, they immediately attacked without hesitation. Thud thud thud, the sound of footsteps shook the sky, causing the ground to tremble. It's always my turn to strike this time. Taking advantage of the fact that Bing Ching and Crispy did not act, Wang Chuan's figure flashed and directly rushed up with an instant sword. Swish, with a quick burst of the instant sword, Wang Chuan directly appeared in front of a troll in the next second. Roar, seeing the human that appeared in front of him, the troll let out a frantic roar and opened its mouth, wanting to swallow the human that had been delivered to its door. However just at this moment, a cold light flashed before its eyes, and it suddenly felt a pain between its neck, before it could think about what had happened. It saw the dim sky, and a headless body. Is that my body? The troll only had time for one thought to surface before its consciousness completely fell into dimness. At the same time, Wine Dust, who had killed a troll with a sword, did not stop, and with one foot on the ground, his body instantly rushed out again. Second strike. He once again blocked in front of a troll and swung his sword to chop off its head. Roar roar roar. Only after doing this did the surrounding trolls charging up react. They looked at the human who had instantly decapitated two of their companions. And one by one, they let out a brutal roar and frantically surrounded. Wanting to tear this human into pieces. Aang. But their footsteps had just moved when a high dragon roar suddenly surfaced in their ears. Before the sound fell a coldness that seemed to be able to freeze the soul enveloped their bodies. Hoo 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 hoo. Bing Ching swung her wings and flew into midair, and without hesitation, she spat out a cold ice spit towards the trolls in her master's periphery. Rumbling, 
The berserk power tore apart the ten trolls closest to Wang Chen in an instant. Seeing these guys turn into crumbs and scatter, a bitter smile appeared on Wang Dust's face as he dispersed the windblade spell he had prepared in his hand, robbing monsters from him. The master? This little fellow, Ding Chang, was really treasonous, while he was belly wandering in his mind. Crispy, who was lying on top of his head, chirped unwillingly. Wah! With the sound, a peach pink aura instantly enveloped all the remaining trolls present. Roar roar roar! With frantic roars, the remaining trolls aimed their scarlet eyes at their companions, then attacked without hesitation. There were even two trolls that directly pressed their companions to the ground and explored the continuation of life. That picture was simply spicy. Whoosh! Waving his hand and throwing out two giant wind blades, chopping those trolls into two pieces. Wang Dust yanked the nine-tailed heavenly fox Crispy off his head with some toothache. He hadn't paid attention to the first few waves just now, and only remembered when he saw those two trolls just now that the nine-tailed sky fox's charming skill not only had a chaotic effect that would kill each other, but it also had lust. If this was used against someone in the middle of a battle and triggered this effect, the picture, it was simply unimaginable. Oh who? The little guy looked at his master with a puzzled expression. After you, looking at the little guy who was full of innocence, Wang Dust opened his mouth and finally did not say anything more. The power of this skill was obvious to all. If one didn't use it because of a little bit of special effect, it was simply a brain fart. It's fine. Good job. Patting Crispy's head, Wang Chuan raised his eyes to look around. Under the combined efforts of Crispy and Bing Cheng, there weren't many trolls left in the 8th wave. Come on, only 4 of the 50 trolls have been snatched. Sighing, Wang Dust felt that he still had a long way to go. Crap, this picture is too hot. This is something we can watch without paying money? When the image of the trolls reproducing appeared, a strange cry rang out from the crowd outside who were glued to the screen. Most of the older students, especially the girls, lowered their heads with reddened faces, but there were also some guys with excited expressions on their faces. The nine-tailed fox's skill is too terrifying, isn't it? Undifferentiated self-mutilation. Plus this effect now. Who would dare to fight against Wang Dust in the future? Even if they win the fight, I'm afraid they'll have to die socially. When those few trolls were killed, the older students looked at each other, and their faces all became incredibly strange at the same time. The impact of that scene just now was simply too strong. It was somewhat difficult for them to imagine how they would respond if it fell on them. It was no longer a matter of winning or losing. You can't mess with anyone but Wang Dust. At this moment, the same thought could not help but surface in the hearts of all the old students. And at this moment, on the high platform of the square, the teachers watching the battle each had an expression that was incomparably strange. The strength of the nine-tailed heavenly fox made them shudder as well. Shouldn't that us change the rules for the back part of the ring? Teacher Sun Miao's face reddened as he tapped the ground with the magic staff in his hand to attract the crowd's attention. Wang Chuan's nine-tailed fox, if it was in the ring that he used that move just now on his opponent, I'm afraid that our Yanlong University's reputation would be ruined. That's right. The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy nodded with palpitating heart. The impact of that scene just now was just too great for her. If there were any students who had been hit by this move and were also unfortunate enough to be superimposed with the lustful state, I'm afraid that they would directly collapse. It wasn't just a physical blow, but also a destruction of the soul. How about this? Let's privately give Wang Chen some compensation. And in the second part of the ring battle, don't let him bring the nine-tailed fox onto the stage. Anyway, with the strength he's showing right now, Having one less beast pet out on the field won't have any effect on his ranking. On the side, the combat academy's teacher Zhao thought about it and made a proposal. Good. As soon as his words fell, the surrounding teachers nodded in agreement. Then it's decided. Seeing this, the referee, teacher Sun Miao, followed suit and nodded. Then his gaze was somewhat shocked as he looked at the upright figure on the screen. In the freshman ranking battle, it was unanimously decided by all the teachers to limit the strength. In the more than 600 years since Yanlong University was founded, this was unique for Wang Chen. At this moment, while the hearts of the people in the outside world were shocked, in the secret copy, Wang Dust had already collided with the ninth wave of monsters. Bang bang bang. Amidst the violent vibrations, 20 elite monsters with 30 ordinary monsters surrounded Wang Dust from all directions. These monsters were not as huge with as the previous trolls, similar to normal adult size. However, being smaller did not mean that their strength had gotten weaker. The aura of these guys was even stronger. And the strength of those ordinary monsters was comparable to that of the elite trolls of the 8th wave. However, in response, the expression on Wang Chen's face still did not fluctuate in the slightest. In front of the two ancestral god beasts, it made no difference if more of these miscellaneous fish-like monsters came. Boom boom boom. The two little guys continuously launched their attacks, and almost in the blink of an eye, they left the monsters that had rushed up dead or wounded by more than half. 
Soon, with Wang Dust following behind to make up for it, the 50 monsters in the ninth wave were all crushed. Ding! Congratulations to Challenger Wang Chuan for clearing the Beast Tide Impact Secret Realm copy. Please wait for the settlement. In the Secret Realm copy, when the last monster of the ninth wave was pierced through the heart by Wang Chuan's sword, the mechanical beeps of the Secret Realm copy sounded in his ears at the same time. Done. Shaking off the blood on his long sword, Wang Chuan had an expectant expression on his face. This was a silver level Secret Realm copy, and there was no telling what kind of rewards it would bring him, while silently pondering in his heart. The mechanical beep of the Secret Realm copy sounded once again. Ding! Settlement complete! Congratulations to Challenger Wang Dust for perfectly clearing the Secret Realm copy Beast Tide Impact. Current Secret Realm copy difficulty, Hell Level. Time to pass, 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Overall score, SSS, highest. Congratulations to Challenger Wang Duan. Your score has successfully broken the record for the Silver Level Secret World copy of Beast Tide Impact, and the settlement reward has been increased by 1 level. Broke the record? After listening to the beeping in his ears, a flash of surprise appeared in Wang Chen's eyes. He expected that his score would be good, but he didn't expect that he would be able to break the Secret Realm copy's clearance record. However, the surprise in his heart soon disappeared, and an expression of excitement appeared on his face. The settlement reward was raised by one level. It seemed like this time, he was going to have an extra reward. Ice clear crisp you two come over here. Let me suck the o chi from you. Greeting the little ones and reaching out to rub his hands on them. Wang Chuan then looked with anticipation in his eyes at the treasure chest that floated in front of him. It was still the same colorful treasure chest as it was during the secret copy of the college entrance exam. However, the luster that shrouded the outside of the treasure chest was a few points denser than that of the college entrance examination secret realm, which seemed to be an omen that the rewards inside would be even more generous. Without hesitation, after sucking in the European chi, Wang Chen directly chose to open the colorful treasure chest. In an instant, dazzling light filled the field of vision and one item emerged one by one. As the scrying technique swept through, the attribute information of these items appeared in front of Wang Chuan's eyes. 10 million experience points, 200 free attribute points, 200 free skill points, platinum grade equipment, sawtooth longsword, platinum grade equipment, enchanted ring, great a magic material, sharp horn of the sharp-edged demon. After checking the properties of these things, Wang Chen subconsciously held his breath. Bountiful. It was simply too rich. 10 million experience points split into three equal parts and absorbed, directly allowed his level to pop up to 45 at this time, and Bing Ching's level, too, was directly raised to level 40, the limit of the current growth cycle. As for the nine-tailed Sky Fox Crispy, because of its low level, it had even directly risen 15 levels in a row. In just an instant, Wang Chuan could feel an even greater power surging through his body. This feeling almost intoxicated him. Without hesitation, he directly opened the attribute panel of himself and the little ones. Ice Ching, 4 dimensional attributes, strength 2200, wisdom 2200, physique 2200, agility 2200, without any buffs, equipment, or props to enhance it. Crispy, 4 dimensional attributes, strength 1050, wisdom 1750, physique 1050, agility 1150, without any buffs, equipment, props. The two little ones 4 dimensional attributes had both seen an explosion, especially Crispy, who had nearly doubled all but the wisdom attribute and driven by their four-dimensional attributes. Wang Dust's strength also received a boost after he evenly distributed the 200 free attribute points. Wang Dust, strength, 520 plus 260 points. Wisdom, 590 plus 10 points. Physique, 520 plus 150 points. Agility, 530 plus 5 plus 170 points. Unassigned attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 350 points. Unassigned skill points, 350 points. Not counting the equipment enchantment. All of his single attributes had now broken through the 500 point mark. If he ran into Hua Qing University's Zhou Zibo again at this time, he would definitely be able to send the other party flying with a single sword strike when he used his instant sword. As for skill points, Wang Chen still planned to continue saving them. He still had the qualification to enter the school's treasury to pick a skill book that he hadn't used yet, and would decide on the distribution of these skill points after picking the skill of his choice, waving his fist in satisfaction. Wang Chuan moved his gaze and placed it on top of several other heavy rewards. Great a magic material, the sharp horn of a sharpshooter demon. There was no need to say more about this one. The market value of A-rank materials were all worth more than $10 million, and selling them could bring back blood to his small treasury. Putting away the materials, Wang Dust rested his gaze expectantly on the last two pieces of equipment. Platinum grade equipment. This was definitely the highest grade equipment he had seen since he grew up. If it wasn't for the record-breaking, I'm afraid that these two pieces of platinum-grade equipment wouldn't have appeared at all. 
The value of these two pieces of equipment was estimated to exceed hundreds of millions of gold coins when placed on the market, and there was still a price on the market because this equipment was produced by the secret realm copy and was completely affixed to Wang Dust's rank. In this day and age, it was almost impossible to find low-grade platinum equipment on the market. Treasures of this grade had long been pocketed by the major powers, ready to be used by their respective offspring. Without hesitation, Wang Chuan directly performed a scrying technique and landed on the two platinum artifact equipment. Equipment, Sawtooth Longsword. Type, Weapon. Grade, Platinum. Level Limit, 45. Attributes, Strength plus 200. Physique plus 100. Speed plus 100. Attribute, Strength plus 200. Physique plus 100. Speed plus 100. Enchanted Effects, I, Increase Attack Damage by 10%. 2. Attached Bleeding Effect. Wounds caused by the serrated longsword are weakened by 50% when healed. Equipment, Enchanted Ring. Type, The Jewelry. Grade, Platinum. Level Limit, 45. Attributes, Strength plus 100. Physique plus 100. Agility plus 100. Wisdom plus 100. Enchantment Effect, I, Increase the Speed of Physical Strength Recovery by 20%. Weapon Enchantment, Temporarily attach an enchantment effect to the weapon to increase the attack range, duration, 10 minutes, once per day. Not bad not bad. After reading the attributes of the two pieces of equipment, Wine Dust was filled with delight. Both pieces of equipment were quite strong, and their appearance was very much in line with his aesthetic, especially the sawtooth longsword, which was 2 meters long, with a blade covered in sharp sawtooths. It looked inspiring, and although the enchantment ring was low profile, the enchantment effects it came with made Wang Dust overjoyed, increasing the range of the weapon's attack. This greatly enhanced his means of combat. Putting the two pieces of equipment on, his attributes once again increased and became Strength, 520 plus 530 points. Wisdom, 590 plus 100 points. Physique, 520 plus 350 points. Agility, 530 plus 5 plus 250 points. Just after checking his own attributes that had once again skyrocketed, a spatial force landed on his body. The next second, he and the two little guys, directly disappeared in the middle of the secret copy. 3 minutes and 46 seconds, the square of the Yanlong Academy was silent. Everyone, looking at the time displayed on that already darkened grid of the giant screen, all fell into silence. This was an incomparably terrifying achievement, so terrifying that their worldviews shattered at the first sight. A freshman who had just enrolled in school, Clearing the silver level secret realm copy only took less than 4 minutes. Before today, no one had ever thought that someone would be able to create such a terrifying achievement. The sophomores and juniors who were present to watch the spectacle all felt some difficulty breathing at this moment. When they were freshmen, even at the end of their freshman year, the time it took them to clear the silver level secret realm copy of Beast Tide Impact was more than twice as long as Wang Chen's time at this moment. The strange silence lasted for an unknown period of time. And it was not until Wang Chuan's figure was teleported out of the secret realm copy and stood in the center of the square that someone came back to their senses and made a trembling sound. Fake. Right? Am I dreaming? How could this Wang Dust have such terrifying strength? Even if he contracted two divine beast level beast pets, he shouldn't be like this? That was a record once set by the white god. And he broke it so easily? Could it be that Yanlong University is going to have another terrifying genius who dominates the school in the lower grades? What a demon. Looking at that upright figure. The crowd of onlookers let out a raging tidal wave of chatter. The expressions on everyone's faces were extremely unbelievable. All of this was simply beyond their imagination. And at this time on the viewing platform, the teachers of the three major colleges of Yanlong University had the same expression. Although they had expected it, they were still extremely shocked when Wang Chuan's achievement really broke the record. This kind of terrifying potential was something they had only seen in their lives, even if they had taught numerous geniuses over the years. This kid, his future achievements will definitely be higher than Bai Shui. The referee, teacher Sun Miao, said with some shock, at this moment, Wang Chen was already standing in the center of the square, while those students who entered the secret realm copy at the same time as him, the fastest progressing Zhao Li as well as the other provincial top students such as Zhou Wu, had only proceeded to the fifth wave. The gap between the two sides was simply self-evident. The surrounding crowd, hearing this, couldn't help but nod their heads while their gazes shook as they looked towards the center of the square, the upright young man with a calm face. At this moment, they were not only shocked by the strength displayed by Wang Chen, but they were also surprised by the calmness of this teenager's mind. To do such an astonishing feat and still be so calm, this kind of mentality, I'm afraid that many of them would not be able to achieve it. I'll go and talk to him about the ring match. So you guys first think about what kind of compensation you should make to him. Sun Miao looked back at the crowd on the viewing platform. Then with a single movement of his feet, he directly appeared in the square. 
Good day teacher. Seeing teacher Sun Miao who suddenly appeared in front of him, Wang Duan politely greeted him. Humph. Sun Miao nodded at his words, then said in a complicated tone, Mr. Wang Chuan, because of the nine-tailed fox's special ability, the teachers of the school hope that in the next ring match, you will be able to take the field without her. Hearing teacher Sun Miao's words, Wang Chuan froze slightly, and his expression became a bit odd. It seemed that Crispy's great display of power in the secret realm copy had scared these teachers. Don't worry teacher, I know how light it is. After thinking about it, he directly nodded his head and said, for the next ring match, Crispy won't be on the field. Crispy? At those words, Sun Miao froze, then his eyes looked at the nine-tailed fox on Wang Chen's shoulder. Was this her name? It was rather nice to hear. Thinking in his heart, Sun Miao nodded, satisfied with Wang Chen's answer. Don't worry, the school will compensate you and will definitely not let you suffer. Upon hearing this, a smile appeared on Wang Chuan's face. There were still benefits to take? This was not bad at all. In fact, there was no need for teacher Sun Miao to say that he didn't intend to let Crispy take the stage in the next ring match. And it wasn't just Crispy. Even Bing Ching he also planned to stay on the spectator stand. These two little guys had pushed all the way across the board in the middle of the secret realm copy. And for the ring match, it was better to leave it to him, the master. Otherwise, wouldn't it be better to let the two little guys steal all the limelight? That's good. We'll make a list of compensations for you to pick later. Now that you are the first to clear the secret realm copy, go to the side to rest and wait first. After explaining to Wang Chen, Sun Miao turned around and returned to the high platform. After she left, Wang Chuan stepped aside and placed his gaze on the giant screen in the sky, searching for the figure of the girl Situyu. Soon, he saw a familiar figure in the grid against the bottom. He only saw Situyu wearing a gorgeous leather armor, holding a longbow and continuously shooting arrows. On her side, there was also a large silver white wolf as big as a calf constantly roaming around, biting off the throat of an approaching monster. It was the legendary great divine beast, the whistling moon silver wolf. With this guy joining the battle, Situyu's results in the secret realm copy were not bad at this point, having already broken through to the fifth wave, and was in the same first echelon as the other province's top students. It seems like this girl should have no problem passing the secret realm copy. After checking Situyu's situation, Wang Chuan was too lazy to check the other's situation and peacefully found a place to tease the two little guys. Five minutes later, the square flashed with light, and a burly figure appeared in the light. It was none other than Zhao Li. At this moment, he was covered in blood, and there was still a rushing battle spirit left in his body, so it was clear that he had experienced a bitter battle. Nine minutes to pass. This is definitely my best score amongst all the new students. The teachers will definitely be greatly shocked. After landing, Zhao Li thought silently in his mind. A smile on his face as he prepared to meet the crowd's awe-inspiring gazes. He had long inquired about it. And most of the best scores in the previous freshman ranking battles for clearing silver level secret realm copies were in the range of 9 to 10 minutes. With this score, he could basically be ranked in the top 20 amongst the past scores. However, when he was complacent, he realized that the eyes of those older students were all extremely strange. And not a single one of them showed any admiration for his achievement at all. Humph. Seeing this scene, Jolly coldly snorted in dissatisfaction, his expression somewhat disdainful. In his opinion, it must have been his own clearance score that was too good, causing these older students to become jealous. A bunch of small-minded guys, is it so hard to admit that others are better than you? Silently thinking in his heart, he shook his head disdainfully, and then prepared to check the other's clearance status. However, right at this moment, his pupils suddenly shrunk, and his eyes somewhat incredulously looked towards a figure at the side of the square. Wang Chen? Why is he here now? Zhao Li's face was filled with disbelief. He thought that he was the first one to pass the secret realm copy, and he had never expected to see other people at this time after he came out. Therefore, at the sight of the upright figure at the edge of the plaza, who was playing around with two beast pets, he directly froze. However, very quickly, a cold smile appeared on Zhao Li's face. Ha ha ha, this guy must have failed to challenge the secret realm copy. He thought of a guess and couldn't help but be in a happy mood. No wonder the teachers all had such strange expressions. They must have seen Wang Chen fail the challenge and felt ashamed of their previous behavior. Thinking in his heart, Zhao Li walked towards Wang Chen with a condescending expression. Failing once is no big deal. Geniuses gather in Yanlong University. It's acceptable that you can dominate elsewhere and disappear into the crowd here. Zhao Li looked at Wang Chen condescendingly, with a preachy look. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen directly froze. What was the situation? He raised his head and looked at Zhao Li with odd eyes. This guy held his chin high as if he was a peacock showing off his feathers. That. Are you mistaken about something? In the spirit of basic politeness, Wang Chen asked somewhat breathlessly. I understand. 
Hearing his words, Zhao Li nodded with a proud face, an expression on his face that saw through everything. I'm not comforting you, but telling you a fact. Coming to Yanlong University where geniuses gather, it's nothing for you to be ordinary. In front of me, there's no need to act so restrained. I'm a very nice person to talk to, Zhao Li said in a light tone. The corner of Wang Chan's mouth twitched a little, his eyes looking oddly at this feel-good guy. Restrained? I'm restrained ah, ha ha ha, this is the first time I've seen this kind of feel-good guy. As expected of a paladin, his brain is filled with muscles. Is he here to be funny? Can you look at what segment you are in before lecturing others? However, before Wang Chen could retort, the surrounding older students who heard Zhao Li's words directly burst out laughing, with a very contemptuous expression on their faces. It's really funny. What level do you have? Don't you know in your own heart? Having used nine minutes to pass the secret realm copy, what qualifications do you have to stand with the record-breaking Wang Chen? Hearing the laughter around him, Zhao Li's face swelled red and he looked over viciously. However, these older students were all veterans, having polished themselves for at least a year amongst the school. None of them were afraid of him, and all of them glared back fiercely. A bunch of small-minded guys, just know how to be jealous of my excellence. Sooner or later, I'll beat you all down. Jolly thought silently in his heart and turned around to pat Wang Chen's shoulder. Student Wang Dust, you shouldn't hang out with these mentally twisted guys who are only jealous, or you won't achieve much in the future. Put, at these words, Wang Chuan directly failed to hold back his laughter. This was really a great cleverness. Where did he get his confidence from? Seeing this scene, Zhao Li had a somewhat unhappy expression on his face. However, he didn't say much and shook his head to look at the giant screen in the sky. He had wanted to recruit Wang Chuan under him through this contact. After all, for a commoner to win the top prize in Far River Province, his own talent was outstanding. But unfortunately, Wang Chen, like everyone else, could not openly accept that others were better than him. Alas, nowadays, there are so few people who are as broad-minded as me. Zhao Li sighed as his eyes scanned the giant screen ready to see if there were any outstanding guys. The son of a powerful family like him, in addition to seeking his own advancement when he entered Yanlong University, he would also focus on expanding his network to absorb talent for his family. However, when his gaze swept across the giant screen, his expression directly froze. Crap. Surprisingly, someone has cleared the level faster than me? Which god did this tea? As his line of sight fell on a grid in the upper left corner of the giant screen, Jolly directly exclaimed in shock, his eyes incomparably shocked. Although he couldn't see the passage time, the SSS passage score displayed on the grid was incomparably blinding. Moreover, this grid was also being next to his grid, and the 9-minute score on it had not dissipated yet. Which other god could it be? Isn't he standing right next to you? You also don't look at what segment you are at. Are you also worthy of standing with this great god? Right at this moment, amongst the veteran students who were watching, someone kindly reminded Zhao Li. The voice fell and directly caused a burst of laughter in the crowd. What? You did that? Hearing this voice, Zhao Li turned his head sluggishly and looked at the calm-faced teenager beside him. Aha! Looking at Zhao Li, who had a skeptical look on his face, Wang Chen nodded his head flatly. Swish! In an instant, Zhao Li's face directly filled with blood and became red, only feeling that his face was on fire. He himself had just now, actually flaunted in front of Wang Chen because of his 9-minute clearance score? At this moment, thinking about his previous actions, Zhao Li only felt incomparably humiliated and could not wait to immediately find a place to drill into. Damn it! It was too humiliating. A strong sense of frustration overwhelmed Zhao Li at this moment, and the sight of the people around him made him feel like he had been abandoned by the entire world. Seeing Zhao Li standing stagnantly in place, Wang Chen sighed and went forward to pat his shoulder to comfort him. Don't be discouraged. You're already very good. Nine minutes is better than all the other freshmen. As long as you work hard in the future, you might have the hope of seeing my back. Hearing his words, Zhao Li's body trembled. I'm excellent, as long as you work hard, you can see your back? Are you comforting, or are you blowing people away? Zhao Li shut himself up. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen nodded with satisfaction, pleased with the effect of his persuasion. Look, this guy's body was trembling with excitement. As time passed, the new students who had entered the secret realm copy passed one after another, and their figures appeared in the square. Among all of them, besides Wang Chuan, the demon, there were eight people who had successfully entered the 10-minute period and obtained an SSS clearance evaluation. This included Zhao Li Zhou Wu, a few provincial top students, and Si Tu Yu, who had obtained a divine beast beast pet. And it had to be said that these new students were worthy of being geniuses selected from all over the Dragon Kingdom. The others, although not as good as the first echelon, had gotten a minimum SS rating in the hellish difficulty copy. After everyone had finished their secret copy, teacher Sun Miao, 
who was the referee, stood directly in front of all the new students after waving his wand to dispel the giant screen in the sky. The first part of the replica clearance is over for all, and everyone's results have been recorded in the school's database respectively. The rankings will now be announced, as well as the opening of the second part of the ring, Yanlong University Square. After Mr. Sun Niao's words fell, a magical force immediately rose from his body, and a light screen displaying the initial freshman rankings appeared in front of everyone's eyes. First place, Wang Duan. Time to pass, 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Overall performance score, SSS level. Second place, Zhao Li. Clearance time, 9 minutes. Comprehensive performance score, SSS level. Tenth place, Sit to You. Clearance time, 9 minutes and 56 seconds. Overall performance score, SSS level. Eleventh place, Zheng Tai. Clearance time, 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Overall performance score, SSS level. Fiftieth place, Wu Jingling. Clearance time, 13 minutes and 25 seconds. Overall performance score, SSS level. Hiss. After all the freshmen's expectant gazes landed on the list, the air around the entire square was nearly sucked out. What the hell? The first, Wine Dust, had cleared the secret realm copy in only 3 minutes and 46 seconds? Are you kidding me? This was more than twice as compressed as Jolly, who was ranked second. For a moment, all the freshmen's expressions were filled with shock and disbelief. What's the situation? Standing at the very front of the crowd, Zhou Wu and the few others were also all confused in the wind. They had been prepared for Zhao Li's ranking and results being better than theirs. After all, as a paladin, Zhao Li had a greater advantage than them in the beast tide impact secret realm copy. However, they never expected that Zhao Li would not get the first place. And the one who got the first place was actually Wang Chen. Teacher, I'm not convinced. This result isn't normal at all. Zhou Wu couldn't help but stand out and said loudly towards Sun Miao, for Wang Chen to get first place. And with such a horrifying score, he simply could not accept it. After his words fell, several of the other provincial top scorers around him followed suit and spoke in agreement. That's right, Mr. Sun Miao. Did Wang Chen cheat in the secret realm copy? Passing in 3 minutes and 46 seconds, Yanlong University hasn't had such a horrifying performance since it was founded. I demand to see the video footage of him in the secret realm copy. The scene, in an instant, became chaotic. Silence. Before Sun Miao could say anything when he heard Zhou Wu and the others. A roar that seemed like a lion's roar overpowered all the clamor. Combat Academy's teacher Zhao stepped forward in large strides and stood directly in front of teacher Sun Miao. Rumbling, his berserk aura rose up, and a terrifying oppressive force fell on all the freshmen. In an instant, the few people who were clamoring were as if they were ducks with their necks pinched. The words coming out of their mouths coming to a screeching halt. You guys really disappoint me. Teacher Zhao's eyes swept over everyone present like electricity, a raging rage rising in his gaze. Under the watchful eyes of all of our teachers, in the middle of a dangerous secret realm copy, you guys would actually think that someone would be able to cheat? Teacher Zhao's roar was like thunder, shaking the air in the square. It could be seen that he was truly enraged. The performance of these new students was simply too disappointing to him, especially Zhou Wu, the provincial top scholar of each province, which made him feel unbearable. It was even if their strength wasn't as good as others, they even had such a fragile state of mind only questioning and shouting in the face of those who were stronger than them. Such guys, how could they hold up the spine of Yanlong University in the future? I can responsibly say that student Wang Chuan's achievements were completely fought out by his strength punch by punch. If any of you are unconvinced, you can challenge him in the next ring battle and tell him that you are better than him. If you guys can't do that, then obediently shut your mouths. Teacher Zhao heavily stamped his foot on the ground, and the power drumming from his body instantly condensed an ancient ring covering an area of a hundred square feet in front of him. From now on, each and every one of you can take the initiative to challenge a student who holds a ranking on the list, and the person being challenged has no right to refuse. The winning party will directly obtain the ranking of the other party. There are no rules in the ring. As long as you are strong, you can even kill the other party directly. The school's medical team is always on standby to save you even if your brains are beaten out. Since you guys don't agree with the rankings, it's up to you to see if you have the courage to fight for the rankings and fight to the death. I declare that the second part of the ring battle of the freshman ranking battle will now begin. Teacher Zhao swept his gaze over the crowd in a morose manner and announced the rules of the ring battle in an incomparably cold tone. Boom! When his words fell, the atmosphere amongst the freshmen in the square instantly became tense. These proud sons of heaven from all the provinces of the Dragon Kingdom were all aroused by Teacher Zhao's words, and each of them looked around with sharp eyes, searching for their challenge targets, and standing in front of the freshmen. Zhou Wu and the others were also the first to place their eyes on Wang Chen. Zhao Li, are you going to the first battle or am I? Zhou Wu had a sardonic smile on his face as he asked Zhao Li, who was at the side. 
His teacher's words just now made him feel that he had been greatly insulted, and he wanted to wash away the humiliation with a victory. Feel free, I don't intend to get into this mess. Hearing his words, Jolly took a step back with a strange expression, looking as if he intended to stand by and watch. He wasn't stupid. Wang Chen was able to hit a terrifying score of 3 minutes and 46 seconds in the Secret Realm copy. His strength was definitely beyond imagination. The anger of the Combat Academy's teacher just now was also good proof of this. Being second is also quite good. Thinking in his heart, Jolly couldn't help but sympathize with Zhou Wu. He had a feeling that this fellow would probably be miserable in a while. Good. Since you're not going up, then I'll be rude about the first ranking. At those words, Zhou Wu glanced disdainfully at Zhao Li, turned around and popped directly into the ring. Teacher, I want to challenge the number one ranked Wang Dust. As the words fell, in an instant, the eyes of everyone present were all placed on the upright figure in the middle of the crowd, regarding the gawking of the people around him. Wang Chan acted calmly. Wait a moment. He faintly spoke towards Zhou Wu before turning around and walking over to sit to you. You watch these two little ones for me first. Aren't you taking Bing Ching and the girls on? Sit to you, who hadn't yet reacted from Wang Chan's horrifying achievement, received the two beast pets with a confused expression. Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan smiled and turned towards the ring. No need. These two little guys have made enough of a splash. Next is my personal performance time. Keep an eye on them. When I finish the ring battle, there will be a reward for you. Wow. When Wang Dust jumped onto the ring alone, the atmosphere in the square was instantly detonated. Crazy, right? He's a giant imperial beast master who went to the ring alone without a beast pet? This is too arrogant. He doesn't think that with his own strength, he can beat the 60th level Zhou Wu. Does he? There was a lot of discussion amongst the new students, and the expressions on everyone's faces were extremely dismayed, and they were very puzzled by Wang Chen's actions. As everyone knew, whether it was an ordinary royal beast master or a special profession mega royal beast master, at low levels, their entire strength was in the body of their beast pet. Especially before the beast pet entered the second growth cycle, when an imperial beast master of the same level touched other professions of the same level, it was like eggs touching stones. Without a beast pet, they would be directly beaten by their opponents. All the new students couldn't understand why Wang Chen would make such a choice. The expressions on the faces of the older students who were watching at the moment were also filled with shock and incredulity. Wang Chuan, he's too confident here, isn't he? Even though he put up a terrifying pass in the secret realm copy, the ones who did it were almost the giant dragon and the nine-tailed fox, and he didn't contribute much output at all. There's a good show to watch in this next battle. I thought it would be this Zhou Wu who would be unilaterally hung by the giant dragon, but I didn't realize that Wang Dust had chosen such a surprising way of appearing. I'll put up 500 credits, betting that Wang Dust will fall on his ass this time due to his arrogance. In the eyes of all the older students, Wang Dust's choice at this moment was simply like losing his mind. When facing a royal beast master, the optimal way to fight was to first resolve the royal beast master's beast pet before resolving its owner. This was the common knowledge of almost all professionals in Blue Star. And Wang Dust, as a giant imperial beast master, gave up his greatest advantage and chose to face the challenge with his own strength. This was simply no different from eggs touching stones. One must know that Zhou Wu was now level 60, and Wang Chuan was a full 15 levels away from him. With an attribute gap of 15 levels, even if Wang Chuan had two divine beast level beast pets, the feedback attributes would not be able to be brought closer. This kid, and at this time on the viewing platform, the expressions on the faces of the teachers of the three major academies on the viewing platform were somewhat crying and laughing. They had negotiated for Wang Chen to go on the field without the nine-tailed fox, but it turned out that this kid was good. Not only did he not bring the nine-tailed fox, even the giant dragon stayed off the field. What confidence! This kid is actually planning to deal with Zhou Wu without relying on a beast pet. Just by his own strength? What do you guys say? Can he beat Zhou Wu? At this moment, teacher Sun Miao sat on his chair and couldn't help but open his mouth to ask the others. The chances of winning are not very high. After all, Wang Chuan is just at level 45 now, and there is a 15 level difference between him and Zhou Wu. On the side, Combat Academy teacher Zhao, with a somewhat sullen expression, spoke up. He now somewhat regretted agreeing to the proposal of letting Wang Chuan not bring the nine-tailed fox into the arena earlier. Zhou Wu. Although he had previously evaluated him as having a heart that was not working, his strength was still noteworthy. The level reached the second turn of level 60, but also the special occupation of cold swordsman, attack with control, touching the opponent whose attributes are not as good as his own, and even able to control the opponent directly to death. Teacher Sun Miao, are you conveying our meaning wrongly? We told him not to bring the nine-tailed fox, we didn't tell him not to bring the giant dragon? The beautiful teacher from the Magic Academy couldn't help but look at Sun Miao and ask, 
She had a feeling that there wasn't some kind of mistake in this. I made it clear to him. Upon hearing this, Sun Miao shook his head with a bitter smile. He understood it very well at that time as well. And I didn't expect him to make such a choice in the end. Now I only hope that Wang Chen recognizes his shortcomings after losing and brings his beast pet on next. While there was a lot of discussion outside the arena, and an extreme lack of understanding of Wang Chuan's choice, the ring was filled with a similarly dismayed expression on Wu's face as he looked at his peer who was slowly walking up. You're actually not going to bring a beast pet to the ring? He felt that he had been insulted. For a royal beast master to fight against someone without using a beast pet, this was as ridiculous as a warrior going into battle without a gun. Against you, I'm more than enough on my own. Letting the two little ones come out, that's bullying you. Hearing Zhou Wu's words, Wang Chuan indifferently spread his hands truthfully, I've never bullied anyone. You, Zhou Wu's eyes instantly turned red, bursting out with anger that looked like substance. Too arrogant. I'd like to see what you, a royal beast master who doesn't use a beast pet, has the backbone to be so arrogant and cocky? After this battle, I will replace your number one ranking and step on your arrogant ass in the mud. Speaking icily under his breath, Zhou Wu slowly took out an azure-colored long sword. As soon as this long sword appeared, the temperature in the ring instantly dropped significantly. Clearly, this was a magical equipment of a notable grade. Teacher, I'm ready. He stared at Wang Chuan with icy eyes, ready to attack at any time. On the opposite side, Wang Chuan's eyes lit up when he saw the long sword in Zhou Wu's hand. An opponent with a sword. This was quite to his liking. He then nodded to Teacher Zhao, who was in charge of the ring battle and waved his hand to take out the exaggeratedly shaped sawtooth longsword. Both sides take their positions, count down 5 seconds. Seeing both sides ready, Teacher Zhao, who had some helplessness in his heart, opened his mouth and read the seconds. At the same time, buzz buzz buzz, bright magical light flashed around the ancient ring, and in an instant, four light curtains rose up and intersected in the sky. An incomparably sturdy magic barrier just enveloped the ring. This magic barrier, on the one hand, was to prevent the aftershocks of the opposing students' attacks from falling outside the arena and injuring people, and on the other hand, it was to prevent the outside from affecting the play of the students in the ring. As the magic barrier was completed, Mr. Zhao's voice reading the seconds came to an end. 3, 2, 1, the sparring match begins. As teacher Zhao's words fell, Zhou Wu, who was holding a long sword in the ring, instantly moved, only to see him swing his long sword and make a distant chop towards Wang Chuan and in an instant a wave of extreme coldness spread out with his movements. When this cold air touched the ground of the ring, it directly formed a layer of solid ice that surrounded Wang Chen. Frost Fighting Arena, an exclusive skill of the Frost Swordsman. It could form a smooth and incomparable layer of ice on a certain range of ground. This layer of ice could both freeze opponents to affect their actions, while fighting on the ice layer was also able to provide the Ice Cold Swordsman with a 10% movement bonus and attack bonus. Beautiful. After Zhou Wu's attack began, the mouths of the people watching the battle couldn't help but exclaim in praise, especially those older students, many of whom had a somewhat grave expression on their faces. As the saying goes, outsiders look at what's going on, but insiders look at what's going on. This hand of Zhou Wu's was worthy of his ranking as the top scholar of the province. What a fast skill release speed. In the ring, seeing Zhou Wu's sword chopping out a cold tide, with layers of solid ice surging towards him, Wang Chen's eyes could not help but move. This fellow, the level of the skill cold fighting arena, had definitely been raised to a rather high degree. Moreover, I'm afraid that in private, Zhou Wu had practiced it thousands of times. Rather, it can make me slightly more serious. Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chen waved his hand and took out his newly acquired weapon, the serrated long sword. The moment this big guy appeared in his hand, it instantly attracted everyone's attention. Crap, a long sword the size of a door panel? Wang Chuan wouldn't be trying to go head to head with Zhou Wu, a cold ice swordsman. Would he? Is he crazy? The Ice Cold Swordsman is also ranked at the top of the list of melee abilities among special professions. And he, a royal beast master, doesn't think of distancing himself from the other party and harassing them remotely, but even wants to go head to head? All the freshmen and old students who saw the scene couldn't help but murmur, with expressions of disbelief on their faces. It was well known. Beast masters, strong in that they could contract beast pets to fight in concert. Because of the heart to heart connection with the beast pet, when the Imperial Beast Master developed, one person was basically equivalent to a small team. However, even if a Beast Master whose strength had reached a certain level, in battle, he was still acting as an aid to the Beast Pet, casting spells remotely to assist the Beast Pet in attacking. Wang Chuan now even took out his longsword, and a melee profession whose rank was higher than his own, to fight head-on? Wasn't this purely and simply looking for death? Wait, you guys look, just as the crowd was shocked in their hearts. 
someone suddenly reached out and pointed at the ring. Wang Chuan, he, facing the cold ice fighting arena is not even dodging? Is he planning to be controlled by the ice cold fighting field and then just give up? The man spoke in shock, his face showing an expression as if he had seen a ghost. Upon hearing his words, the chattering crowd followed the direction of his finger to look, and the expressions on their faces were all the same. What madness! Originally, they thought that Wang Chen would have some kind of amazing performance when he went on alone, but it turned out, just this? He's just inflated in confidence after contracting two divine beasts, right? Does he really think that he, himself, will be as powerful as the two divine beasts? Once the ice arena is fully deployed, it will slow down all enemies within its range. If we count the boost to the cold ice swordsman, Zhou Wu's current movement speed is equivalent to a 40% increase. It's impossible. Zhou Wu will definitely crush Wang Chen in this battle. Seeing Wang does not moving at all under the attack of the ice cold fighting stadium, the students watching the battle had expressions of disdain on their faces. It was Zhou Wu in the ring who did the same. Are you planning to give up? If you just admit defeat now, I can still let you suffer less physical pain. He waved the long sword in his hand, and when he saw that Wang Chen was not moving, he did not attack immediately. Anyway, the ice fighting arena was about to fully unfold, so if he waited for a while before making his move, he would have a greater advantage then. Give up? On the opposite side, feeling the raging coldness coming at him, Wang Chuan shook his head disdainfully. What kind of joke is this? If you want me to directly admit defeat, you have to have that strength as well. I'm just giving you a chance, Wang Dust said in a flat tone. If you haven't raised your state to its peak and I defeat you early, won't you not recognize the gap between us? At that time, wouldn't it be troublesome for you to come and challenge me when you think that there is a possibility of catching up and your strength has grown? I'm a person who is most afraid of trouble. It's better to completely let you see the gap between us at the very beginning. As he spoke, Wang Chen spread his hands in a very casual manner. You, how dare you look down on me like that? Very well, you will pay a heavy price for your arrogance. Hearing Wang Chuan's words, Zhou Wu instantly became furious, with a hideous expression on his face. Die for me, he roared under his breath, and with a movement of his feet, his body rushed towards Wang Chen like lightning. Whoosh! On his way forward, his long sword was waved, and two icy blue sword chi shot out, one step ahead of him, shooting heavily at Wang Chen. Cold Ice Sword Chi, also an exclusive skill of the Cold Ice Swordsman, while possessing a powerful attack, this sword chi would also explode upon contact with the enemy attaching freezing damage to the enemy. Bang bang. In an instant, two lightning-like cold ice sword chi arrived in front of Wang Chen. However, in the face of these two incoming sword chi, the expression on Wang Chuan's face did not fluctuate in the slightest, and he just casually waved the serrated long sword in his hand. The serrated long sword was nearly 2 meters long and 30 centimeters wide. At this moment, when it moved, it immediately stood in front of Wang Chuan as if it was a shield. Bang bang. In the next second, Two chili sword chi landed on the body of the sawtooth longsword in no particular order, blowing up frost in the sky. The instant this frost first appeared, it surged towards the body of the serrated longsword sword. On the opposite side, when Zhou Wu, who was following closely behind, saw this scene, a flash of joy appeared on his face. He hadn't expected the cold ice sword chi to injure Wang Chuan, and the real goal of sending out this attack was to use the freezing effect caused by the explosion of the cold ice sword chi to once again stack a mitigating status on Wang Chuan's body. You're dead. With his goal accomplished, Zhou Wu, who was on his way forward, clicked the ice under his feet, and his body instantly circled around to Wang Chen's left side as if he were a phantom. And then without hesitation, he stabbed out with his sword. In his opinion, the ice fighting arena had already slowed down Wang Chen by 20%, and now with the addition of the freezing damage of the ice sword chi, Wang Dust definitely would not be able to defend against this sword in time. You arrogant fellow, prepare to experience the feeling of death. At this moment, Zhou Wu couldn't wait to see the image of his own long sword piercing into the neck of this hateful fellow. At the same time, the freshmen and old students watching the battle in the surroundings, seeing this scene, looked at Wang Chen with pity in their eyes. It's hopeless, having been hit with two mitigating statuses on his body. Wang Chuan would not be able to react in time even if he had the greatest skill in the world. One should know that under such an attack, even many of the veteran students present who had reached the third turn in strength would have to cope with it in a frenzy. Wang Chen who had just turned 2 and had only reached level 45, definitely had no room to be spared. And on the viewing platform, many teachers from the three great academies could not help but have a grave expression at this moment. Zhou Wu's such a powerful attack had left them all feeling awestruck. Trouble. I'm afraid this little fellow Wang Chen will have to pay the price for his arrogance. Not bringing a beast pet to the ring and belittling his opponent so much. Let's hope this time will teach him a lesson. 
The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy couldn't help but say softly at this moment. No. However, at this moment, the Combat Academy's teacher Zhao, who was sitting on the side, shook his head. This brat, he hasn't reached the end of the mountain yet. On the viewing platform, hearing Combat Academy teacher Zhao's words, many of the surrounding teachers' gazes looked towards him. Bald Zhao, you don't think that in this situation, Wang Chen still has hope of turning the tide, do you? Wang Chuan's own attributes are not as good as level 60 Zhou Wu's because of the level difference, and now that he's been hit with two mitigating statuses, defeat is already inevitable. The beautiful teacher from the Magic Academy said even more nonchalantly at this moment. However, hearing her words, the expression on teacher Zhao's face remained certain. You're underestimating this little guy too much. You brittle peasants who only hide in the distance and throw skills. How could you possibly feel the burning battle intent rising from Wang Chen? Just watch. He's going to start making moves. Teacher Zhao shook his head disdainfully, looking at the ring with frighteningly bright eyes. Hearing his words, the beautiful teacher from the Magic Academy couldn't be bothered to retort and hurriedly looked towards the ring. At this moment in the ring, the long sword in Zhou Wu's hand stabbed out carrying an ear-piercing wind-breaking sound, and in the blink of an eye, it had already approached Wang Chen's body. Let you pretend to be a bully. This sword of mine will directly pierce through your neck. Let's see if you're still pretending. At this moment, Zhou Wu could even already imagine the image of Wang Chuan's blood spattering. However, at this moment, before his eyes, a pair of sharp eyes suddenly surfaced. Wang Chuan waited until the sword blade was about to come to his body, and the hand holding the serrated long sword moved violently. Bang! In the next second, the serrated long sword was like an instantaneous movement, stopping in front of Zhou Wu's attack. There were the feedback attributes of the Dragon of Extreme Cold and the Nine-Tailed Sky Fox, plus the bonuses provided by the equipment on his body. Wang Chuan's speed was far beyond Zhou Wu's at the moment. Even if he was hit by the reduced benefit state, classmate Zhou Wu, the sword, this is not the way to use it. Looking at the opposite side of Zhou Wu, whose face was livid, with excitement remaining in his eyes, Wang Chuan smiled faintly, and his sawtooth longsword violently turned. There was a stabbing sound. In an instant, Zhou Wu's stabbed sword was deflected by him and stabbed towards his side, and even his body followed. The next second, before Zhou Wu could react, Wang Chen quietly stretched out one of his feet. Bang! Zhou Wu stumbled. His body posture was destroyed, and his entire body directly slumped to the ground in a dog-eat-dog -dog stance. Bang! And because the surface of the ring was covered in solid ice, the guy directly slid out and heavily hit the magic barrier surrounding the ring. Hiss! At this moment, the atmosphere around the ring was suddenly silent, and the cold air was nearly sucked out of the air. The freshmen and veteran students watching the battle were completely appalled. What the hell happened? How could Zhou Wu fall out? What the hell is going on? How did Wang Chuan dodge Zhou Wu's attack? After a short period of silence, violent murmurs resounded around the ring. Everyone hadn't even seen what had happened. Zhou Wu had inexplicably fallen out, and in such a lousy position. However, on the viewing platform, the teachers of the three great academies, who were much stronger, could see the clues. Terrifying reaction speed, liking to get dangerous and deflecting attacks with his sword blade in a split second. This kid was simply born to be a seedling of our combat academy. The combat academy's teacher Zhao slapped his thigh fiercely at this moment, an incomparably excited expression on his face. As he spoke, his eyes swept over the surrounding crowd with a smug look. It was as if he was saying, look at it, it's still me who has the vision. When all of you are looking down on wine dust, I'm the only one who can see how extraordinary he is. This, the teachers on the side, no one paid any attention to the complacent mister, Zhao at all. Each one of them looked at the two figures in the ring with shocked eyes. How could this happen? Crashing against the magic barrier in a sorry state, Zhou Wu climbed to his feet, and his eyes vaguely trembled as he looked at Wang Chen. In the moment just now, he hadn't even been able to figure out what was going on, and he had inexplicably slid to the edge of the ring himself with a dog grabbing shit, although he wasn't injured. But, this wretched look, not much damage, insulting thief, thick humiliation exploded crazily in his heart at this time. Ah. I will kill you. Zhou Wu's mouth let out a roar as if it were a wild beast, and his body pounced on Wang Chen as if it were a cannonball with a whistling strong wind. Bastard. How dare you make me in such a sorry state. Absolutely unforgivable. Rushing closer, Zhou Wu slashed out his sword, aiming straight at Wang Chen's neck. The biting wind came, but Wang Chuan didn't change his face, and the serrated long sword in his hand was picked upwards, directly picking the attacking long sword in Zhou Wu into the air. At the same time, the long sword, which was erected as if it was a doorplate, slammed down again. Zhou Wu, whose body was uncontrollable, had not yet reacted to what was happening when he saw the hardened sword body expanding in front of his eyes. 
The next second, the jagged longsword slapped directly on the face. With a thud, he directly slumped to the ground, the tremendous force causing the entire ring to shake. Hiss. Seeing this scene, the bodies of all the freshmen and old students watching the battle couldn't help but tremble. This force, it hurt them just to look at it. One could imagine how much more damage Shou Wu and the ring would receive. You, the entire person seemed to be sprawled on the ground as if they were five bodies at Wang Chen's feet. Zhou Wu raised his head with difficulty, his gaze shocked and resentful as he looked at the detestable youth in front of him. It's been said that this is not how a sword should be used. Mr. Zhou Wu, your sword is very fast, but it doesn't have the slightest bit of strength. Look, your face is almost turning into the shape of my sword. Looking at Zhou Wu whose face was distorted and whose face was slapped into a big cake, Wang Chen spread his hands and said, You, hearing his words, Zhou Wu's expression became even more distorted, and he didn't even care to wipe the nosebleed coming out of his nose as he climbed up from the ground with one hand on the ground and frantically swung his longsword in an attempt to attack Wang Chuan. However, there was a bang. The sawtooth longsword pressed down on his shoulder as if it was a huge mountain, once again crushing him to the ground. Intense pain hit Zhou Wu's nerves and his eyes turned red as he slumped on the ground. Wang Chen, I will kill you. He slumped on the ground and gripped his long sword to stab at Wang Chen's legs. Yell, young man, so tenacious? Seeing that Zhou Wu even dared to resist, Wang Chuan's expression couldn't help but froze. However, his movements were not slow, and he kicked out with one foot, directly sending the stabbing long sword flying out. Ah, the long sword came out of his hand, and Zhou Wu, whose eyes were bloodshot, rushed up again as if he was a wild beast without reason. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan raised his eyebrows, and with a swing of his long sword, he directly slapped him out. Fellow Zhou Wu, I think you've recognized the gap between us. Admit defeat. I'm doing this for your own good. Scram. I'm going to get you killed. Zhou Wu, who had crashed into the magic barrier, sniffed and felt a certain string in his heartbreak. Roar. In the ring, Zhou Wu's mouth let out a roar as if it were a wild beast the great sense of humiliation completely engulfing his sanity. Struggling to get up from the ground, he directly pounced on Wang Chen. At this moment, he was like an ordinary person fighting, without the slightest bit of discipline, and without any professional demeanor. Arriving in front of Wang Chuan, he directly swung his Wang Bao fist. So tenacious? Looking at the charging Zhou Wu, Wang Chuan shook his head breathlessly and casually placed his sawtooth longsword across his body. Bang! Zhou Wu's punch hit the sword heavily. The next second. Ow! Oh, a ghostly sound rang out as Zhou Wu trembled in pain. Give up! The gap between us is like a heavenly rut. Looking at Zhou Wu, Wang Chen persuaded with a sincere face. Scram! I'm going to tear your hateful face apart. However, Zhou Wu didn't care and rushed up again with the pain he was forcibly enduring. There was a bang. In the next second, he directly slumped to the ground once again in a five-body posture. You can't win! Condescendingly looking at Zhou Wu, a trace of intolerance appeared on Wang Chen's face. No way, I will never lose. This trace of intolerance was seen by Zhou Wu, causing him to growl. He struggled to get up from the ground and tremblingly swung his fist to smash out. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. What a tenacious fighting spirit. With such a large gap in strength, this fellow even dared to swing his fist at himself? Since this was the case, he must not fail him with this intention. Thinking in his heart, Wang Chen put away his sawtooth longsword and similarly swung his fist to meet him. Bang! Ah! Bang! Ow! Bang! Ow! The sound of fist-to-flesh strikes resounded continuously, interspersed with Zhou Wu's miserable wails. In just a short moment's time, Zhou Wu's somewhat slender body in the ring became burly. He, as a whole, was swollen. Hiss! Below the ring, seeing this scene, all the freshmen and veterans couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air, their eyes becoming incomparably shocked. This, was simply a lopsided crushing. The 60th level ice-cold swordsman Zhou Wu, in front of Wang Chuan who did not bring a beast pet, was beaten as if he was a little kid, and did not have any power to fight back at all. Just how strong is Wang Dust? The 60th level Zhou Wu doesn't even have the qualifications to make him serious? Is this schoolmate so demonic? Unilaterally hanging Zhou Wu, I'm afraid that even we, who have just turned three, would not go up there as easily as Wang Chuan. Crazy, could it be that Wang Chuan now has strength comparable to a third turn? There was a lot of discussion among the crowd of onlookers and the expressions on the faces of the sophomore and junior students were incomparably shocked. Today, they had really opened their eyes. A giant imperial beast master who didn't use a beast pet, dangling an opponent whose level was 15 levels higher than theirs. This explosive scene was something they normally wouldn't dare to think about even in their dreams. And while they were shocked, those freshmen in the crowd were even more terrified as their bodies trembled. This was too ferocious. As they looked at Zhou Wu on the ring, 
they all subconsciously gulped, fear in their eyes. Zhou Wu, who had a strength of 60 levels and was the top scholar of a province, did not even have the slightest room to fight back in front of Wang Chen. It was almost as if an adult was beating up a small child. Is this really a freshly enrolled freshman like us? Everyone is obviously the same age. Why is he acting so demonic? It always feels like this is completely not someone from the same world as us. Numerous freshmen fought with shock in their hearts and quietly took a few steps back, as if being farther away from the ring would give them a little more security in their hearts. It was the other few provincial top scholars whose faces were just as equally unsightly as those around them. Zhao Li, did you already know that Wang Chen was so ferocious? Zhang Luyo, the top scholar from Yunchuan province, swallowed her saliva and asked. She felt that the figure on the ring that was madly violent, she was afraid that in the future, it would become her own psychological shadow, or the kind that couldn't be dispelled for the rest of her life. Hearing her words, the corner of Zhao Li's mouth on the side twitched a little. Nima, if I had known that Wang Chen was so ferocious, would I have provoked him when I came out of the secret realm copy? Thinking breathlessly in his heart, Zhao Li tried to make the expression on his face calm as he said faintly. Of course, from the first moment I saw fellow student Wang Chen, I sensed that he was extraordinary, or else why do you think that I didn't go and challenge him after the ring battle started? As he spoke, Zhao Li displayed a subdued look as if this would set him apart from the people around him. Wang Chen is too scary. Zhou Wu was already unrecognizable. And he's still fighting? But Zhou Wu was also really resilient. Receiving such a heavy injury, but he still doesn't give up. I had underestimated him before. I didn't expect him to be so ballsy. The freshman who was familiar with Zhou Wu on the side had a somewhat intolerant expression and said with some emotion. Hearing his words, the few people around them all looked towards the ring with some emotion looking at the figure that was constantly being knocked down and getting up again. At this moment, they inexplicably felt a sadness. However, you guys, do you think that Zhou Wu is now delirious from the beating, and that he wants to admit defeat, but doesn't have the chance to say anything at all? Zhao Li, who also had some understanding of Zhou Wu, opened his mouth at this time and made a guess. Hearing his words, the few people around him couldn't help but feel some chills after hearing them. This, if it really was as Zhao Li said, wouldn't Zhou Wu be killed alive in the ring? on the ring. Bang. At this moment, Zhou Wu was once again knocked to the ground. His entire face had swollen into a pig's head, and his pair of already small eyes were reduced to a slit. Aye, but even though it was so miserable, he still stalked his neck and steadfastly stretched out his hand. Opposite. Wang Chen looked at Zhou Wu who fell to the ground and still had to swing his fist. The expression on his face was somewhat helpless. Is this guy so resilient? He's been knocked down by me dozens of times, but he still won't admit defeat? You really want to to be beaten to death by me alive in the ring ah. In that case, I'll fulfill you. Thinking in his heart, Wang Chen was ready to cleanly understand this fellow. However, just as he was about to do so, a figure suddenly appeared between him and Zhou Wu. This person had an extremely majestic figure, and a bald head that shone brightly. It was none other than, Combat Academy's teacher Zhao. Student Wang Chen, can you, let student Zhou Wu finish his sentence. Teacher Zhao looked at the handsome youth in front of him and said in a very complicated tone, on the ring, the combat academy's teacher Zhao's eyes shook immensely as he looked at Wang Chun. A level 45 royal beast master had played a crushing game against a level 60 ice-cold swordsman without using a beast pet. Even if teacher Zhao was a 6th revolution's powerhouse and had taught amongst Yanlon University for many years, it was still the first time he had seen such a demonic student. This kid, I'm afraid that during his freshman year, he'll be able to occupy a ranking on the school's list of excellence. For a moment, Teacher Zhao couldn't help but have a speculation emerge in his heart that shocked him, and on the opposite side, when Wang Chen heard Teacher Zhao's words, his expression couldn't help but become a little puzzled. Letting Zhou Wu finish his words? What was the meaning of this? He touched his nose in confusion, and his line of sight crossed over Teacher Zhao and landed on Zhou Wu, who was lying on the ground. At this moment, one of Zhou Wu's hands finally trembled and straightened up. I admit defeat. As the words fell, these three words seemed to have drained his strength and his entire person suddenly paralyzed helplessly on the ground. This, seeing this scene, Wang Chen could not help but feel very embarrassed. Zhou Wu He, he wanted to admit defeat a long time ago, but it's a pity that you never gave him a chance. While Wang Chuan was embarrassed, Teacher Zhao spoke with a strange expression. Just now, he had already seen under the ring that Zhou Wu no longer had the will to fight, and had reached out his hands several times in an attempt to admit defeat. As a result, Wang Chen had gotten the wrong idea. It simply did not give it a chance to open its mouth. You prepare and wait for the next challenger to come on. Teacher Zhao opened his mouth to mention Wang Chen and reached out to lift Zhou Wu on the ground. Looking at the lax-eyed Zhou Wu, he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. 
This child, there was no light in his eyes anymore. I'm afraid that this battle today will become a shadow in his future life. Thinking in his heart, teacher Zhao handed Zhou Wu over to the medical team waiting under the ring. After doing so, he turned his head to look at the freshman below. Zhou Wu has failed to challenge Wang Dust. Now whoever wishes to continue the challenge, please come to the ring. As the words fell, the freshmen under the ring looked at each other in disbelief, and they all subconsciously took a few steps back, away from the ring. What a joke! Zhou Wu, the top strength amongst the freshmen, had been beaten to that state. At best, they were equal to Zhou Wu, or even inferior. Going to the ring to challenge Wang Dust? That wasn't looking for abuse. For a time, there was silence among the freshmen. Not a single person dared to come forward, not even raising their heads to look at Wang Dust. Seeing this scene, Teacher Zhao on the ring sighed in his heart, but didn't say anything more. If it was in the past, he might have reprimanded these new students for having no fighting spirit. But now, when he thought of what Wang Chen had just displayed, which could be described as dominating strength, he had little interest in lecturing. This could not be blamed on the freshman being too wimpy. It was really because Wang Chen was too demonic. Since no one has challenged, then the first place in the freshman ranking list goes to Wang Chen. Below, you can start the fight for the other rankings. Teacher Zhao announced in a tone without any waves. After saying that, he looked at Wang Chen with fiery eyes. Student Wang Dust, now that the dust has settled for you in the freshman ranking battle, why don't you think about admission to the academy next? I've seen your fighting style just now. It's simply too suitable for our combat academy. Teacher Zhao, at these words, Wang Chen touched his nose and did not pick up on Teacher Zhao's words but asked with some embarrassment, Can I? Can I compete for the ranking for the others? What? Hearing Wang Chuan's words, Teacher Zhao was a bit puzzled, but he quickly thought of something and a promising smile appeared on his face. His vision motionlessly swept a certain figure among the new students, and he patted Wang Chen's shoulder, saying, You brat, there are no rules about this in the ranking battle, but just this once, you shouldn't go too far. Thank you, Teacher Zhao. Wang Chen smiled somewhat embarrassedly as he heard this. I really envy you young people. But remember that you should still focus on your strength now. Teacher Zha shook his head and glanced at Wang Chuan if he had any deep meaning before taking a step down from the ring. After he left, Wang Dust turned around and beckoned to Sit to you. What's wrong? Sit to you, whose expression was shaken, walked somewhat timidly to the edge of the ring. This guy, there wouldn't be a violent gene lurking in his body, right? Wouldn't this girl be in danger in the future? Just now. Wang Chen's violent output in the ring made the big-hearted Sitiu a little frightened. It's fine. Didn't I tell you before that there's a reward for taking care of the two little guys? Now I'll honor it. As he spoke, Wang Chuan's line of sight landed on a burly figure among the new students. Student Zhao Li, I challenge you on behalf of Sitiu. He said with a smile on his face. Hearing his words, the unresponsive Sitiu directly stared at him with wide eyes. And on the opposite side, the entire person of Zhao Li who was named was as if he was struck by a shocking thunderbolt, and his face twisted. Nima, there was still such a game? He looked at Wang Chen and his eyes trembled. At this moment, he had a pee that he didn't know whether to speak or not. He wanted to rush up and beat up Wang Chen, but thinking of Zhou Wu's miserable state, Zhao Li held back his impractical thoughts. If he really wanted to go up, I'm afraid that he would be the one to be brutally beaten. Who am I messing with? Third is third, it's better than getting beaten up. With a grudging thought in his heart, Jolly glanced at Wang Chen with a gentle smile on the ring and lowered his head in a stifled manner. I admit defeat. Buzz. As Jolly's words fell, on the ranking list suspended in the sky, Situ Yu's ranking directly popped from 10th directly to 2nd. Wang Dust stood on the ring and looked around. Seeing that no one had any objections to the result, he directly jumped off the ring, giving the venue to others. Wang Chuan, aren't you being too overbearing by doing this? I, actually, it's quite good to be the tenth. Being dragged aside, Sitiyu's pretty face turned red and she stammered. Overbearing? At those words, Wang Chan gave him a look without any good humor. Are you stupid? Tenth place is only five. Zero 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 credits. But second has a full nine. Zero 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 points and an A-ranked material. He looked at Sitiyu with hatred. He he. Whom? Sitiyu smiled in embarrassment. This son of a bitch really does care about me after all. She felt sweet in her heart, as if she had eaten honey. But the next second, right, after the rewards for the rankings are distributed, don't forget to transfer the extra 4000 credits and the A ranked materials to me. Wang Chuan looked at the pretty red faced little girl and put on a serious expression. Ha! Huh? Upon hearing this, Situ Yushur melted in place, her expression slightly frantic. Bastard, give me back what moved me just now. On the square of Yanlong University, as the dust settled on the first and second positions on the freshman ranking list, 
The atmosphere in the square became silent for a moment before it became warm again. Although the many freshmen were deeply shocked by the terrifying strength displayed by Wang Chuan, at this moment, as Wang Chuan went off the field and faced the others, their hearts all rose with a burning desire to fight. If I can't beat Wang Chen, I can't beat you guys? With such a mindset, there were soon new students who took the field one after another, challenging those opponents who had rankings on the list. And it seemed that because of Wang Chen's previous battle, these freshmen fought quite fiercely amongst themselves, desperately trying to express themselves. Although the battle scenes were not as shocking as Wang Dust's, compared to crushing, the images of their battles were quite a bit more exciting. For a while, magical light flickered in the ring, and the sounds of clashing weapons were endless, causing those veteran students who were onlookers to applaud. Everything, it seemed, was back on track. However, these, for the time being, had nothing to do with Wang Chen. Walking down from the ring, he had just stood aside with Situyu when he was surrounded by the teachers of the three major academies. Student Wang Chuan, the ranking battle is over for you. Next is the time to choose a branch academy. I wonder if you have made a decision. The beautiful teacher from the Magic Academy said in a graceful manner, her face carrying an expression of anticipation. If you choose our Magic Academy, all of the previous conditions are valid. And in addition to that, the dean of our Magic Academy is willing to personally accept you as a student. You must know that the dean, he is a seventh turn powerhouse. Seventh turn? Hearing the words of the beautiful teacher, Wang Chen could not help but have his eyes twitch. This condition, it could not be said that it was not generous. A seventh turned powerhouse ranked high in the entire Dragon Kingdom, and could be a feudal official in a decentralized place, and could even become the head of a legion when he traveled to the battlefields of the heavens, become a student of such a powerful person. For ordinary people can simply be said to be a step to heaven, the benefits are endless. On the side, the surrounding teachers heard the words, and the expressions on their faces were similarly a bit shaken. The Magic Academy had spared no expense in order to pull Wang Chuan in. Mr. Wang Dust, Teacher Zhao of the Combat Academy, who had been observing this side and presiding over the ring battle, couldn't sit still when he heard this. For the Dean of Magic to personally come down to the ring to take in a disciple was simply a lack of martial virtues. Based on your performance in the ring, Teacher then saw that you are not compatible with the path of the Magic Academy, and that the Combat Academy is the best choice for you. Teacher Zhao squeezed through the crowd and grabbed Wang Chen's hand and said in a serious tone, Besides, don't listen to this bitch, the Dean of the Magic Academy is usually a god, and stays in the school for a very short period of time, even if he accepts you as a student, he doesn't have much time to personally teach you, come to our Combat Academy, all the teachers of the Combat Academy are willing to create a customized growth plan for you, at the same time, all the secret realm copies belonging to the Combat Academy are open to you for free, as Teacher Zhao's words fell, Wang Chen's eyes immediately revealed a strange movement. This sounded seemingly good as well, and it was a bit more realistic than the conditions put forth by the teachers of the Magic Academy. A seventh turned powerhouse being a teacher was nothing more than allowing him to receive some hidden benefits, but the free opening of all secret realm copies was a real benefit. With this promise from Teacher Zhao, at the very least, for some time in the future, Wang Chen felt that he didn't need to spend any effort at all to run around for the credits to enter the secret realm copies. For a while, he couldn't help but get into a tangle. In the surroundings, hearing the conditions put forward by the teachers from the Combat Academy and the Magic Academy, the teachers from the Auxiliary Academy looked at each other with a somewhat difficult expression on their faces. These two guys, raising the conditions so high, they couldn't compete even if they spared no blood. To know, in the Yanlong University three colleges, Auxiliary Colleges because of its own development direction, control of the resources although the three colleges in the first place, but in the teaching force, but with the Combat Academy and the Magic Academy there is not a small gap. These two colleges, a dean personally accepts apprentices, a whole teacher on the same battle, their auxiliary academy, right now, seem to really have nothing to show for it other than resources. What to do? The teachers of the auxiliary academy looked at each other with very difficult expressions on their faces. Over the years, although the three major academies were on an equal footing, because the auxiliary academy was not good at fighting, the students who chose to join each year were of mixed quality, leaving them at the bottom of the list all along. Now that there was a demon like Wang Chen in front of them, how could they not want to give up? But what conditions could be taken out that would attract one dust? The teachers of the Auxiliary Academy were in a difficult situation in their hearts. But soon, they wouldn't have to be embarrassed anymore. Buzz buzz buzz. A strong force suddenly descended in the middle of the square. In the next second. The crowd surrounding Wang Chen's side had their bodies involuntarily pressed backward by a force. Immediately afterward, a figure appeared in front of everyone. Lord Provost? Seeing this figure appear, 
The teachers who were wondering hurriedly bowed and saluted, their faces filled with awe, hearing the words of the people around him. Wang Chen, who was in a state of entanglement, was also startled in his heart and hurriedly followed along. The provost of Yanlong University was named Lin Feng, a super powerhouse whose strength had reached the eighth turn, and who could cause the entire dragon kingdom to shake when he stomped his foot. How did such a big shot suddenly appear? After respectfully greeting him, Wang Chuan's sight quietly sized up the person. He only saw that Lin Feng had a Chinese character face, a gentle temperament, and was around 40 years old. His surface looked plain and ordinary, no different from an ordinary middle-aged uncle. In the middle of Wang Chen's observation, his line of sight suddenly met with a gaze that seemed to be smiling. Little fellow, not too timid. If you want to see it, you should see it openly and honestly. Covering it up is so petty. Provost Lin Feng looked at Wang Chuan with a smile on his face, his tone somewhat playful. Upon hearing this, Wang Dust could not help but feel a little embarrassed. At this moment, he suddenly remembered that the giant beast Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf Cub rewarded by the school appeared to be the offspring of Provost Lin Feng's adult beast pet. I gave the Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf to sit to you. The Provost Lord wouldn't be here to raise an offense, right? Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chen was embarrassed and a little apprehensive. Sure enough, in the next second, he heard Provost Lin Feng's voice that seemed to be laughing. To be able to give away the Divine Beast level Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf, such a generous person is still the only one I've seen in my life. Provost Lin Feng looked at Wang Chen with playful eyes and said in a flat tone, Little fellow, are you willing to worship me as a teacher? Ah, uh, upon hearing this, Wang Chen, who was about to think of some wording to stall, could not help but freeze. Worship me? This unfolding seemed a bit wrong. Below the ring, the teachers of the three major academies that had gathered together couldn't help but have a somewhat puzzled expression on their faces when they saw Provost Lin Feng appear. The provost sat in the school and wouldn't show up at all on weekdays without anything going on. How come now? He suddenly appeared? Could it be that he also saw Wang Chen's talent and wanted to take Wang Chen as a student? Thinking of a guess, the hearts of the teachers of the three major academies were all a bit grumpy. An eighth-turned powerhouse coming down to personally snatch someone. Which one of them could stand up to this? It's finished. Lord Provost himself is an eighth revolution imperial beast master profession. If he opens his mouth, I'm afraid that Wang Chuan won't make any other choice at all. Right now, I only hope that Lord Provost can place Wang Dust in our combat academy to cultivate. Teacher Zhao was thinking grudgingly in his heart at the moment. His expression was similar to that of an aggrieved little daughter-in-law. However, would you like to worship me as a teacher? Lin Fang's next words, however, were like a heavy bomb, directly causing him, as well as the teachers of the three major academies around him, to all be dumbfounded. Worship me? An eighth turn powerhouse personally accepting a disciple? Not a student, but a master and disciple with a much closer relationship? The difference between accepting a disciple and accepting a student. The difference in two words, but the meaning was a hundred thousand miles different. For a while, after teacher Zhao and everyone else was confused, an incomparable envious look appeared in their eyes as they looked at Wang Chen. Wang Chen was, directly reaching heaven in one step. At this moment, all he had to do was to nod his head, and he would be bound to an eighth turn powerhouse, sharing honor and disgrace, and in the future, he was afraid that he would be able to walk horizontally in the dragon kingdom. While the crowd was shocked, Wang Chuan's heart was also in shock. An eighth turn powerhouse wanted to accept himself as his disciple? This made him feel somewhat dreamy. Am I that sought after? Although his mind had long been as firm as a rock, he could not help but doubt it at this moment. An eighth turn powerhouse, placed in the dragon kingdom, placed in the blue star was a top tier combatant, even in the battlefield of the heavens where the powerful were all over the place. It had a rather strong weight. What? You're not willing? On the opposite side, Provost Lin Feng looked at the somewhat dumbfounded Wang Chen and said with a smile. It seems that you, a giant imperial beast master, can't look at me, an ordinary imperial beast master. No. Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan hastily waved his hand to deny it. What a joke. This was an eighth turn powerhouse. Such a thick thigh. Hugging it would directly lead to the pinnacle of life. Moreover, the provost was also an eighth turn powerhouse of the royal beast master profession. And his specialty was a perfect match. Such a suitable master. Only a fool would refuse. Greetings, master. Wang Dust followed the good advice and respectfully gave Lin Feng a big salute, following the episodes he had seen on TV. Good. Seeing this Lin Feng smiled cheerfully and reached out to help Wang Chen up, obviously receiving a good seedling. He was also extremely excited in his heart. Come directly to my office tomorrow. The old man is going to personally make a cultivation plan for you. Patting Wang Chen's shoulder, Lin Feng said with a smile on his face. As he spoke, he turned his head and glanced at Situ Yu who was at the side, little girl. You contracted the old man's tsunami moon silver wolf. 
so it's also considered to be destiny with me, so come with this kid tomorrow, the words fell, the eyes of the many teachers around looking at Sityu were once again envious, although Sityu did not directly worship the provost as his teacher like Wang Chen, even if he was just an ordinary student, it was still considered a step to heaven, on the opposite side, Sityu was even more dumbfounded, himself, this was also becoming a student of the provost lord, her face was filled with disbelief, many thanks, teacher, it was only when Wang Chen kicked her that she reacted, all right, all right, you two don't forget to report to me tomorrow, seeing this, provost Lin Feng nodded and instructed Wang Dust to turn around and prepare to leave, however, at this moment, combat academy's teacher Zhao bravely stepped forward, lord provost, do you see which academy Wang Chuan he's going to be attached to, teacher Zhao asked with an expectant face, at those words, before Lin Feng could say anything, the teachers from the other two major academies followed suit. Let's go to the Auxiliary Academy. Your two academies have had enough scenery these past few years. You should always let the Auxiliary Academy make a name for itself as well. Looking at the crowd that surrounded him, Lin Feng said with a smile, Ah, going to the Auxiliary Academy? Teacher Zhao and the others immediately wailed in their hearts when they heard this. Wang Chen's talent was already superb. And now that he had an 8th turn powerhouse personally teaching him, if he joined the Auxiliary Academy, in the next three years of being in school, wouldn't the Auxiliary Academy be able to suppress their Combat Academy and Magic Academy to the point where they couldn't raise their heads? Thinking of the possible future situation, the Combat Academy's teacher Zhao and the Magic Academy's beautiful teacher couldn't help but open their mouths to fight for it. However, before they could even open their mouths, the several teachers from the Auxiliary Academy directly pushed them to the back. Many thanks, Lord Provost, several people said in unison, their faces smiling like flowers. This time, they had really picked up a big leak. All right, for the next matter of Wang Chen entering the Auxiliary Academy, you guys just follow the process. Seeing this, Lin Feng nodded and disappeared from the scene with a single movement of his feet. After he left, the few teachers from the Auxiliary Academy gave the surrounding competitors a smug look before directly flanking Wang Chen and Sityu as they left. The Auxiliary Academy is really trenchant. Standing in front of a luxurious villa, Wang Chuan couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Before coming to Yanlong University, he had long heard that the Auxiliary College was the most financially strong among the three major branches, but he had not expected it to be strong to this extent. He was directly given a single villa as a dormitory in the middle of the living area where every inch of land was gold. This villa had six floors and covered an area of more than a thousand square meters, with a garden in front and a fountain in the back. It was like a small palace. How envious! While Wang Chen was lamenting, a sour voice sounded from the side. Situyu stood in front of her own dormitory door her face filled with envy and jealousy. As the second on the freshman ranking list, Situyu's dormitory was right next to Wang Duan's, a separate two-story small building. This treatment, compared to other freshmen, was naturally extremely luxurious, but, this small building was placed next to Wang Chen's large villa, and all of a sudden, it seemed incredibly humble. Hey, want to come and visit my big villa? Seeing Situyu's envious face, Wang Chen couldn't help but tease her. Che, no way. Sityu sniffed and brushed her mouth with a disdainful expression. However, she was not slow on her feet and ran to Wang Chuan's side in a flash. This big villa, it was more luxurious than her home's looking. Looking at the mouthy Sityu, Wang Chuan rolled his eyes. Today, let's take you for a long ride. As he spoke, he lowered his hand onto the gate's doorstop. In the next second, a mechanical beep sounded. Verification passed. Welcome home, Mr. Wang Chen. After entering the villa. Wang Chuan realized that compared to the outside, the inside was even more luxurious to the extreme. A total of six floors of the villa, all the equipment was available, and there was everything for entertainment, rest, and exercise. Even in the basement of the villa, a training ground had been purposely expanded, which utilized space folding technology, and the area was equivalent to a large soccer field. Even if Bing Ching had taken on a fighting stance, she could still splash around inside. Of course, in addition to these, what surprised Wang Chen the most was that the entire villa was surrounded by a small concealment spell formation. As long as it was activated, the situation in the villa would be completely isolated from the outside world, and even a seventh turned powerhouse would not be able to detect it. Moreover, the most important thing was that this concealment spell formation did not require him to spend any resources at all, and would independently absorb the free magic power between heaven and earth to replenish its energy. This is convenient. In the future, with this concealment spell formation around, I won't have to worry about making too much noise. After testing the effect of the concealment spell formation, Wang Chen's eyes lit up and a satisfied smile appeared on his face. In the past two days, 
He had also learned how noticeable the commotion he had made when he had contracted the nine-tailed sky fox before. After having this concealment spell formation in the future, the next time he contracted a beast pet, he would not need to worry about causing any repercussions. Wang Chen, it always feels like you and I didn't go to the same school. After strolling around the villa, the expression of Sit to Yu, who had come back again, was very sultry. Compared to Wang Chen's large villa, her small two-story building was simply a small, broken house, complete defeat. If you're envious, you can move here. Anyway, it's not like we didn't live together when we were in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range. There are plenty of rooms here. Hearing Situ Yu's words, Wang Chen said in a somewhat casual tone. Hearing this, Situ Yu's face turned red. This, this isn't too good. Can the 10,000 beast mountain range be the same as in school? I, I'll go back first and come back to you tomorrow. Situ Yu stammered, turned around and fled. Seeing this girl's figure disappear outside the door, Wang Chen shook his head. This girl, all crammed into a treehouse in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range. She's shy now? With some unexpected thoughts in his heart, he ordered the intelligent butler at the side to turn on the villa's concealment spell formation, and then brought Bing Ching and Crispy to the basement's training ground. Pushing open the door, between spatial transformations, he arrived in a very wide field. The ground of the entire training ground was paved with extremely hard greenstone with strong magic resistance, and there was a millstone-sized white ball of light floating in the sky providing illumination for the entire space. With this white ball of light, the entire space was as bright as day. Sweeping the surroundings, Wang Chen let the two little ones go to play, silently sitting on the ground, counting his harvest. After going through the admission procedure of the Auxiliary Academy today, he received his reward for being the first-ranked freshman. Moreover, in order to reward him for joining, the Auxiliary Academy had directly doubled the rewarded credits and the qualifications for entering the secret realm copies as well as the materials. Now in his hands, excluding the credits he had spent in the past few days, the number of credits remaining was as high as 28,000. If this number of credits was known, I'm afraid that his eyes would be red with envy. Most of those seniors who had just entered their sophomore year had been busy in school for a year, and the credits they had earned added up to less than a fraction of Wang Chen's. After briefly taking stock of his harvest, he took out two fist-sized crystals that emitted an extremely cold aura. This was precisely the S-ranked material in the first-ranked reward for freshmen the cold ice marrow. At this moment, as this cold ice pith appeared in the training ground, the temperature in the entire training ground began to plummet. Almost in the blink of an eye, the temperature dropped below zero degrees. Seeing the commotion caused by these two pieces of cold ice marrow, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. Worthy of being an S-class material, just the power overflowing from it has such a great impact on the surroundings. I really don't know how much of a boost ice Qing will be able to obtain when she eats the cold ice marrow and completely absorbs the power within. For a while, he couldn't help but look forward to it in his heart. Oh, at the same time, attracted by the origin scent, little Ice Ching, who was spreading joy all over the field with Crispy, blearily came up. A pair of azure-colored beautiful eyes were filled with desire for the cold ice marrow. Obviously this little fellow also knew that eating this cold ice marrow would give him a great boost. Eat it, eat it. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen smiled and stroked the little guy's head before pushing the cold ice marrow over with an expectant face. Oh, the little guy politely said thank you and with two small dragon claws grasping and gently throwing it, he dropped the cold ice marrow into his mouth. After eating it, the little guy even barred his mouth with a look of reminiscence. Seeing this, Wang Chen could not help but smile a little. What a gluttonous little fellow! Thinking in his heart, he held the nine-tailed heavenly fox crispy to the side and began to wait for Ice Ching to advance. At this moment, after eating the cold ice marrow, the azure color on the surface of Bing Ching's body became denser and denser, emitting a faint spiritual light. Just by looking at this azure-colored light, Wang Chuan could feel a dignified and vast aura. Obviously, the power deep within the bloodline was beginning to be stimulated by Bing Ching, and the ancestral divine beast Extreme Cold Dragon was about to enter the next stage. Buzz buzz buzz. Intense magical power began to surge and then converge towards the convergence on Bing Ching's body. In an instant, the tiny Bing Ching began to involuntarily display a battle stance, and a five-meter-long behemoth appeared in the middle of the training ground. At the same time, the converged magic power formed a blue-colored light shield on the surface of her body, wrapping her entire body. Above this light shield, a mysterious inscription loomed, emitting a mysterious and profound aura. Soon, under the watchful eyes of Wang Chen and the nine-tailed heavenly fox Crispy, Bing Chang, who was surrounded by azure-colored light and caught up in the advancement, had a new change. An ineffable mysterious fluctuation slowly spread, and the azure-colored magic power enveloping the surface of the body was little by little absorbed by Bing Ching's ponderous body. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen knew that Bing Ching's promotion this time would soon come to an end. 
As the azure-colored magic power dissipated, Bing Chang's streamlined, aesthetically pleasing body appeared in front of him. The size of the body according to the previous has become one meter bigger. The dragon claws and wings have become more hideous. The dragon horns hovering on the forehead are thicker and bigger, just like a sword that wants to cut through the sky. What attracted the most attention was Bing Ching's brand new scales, which seemed to have azure-colored water waves flowing on the surface, flashing with a mysterious luster. Seeing this, while Ice Ching had not yet finished absorbing the gains from its advancement, Wang Chuan's mind moved, and information about Ice Ching's brand new attributes surfaced in front of his eyes. Beast Pet, Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon. Nickname, Bing Chung. Gender, Female. Age, 1 Month, Juvenile. Rank, Level 40. Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast. Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS. 4 Dimensional Attributes, Strength 2200, Wisdom 2200, Physique 2200, Agility 2200. Without any buffs, equipment, or props to enhance it. Skills, Frost Body, SSS. Extreme Cold Breath, SSS. Cold Hell, SSS. Dragon Might, SSS, Frost Fury, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, none. Introduction, omitted. Ice Ching's four-dimensional attributes did not change compared to before, but this did not disappoint Wang Chuan in the slightest. Instead, at this moment, his line of sight landed firmly on Ice Ching's skill block, and his eyes glowed slightly. A new SSS ranked skill, Frost Fury. Without any hesitation, Wang Dust directly tapped on Frost Fury's introduction. Frost Fury, SSS Active Attack Skill, summons a blizzard to attack the enemy, inflicting powerful ice attribute damage, as well as additional freezing effects, remarks, Frost Fury's shrouded range is affected by the level of the Dragon of Extreme Cold, with each level of coverage increasing by 10 meters, hiss, seeing the introduction of this skill, Wang Chen could not help but suck in a breath, a large range attack skill with a cage range that was now 400 meters, this was definitely a divine skill for brushing monsters, after I meet my master tomorrow, I must go among the secret copies to try out the power of this skill. Thinking expectantly in his heart, Wang Chuan followed up by checking his gains. Bing Ching had entered the youth stage at the moment, and the one who had benefited the most was him, the master. This was because every time a beast pet raised its growth stage, the percentage of attributes fed back to the royal beast master would increase. At the youth stage, it directly increased to 20%. At this moment, as Wang Dust's mind moved, his attribute information surfaced before his eyes. Name, Wang Dust. Profession, Giant Royal Beast Master. Level, 40. Talent, 10,000 Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Art, C. Bloodthirsty Frenzy, B. Beast Pet Increase, B. Strength, 740 plus 530 points. Wisdom, 810 plus 100 points. Physique, 740 plus 350 points. Agility, 750 plus 5 plus 250 points. Unassigned attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 350 points. Unassigned skill points, 350 points. At this moment, under the 20% attribute feedback from Bing Cheng, not counting the equipment enchantment, Wang Chuan's four-dimensional attributes had all exceeded the 700-point mark, and the highest wisdom was more than 800 points, with such a horrible attribute. He now truly had the strength to compete with a third turn professional. Now I'm afraid that I don't need Bing Ching to make a move. I can directly defeat a level 73rd turn professional. Once this little guy makes his move, it's estimated that only a level 90 or even level 103rd turn professional can resist. Wang Chuan silently clenched his fists, feeling the power amongst his body, his eyes sparkling. This wave of enhancement could not be described as large. It should be known that after a professional entered the third turn, they were already considered to have entered a new realm. In today's Blue Star, first and second turn professionals were collectively known as low-level professionals, and the colors of the badges on their bodies were black iron and bronze. And when it came to the third and fourth turns, the professionals were considered to have ascended the ranks, and the badges on their bodies were replaced with silver badges. Just like the equipment's attribute information would be much stronger after entering the silver level, the strength of a professional entering the third turn also had a world of difference from before. This was because at this stage of the third turn, the professional would coalesce a silver body after transferring. For every level up, the attributes and skill points gained would be twice as much as before, and the increase in strength would be even greater. It was also because of this that when he was in the first middle school at that time, Wang Chuan's unexpected sword slash that sent Zhou Zibo flying had caused such a big shock. It could be said that after the third turn, the professional would begin to formally transform into a transcendent being. From the silver body of the third turn and fourth turn, to the heart of gold of the 5th turn and 6th turn, 
and then to the seventh turn of the diamond will. At each stage, the increase in strength was quite tremendous. Oh, Lord Kinky? While Wang Dust was excited about his own enhancement in his heart, a timid lowly voice suddenly sounded in his ears. At those words his body stiffened and he looked up to meet up with a pair of huge dragons. Bing Chang, you learned to speak so quickly? He said with some disbelief. Dang. As her body returned to its usual state, little Bing Chang flew onto Wang Chen's shoulder, her cute face carrying an excited expression. At first, she stumbled a bit in her speech, but in the end, she became more and more fluent. I am the dragon of extreme cold. The dragon's peak is proud of the world. And there is ice ching before there is heaven. The little guy was bullishly bouncing around on his shoulders with an unbeatable look. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust, who was rejoicing in his heart, couldn't help but have his expression dumbfounded. Good fellow, what's this all about? This is still a problematic dragon lowly. If I had known, I wouldn't let this little guy watch TV when he's not doing anything, and learn some nonsense. Woo! Seeing his sister waving her hand there, the nine-tailed sky fox Crispy, who was lying in Wang Chen's arms, chirped enviously. Don't worry don't worry, it will soon be Crispy's turn for you to advance. Noticing the aggravation coming from amongst the pact, Wang Chuan hastily soothed. He he, Lord Kinky Lord Kinky, I'm going to go check my sister's body. After little Bingqing finished showing off, she swung her wings and grabbed Crispy and ran away in a puff of smoke. Soon the two little ones stopped at the corner of the training ground. Ice Ching sneakily stretched out her wings to block Pasty. Quickly, hurry up and turn into human form, so that sister I can have a good Kong Kong. The little guy had an excited expression on his face, and his beautiful azure eyes were filled with anticipation amongst them. Not far away, when Wang Chen heard the commotion coming from the corner, he couldn't help but hold his forehead and let out a long sigh. There was always a feeling that this little fellow Bing Ching had grown crooked. Early the next morning, after Wang Chuan was called up by Sit to you to have breakfast, the two of them came to Yanlong University in front of the teaching building that seemed to break through the sky. Watching this teaching building up close, both of them felt an ancient and heavy aura, and the slash and axe marks all over the surface made them feel as if they had smelled the flavor of blood and fire. It's really magnificent. Standing under the teaching building, Wang Chuan looked extremely hard before he could see the pointed top of the building, and at this moment, he couldn't help but feel his own insignificance. Wang Dust, I've heard that this building is not only the teaching building of our Yanlong University, but it is also one of our Dragon Kingdom's nine national artifacts, the Yanlong Fortress. On the side, Sitiu said with an incomparably emotional expression on her face, her eyes filled with longing and yearning, Yanlong Fortress, one of the nine national artifacts of the Dragon Kingdom. It was a national artifact that had been created by gathering the blood of thousands of people during the Dark Age when the will of the heavens had been revived. It had stood in the battlefield of the heavens for hundreds of years, experiencing countless unimaginable battles. Its power was enough to easily kill any 8th turn professional, and it had a great power that was hard to guess, until the Dragon Kingdom and Blue Star opened up in the battlefield of the heavens and gained a firm foothold amongst the 10,000 races. The Yanlong Fortress had been used as an underpinning, residing in the Yanlong University. While Wang Chen and Situ Yu were lamenting over the grandeur of Yanlong Fortress, a figure suddenly leaned over. Two students. You are here to find Lord Provost, right? The person who came was a man around 30 years old, wearing a straight Chinese mountain suit, and although his appearance was plain, he exuded a strong aura if nothing else. Seeing this person, Wang Chen could not help but stare. Although it was only a little bit of breath, it gave him an extremely powerful sense of oppression. Even though sixth rotation teachers from the three major academies that he had encountered in the square yesterday had not made him feel such a strong oppression, this was definitely a seventh turn, or even a terrifying eighth turn powerhouse. Good day, teacher. Wang Chen and Sit to you hurriedly greeted him at his words, then looked curiously at the visitor. Teacher can't dare to be a teacher. You guys can just call me Elder Bai. The man who called himself Senior Bai smiled and said, The provost's office is at the very top of the teaching building. Let me take you guys there. If it wasn't for me, you two wouldn't be able to get up there with your authority. Senior White had a smile on his face, but after hearing his words Wang Chuan couldn't help but have his body tighten. A seventh, or even eighth turn powerhouse showing himself the way? His own master, so dignified? With this thought in his mind, he hurriedly tugged Sit to you to thank Senior Bai. Many thanks Senior, then I'll trouble you. It's fine, I happen to be on my way as well. Hearing his words, Senior Bai waved his hand before turning around and signaling them to follow. Soon, Wang Chen and Sit you arrived outside Provost Lin Feng's office under the lead of Senior Bai. The door to the office was wide open, and Lin Feng was buried behind his wide desk, correcting mountains of documents. Arriving here, Senior Bai didn't even knock on the door and directly led the duo inside. Teacher Lin, I've brought up the people for you by the way, 
Entering the office, Senior Bai extremely familiarly dragged a chair and sat down, and by the way, he also took the teapot on the table and poured himself a cup of tea. Behind him, Wang Chen couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth when he saw the scene. It always felt like he, seemingly, ran into a big brother again. By zitting, you kid is getting more and more licentious now. Hearing the commotion, Lin Feng, who had put down the papers in his hands, saw this and opened his mouth to curse with a laugh. It's all because you taught me well. Teacher, Senior Bai sat comfortably in his chair and took a sip of tea, the expression on his face not at all amused. As he spoke, he pointed at Wang Chen and said to you, my being here doesn't affect your ability to talk to them about things, right? It's fine. Lin Feng waved his hand and turned his head to look at Wang Chen and said to you, this kid is the first student I took in my early years, he is considered to be your senior, so in the future, you should be closer. Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan and Situ Yu politely greeted each other and the eyes that looked to the side at Senior Bai brought with them vibrations. How could the duo not expect that the one who showed them the way would be the legendary figure in Yanlong University? Bai Zitting, this was the youngest 8th revolution's powerhouse the Dragon Kingdom had ever seen, the idol that countless people had grown up idolizing. You didn't mention your identity to them before? Seeing Wang Chen and Si to you, Provost Lin Feng glanced at Bai Zitting. He he he, what's the point of saying such things myself? Bai Zitting laughed. Enjoying the adoring eyes of both Wang Chen and Si to you, you brat. Hearing this, Lin Feng shook his head helplessly. Bai Ziting was his most outstanding student. No matter if it was his talent or growth rate, it was all superb. It was this hangdog look that made people a little helpless. As he shook his head inside, Bai Ziting's eyes glanced curiously at Wang Chen. As teacher's second student, are you interested in hanging out with me in the future, junior brother? As long as you follow me, I will give you the best resources and countless enemies for you to fight. With the talent you kid showed before, staying at Yanlong University for three years is simply a waste. It's still the battlefield of the heavens that's more suitable for you to improve. The only way for you to blossom into a brighter luster is to go through the trials and tribulations of blood and fire. I believe that in the midst of the war with the 10,000 races, your strength will increase by leaps and bounds, and perhaps in less than three years, you'll be able to step into the sixth turn. Bai Zitting dragged his chin and said with a sincere expression, Ah, going to the battlefield of the heavens? Hearing Bai Zitting's words, Wang Chen rubbed his nose. The battlefield of the heavens was a place that countless young professionals aspired to in their hearts, and he was no exception. Seeing extraterrestrial beings and battling with all the races of the heavens, each said was enough to make one's blood boil. But, isn't it a bit too early to go now? Now that it was the 700 years since the revival of the will of the heavens, Blue Star had long since stabilized itself on the battlefield of the heavens, and the situation on the battlefield wasn't as scorching as it had been before. Now, when entering the battlefield of the heavens, the countries of the Blue Planet have basically imposed restrictions to prevent some hot-blooded professionals from going to seek death. Basically, any professional below the fourth turn was expressly forbidden to go to the battlefield of the heavens. He was only in his second turn now, and going to the battlefield of the heavens at this time seemed like a suspicion of looking for death. For a while, Wang Chen could not help but hesitate in his heart. However, before he could think of anything, the provost Lin Feng, who was sitting behind the desk, slapped the desk in a bad mood. Brat, you just came back and you're digging for me? I think you have itchy skin again. He glared at Bai Zitting, then his eyes fell on Wang Chen. You brat too. You just worshipped me yesterday, and today you're thinking of running away? The battlefield of the heavens isn't something you can go to right now. A random monster you come across there has a strength equivalent to a fourth turn professional. If you go over there now, aren't you looking for death? Lin Feng scolded with a smile. Teacher can't say that. With me here, who can hurt senior brother Wang Chen? Hearing his words from the side, Bai Ziting said with some disbelief. Scram. Old me still intends to have Wang Chuan take back our Yenlong University's lost honor in the national freshman competition this year. You brat don't even think about poaching him from me. Lin Feng said without a trace of anger. Waving his hand, a vast force appeared in the office, which instantly landed on Bai Ziting's body. Teacher you don't speak of martial virtues, how dare you use the inferno dragon fortresses. In the next second, before Bai Ziting could finish his sentence, his body disappeared in the office. This, feeling the power that suddenly appeared in the office, a flash of shock instantly appeared on Wang Chen's face. This power was as vast as the sea, and when he felt it up close, he felt as if he was a flatboat in the sea, in danger of capsizing at any moment. However, this power came fast and disappeared fast. In the next second, the office was calm, as if nothing had happened. This is the power of the Inferno Dragon Fortress? Seeing that Bai Ziting had disappeared from the office, Wang Chen's eyes could not help but vibrate. An eighth turned powerhouse, in front of this power, 
did not even have the slightest power to resist. All right, you two remember this for me. It is forbidden to fool around with this by zitting fellow before the fifth turn. After doing this, Lin Feng, who had a breezy expression on his face, turned his head to look at Wang Chen and said to you, this kid was born to be a killing star. Don't look at what he's telling you right now. If you really run off with him to the battlefield of the heavens, you'll definitely fall into endless dangers. And don't believe his bullshit. What resources can he provide? If this kid wasn't so poor that he was about to pawn his pants, he wouldn't have suddenly returned from the battlefield of the heavens today. Lin Feng said with a somewhat helpless expression. At those words, the corner of Wang Chen's mouth twitched. Hearing his master say this, he always felt that senior Bai had a look of not being very trustworthy. Hiss, the idol from his childhood seemed to be broken. Remember, stay away from your senior brother before the fifth turn. Seeing Wang Chen and Situ Yu standing in place a bit dumbfounded, Lin Feng instructed again uneasily. Then, he waved his hand and took out two boxes and placed them on the table. This is the meeting gift I prepared for you guys. In the future, don't be like that asshole and say that I'm petty behind my back every day. Don't dare. Hearing Lin Feng's words, Wang Chen and Situ Yu hurriedly shook their heads. What a joke. Talking about an eighth turn powerhouse behind his back. They didn't have the strength that Bai Ziting had. Seeing the two of them, Lin Feng couldn't help but let out a laugh. Ha ha, don't be so formal with me you two. Take a look. Do these two items fit your fancy? Thank you teacher. Thank you teacher. Hearing this Wang Chuan and Situ Yu respectfully thanked him and went forward to pick up their respective gifts from the desk. The box in Wang Chuan's hand contained a full body armor, which was dark yellow in color and emitted a strong power fluctuation. The full body armor had long been appraised and Wang Chuan saw its attributes at a glance. Equipment, Earth Battle Armor. Type, Defense. Grade, Diamond. Level Limit, Level 40. Attributes, Strength plus 200. Physique plus 200. Enchanted Effects, I, 30% damage reduction every time you take an attack. 2, the power of all their own skills increased by 10%. 3, comes with the skill immovable as a mountain. After activating the defense doubled. Immune to knockback. Stiffness, while standing with both feet on the earth. Its own recovery speed increased by 50%. Diamond grade equipment? Seeing the information on the earth battle armor, Wang Dust's hand trembled and he almost threw the box out. This, a meet and greet gift, was simply too expensive. In today's blue star, the price of a diamond grade equipment was at least 5 billion gold coins or more. And most importantly, the earth battle armor's wearing restriction was only level 40. And based on that alone, its price would at least double again. Master, this, for a moment, his hands clutched the box tightly. Wang Chen's eyes shook as he looked at Lin Feng, giving away equipment worth $10 billion with his hands. This master was hard to get. And on the side, Situ Yu had the same expression on her face. The meat angry gift she had gotten was a longbow that was emerald green in color and exuded the aura of life. Even without seeing the attributes, Wang Chuan knew that it was definitely a diamond grade equipment as well. This was because the material of this longbow was most likely an extremely precious branch of the tree of life. There's no harm in it. This point is just a drop in the bucket for me. Seeing Wang Chen in Situ Yu's appearance, Lin Feng waved his hand with an unconcerned look. As he spoke, he suddenly reached out and pointed at Situ Yu. My own profession is a royal beast master. I don't have much dabbling in the blast archer profession, so I can usually only rely on my own experience to guide you. Earlier, a teacher of the sixth turn archer profession from the Auxiliary Academy and I made a plan about your cultivation. In a while you will report to that teacher and he will arrange for your cultivation in the next period of time. Okay, teacher. Hearing Lin Feng's words, Situ Yu respectfully thanked him. Then she gave Wang Chen a reluctant glance before she opened her mouth to leave. When Situ Yu left, Lin Feng's gaze fell back on Wang Chen. Kid, about your cultivation plan, it made old man me lose a lot of hair. Looking at Wang Chen, Lin Feng said smilingly, Thank you, master. Knowing that the meat of the show was coming, Wang Chen's eyes couldn't help but light up. I haven't even talked to you about the specifics of the cultivation program yet, and you kid is saying thank you first? Also a little slick. At these words, Lin Feng was a bit dumbfounded, and next he didn't dawdle. He directly threw a document to Wang Chen with a flip of his hand, because the national freshman competition is just around the corner. So at the moment, I've only formulated a cultivation plan for you for the next month, so starting tomorrow, you can start training according to the items on the plan. Catching the document, Wang Chen nodded. However, at this moment, he didn't check it out. Instead, his eyes burned as he looked towards his master, Lin Feng. He was very interested in the national freshman competition. Seeing this, Lin Feng smiled and then spoke. The national freshman competition is an event between the major schools in our dragon country that compete on the same stage every year. 
Those who can participate in the National Freshman Scramble are the top geniuses in the freshman year of all the major schools. Not only do they represent themselves, but they also represent the cultivation ability of the school behind them during the one month of enrollment. That's why every year after the National Freshman Scramble, the state will rank the colleges and universities for each year based on the rankings of the major schools in the tournament, and put in different resources based on the rankings. In last year's Freshman Scramble, our Yanlong University was defeated by Hua Qing and was taken away from the top spot for the fifth consecutive year. For this year's tournament, although the list of players hasn't been finalized yet, you'll definitely take a place on the list. After a pause, Lin Feng continued, I don't have high requirements for you, just casually beat up the participants from Hua Qing University and win a championship back. Ha! Huh? At those words, Wang Chen was a little confused, the corners of his mouth twitching a little. Capture the championship? This request wasn't too high? Master! Just how casual are you talking about this? What? You don't have confidence? Seeing Wang Chen's appearance, Lin Feng raised his eyebrows. Yes, in the office. Upon hearing Lin Feng's words, Wang Chen stood up straight, and a steaming battle intent rose in his eyes. Good. Hearing this Lin Feng nodded in satisfaction. It's good that you have this confidence. Then don't slack off for the next month. Because of the expansion this year, the system of the national freshman competition has changed. The number of students participating will be higher and the competition will be more intense. Aha! Uh -huh. Wang Dust nodded. Then a touch of doubt appeared on his face. Master, with the expansion of the major schools this year, is there some hidden agenda in it? Since the previous college entrance exams, every year, the enrollment of the major schools had fluctuated within a fixed range. And the expansion of enrollment, in the 600 years since the college entrance exams had restarted, the number of times it had appeared could be counted on one hand. Now on the internet, many netizens for this expansion of enrollment are considered to be a harbinger of war to come. After all, the last expansion was 150 years ago, and that year, the blood race, which ranked in the top 100 amongst the 10,000 races, led its vassal races and declared war on Blue Star in the battlefield of the heavens. The tragic war lasted for 10 years, and Blue Star lost tens of millions of professionals before the blood race and its vassal races were repelled. It was also because of this battle that Blue Star's ranking entered the top 100 amongst the 10,000 races for the first time, ushering in the hundred years of peace that followed. This expansion, could it really be a sign of the rise of the Great War? H.M. Hearing Wang Chen's words, Lin Feng nodded. The situation on the battlefield of the heavens these past few years has been somewhat uneventful. At those words, Wang Chen's expression couldn't help but become serious. Master's words confirmed his suspicions, which made his mood a little heavy. Regardless of which world they were placed in, wars were cruel and were accompanied by the loss of countless lives and the shattering of countless families. Although he hadn't lived in a war-torn era, what he had learned from books from textbooks was enough to make Wang Dust feel shocked. All right, this kind of thing is not something that a little guy like you should be concerned about. Seeing Wang Chen's heavy expression, Lin Feng smiled and said, Right now it's just saving for a rainy day, and the situation isn't like it was more than a hundred years ago. The flames of war won't burn to our homeland. Eh? At those words Wang Chen couldn't help but have his pupils shrink. The flames of war would not burn to the homeland? Could it be that it was a foreign war? Among the 10,000 races of the heavens, the number of races that were hostile to the Blue Star human race was quite large, and it was unknown which race would be the one that declared war on the Blue Star this time? Thinking in his heart, Wang Chen looked at his master with searching eyes. However, Lin Feng did not continue this topic. These things are still too far away from you. Knowing too much won't do you any good. Your next time. It's better to work hard to improve your strength. After all, the national freshman competition is your most pressing goal at the moment. These are the three A rank skills I picked for you in the school's treasure trove. Take them back and comprehend them well. Okay, master. Wang Chen nodded as he took the skill book. It was indeed just as Lin Feng had said. This kind of war that would take place in the battlefield of the heavens was indeed very far away from him. In the midst of a war of this intensity, a fourth turn professional would only have the qualifications to join in and become a pawn. The real main combatants were those who had turned 7, 8, or even 9. He was now a little munchkin who had just turned 2, and caring about these things was just too far away. Next, seeing that his master had nothing else to explain, Wang Chen wisely opened his mouth to leave. After all, as the provost of Yanlong University, Lin Feng had a ridiculous amount of affairs that he needed to manage every day, and just by looking at the piles of documents on his desk, one could tell how heavy his daily workload was. If it wasn't for the transcendent achievement of the eight-turn strong body, just this workload could wear people out. After returning to the dormitory, Wang Chuan placed the three skill books selected by his master on the table. Round Moonchop consumes magic power to chop out a sharp sword chi, comes with an armor-breaking effect, 
and inflicts a large amount of damage on the enemy. Lightning Step increases movement speed by 50%. When used, a layer of streaming light will cover the surface of the body, confusing the enemy's vision. Stored Power Strike After storing power for a short period of time, it will explode into a more powerful attack. Seeing these three skills, Wang Chen couldn't help but shake his head, his expression somewhat tearful. Master, is this an attempt to make me walk down the path of melee combat? The three skills were all of the melee profession type, and Lin Feng's intention was obvious, and that was to make Wang Chen move towards melee combat. After all, the two beast pets that Wang Chen had contracted at the moment, whether it was the extreme cold dragon Bing Ching or the nine-tailed heavenly fox Crispy, in the eyes of outsiders, both possessed extremely powerful magical powers and strong long-range attacks. Lin Feng had arranged it this way, intending to make up for Wang Chen's current shortcomings, so that he would have a stronger ability to defend himself when he encountered an enemy's close quarters attack. It had to be said that, Master's arrangement was just what Wang Chen wanted. Compared to standing behind a beast pet and releasing skills, he preferred rushing to the front and fighting side by side with the beast pet. Sure enough, Master understands me. Wang Chuan shook his head and smiled, directly choosing to learn the three skill books. In an instant, three streams of light did not enter his body, and arcane knowledge began to be grasped by him. Name, Wang Dust. Profession, Giant Royal Beast Master. Level, Level 40. Talent, 10,000 Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Art, SS. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation, B. Bloodline Appraisal, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Art, C. Bloodthirsty Frenzy, B. Beast Pet Increase, B. Round Moon Chop, A. Electric Lightning Steps, A. And Stored Power Strike, A. Strength, 740 plus 630 points. Wisdom, 810 plus 100 points. Physique, 740 plus 450 points. Agility, 750 plus 5 plus 250 points. Agility, 750 plus 5 plus 250 points. Unassigned attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 350 points. Unassigned skill points, 350 points. Looking at his brand new skill bar. Wang Xuan thought for a moment and then placed his unallocated skill points on the round moon slash and electric lightning steps respectively. The total level of A-class skills was 10, and each level up required 50 skill points to be consumed. With 350 skill points invested, the round moon chop and electric lightning step were raised to level 5 and level 4 respectively. Skill points are far from enough. Looking at the skill points that he had then reverted to zero eggs, Wang Chen scratched his head, just by upgrading two skills. The skill points he had saved for such a long time were depleted. Looking at the skill bar, there were still numerous skills waiting to be fed. Wang Dust rubbed his nose and pondered. The way to obtain skill points. Besides every time a professional upgraded, there was also passing through the secret realm copies. It seems that in the next period of time, in addition to completing the cultivation plan set by my master, I'm afraid that I'll have to stay in the midst of the secret realm copies for a long time. If one were to rate a list of the most lively locations in Yanlong University. Then the Secret Realm Replica Hall was definitely at the top of the list. As a special product since the revival of the Will of the Heavens, the Secret Realm Replica had always been the first choice for professionals to enhance their strength. Passing through the Secret Realm Replica, not only could one obtain rewards of equipment and materials, one could also obtain a large amount of experience value, as well as free skill points and free attribute points, equipment and materials, for professionals who weren't short on money, could probably be purchased by spending money, but experience value as well as free attribute points and free skill points, that was something that money couldn't even buy. Every professional who aspired to be stronger would do their best to pass through the secret realm copies, in the hope that they would have more attributes than other professionals at the same level, as well as more powerful skills. At this moment, the secret realm copy hall of Yanlong University was filled with people, the sophomore and junior seniors who stayed at the university, as well as those freshmen who had obtained the qualification to enter the secret realm copy had crowded the wide hall to the point where it was nearly impenetrable. Even though the time had just reached 8 o'clock, there were already several long lines in front of the hall service counter. This year's freshmen are so crazy, it's only the second day of the freshman ranking battle, and they've all swarmed to the secret realm replica hall? Don't they know that there are a lot of interesting places in our Yanlong University? Shouldn't they be the ones to go and clock in first? In the middle of the long queue, many sophomore veterans, looking at those still somewhat green faces in the queue, had somewhat speechless expressions on their faces. Alas, it's not because they feel the pressure. This year, among the freshmen, there is a demon like Wang Chen. If they don't put in some effort, I'm afraid that before the end of the freshman year, they won't even be able to catch up with other people's backs. Among the crowd, some old students who knew the details couldn't help but open their mouths and explain to the people around them. 
Wang Duan? That's the little guy who broke the white god pass record? I heard that he easily crushed the other provincial top students in the ring afterward, and got the first place without any dispute? Upon hearing this, some of the older students who weren't at the school on the day of the freshman ranking battle asked curiously. That's right that's right, it's that demon. Originally, I used to think that the clearance record set down by the white god was already impressive enough, but as a result, this kid, directly compressed the clearance time to within 4 minutes. Now, I'm afraid that future freshmen will have to despair when they enroll. Who can break this record? I feel that I'm afraid Wang Chen will have the strength to enter the ranking of excellence before the end of his freshman year. Those veteran students who had watched the freshman ranking battle from beginning to end couldn't help but be a good teacher at this moment, recounting the scene of that day to their confused peers around them. Cut. Entering the ranking of excellence during freshman year? When they heard someone say that Wang Chen was able to enter the ranking of excellence during his freshman year, a few people among the queue immediately skimmed their mouths in disbelief. You guys are really daring to think. Those who can enter the ranking of excellence are the 20 strongest among the students who stay in our Yanlong University. Even if he, Wang Chuan, is behaving in a demonic manner now, it's impossible during his freshman year. Someone shook his head disdainfully and said in a sarcastic tone. His words caused a portion of the crowd to follow him. That's right. Even as strong as the white god, it was only when he entered his sophomore year that he hit the middle of the ranking of excellence. He, Wang Chen, only broke a small record of the white god, and he's on the verge of being blown up to the sky by you guys, believe it or not. If he stands in front of me right now, I can teach him to be a human being with just one hand? A sophomore with a stout body that seemed like a tyrannical bear spoke out in agreement at this moment, and as he spoke, he rolled up his sleeves, revealing muscles that looked like granite. Many of the older students who had just chased after Wang Chen, all closed their mouths at the words and did not refute. This person's name was Yen Liang. He was a sophomore, although he was still far away from the ranking of excellence. His strength was also ranked at the top of the sophomore ranks, reaching the third turn of the 80th level. Seeing that the people around him didn't say anything, Yen Liang sneered, satisfied, stretching his sleeves flat and standing back in the queue. A small freshman, even if he was strong, at best, he would only be at the beginning of the second turn, and was not even in his eyes. At this time, a commotion suddenly came from the back of the long line. Wang Chuan is here? That's Wang Dust. It's really as handsome as among the rumors. I really don't know how he grew this face. I want to go up and touch it. A figure stepped into the secret hall. His slender body coupled with his handsome face attracted many girls in the secret hall whose eyes glowed and whispered. Hearing these voices, Yen Liang frowned and looked towards the back. A flash of envy in his eyes. What a bunch of shallow women. What's the use of being handsome? Can they eat? This is the era of the professional. And only being strong is useful. Just after walking into the secret realm replica hall, Wang Chen was almost toppled by the clamor inside. No wonder Master made a special mention in his cultivation plan that the earlier you come to the secret realm replica hall every day, the better. Sweeping over the long queues around him, he felt some emotion in his heart. Originally, today, he had even gotten up early enough. Departing from his dormitory at less than 8 o'clock. As a result, coming here so early, the line of people was almost to the door. This if a little later, he felt that it was questionable whether or not he would be able to enter the secret realm copy before noon. As expected of a top university, the atmosphere of the school is different. Thinking in his heart, he silently walked behind a queue. Wang Chen? Right at this moment, a petite schoolmate at the front of the queue suddenly waved her hand at him and greeted him warmly. Come to schoolmate here. I happen to have something to do, and I won't be able to enter the secret realm copy for a while. Hmm. Upon hearing this, looking at the schoolmate with glowing eyes, Wang Chen touched his nose somewhat awkwardly. What era is this? School sister, your way of picking up a girl seems to be a bit outdated. However, to be able to enter the secret realm copy earlier, Wang Chen would not refuse. Thank you, school sister. He walked over and politely thanked the school sister. It's fine. Schoolmate can we add a friend? After switching places with Wang Duan, the petite girl boldly asked. Good. Nodding, Wang Chuan opened his data wristwatch. As a high-tech equipment equipped by Yanlong University, the data wristwatch was extremely powerful, and chatting and adding friends and whatnot was not a concern at all. Then, I wish you a good grade in the secret realm copy, senior brother. With her purpose accomplished, the girl contentedly waved her hand at Wang Chuan and bounced away. And as this schoolmate left, it was as if her behavior had flipped some sort of switch. For a while, quite a few girls in the queue, one after another, all sent invitations to Wang Dust. Soon, he came from the back of the line to the very front. In the Yanlong University Secret Realm Replica Hall, the many freshmen who were quietly queuing up, as well as the sophomore and junior veterans, 
watched as wine dust overtook him lightning fast from the very back end of the queue, as he was attentively given a place by a girl. In their hearts, it was like a dog had died. What's the use of being handsome? Strength was king amongst professionals. I don't know how many people. In their hearts, sourly slandered. In the crowd, the tall Yen Liang, looking at the surrounding girls whose faces were slightly red and whose eyes couldn't wait to be glued to Wang Chuan, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch. Normally, these girls put on a high and cold look, and Lao Zi takes the initiative to talk to them all lovingly. Now when they see a little white boy, each one of them becomes like a nymphomaniac. He couldn't help but say sourly. Beside him, an older student who was also a sophomore couldn't help but glance at him before silently taking a step back. With that square looking face of yours, why are they ignoring you? Don't you have any pussy in your heart? Ha! This person let out a cold laugh, and then looked enviously at the slender figure in front of the crowd. If only I could be half as handsome as this guy. How wonderful. After adding more than 10 schoolmates friends and waiting for more than 2 minutes, Wang Chuan finally stood in front of the service counter in the hall. Senior brother Wang Dust, which secret realm copy are you planning to enter? Behind the service desk, a sophomore schoolmate asked with a warm smile on her face. Hmm, seeing this school sister, Wang Chuan couldn't help but be stunned. What? The one in charge of registration wasn't a teacher from the school? It seems that you don't pay much attention to the school's mission hall. Doing missions in the middle of the school is also a way for us to earn credits. As if sensing his doubts, the schoolmate smiled and explained, then looked at Wang Chen with fixed eyes. Oh, I plan to enter the dark wilderness. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen nodded and handed over his data wristwatch. Before he came, he had made preparations in advance, and there were a total of 20 silver level secret realm replicas that were open to students at Yanlong University. Among them, the dark wilderness was considered the easiest one in terms of difficulty, and was extremely suitable for freshmen. Wang Chuan planned to take the secret realm copy first to test the waters. After receiving the wristwatch, the sophomore sister operated the instrument at hand, and at the same time opened her mouth to remind him. Senior Wang Chuan, pay attention. The secret realm's pass reward is based on a combination of the length of your pass and your performance score. If you are not satisfied with your final score, you can exit and re-enter. In this way, it does not affect the rewards you will receive for your final passage. Hearing the words of the senior sister. Wang Chen politely nodded his head and said thanks. The rewards for clearing the secret realm copy were only the most generous for the first time. And after that, every time you cleared the secret realm copy, you would only receive the most basic rewards. That was why many people, when entering the secret realm copy, made a lot of preparations in advance to maximize their gains in the secret realm copy. Alright, schoolmate Wang Chuan, the dark wilderness is a silver level copy, and you have the permission to enter for free. So far, apart from the silver level copy, there are 15 gold level secret realm copy entry opportunities left amongst your permissions. After the sophomore sister finished her operation, she handed the data wristwatch to Wang Dust with an envious face, entering a silver level copy for free. This was a privilege that only the first in the rankings of each grade had. Like them, if they wanted to enter a silver level copy once, they would have to spend a hundred credits each time. Thank you, school sister. Receiving the data wristwatch, Wang Chuan gently nodded his head, then without hesitation. He directly walked towards the spatial teleportation portal next to the service desk. Warm reminder, you have successfully entered the Secret Realm Copy Dark Wasteland. Secret Realm Copy Level, Silver Grade. Secret Realm Copy Difficulty, Hell Level. Entry Level, Level 40 or above. Entry Number, Single Player. Return Scroll has been automatically issued. If you encounter danger, tear open the scroll, will be immediately teleported out of the Secret Realm Copy, between the rotation of the sky and the earth. When Wang Chuan's feet once again stepped on the ground, the prompt of the secret realm copy sounded in his ears. After listening to the introduction, Wang Chen did not immediately choose to act, but turned his head to look around. The place where he was at the moment was a wilderness covered in night color. Under the dim moonlight, one could see a crisscrossing gully remaining on the ground of the wasteland, as well as broken armor and blades. While Wang Chuan was observing his surroundings, eroded by the dark aura, the challenger's entire attribute drops by 10%. Eroded by the darkness breath, the challenger's recovery ability is weakened by 10%. The beeps of the secret realm copy sounded again one after another. Two attenuation statuses? Noticing that his body had become a bit heavy, Wang Chuan muttered, not surprised by this. From the beginning of the silver level secret copy, the opponents that the challenger had to face were not only the monsters in the secret copy itself, but also the special environment in the copy. Bing Ching, Crispy, get ready to come out and work. After moving his arms and legs a few times, he summoned the two little ones out of the beast pet space. My foolish Lord Kinky, begging for my power again? Just after flying out of the beast pet space, 
Bing Chang landed on Wang Chen's shoulder, his little head held high with an unbeatable look. Oh, on the other shoulder, the nine-tailed sky fox crispy also followed and danced its tail. Eh? At those words, Wang Chen sighed. It's master, not master kinky. Patting Bing Ching's little head, he said with a serious face. Bing Ching was eloquent when she said other things, but every time she called him by his title, she always called him the wrong way. Calling it that way, it's fine when it's just the two of them, but if you let other people hear it. Wang Chuan felt that he was afraid that he was going to die a social death. Just when he was teaching Bing Ching a lesson, roar, a hoarse roar suddenly resounded from the wasteland. Click 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 click, immediately followed by the sound of bones rubbing together. A skeleton skeleton burrowed out of the gully-covered ground. Skeleton warriors, the monsters unique to the Dark Wasteland Secret Realm copy. Wang Chuan chose this Secret Realm copy, in addition to wanting to test the waters, he also had the intention to see more. After all, in the real world, although wild monsters were rampant in the areas outside of the city, there was not a single creature from the undead clan. This was because these guys, who were dependent on the dead chi, would cause irreparable damage to the real world once they gathered a considerable number. So any monsters of the undead clan that appeared in the real world would immediately be swept clean. At the same time, the appearance of the skeleton warriors instantly attracted Bing Ching's attention. Ace Flying Dragon requests to go to battle. She excitedly waved her little dragon claw. Click 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 click. The sound of bones rubbing together resounded continuously in the eerie wasteland. In the middle of Wang Dust and the two little ones vision, one after another skeleton warrior drilled out of the earth. They straightened their bones little by little, moving the morose white war blades in their hands, their empty eyes gazing lifelessly at the humans who had intruded into the wasteland. Within the range of vision, the number of these skeleton warriors was densely packed, and there was no border to be seen at all. Moreover, in addition to the skeleton warriors, eight even more hideous monsters surfaced in the darkness. They were shrouded in black battle armor, their white hand bones holding lances more than two meters long, and their crotches riding bloodied and mutilated warhorses. Death Knights. Seeing these guys appear, Wang Dust's eyes grew brighter. Among the undead, Death Knights were an existence that was higher in rank than skeleton warriors. Each one of these guys was transformed after the death of a once powerful professional. And after their resurrection, they not only gained the favor of the power of death, but also retained a certain amount of their pre-life fighting instincts. Their strength was much stronger than monsters of the same level. Finally, a few opponents that can look good have appeared. Wang Dust looked at the densely packed skeleton army around him. A flash of excitement appeared in his eyes, and then without hesitation, he released a scrying spell. Monster, Skeleton Warrior. Level, 40 levels. Fighting style, melee attack. Skills, death infestation. Decapitation. Type, undead. Monster, death knight. Level, 50. Fighting style, melee. Skills, death charge. Lance strike. War horse trample. Undead battle cry. Type, undead. Seeing the information that came back from the scrying technique, Wang Dust's eyes grew brighter and brighter. It had to be said that Dark Wasteland was worthy of being a silver level secret copy. And the first wave of monsters that appeared in Hell Difficulty were quite strong. Especially those eight Death Knights. Their strength was probably no weaker than that of a professional of the same level. While Wang Chuan was observing these monsters, the skeleton warriors, who had thoroughly formed their formation, had morose white flames rising from their hollow eye sockets. A cold and evil line of sight instantly landed on Wang Chuan's body. Outsider, die. Immediately afterward, the eight death knights located at the back of the skeleton warriors let out a hoarse roar from their mouths at this moment, and the lances in their hands swung forward without hesitation. Dang dang dang. In an instant, the densely packed skeleton warriors, which numbered more than a thousand, were like a tidal wave as they launched a charge towards Wang Dust. Seeing this scene, a flash of excitement rose on Wang Dust's face. Little ones, action. Greeting Bing Ching and Crispy. He did not hesitate to take a large step out and directly launched a countercharge towards the charging skeleton warriors. With a whoosh, with a strong burst of power, his body rushed out as if it was a cannonball, instantly colliding with the skeletal warriors. Wow! The first skeleton warrior didn't even react, and was directly smashed into the sky by Wang Chuan's combined body. In the next second, the serrated longsword was swung sharply, and the surrounding skeletal warriors that surrounded them were cut down to the waist. In just the blink of an eye, Wine Dust had decapitated six skeleton warriors. However, this battle performance, which was enough to cause a tremor, was somewhat powerless at the moment under the performance of the two little ones. Only on the side, Bing Chang, who was displaying his battle state, saw his six meter long dragon body flying in midair. When the two powerful wings swung, the gusts of wind they brought up shook the skeletal warriors charging up. At the same time, an azure colored magic glow lit up from her mouth. Whoosh! An azure colored energy mass shot out. 
instantly striking the ground below, only to see the skeletal warriors swarming below, their movements came to a standstill in an instant, and a layer of azure-colored cold ice surfaced on the ground covered with gullies, click 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 click, the cold ice spread rapidly and soon enveloped the ground in a 30 meter radius, turning the place into a world of ice and snow, wow, in the next second, the skeleton warriors that were situated on the cold ice ground turned into the tiniest of crumbs disintegrating as if they were piled up with grains of sand. With just one strike, the number of skeleton warriors killed by ice clear was over a hundred. On the other side, Crisp was equally unwilling to show weakness, as the peach pink aura enveloped tens of meters in a radius, and hundreds of skeleton warriors began to frantically kill each other as well. Soon, the number of the thousands of charging skeleton warriors began to plummet. Seeing this scene, a touch of helplessness flashed in Wang Chen's eyes, the beast pets were too powerful, making him, the master, appear somewhat dispensable, you two little fellows, you don't give master me a chance to perform at all, with this thought in his mind, Wang Chuan twisted his head and his sight locked onto a death knight at the back, without the slightest hesitation, he quickly ran, chopping up a skeleton warrior that blocked in front of him, and ran wildly towards the death knight, whoosh, when there were no more obstacles between him and the death knight, he moved his feet and his body flew out like a cannonball, instantaneous sword, in the next second, he arrived directly in front of the death knight, and the serrated longsword in his hand chopped heavily downwards, human, die, looking at the human who rushed in front of him, the death knight let out a hoarse roar from his mouth, and the lance in his hand stabbed out without hesitation as well, when, the two weapons instantly collided together, emitting the sound of gold and iron striking each other, and the intersection point of the collision even had airwaves surging visible to the naked eye. After the collision, Wang Chen's body in midair gave a start, while the opposite Death Knight's figure was significantly shorter. The warhorse under its crotch hissed, and its two front legs directly snapped, and not only that, only the arm of the Death Knight holding the lance was seen to be crumbling by inches with its white bones. Bang! In the next second, the two-meter-long lance fell to the ground along with the bone fragments. In a single strike, it revealed Wang Chen's terrifying power at this moment. Even a monster whose level was 10 levels higher than him would not be able to resist in a head-on collision. Human. Die. Mori white flames danced in the hollow eyes of the Death Knight, and a sound wave-like substance spread between the opening and closing of his mouth. Undead battle cry. However, Wang Chen's speed was indeed faster. Before the Death Knight's skill was sent out, he stomped on the air, and his body violated the norm and shot out. Instant sword special effect. Two strikes. Swish. The longsword slashed through the Death Knight's neck and shin, and a head shot up into the sky. Puff! When the Death Knight's head fell to the ground, the white flames in the empty eye sockets had been extinguished. Then with a casual sword finish off the warhorse, Wine Dust looked around with a face full of wariness. He was then ready to go find the remaining Death Knights and have an unimpeded battle. But, just as he turned his head, he was dumbfounded. There were no more? The wilderness that appeared in Wang Chuan's eyes at the moment was empty, and the earth was full of broken bone fragments. Looking around, apart from the two guys, Bing Chang and Crispy, there wasn't even a single vertical thing. You too, can't you leave one for me? Looking at the wretched scene around him, Wang Chen opened his mouth and sighed helplessly. Master, you'll be the pendant on my thigh from now on, I'll be in charge of charging and fighting, and you'll be in charge of waving the flag for me at the back. Bing Chang swung her wings to come before Wang Chen, and among her azure dragon eyes, they were filled with excitement. Master, in your words, is your behavior like this called eating soft food? Between words, the little guy probed his head and rubbed against it, almost rubbing Wang Chuan on his heels. Blah blah blah. Don't talk nonsense. Reaching out to hold down the quirky Bing Chang, Wang Chen's expression was extremely speechless. Your master I have a good stomach. Besides, you can't even transform into a form right now, and Crispy is even more qualified than you to say that. Patting Bing Ching's head in a good-natured manner, he took Crispy, who had jumped up from the side, in his arms. Yeah, Master I'm angry. How dare you discriminate against my perfect dragon body. When Bing Ching heard this, she instantly quit, and with a shake of her head, she got rid of Wang Chen's bondage. For the next battle, I won't leave a single monster for you. The little guy grunted in exasperation, waved his wings and flew towards the depths of the wasteland. Seeing this scene, Wang Chuan shook his head helplessly and hurriedly took a step to follow. Outside world. In the hall of the secret realm replica. School brother Wang Chuan is entering the silver level secret realm copy Dark Wasteland this time. In this copy, the enemies faced are all undead creatures, those oozing looking skeletons. Schoolboy is really brave. The first secret realm copy he challenged was of such a netherworldly type. The environment inside is eerie and super scary. The last time I entered, I was so scared that I slept with the lights on for days at night, 
A burst of crisp voices rang out in the hall, and many girls couldn't help but discuss the information about the copy that Wang Dust had challenged. In particular, when they heard that Wang Duan's challenge was Dark Wasteland, a few girls' faces turned white. The second wave of monsters in the replica are walkers, they appear in random locations. The old. When this girl entered last time, there was another walker that directly came out from the side of my foot and grabbed my leg. I hope that school brother Wang Chen won't be subjected to such a nightmare experience. If he gets scared, I can only comfort him with my broad chest. Che, how could school brother be scared by a mere undead monster? He'll definitely be able to set another new clearance record this time. The girls in the hall were talking, and some were even in favor of Wang Chen. Being able to set a new clearance record, hearing the surrounding discussion, the male comrades waiting here, each one of them had an incomparable taste in their hearts. It was too enviable. Bah, it's simply impossible for him, a freshman who just leveled 40, to break the dark wasteland clearance record. Yan Liang, who was a little red-eyed with envy, couldn't help but raise his voice as he listened to the surrounding chatter. The Dark Wasteland's clearance record is 9 minutes and 60 seconds. Created by a senior at level 65 back then, his profession was a holy light mage, naturally restraining undead creatures, which is why he was able to create such a horrifying result that no one has broken for decades. It was even when the White God was in his freshman year that he failed to set a new record for clearing the Dark Wasteland. Wang Chen, he, it's simply impossible. Yen Liang swept through the surroundings and said in a decisive tone. Hearing his words, many of the people around him nodded their heads with expressions of approval on their faces. Indeed, holy light mages were heaven-defying the undead, and at the same level, the damage dealt by holy light mages to the undead was almost 50% more than other professions. When placed in the dark wasteland, a level 65 holy light mage would be able to display a combat power equivalent to that of a level 70, or even a level 70 or higher third turn professional. Although Wang Chuan had performed demonically before, his level was a shortcoming, and having just turned two, it was simply impossible to break the record. That's right that's right, breaking the record is definitely unrealistic. With the battle prowess that Wang Chuan showed in the secret copy before, his clearance time should be around 15 minutes. 15 minutes is also pretty good. When I was level 60 and cleared the dark wasteland, it still took me 17 minutes. On the side. A few older sophomore students followed after Yen Liang's words fell and opened their mouths to chime in with a few words. Hearing their words, the eyes of many of the girls in the middle of the hall instantly became dangerous. These guys, they were simply too much. Junior brother Wang Chen is so handsome, has such a strong talent and works so hard, but you guys only know how to sneer and mock? Is it so hard to admit that someone else is good? It took 17 minutes to clear the dark wasteland at level 60? How dare you say that? Senior Wang Chen just turned 2 and was able to do what you could only do at level 60. What qualifications do you have to shout here? And you Yan Liang, I remember your best score for clearing the dark wasteland. It seems like it took you 15 minutes. One of the girls couldn't help the anger in her heart and looked at Yan Liang's few people who had made a noise and said loudly. Yan Liang and the others were said to look at each other with a somewhat awkward expression on their faces. You, Yan Liang opened his mouth and couldn't help but want to retort a sentence, while one of the people next to him directly pulled on his clothes you can't win a fight with a woman. Let's just use facts when the time comes. This person opened his mouth and reminded. Upon hearing this, Yen Liang closed his mouth with a somewhat ugly expression and turned his head to stop looking at the girl. Just wait, when Wang Chuan comes out of the secret realm copy in a sorry state. Let's see what you, the nymphomaniac girl, still has to say. He thought furiously in his heart as his sight was placed on the teleportation door in the hall, expecting the image of Wang Chen coming out of it in a sorry state. However, just as his sight landed on the teleportation door, his pupils could not help but shrink, and an expression as if he had seen a ghost appeared on his face. Boom! A massive object that exceeded 10 meters collapsed onto the ground, smashing up a sky of smoke and dust. Who, waving his hand to disperse the dust beside him, Wang Dust looked at the fragmented corpses in front of him, a touch of pleasure appearing on his face. The last monster of the Dark Wasteland secret copy was a zombie leader that had reached level 65. The strength was quite strong throwing off the Zhou Wu he had encountered in the ring earlier. The two little guys cleared out the stragglers and left the zombie leader to him. This battle, he fought very freely. Phew, I wonder, what rewards can I get for clearing this wave? Taking a long breath, Wang Chuan put away his sawtooth longsword and quietly waited for the secret realm copy to settle. Ding, congratulations to challenger Wang Dust. He has cleared the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy. Settlement is in progress. Please wait. In the secret realm copy, the corpse of the zombie leader had been turned into a corpse of the zombie leader. As the zombie leader's body turned into ash and dissipated, Wine Dust Sears simultaneously rang with the mechanical beeps of the secret realm copy. It's finally started, holding the two little ones, Bing Ching and Crispy, 
In his arms, Wang Dust had an expression of anticipation on his face. This was the second time he had cleared a silver level secret realm copy, and he didn't know what kind of rewards it would bring him, while silently pondering in his heart, the mechanical beep of the secret realm copy sounded once again. Ding. Settlement complete. Congratulations to challenger Wang Dust for perfectly clearing the secret realm copy Dark Wasteland. Current secret copy difficulty, hell level. Time, 8 minutes. Comprehensive score, SSS, highest. Congratulations to the challenger Wang Duan. Your score has successfully broken the record for clearing the silver level secret world copy of Dark Wasteland, and the settlement reward has been upgraded by one level. Broke the record? After listening to the beep in his ears, a flash of joy flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. The settlement reward was raised by one level. It seemed that this time, he was going to have an extra reward. Thinking expectantly in his heart, his eyes looked towards the colorful treasure chest floating in front of him. Without hesitation, Wang Chen directly chose to open the colorful treasure chest. In an instant, dazzling light filled the field of vision, and one item emerged one by one. As the scrying technique swept through, the attribute information of these items, one by one, surfaced in front of his eyes. 10 million experience points, 200 free attribute points, 200 free skill points, platinum grade equipment, death dagger, platinum grade equipment, darkness battle armor, grade a magic material, zombie chief's fangs. Seeing what was opened in the treasure chest, Wang Dust's eyes instantly radiated. Bountiful. It was simply too rich. 10 million experience points, after splitting it into three, allowed him and Bing Ching to increase their levels by two levels, reaching level 47 and 42, the lower ranked crispy. On the other hand, had even increased by 10 levels. Ice Ching, four dimensional attributes, strength 2300, wisdom 2300, physique 2300, agility 2300, without any buffs, equipment, or props to enhance it. 15502250155015501650. Buff. Skill points continued to be retained. Free attribute points were evenly distributed to the four dimensional attributes, and coupled with the attributes fed back by the two little ones, Wang Dust's four dimensions once again saw a surge. Strength, 820 plus 630 points. Wisdom, 890 plus 100 points. Physique, 820 plus 450 points. Agility, 830 plus 5 plus 250 points. Unassigned attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 200 points. After checking the increase in his strength, Wang Chen placed his gaze on the other three items. There was no need to mention that the two pieces of equipment were considered fine amongst the platinum level. The A-rank material zombie chief spawn was also a precious material for making equipment. However, after taking a glance at the attributes of these three items, Wang Chuan put them into his spatial ring. The death dagger did not match his fighting style, and the dark battle armor was clearly no match for his newly acquired earth battle armor. So he was going to take these two pieces of equipment, along with the ones he had eliminated, and sell them in the trading house. Secret realm copy settlement is complete. The challenger is being transmitted to leave. Please wait. After checking the harvest, the mechanical beep of the secret realm copy sounded. In the next second, the figures of Wang Chuan and the two little ones disappeared in the copy space amidst a wave of spatial fluctuations. Secret realm copy hall. Yen Liang stared at the teleportation door into the secret realm replica with an expression on his face as if he had seen a ghost, only to see that in the middle of his vision, light flashed on the portal and a slender figure emerged from it, and at the same time, a golden luster flashed across the frame of the portal. As a veteran student who had furthered his studies in Yanlong University for a year, Yen Liang knew very well what this golden luster represented. Wang Duan. He had successfully cleared the secret realm copy. Crap. How long has this been? After a full moment, Yen Liang came back to his senses and let out a disbelieving voice from his mouth. And at the same time, his voice similarly woke up the others in the middle of the hall. Hiss. Everyone looked at the upright figure that stepped out of the teleportation door. And in unison, they sucked in a breath of cool air, with expressions of incredulity on their faces. I didn't see it wrong. Did I? It's Wang Chen. He successfully passed the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy? Oh my god. It's only just 8 minutes now. He broke the secret realm copy clearance record once again? A shocked voice rang out, and everyone looked at Wang Chen with faces full of incredulity. Just kidding. That was an extremely difficult silver level secret realm copy, and even the holy light mage, who had an occupational advantage, had used more than 9 minutes and nearly 10 minutes to clear it at level 65. Wang Chuan, not only did he pass the level, but the time to pass the level was only 8 minutes. Fake it? This is really something a freshman can do. Looking at the bland figure that walked out of the portal, everyone's eyes were incomparably shaken. Ha ha, what did I say? School brother Wang Chuan can definitely set a new record for clearing the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy. Let's see what you people have to say now. School brother Wang Dust is a genius. 
always able to create miracles. You guys, you don't even understand his excellence. Among the crowd, those girls who had previously supported Wang Chen couldn't help but cheer at this moment, especially the one who was up against Yen Liang, was even looking at him with a smug face and incomparably sneering eyes. However, at this moment, Yen Liang couldn't care less about being angry with this girl. As his line of sight landed on Wang Chen, his gaze incomparably shaken. Eight minutes to pass the Dark Wasteland Secret Realm copy. This was an achievement that he currently couldn't even achieve. This guy, does it mean that his current strength is even stronger than mine? How is this possible? Yen Liang thought with shock in his heart, feeling like his worldview was about to shatter. A second turn level 45 Imperial Beast Master was even stronger than him. A third turn level 75 Warrior. This, I'm afraid, wasn't heavenly. Meanwhile, outside the teleportation gate, Wang Chen glanced at the shocked crowd around him and ignored it. Directly then stepped towards the service desk. Sister, please help me register. I want to continue challenging the next secret realm copy. What? Hearing Wang Chuan's words, the shocked school sister at the front desk couldn't help but open her mouth wide. Wang Dust schoolmate, don't you want to take a break? She looked at Wang Chuan and had a nagging question. It was well known. Every time one enters a secret realm copy, because of the spatial transformation, it would cause a great burden on the professional himself. Therefore, after every challenge of a secret realm copy, regardless of the result, the vast majority of professionals would choose to recuperate for a period of time before taking on the next challenge. This was in order for them to get better results and rewards when they continue to challenge the secret realm copies. At this moment, behind the service desk in the secret realm hall, the sophomore schoolmate looked at Wang Chuan with a face full of surprise and opened her mouth to persuade him. Senior brother Wang Dust, I'm afraid that you've already consumed a lot of energy by refreshing the Dark Wasteland's clearance record, so there's no need to continue. Thank you. Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan politely nodded his head and thanked him, but still insisted on his decision. Just now in the middle of the Dark Wasteland, he hadn't expended much energy at all. On the contrary, because of the upgrades and the rewards he had gained, his entire body was now refreshed and he didn't feel tired at all. All right, seeing Wang Chuan's insistence, the sophomore sister scratched her head and took the wristwatch to register the information. Soon, Wang Chuan put away the wristwatch then stepped into the middle of the teleportation portal once again, and as he entered the portal, the atmosphere in the hall once again clamored. The second secret realm copy is up. I wonder if Wang Chen can still maintain this kind of achievement? It's really surprising. The way I look at him, he obviously didn't consume much during the secret realm copy just now. Maybe, he can break the record for the number of times he cleared the secret realm copy in a single day today. This time, no one sneered at Wang Chuan anymore. Even if such as Yan Liang's stream, under Wang Chuan's horrifying clearance speed, they shut their mouths. At the same time, when all the students in the secret hall lost their voices, the entire Yanlong University's forum also became lively because of Wang Duan. Yanlong University Forum, a post titled Strongest Freshman, passed the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy in only 8 minutes. S post quickly made its way onto the front page of the forum. As soon as it appeared, it directly caused a large number of people to crowd around it. A freshman passed the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy, creating a horrifying 8 minute pass record. This caused all the students who clicked into the post to be shocked. Are you kidding? The new students have only been enrolled for a few days? They're all still spinning around in the second turn right now. And someone managed to break the Dark Wasteland clearance record? I know this Wang Chen, the provincial top student of Far River Province, seems to be a special occupation giant beast master and has contracted a divine beast gargoyle, but even with the help of a divine beast, he couldn't possibly have reached such a terrifying achievement, right? The forum was abnormally noisy and all the students who clicked into the post scoffed at the news, thinking that the person who posted it was a title party. However, Dark Wasteland Secret Hall Copy, Best Pass Record Holder, Wang Dust, Time, 8 Minutes JPG, when a photo of the Secret Hall Copy clearance score appeared amongst the post, everyone lost their voices. Surprisingly, it was true, their hearts shook as they looked at this freshly released photo. That was a silver level Secret Hall Copy. The last record holder for clearing the level was still a level 65 Holy Light Mage. Wang Chen had actually broken his record? And most importantly, Wang Dust's level when he entered the secret realm copy was only level 45. Crazy. In the 600 years since Yanlong University was founded, there had never been such a demon. The post on the forum continued to ferment, attracting more and more people to watch. And if the students who saw this post had shock in their hearts, then at this moment, in the middle of the secret realm copy hall, all the students present were going to be skeptical. Since the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy, Wang Chuan had broken their worldview time and time again with lightning speed. Silver level secret realm copy sinking camp. 7 minutes. Record breaking. 
Silver Level Secret Realm Copy Evil Cave. 9 minutes. Broken record. Silver Level Secret Realm Copy Dark Town. 6 minutes. Broken record. In less than an hour's time, Wang Chuan even played 6 Secret Realm duplicates, each time breaking the record with horrifying results, simply shocking everyone's jaws. This achievement was simply too abnormal. All of the students present were staring blankly at the portal, their faces filled with shock. Every time they entered the Secret Realm replica, which one of them didn't prepare a day or two in advance, so that their condition was perfect before entering. On the other hand, Wang Chuan, as if he was eating and drinking water, he kept on hoofing it, fighting his way through one Secret Realm copy after another. In just one hour, Wang Chen's frequency of going down the Secret Realm copies was almost catching up to half a month for them, and most importantly, his results were incomparably terrifying. Every Secret Realm copy broke records and set a new record that was admirable. What kind of monster is this T? Demonic, too demonic, staying in a school with this kind of demon. I feel like my college life is going to be shrouded in his shadow. The older students in the hall had their worldview shattered, while those freshmen who were enrolled in the same batch as Wang Chen were already feeling despair. Everyone is a genius. Why are you so good? At this moment, the light on the portal flickered again, and Wang Chuan dragged his tired body out, having fought through six silver level secret realm copies in a row. Even with his body created by his strong attributes, he felt a bit overwhelmed. However, compared to the exhaustion, his gains were also amazing enough. Although after entering the second turn, the experience value required for upgrading skyrocketed twice as much as in the first turn. However, six consecutive secret realm copies down, coupled with the increase of one level for breaking the record by clearing the level, also allowed him to level up to 55 now. One hour, ten levels in a row. This terrifying rate of increase would probably shatter countless people's three views. However, this was normal. The first time one passed a secret realm copy itself would gain a large amount of experience value. Not to mention that every secret realm copy had also had its record broken by Wang Dust. However, it was only this once, and after clearing the rest of the secret realm copies, it wouldn't be so easy for him to gain such a quick boost again. In addition to Wang Chuan's own promotion, Bing Chang, the little guy, had also leveled up to level 50. As for Crispy, the little guy leveled up to level 40 early on and was stuck on the edge of advancing. Just waiting for Wang Chuan to find the materials for leveling up, the little guy would be able to cross over into a new growth cycle. For this promotion, Wang Chen was very satisfied. Phew, the promotion material needed for this little guy, Crispy, to enter the next growth cycle is the fox heart grass. And I wonder if the trading house sells it? Taking a long breath, Wang Chuan looked at the dumbfounded crowd around him and smiled. Taking a step, he walked towards the outside of the secret hall. Yanlong University Trading Area. No? Wang Dust sat on the sofa and couldn't help but sit up straight when he heard the reply given to him by the trading house manager. After leaving from the secret realm replica hall, he hoofed it to the trading area, wanting to purchase the advancement material foxheart grass for crisp. But it turned out, after asking several houses in a row, the answers he received were all no. And even if Wang Chuan bought it at a premium, taking out double the price of the S-rank material, the people at the trading houses said they couldn't do anything about it. Manager Lee, even though Foxheart Grass is an S-rank material, it's not so bad, right? Looking at the respectful trading house manager in front of him, Wang Chen scratched his head and asked somewhat helplessly, You are the largest trading house in Yenlong University, do you really not have a little access? Mr. Wang, I'm really sorry. Hearing his words, the trading luggage manager shook his head with a bitter smile. If it's any other S-rank material, even if it's an SS rank material, the small store has a way to get it. But this fox heart grass is just too special, and it doesn't have the slightest bit of use to a professional, so we really can't do anything about it. Manager Li looked at Wang Chuan with an incomparable helplessness in his heart. As early as when Wang Chuan entered the store, he had already recognized this popular freshman number one from Yanlong University. To be honest, a S piece material, not to mention that Wang Chuan had taken out twice the price, even if it was a dime and he gave it away with his hand, he would still be willing to do so, but the fox heart grass, he really really couldn't do anything about it, oh, manager Lee, what is so special about this fox heart grass, upon hearing this, Wang Chen couldn't help but sit up straight, his gaze fixedly looking across the room, fox heart grass was the key material for crispy to enter the next stage of growth, no matter what, he had to get his hands on it, mister, Wang, this fox heart grass comes from the Qingxiu clan, it's a precious holy relic of their clan. It's said to have a miraculous effect on the fox clan in opening up the host wisdom. It's always been very strictly controlled by the Qingxiu clan. Nowadays, the relationship between our blue star human race and the Qingxiu clan is tense. 
coupled with the fact that the Fox Heartgrass does not have the slightest use to professionals. There is simply no Fox Heartgrass in circulation on the market. Looking at Wang Chen, manager Li said with a bitter smile, in the battlefield of the heavens, the Qingxiu Fox Clan and the Blue Star Human Clan were in a hostile relationship, and although there were no major wars between the two sides, there were many small frictions in normal times, and the relationship was tense. Of course, this is for manager Li and other businessmen these are not a problem, there is a hundred percent benefit they dare to take risks. The main reason was still because the fox heart grass was useless to professionals. Even if you sneak from the Qingxiu clan to get the fox heart grass, there is no outlet. Therefore, apart from being included in the Encyclopedia of Magical Materials, it was difficult to find a fox heart grass in the market. Hearing this, Wang Chen could not help but feel a big headache. This result was something he had not expected. There is no other way? If manager Li knows where there is information about fox heart grass, I can also buy it at a high price. Looking at manager Li, Wang Chuan asked somewhat undeterred, Mr. Wang, there is really no way. Hearing his words, Manager Li spread his hands helplessly, this kind of thing without any benefits, they, businessmen, would not pay attention to it at all. Why don't you ask that lord? Manager Li thought of the news that had been spreading wildly in Yanlong University in the past few days, and cautiously suggested, the lord? Wang Chen naturally knew who Manager Li was talking about. However, he had just received a large pile of benefits from his master and he hadn't even cultivated anything yet, so he had to go and trouble his master again. Wang Dust thought to himself that his skin was not that thick, but the fox heartgrass was the key material for Crispy to advance. If he couldn't find it, could he let Crispy stay stuck at level 40? He thought in his heart and turned his head to look at the nine-tailed sky fox that was staring wide-eyed with Bing Chung. This little fellow, really gave himself a big problem. Ugh, it seems there's no other way. Pondering in his heart, he got up and was about to say goodbye to manager Lee. But at that moment, a familiar voice suddenly came. Wang Duan. Wang Dust twisted his head to look over and found that the girl Situ you had playfully walked into the trading house. What a coincidence. You've come to purchase something as well? Wang Dust looked at Situ you curiously. Buying anything? I came to find you. Upon hearing this, Situ you sent a blank stare and said in a somewhat sour tone, You're really a busy man. I saw the post on the forum and ran to the secret realm replica hall, but I ended up pouncing, sending you a message and not replying. If it wasn't for someone reminding me, I wouldn't have known that you ran here. Post? Upon hearing this, Wang Chuan was dumbfounded. After coming out of the secret realm copy hall, he went all the way straight to the trading house and didn't even notice the message on his data wristwatch. Looks like you don't realize how hot you are yourself right now? Seeing Wang Dust's appearance, Situ you said without a trace of anger. As she spoke, she opened her data watch and clicked on the top post on the forum. Seeing this thread, Wang Chen scratched his head not realizing that he had become famous again in this way. No wonder.